Shrouding the Heavens. Chapter 801 to Chapter 850. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 801. The moon was cold, the night was quiet, and the mountains and rivers were undulating. Under the moonlight, a group of death gods walked on the ground. Their loose black clothes covered them tightly, even their heads were covered. They were silent, and every one of them was filled with the aura of death. The underworld fog rose, and the gloomy aura became even thicker, drowning them in darkness. Yang Yi chased after them with tears on her face. She had just woken up and had already thrown away her shoes. She ignored her appearance and stepped on the cold and hard ground with her jade white feet as she rushed into the group of death gods. She wanted to catch Zhang Lin and get to the bottom of it, but his figure was too fleeting and unapproachable. The current Yuan Taoist master's strength was unimaginable. After 10,000 years, his body was as deep as the sea, and his evil aura overflowed the heavens. He was half demon and half human, and had long since become an unimaginable existence. Zhang Lin, no matter what happens, it doesn't matter. Just stop, Yang Yi cried. Yi Fan couldn't bear to see such a scene. He sighed and said, Patriarch, if you don't turn back now, it might be the biggest regret of your life. The gloomy fog covered the star domain, and the world was pitch black. Zhang Lin slowed down his steps and stopped. His whole body was covered in the loose black clothes. Yang Yi walked forward with tears in her eyes as she looked at him quietly. Zhang Lin slowly took off the black hood and the black cloak, revealing his true appearance. His whole body was covered in long, blood-colored hair that was more than half a foot long. Even his face was covered with it, and his true appearance couldn't be seen clearly. Yang Yi slowly stretched out her jade-like hand and touched his face. With tears in her eyes, she said, No matter what you become, you will always be the Zhang Lin of the past. No matter where you go, I will always follow you. There's not much time left. I will disappear at dawn. Zhang Lin's voice was hoarse as he continued on his way. I'll go with you, Yang Yi said. No. Zhang Lin shook his head. Why? I only have one night to live, why won't you let me follow you? Yang Yi looked at him with tears in her eyes. Yi Fan was also puzzled and looked forward. Unless you want to live forever, you should leave now. Zhang Lin said in a hoarse voice. Yang Yi burst into tears, her heart wrenching. Zhang Lin stretched out his hand, wanting to help her wipe away the tears on her face, but he soon froze in midair. It was a claw covered in red fur, with jet black, sharp nails. Yang Yi grabbed his hand and placed it on her face. She was heartbroken and cried loudly. I've let you down too much. After a long time, Zhang Lin finally said these words while trembling. He stood there looking up at the sky, not allowing his tears to fall. The wind blew, and the underworld fog filled the air. They set off once again. There was now a white-clothed beauty among the black-clothed reapers. Zhang Lin had also taken off his black clothes and transformed into a red-haired monster. The two of them walked side by side. The mist surged into the sky, ghastly and terrifying, blotting out the stars and moon. They were like Ian spirits from hell, wielding the scythe of the Grim Reaper to reap the lives of the mortal world. They only had one night to live. When dawn broke, they would turn into ashes, never to exist again. There was no time to stop. They moved as fast as lightning, and during this process, Zhang Lin continuously captured the dragon veins. This was a terrifying scene. Each dragon was thousands of feet long, and they transformed into a beam of divine light. The Yuan Taoist master easily caught them in his hand. Capturing the dragon veins and casually grabbing the divine essence ores. How terrifying was this scene? Along the way, who knew how many dragons had been captured from all directions, and they were easily caught in his hand like bugs. Yi Fan was shocked. The current fifth heaven source master had not died for 10,000 years. As expected, he had become an inconceivable and unparalleled existence. He couldn't help but think of the third Yuan Taoist master. An ominous event had happened to him in his later years, and he had turned into a monster. He had died in the dragon cave of the Qinling Mountains, and in the end, the Azure the Arch had to kill him. See, our lineage can also prove the Tao. It's just that this path is more remote. Clearly, the fifth heaven source master was guiding him. In the end, he pointed out a mark, which turned into a beam of light that entered Yi Fan's immortal platform. This is what I comprehended in my later years, as well as what I thought of recently. I'll pass it all to you. I hope you won't have an ominous old age. Back at the Violet Mountain, Yi Fan had listened to the Wuxur's bell waves, observed the heaven-devouring devil jar, and comprehended the great Tao of heaven and earth. 
Zhang Lin had not imparted these to him, and only now did he teach them all. Yang Yi and the Yuan Taoist master traveled side by side. They watched as he plucked the stars and the moon, restrained the earth's draconic chi, and changed the direction of the mountains and rivers. It was as if they had returned to the past, and no one could stop them as they traversed the northern region. They were about to attack the Valley of Divinities, a gathering place of the supreme ancient imperial clans. They would definitely encounter unimaginable enemies. Zhang Lin was making preparations. The Valley of Divinities was located in the midst of thousands of mountains and valleys. Originally, not a single blade of grass grew here, but today, everything within a 10,000 li radius was filled with lush greenery. An ancestral king was like a small mountain, unmoving as he sat cross-legged on an immortal altar. His eyes were filled with the vicissitudes of time, the evolution of the universe, and the creation of the heavens and earth. He was incomparably terrifying. In the distance, ancient palaces could be seen one after another. There were many ancient creatures there, and each and every one of them was incomparably powerful. They couldn't compare to the few great clans that produced ancient emperors, but they were still a true royal clan with the power to rule over the world. Ancestral King, we've already investigated. The Southern Mountains Barbarian Race's War God is their 17th generation ancestor. His magical power is truly monstrous and incomparably powerful, but he has already transformed into the Tao. As long as he walks out of the divine origin, he will immediately become a law of the great Tao, returning to nature. A malevolent-looking ancient creature with four heads and eight arms knelt on the ground, his face filled with reverence and sincerity. Killing this type of Southern Mountains Barbarian Race won't take too much effort. Completely wiping them out in a single battle and dyeing the Southern Earth with blood is quite easy to accomplish. Another ancient creature said. His status was extremely high, and he sat below the altar. Purple Mountain is most likely like what the Heavenly Prince said. No great human emperor has appeared, and there is no imperial aura leaking out at all. It has always been peaceful in the past half month. Another ancient creature spoke. Then what are we waiting for? Kill, massacre the southern mountain's barbarian race, capture the human race's divine body, and have him kneel outside the valley to wait for death. Someone said coldly. That's right, we have to make that human race's divine body kneel outside the valley. Directly cutting off his head is too lenient. Even further away, there were a few ancient creatures that didn't have the qualifications to kneel, and they all agreed. On the altar, the ancestral king's eyes swept over. It was as if tens of millions of years had passed, making everyone keep quiet out of fear, not daring to speak again. Kill, we naturally have to kill. We have to make the great earth flow with rivers of blood and make all schemes useless. However, we still have to wait and make sure that nothing goes wrong before taking action. The descendants of the ancestral king spoke. Perhaps only they dared to speak at this time. Do as you see fit. If you want to kill, then kill them all. The ancestral king said coldly. Dozens of pairs of wings spread open behind him, and a monstrous demonic aura rushed up, drowning the altar. He didn't say anything else. In this quiet and cold moonlit night, a group of death gods descended. Im fog blew silently, but there was a murderous aura. They stopped when they were still an endless distance away from the Valley of Divinities. Yi Fan and Zhang Lin walked out, telling them to wait and not to act rashly. The demonic mountains were like pillars that supported the sky, towering and majestic. At the center of the mountain range, a spiritual light soared into the sky, exceptionally bright in the night. That was the Valley of Divinities. This is really a good place. Yi Fan sighed. This place was surrounded by giant dragons, and there were many divine veins. There must be divine source ores underground. Ten thousand years ago, I stepped here and discovered that there was an ancient king sleeping underground, so I didn't act rashly, Zhang Lin said. The two walked forward side by side, injecting the dragon veins and Genesis Qi they had captured along the way into the mountain range, into a special peak. The Yuan Taoist master's technique was amazing, strange and mysterious to the extreme. Thousands of small dragons flew out from his palm with a raise of his hand, and when they neared the ground, they grew endlessly. Yi Fan knew that the Valley of Divinities was finished. Not to mention anything else, just this terrifying Genesis technique alone was enough to burn everything. The endless divine source underground, coupled with the dragon veins that had been captured, was enough to destroy the world according to the forbidden formation of heaven's source. It was enough to burn ancient saints. Today, the Valley of Divinities will be erased. I, the Yuan Taoist master, will suppress the northern region and return peace to the human race. Zhang Lin's voice was sonorous and powerful. After this battle, the shock of the ancient race could already be predicted. Once the Valley of Divinities was wiped out, the nest of 10,000 dragons, Divine Silkworm Ridge, Blood Phoenix Mountain and other places would definitely be shaken. A great storm that would sweep through the world would begin. What kind of person was the Yuan Taoist master? His wondrous techniques could shock the world and dominate an era.
In particular, the current Zhang Lin, who was half human and half demon for 10,000 years, was even more unimaginable. Not to mention Genesis techniques, just his strength alone was amazing. At this moment, he and Yi Fan were working together, and they were naturally silent. Apart from the ancestral kings of the Valley of Divinities, the other ancient lifeforms had no idea. Humph! A cold snort sounded, and the two ancestral kings in the Valley of Divinities woke up one after another. Their eyes were cold and emotionless, and they turned into four terrifying beams of light that pierced through. Clang! The Yuan Taoist master flicked his fingers, turning the four beams of light into nothingness. We can do it now, said Yi Fan in a deep voice. Boom! The mountain range was dazzling, an endless divine light sword, piercing through the clouds like an eternal divine furnace, burning fiercely. The divine light drowned the place, turning it into a terrifying forbidden land. The forbidden ancient formations of heaven's source were all activated, and all kinds of patterns interweaved and densely covered the area, sealing off all directions. Kill! Yi Fan roared, and a dagger axe flew out from the sacred shell. He grasped it in his hand, and there was also a damaged bell that floated above his head. As he waved the dagger axe, black-robed death gods appeared one after another, surrounding the Valley of Divinities. Roar! The Yuan Taoist master seemed to be possessed. His red hair spread out, and he was incomparably terrifying as he attacked the Valley of Divinities. The Valley of Divinities was as bright as day. Yi Fan and Zhang Lin had set up the ancient heaven source formation to catch them all in one fell swoop and burn them to ashes. However, the ancestral kings obviously couldn't be killed just like that. They were too powerful, and they might break out. A terrifying roar rang out. The sky seemed like it was going to collapse. An ancestral king rushed out and faced Zhang Lin. Thousands of earth dragon veins flew out from the Yuan Taoist master's palm. At first, they were like tiny rays of light, but when they bloomed, they crushed the world. Boom! These were the inscribed forbidden heavenly Tao patterns, and they all exploded after flying out. It was unknown how many times more powerful they were compared to the ones Ouyang Yi had carved in the past. Ah! Uh. The ancestral king screamed. Although the giant claw had turned into a small palm-sized world with mountains and rivers flowing within, it still exploded in the end. At the same time, Zhang Lin roared and transformed into a Tao demon. He rushed over and grabbed the ancestral king's arm. Who are you people? The ancestral king couldn't believe that he had suffered such a great loss in the first exchange. Zhang Lin, the subordinate of great emperor Wu Shi, The Yuan Taoist master attacked again. The human race's saint physique, Yi Fan. Yi Fan also roared. He entered the sacred shell and was completely fearless. He punched forward, and golden blood energy surged into the sky. Inside the valley of divinities, shouts shook the heavens. The death god had come. In the distance, on a cliff, a white-robed woman was blowing a jade flute. She was extremely beautiful and sorrowful. Chapter 802 Tens of thousands of mountains stood tall and majestic. In the middle of the night, the brilliance of the Valley of Gods rushed into the heavens. It was resplendent and dazzling like the burning divine furnace of the ancient heaven. At this time, shouts of war shook the heavens within the valley. Blade lights and sword shadows could be seen everywhere. This was a sad song of blood and life intertwining. Many people had gone mad from the slaughter. Who would have thought that the archaic imperial clan would be attacked? It had always been them ruling the world, slaughtering in all directions and overlooking the earth. But now, on this cold night, a group of death gods descended from the sky and slaughtered their way into their territory. This was beyond their expectations. Pfft. Blood dripped everywhere. This was a blood-stained painting. Yi Fan brandished the halberd in his hand. Immediately, blood splattered everywhere. A group of ancient creatures was cut in half at the waist and sent flying more than 10 meters away. A large number of corpses fell to the ground. There were no words, no indiscernible reasoning to speak of. There was only a battle of life and death, using blood and bones to perform a hot-blooded war song. Ah! Uh, the fifth-generation Yuan Taoist master roared towards the sky as if he had turned into a demon. At this time, he had already gone mad from the slaughter. The long blood-colored hair on his body spread out like an immortal scarlet ape as he fought against that ancient monarch. Countless heavenly origin patterns appeared beneath his feet. They flickered with a terrifying brilliance and curled around him. They extended in all directions, causing many ancient creatures to collapse. At this moment, the Valley of Gods, this immortal divine land, became the source of his power. All types of draconic energy and origin power were like rivers flowing into the sea, gathering towards him. Boom! A fist shaking the heavens. Zhang Lin's head of red hair was like a tide. They danced about crazily as he attacked this archaic ancestral king. 
He didn't seem like a Yuan Taoist master at all, but more like a battle saint. This archaic ancestral king's torn off arm had long since regenerated. The dozens of wings on his back unfolded, and endless black demonic energy overflowed into the heavens as he roared and rushed forward. This was a battle between saints. Between their fists and palms, traces of the great Tao burst forth one after another. They turned into a blazing light and all kinds of wonderful sounds rang out. Each of their attacks evolved the origin of the great Tao, as well as the mysteries of opening the heavens. This became a terrifying battle of the great Tao. Pop! Like a heavenly blade cutting through rotten wood, Zhang Lin put his hands together and emitted a brilliant rainbow. It cut open the net of interweaving Tao marks and pounced forward. This was a close distance confrontation, a scene of blood splashing everywhere. The Tao radiance that flew out from his hands seemed to have hacked off half of this ancestral king's body. Several pairs of divine wings were sliced apart, falling down. Divine feathers fluttered about, stained with blood. Even though this archaic ancestral king was injured, he was indeed extremely powerful. A pair of enormous claws tore through the Tao radiance and fiercely pierced through, stabbing into Zhang Lin's shoulders and almost tearing off her arms. Decaying blood surged and released a strange light. The archaic ancestral king's terrifying demonic claws were almost corroded and quickly withdrew. This was a battle between life and death, a battle song of life. It was interpreted through blood and bones, using bodies to fight, using Tao laws to clash. To be able to become the ancestral king of the Valley of Gods, he naturally wouldn't be a docile person. When he truly went crazy, it would be hard to find anyone in the world who could suppress him. He was at a disadvantage against Zhang Lin, and this was something that was hard to accept. He could not believe that this was a subordinate of Wu Shi. How could the mother of Asterisk King Human King have survived till now? Clang! A cold gust of wind hacked over. Yi Fan wielded the black heavenly spear and rushed over again. He hacked down like a streak of black lightning, breaking apart all obstructions. Pop! This ancestral king opened his mouth and spat out a Tao flower with seven petals. Each petal was dazzling and beautiful, translucent and resplendent, blocking the black battle spear. Hong. The battle spear in Yi Fan's left hand hacked down. His right fist was like the head of a dragon within the boundless golden sea. It broke out from the sea, bringing with it heaven overflowing golden blood energy as it smashed towards this ancestral king's head. Dong. A muffled sound rang out. The valley of gods shook intensely. If not for the innate formation patterns, it would have long collapsed. This was a confrontation of physical strength. The ancestral king's claw that flickered with Tao patterns flowed with blood, and then it began to break down. Flesh and blood peeled off first, and then the bones cracked. Pooh. In the end, this ancestral king's claw couldn't stop the golden blood energy that was like a sea. It exploded, and white bone fragments and bright red blood flew into the air. It was a ghastly sight. His body flourished with light and rumbled with heavenly sounds. Expanse after expanse of Tao marks rushed up as if an ancient deity was singing. It was deafening. Yi Fan retreated. He didn't have the comprehension of a saint's divine laws, nor did he have that level of magical power. This archaic Tao light and divine laws were incomparable and fatal to him. Pooh. He rushed to the other side and swept out with the iron spear in his hand. Who could stop the flesh shell of a saint? A single sweep was all it took. Magic treasures, flying swords, and secret techniques were all useless. He killed them all with a single blow. Blood dripped everywhere, broken bones flew everywhere, and flesh and blood splattered everywhere. This was a terrifying scene. At the same time, the fifth generation Yuan Taoist master fought against this archaic ancestral king again. He had the upper hand, and from time to time, a string of demonic blood would flow out, dyeing the earth red. Ah. Zhang Lin went crazy. He didn't have much time left. When the sun rose, he would turn into ashes and never exist again. Hong. The divine valley and the mountains in all directions were dyed in draconic energy. All of the heaven origin ancient patterns appeared, becoming as bright as day. The patterns interweaved, covering the sky. It was as if he was receiving help from the heavens. Even though his entire body was covered in red hair and his expression was sinister, there was the aura of a deity flowing around him. His entire body shone with resplendent brilliance. Pung. Six seals for immortals. There was no divine source or stone skin. He used his hands to form this type of profound mysteries, merging them with the Tao. A hazy radiance erupted and swept outwards. All of this archaic ancestral king's Tao laws and endless divine force were sealed and flowed backwards, causing him to suffer a backlash. He cried out loudly and flew backwards. Pung. The fifth generation Yuan Taoist master walked up and kicked out from the air. This ancestral king was almost kicked into pieces and sent flying high into the air. Blood flowed continuously, and more than ten of his bones were shattered. Under the cold night moon, on a distant cliff, a white-clothed beauty was playing a flute. 
The notes were indistinct like sobs, mournful yet beautiful. Her eyes were filled with tears as she played a heavenly tune. Her heart felt as if it was being twisted by a knife and her liver and intestines were being torn apart. Yang Yi knew that this was the last night she would see Zhang Lin, the last time she would be able to appreciate his style of looking down on the world. After this night, everything would turn to smoke when the sun rose, and they would never meet again. She watched in a daze. The faint sound of the flute tore through the cold night sky and lingered around the entire battlefield. It was as if she was weeping and complaining. In a daze, she seemed to have seen the heroic and imposing Zhang Lin from 10,000 years ago. On the day he became the Yuan Taoist master, all the holy lands came to congratulate him. The great gamble in the divine city, the great battle in the ancient mine, the heavens were set in the forbidden region, and he fought alone against enemies from all directions. He was heroic and unyielding, as if he had entered an unrivaled realm. In the blink of an eye, everything became empty. An inauspicious event happened to the genius of a generation in his later years, and he was no longer heroic and heroic. Now, he was old and inauspicious, half-demon and half-human. His entire body was covered in scarlet fur, but his unyielding blood was still there. He was going to use his last bit of strength to suppress the Valley of Gods and return peace to the human race. In the final battle, he would disappear with the wind. This was the life of the Yuan Taoist master. Yang Yi's eyes were blurred by tears. The jade flute was placed horizontally by her mouth, and her sorrowful sobs turned into a song. It resounded in the night sky and drifted into the distance. Zhang Linqing roared crazily. His blood-colored hair danced about. Even though he wasn't as heroic and imposing as before, now only ugly, his heroic spirit was still matchless. When the heavenly origin divine technique entered his hands, not only was it a sore-seeking stone-cracking technique, it was also an offensive holy method. He fought a great battle against the ancient king, suppressing him with absolute power. Pooh! There were patterns everywhere in the valley that interweaved and shone brilliantly. He became an undying deity at the center. His attacks were like lightning, striking half of the archaic ancestral king's body, almost smashing it to pieces. Hong. This archaic ancestral king roared. All of the wings on his back trembled, producing ripples one after another. Ear-splitting Dao sounds rang out, as if a magnificent army was galloping. He released his true flames. He had always been suppressed, and this was the first time in his long life that he had experienced such a thing. He began to fiercely retaliate. Pung. Zhang Lin turned his hand over. Streaks of light scattered down from the gaps between his fingers. He descended like a deity. His right hand pressed down, and the heavenly origin Dao patterns appeared. The archaic ancestral king felt as if he was struck by lightning. That hand covered in Dao patterns was like the right hand of a deity. It possessed a strange demonic power, slapping him over and causing his body to crack apart. Ah! Uh, he couldn't help but cry out. The divine wings on his back were shattering, and the feathers were dyed in blood as they drifted about in the air. Hong! Suddenly, the great earth collapsed. The other ancient king finally took action, rushing out from the earth veins. He possessed world-defying power, and a world appeared in his palm. Primal chaos and thunder rumbled within, splitting apart heaven and earth, destroying everything. He wanted to kill the Yuan Taoist master. This was an even more powerful ancient king that possessed endless magical power. It made both Zhang Lin and Yi Fan's expressions change. This was an aged ancient king with a stooped figure. His purple hair scattered down, and behind him were forty-nine pairs of divine wings. There were over a hundred divine rings surrounding him. He was emaciated, but his spirit was hale and hearty. His voice was resounding like a bronze bell as he said, You came from Purple Mountain. Are you Zhang Lin under Wu Shi? Correct. Wu Shi's Zhang Lin has solemnly obeyed the great emperor's decree. Today, I will suppress the Valley of Gods and return peace to the human race. Zhang Lin's voice resounded through the air. Then, he turned around and said to Yi Fan, Time is precious. Kill them all. Yi Fan nodded. With a wave of the war spear in his hand, grim reapers appeared in all directions. They were the undying heavenly emperor's subordinates, and every one of their flesh shells was terrifying. They tore through all obstacles and killed all enemies. Since ancient times, this is the first time the human race has invaded the Valley of Gods. However, none of you will return. Let's see how you're going to kill everyone. The ancient king that appeared later let out a loud roar. The sonorous voice of the heavenly Tao rang out, and the forty-nine pairs of divine wings released ancient characters one after another, suppressing all directions. Why can't I kill them? Zhang Lin responded. His hand slowly moved as he said, Today, I will kill another ancient king in front of you. Ah. Uh. Suddenly, the injured ancient king screamed. He was like a puppet being controlled by someone, and he was uncontrollably floating in the sky. His entire body was covered in heaven origin divine runes that were rapidly cracking apart. The Genesis Heaven Masters had already injected Genesis Qi into his body during the previous battle to set up heaven origin divine runes. Ah. Uh. 
He screamed and struggled with all his might, but he couldn't move an inch. It was as if he was frozen in the void. Another even more terrifying ancient king made a move, but he couldn't save him. Zhang Lin unleashed a supreme genesis art, and as if he was using a knife to cut open a genesis stone, he gently slashed across the air. Blood spurted out from the ancient king's body as he was disintegrating. This was a peerless origin secret art. It had already planted origin Dao marks on the opponent's body during the battle. Now that it was activated, it was like cutting a rotten stone. Ah. Uh. With a final scream, the ancient king's body crumbled into pieces. Yi Fan followed closely. Golden Battle Chi surged around his body, drowning the entire Valley of Gods. With a punch, he smashed the flying head into pieces. On a distant cliff, Yang Yi couldn't help but cry. Seeing that Zhang Linxiong's heroic spirit was just like before, she felt as if a knife was twisting in her heart. Why did he only have one night to live? I won't be able to see you again. She sobbed. The sound of the flute first sounded like she was sobbing, but it suddenly became high-pitched. Dying on the battlefield, burying one's bones in the blade light was the final destination of heroes. There would always be a time when the curtain would fall. She played a battle song, crying as she bid farewell. Chapter 803 Inside Divine Valley, the blood of the ancient kings splashed outwards. Miserable cries sounded everywhere. Everything that came into contact with the blood evaporated. This damaged body possessed a terrifying demonic nature. Every drop of blood seemed to possess a type of undying power that could destroy everything in its path. This was precisely a saint. Their bodies contained a sea of spiritual essence, a random bit of flesh enough to kill a holy lord level figure. It was terrifying beyond compare. Zhang Lin's origin heavenly Tao technique was unmatched. It broke apart the body of a saint like cutting through a rock, decisive and forceful, clean and efficient. This was a terrifying scene. All of the ancient creatures were stunned. At this moment, even the head of the ancient king was blasted into mush by the human race's holy body. For them, this was shocking and terrifying, unimaginable. Since the ancient times, this was the first time a human dared to invade, moreover, so powerfully. Even the ancient king was smashed to pieces, making many ancient creatures shiver in fear. Chi. In the void, within that shattered flesh, a streak of resplendent light erupted. A dazzling rainbow radiance rushed out from the crushed flesh. I knew you would have this move. Yi Fan inwardly mocked. He had previously fought a great battle against Zi Tiandu, so he knew that this race had a strange ancient technique. Why did this race name their residence Divine Valley? It wasn't without reason. What they mainly cultivated was the divine spirit, the flesh was just a relay station. Divine Valley ultimately cultivated the primordial spirit, refining one's own divine spirit. When one reached the highest cultivation realm, they would abandon the flesh. As a powerful ancient king, his cultivation definitely reached a horrifying height. His primordial spirit was powerful beyond imagination, completely able to abandon the flesh shell. Yi Fan had his own plans, long knowing all of this. He naturally didn't feel the slightest bit of fear as he rushed forward. Ignorant human, in front of a divine spirit, so what if you have the sturdiest sacred shell? To me, it's just a body, just a relay station, just a place to stop for a short while. Now, I'll take it and use it for me. An expanse of blazing light appeared. A brand new archaic ancestral king stood in the void, rushing out from the crushed flesh and throwing himself forward. He looked like he was cast from light, impossible to look straight at. The entire world rumbled. All sorts of heavenly Tao patterns appeared. What undying, what eternal, what ancient, all seemed like they were about to be destroyed. At this moment, even John Lin's eyes shone with a strange light. He furrowed his brows. If he wasn't careful, he would most likely suffer a great loss. This was the most powerful forbidden technique of the Valley of Divinity. It was as if a god had descended to the mortal world, and it specialized in destroying the primordial spirit and seizing the human body. It was a terrifying secret technique that destroyed one's foundation. Buzz. Yi Fan spread open his arms and took the initiative to welcome it. It was as if he was opening the door for a thief. He didn't resist at all and allowed the immortal spirit light to fly over. What? He dares to be so arrogant. Is he courting death? Even if it's a sacred shell, so what? It's equivalent to a relay station for our clan's ancestral king. Would he dare to open the door and face the attack? Many ancient creatures laughed coldly. Just now, they suffered greatly, and now, they finally saw a scene where the battle situation was going to be reversed. However, the archaic ancestral king was extraordinary after all. When he saw this scene, he realized that things weren't looking good and wanted to retreat, withdrawing his attack. However, everything was already too late. Yi Fan's body was like a bottomless pit. This was especially true for the area where his immortal platform was. It was incomparably deep and had turned into an abyss, swallowing the ancestral king's primordial spirit. Ah, uh, no. 
He screamed in fear as if he had discovered the most terrifying thing. He felt as if he was facing the ancient emperor of the archaic era, and his guts were about to rupture. He had only experienced such a feeling once in his life, and that was during the last phase of the archaic era. When he went to seek an audience with the battle saint emperor, he felt a supreme heavenly might and couldn't help but sink into it. He knelt there, not daring to move at all. And now, when he entered the abyss, he had the same experience. He screamed in fear and finally understood what had happened. He must have rushed into the weapon of the ancient emperor. Or to be more precise, entering the supreme emperor weapon of the great human emperor was like a moth flying into a flame, courting death. Evidently, the saint emperor of the human race had dug a trap and was waiting for him to use this ancient technique to seize his Tao body. This was a fatal blow. Ah. Uh. A final miserable scream rang out. The center of Yi Fan's brows flashed with a black light as everything returned to normal. Not even a single ripple could be seen. Everyone was dumbfounded. The people from the Valley of Divinities felt their guts shattering. This was the foundation of their sect, a transcendent divine art. Yet, it was disintegrated. This was a primordial ancestral king, yet he was silently devoured by someone, turning into dust, no longer existing. There wasn't even a splash of water. The heaven-devouring devil jar was the weapon of the ancient emperor. Let alone an ancestral king, it could even devour the sun, moon, and stars. Rushing in was naturally a path of death. Roar. At the side, an even more powerful primordial ancestral king roared. Surging devilish chi gushed up, blotting out the moon and stars in the sky. He stomped on the ground with a single step and rushed over. His entire body shone with light as devilish chi towered up into the sky. In his eyes, mountains and rivers collapsed, the sun and moon sank, appearing incomparably terrifying. These were traces of the great Tao. He used supreme magical force to slash at Yifan's primordial spirit, wanting to split open his immortal platform. Ding! Zhang Lin moved. With a light flick of his finger, countless heavenly origin runes appeared in all directions, turning the entire valley of divinities into a sacrificial altar. Divine light shone like flames. They were going to sacrifice all the living beings in the valley as a living sacrifice. At the same time, Zhang Lin used the supreme forbidden origin formation to block the ancient king, then he calmly rushed over. The ancient king's eyes flickered, filled with the vicissitudes of time. The power of reincarnation blasted out as he roared, Tribulation Dao Samsara. This involved the Dao of, Tribulation and, Dao. The two alternated, turning into a cycle of reincarnation, destroying the restraints of space and severing the karma of time. It contained boundless divine might. Facing this divine law, the fifth generation Yuan Taoist master displayed a cultivation base that could look down on the world. Genesis runes covered his body, fusing with heaven and earth. His feet stepped on the boundless earth, and his hands held up the sky. His entire body glowed, like an eternal god. Heavenly essence and earthly qi rushed over from all directions, and the great Tao imprints turned into divine rivers that interweaved in the void. Ten thousand mountains moved, countless earth veins revived, the sky hummed, and mysterious light poured down. All of these were used by the Yuan Taoist master alone. Every move he made represented the will of heaven and earth. Boom! He gently stretched out his hand and pressed forward. It was as if this world was collapsing, and the ancient king was instantly pressed down, coughing out large mouthfuls of blood as his bones shattered. The beginning of the Tao, the end of the origin. Genesis techniques were also a type of Tao. When cultivated to the extreme, heaven and man would become one, wielding the heavenly Tao, omnipotent. This ancient king was emaciated and incomparably powerful. But at this moment, he was coughing out large mouthfuls of blood, suffering from great Tao injuries. Myriad things floated in his eyes, and after that, everything collapsed. He became even more terrifying. Yi Fan was about to use the sky-devouring evil jar on the spot but was stopped by Zhang Lin, who warned him in secret, make people think that you have come under the decree of Great Emperor Wu Shi to suppress the Valley of Divinity and intimidate the myriad races. Don't use the sky-devouring evil jar recklessly, or else it will be difficult to erase Great Emperor Ruthless Aura. Kill. At this moment, there was no need for superfluous words. He could only use his life to compose a war song and fight to the end. There was a broken bell above Yi Fan's head, and he held the black spear in his hand. He went on a killing spree in the Valley of Divinity as if he was invincible. Pfft. The spear swept across a large area. Black light flashed, and six or seven blood-stained heads flew up. Their faces were filled with unwillingness and fear, and the headless corpses fell into pools of blood. Pfft. Yi Fan slaughtered in all directions. The spear struck out as if it was cutting grass. Ancient creatures were sliced at the waist one after another. Blood dyed the ground red, and corpses covered the road ahead. Wherever he went, it was difficult for anyone to stand up to him. He fought in all directions alone. Blood surged, forming small rivers. There were corpses everywhere beneath his feet. Meanwhile, those death gods were also extremely terrifying. 
The main reason was because their flesh was too sturdy, not any weaker than a divine shell. It was because they were the undying heavenly emperor's former subordinates, a group of divine generals. Even after endless years had passed, they were still unmatched. All types of weapons and ancient treasures struck over. When they landed on their bodies, it was difficult for them to leave behind even a scratch. They were terrifying beyond compare. They were like a steel flood that couldn't be stopped at all. A single person was enough to stop a magnificent army, sweeping through everything in their path. Since the ancient times, the archaic king race had always been high up above, overlooking the world. When had they ever been attacked like this before? Now, they fought until the sun and moon lost their radiance. Ghosts wept and deities howled, and the valley of divinity almost became a ghost valley. There were corpses everywhere, and a foul wind and rain of blood were endless. This was the first time the human race stepped into this place. This was a heaven-shocking change. On the other side, Zhang Lin released a long roar. The proud blood was still present, and the battle was boiling. He forcefully suppressed the archaic ancestral king and was about to kill him. This ancestral king displayed his most powerful attack. Forty-nine pairs of divine wings moved, and the sonorous sounds of the great Tao rang out unendingly. An undying deity appeared behind him. Dazzling light surged, and divine rings appeared one after another, revolving around him. The divine wings flapped, and that deity moved in unison with him, attacking forward together. It passed through the universe's great wastelands and condensed heaven and earth black and yellow. The creation of heaven and earth, the beginning of the Tao, and the laws of deities were all hacked over. Pulse setting heaven and earth locking. Zhang Lin still used the origin heavenly book's ancient technique when facing the archaic ancestral king's exceptional technique. Streak after streak of divine light poured down from the cracks of his fingers like silk and strands. They turned into streaks of gentle light that penetrated every opening. They pierced through the void and entangled forward. This was the mountain stabilizing dragon vein technique, and it could also bind the sun, moon, and stars, changing heaven and earth. Now, it became a murderous divine law. The archaic ancestral king's divine wings were bound, and the deity that appeared behind him was locked down. It was as if his body was trapped in purgatory, locked in place. Ah! A miserable cry rang through the night sky. His body was torn apart, as if there were divine chains binding him, causing cracks to appear all over his body. Zhang Lin seemed to have already merged with the Tao. With a turn of his hand, endless divine light descended. The great Tao rumbled, rumbling as it descended. It was terrifying beyond compare. Pooh! This ancestral king was crushed by the heavenly Tao divine chains. His primordial spirit flew out, wishing to seize the Tao body, but it was blasted into pieces by the rumbling Tao sounds. Pung. However, at the same time, the Yuan Taoist master also suffered serious injuries, almost torn in half. An ancient ancestral king that was aged beyond recognition appeared, tearing off the remaining half of his body. Divine Valley's final ancestral king appeared. He had always been asleep, and only now did he wake up, breaking through the divine origin. He had no hair, and his skin was wrinkled. It was clear that his lifespan was near its end, and he was like a lamp that had been extinguished. However, he was still extremely powerful and terrifying to the extreme. This was the present age ancestor of the Divine Valley. Zhang Lin's entire body was covered in blood, and the blood-colored hair on his body was dyed red. However, he was still calm and didn't connect the other half of his body, calmly facing forward. Zhang Lin On the cliff, Yang Yi's face was covered in tears. The Yuan Taoist master, who was no longer heroic, was still as unyielding as before. Ancestral master. Yi Fan walked forward, wanting to take action. Zhang Lin stopped him and said, the 81 great banners can destroy heaven and earth once. When to use them is up to you. However, after being brought out, they are about to collapse, and can't be used for long. After saying these words, he calmly faced the most ancient ancestral king in front of him. The night was almost over. The silver moon was setting in the west, and there wasn't much time left. Zhang Lin looked at the sky, and then at the earth. He didn't say anything, and then he turned to look at the distant cliff. There was a beautiful figure there. Dawn was approaching, and there wasn't much time left. He was about to disappear. Zhang Lin. Yang Yi cried and rushed over without a care. She threw herself into Zhang Lin's arms, letting the blood stain her white dress. She hugged him tightly and didn't want to let go, afraid that he would disappear in an instant. Promise me, live on well. Zhang Lin patted her back and slowly wiped away the tears on her face. At this moment, the strongest ancestral king of the Divine Valley finally attacked again. The Great Tao suppressed the sky and destroyed everything. Through the ages, one dream severs the Tao. At the same time, Zhang Lin shouted. His body turned into an immortal light. There was no sound, no ripples, and it was boundless and extremely peaceful. This Tao slashed the entire divine valley. 
The ancestral king bore the brunt of it and was quickly evaporated. Then, the other beings in the valley collapsed one after another, turning into this immortal light. What should be done has been done. The Yuan Taoist master's faction will wipe out the Divine Valley, suppress the North, and return peace to the human race. Zhang Lin's words were sonorous, like the ringing of swords. Finally, he reached out and gently wiped away the last drop of tears on Yang Yi's face. Zhang Lin. Yang Yi hugged him tightly, afraid of losing him. A ray of dawn broke through and tore through the sky. Zhang Lin's body was dyed in a layer of golden light. The red hair on his body all disappeared, revealing his heroic appearance. He smiled brilliantly, just like in his youth, full of confidence and extraordinary style. The Jade Lake Saintess Yang Yi was stunned. She was heartbroken and tears streamed down her cheeks. She wanted to hold on to him. However, everything was in vain. This imposing young figure turned into sand between her fingers, becoming fragments of light that slowly dripped down and gradually disappeared. No, Zhang Lin, come back. Yang Yi cried. Her tears flowed down her cheeks. She wanted to hold on to the last ray of light, but she couldn't do so no matter what. The fragments of light flowed continuously, seeping through the gaps between her fingers. That imposing figure was becoming blurry and disappearing. The fifth generation Genesis Heaven Master, who had a peerless elegance, had left the world. It was hard to forget. He had killed his way out of the darkness and returned peace to the human race. In the end, he transformed into the Tao in the morning, turning into an eternal ray of light. The fifth generation Yuan Taoist Master had completed his mission and done what he had to do. He left just like that, leaving behind endless sadness. This morning, this morning, would forever remember his achievements, everything he had done. Chapter 804 The resplendent glow of dawn was eternal. Zhang Lin's body turned into fragments of light that scattered with the wind, vanishing forever. The fragments of light continued to flow, unable to be stopped no matter what. Yang Yi's heart was torn, her tears fell like rain as she wailed. The entire world was filled with her sorrowful cries. This was a depressing morning that would become an unforgettable memory, one that would never be forgotten for the rest of their lives. Yi Fan felt a wave of sourness in his heart. The fifth generation Yuan Taoist master had passed away just like that. A hero's downfall was like a mournful song, making people feel extremely sad. This was Zhang Lin's final destination. That radiant smile, that supreme demeanor, that golden silhouette that shattered under the first rays of dawn, became eternal, becoming an immortal scene that would be imprinted in the hearts of the people of the future. Zhang Lin. I don't want you to leave. As long as you can come back to life, I'm willing to sink into hell for all eternity to pray for you. Yang Yi wailed in despair. She knelt on the ground helplessly and used her fingertips to touch the ground where Zhang Lin was standing. She used her pure white robe to collect the osmium soil. She trembled, cried, and sobbed as she knelt there, burying her head in the soil, never wanting to get up again. The first rays of dawn shone into the Valley of Divinities. The grim reapers turned into ashes one after another, only leaving behind pieces of loose black robes that drifted down to the ground. At this moment, everything ended. The invincible battle team from the Violet Mountain had turned into dust, no longer existing. The Valley of Divinities was annihilated. Bang! Yi Fan acted with lightning speed, tapping on the center of Yang Yi's brows, stabilizing her crumbling immortal foundation. On her fair forehead, a trace of red flowed down. Yang Yi's eyes dimmed as she murmured, You've already left, what's the point of me living on? She didn't want to live alone in this world. She only wanted to die, to end this life and follow Zhang Lin. Ancestor Zhang Lin's only wish was for you to live on well, Yi Fan spoke in a light voice. Yang Yi was filled with grief, her tears fell like rain. She hugged the soil and caressed it, placing it on her chest before pressing it against her face, as though she would never let it go. She sobbed sorrowfully, tears blurring her eyes as she thought of the past. Ten thousand years ago, she was the Jade Pool's holy maiden. She was peerless in her generation and reigned supreme in the northern region. All the geniuses in the world went crazy for her. Zhang Lin, on the other hand, was heroic and imposing. He had mastered a peerless genesis technique and possessed the ability to penetrate the heavens and the earth. He stood proudly in the world, full of vigor and confidence. Ten thousand years ago, the Jade Lake Saintess and Zhang Lin were a perfect couple. One was a peerless celestial beauty, while the other was the center of attention. However, due to various reasons, the two missed each other in the end. Yang Yi was sad. Later, Zhang Lin married and had children. Many years later, he became the protector of the Jade Lake, protecting it in silence. In the latter half of their lives, they could only be bosom friends. Although they would occasionally meet, they could only stand respectfully. It was difficult for them to get close again. It wasn't until the grievous news came that Zhang Lin encountered an ominous event in his later years that he turned into a demon and passed away. 
Yang Yi finally broke free of all her shackles and rushed into the Purple Mountain, dying her own life for love. Ten thousand years had passed and the Blue Sea had turned into mulberry fields. However, to them, it was still the moment of separation. Their hearts had never changed. The eternal morning glow froze this sad scene. Yi Fan didn't want to watch anymore and turned around to enter the depths of the Valley of Divinities. Along the way, there was fresh blood and corpses everywhere. Skeletons were everywhere. All the ancient existences had died, not a single one survived. At the moment of daybreak, Zhang Lin unleashed a world-shaking divine law. Through the ages, one dream severed the Tao, slaying the entire Valley of Divinities. This was an immortal divine light. The three great ancestral kings were completely annihilated. Countless ancient existences were crushed and completely wiped out. This kind of battle prowess and style was hard to find in this world. He had killed three ancient saint-level existences in one night. What kind of divine courage and tyranny was this? Yi Fan entered the depths of the Valley of Divinities and entered the various ancient palaces. He carefully searched and, in the end, took away an ancient scripture and some rare treasures. However, he didn't sweep everything clean like locusts because that didn't match his status as a disciple under Great Emperor Wu Shi. Not long after, he walked out of the valley. Divine flames throbbed behind him, burning fiercely and drowning the heaven and earth. He activated the heaven origin forbidden formation that he laid down together with Zhang Lin. Endless draconic energy surged within the mountains and ravines. This place became a furnace that burned continuously and then collapsed. Senior Yang Yi, it's time to leave. Yi Fan said softly. The matters here had already been settled and couldn't stay here any longer. Yang Yi stood up and used her pure white clothes to wrap up the yellow soil. She wiped away the last drop of tears on her face and said, I know, I understand. Yi Fan was astonished and didn't understand what was going on. She stopped crying and a trace of luster appeared in her eyes. She became unswerving. Light flashed and an expanse of Tao patterns flickered. They stepped into the Void Realm gate and disappeared from this place. The endless mountain range was burning. The draconic energy underground rushed up and turned into resplendent light. Many mountains collapsed and smoke filled the sky. It continuously collapsed as if the end of the world had arrived. This place became a wasteland. What happened? Why is the Valley of Gods overflowing with flames? Are they carrying out a holy sacrifice? What powerful divine might fluctuations? Could it be that they are refining an unmatched ancient weapon? Ever since the Valley of Gods appeared, this place had long become a demonic land. No one dared to approach, and those who dared to intrude were killed without mercy. Everything within a range of several thousand li was a forbidden land. Something's not right. Look at that mountain collapsing and that valley caving in. It seems like it has been destroyed. Who are these people? Could it be that they are launching a large-scale attack on the Valley of Gods? Finally, everyone noticed the abnormality. Some people began to gather their courage and approach to see what kind of changes were taking place. What? There are corpses everywhere in the Valley of Gods? Blood has formed a river and dyed the ground red. There is not a single survivor. Everyone was horrified. Who exactly did this? To completely wipe out an archaic imperial race, this was simply unimaginable. The mountain was collapsing, the valley was sinking, and the great earth was caving in. Everything was being destroyed. This place became a land of disaster and could no longer be as grand as before. Wu Shi subordinate Zhang Lin has solemnly carried out the great emperor's decree to suppress and destroy the Valley of Gods. Everyone was horrified. These words were like a demonic curse that resounded through the mountains and ravines. They rumbled and resounded through heaven and earth. This was the heaven origin forbidden formation operating. A clear imprint continuously supported this place, activating unmatched heavenly might. It was as if a great emperor was roaring. The tremendous voice rumbled through this great earth. It was as if a celestial emperor's ancient war chariot passed by and crushed through the heavens. It stirred up everyone's bloodlust. The valley of gods has been wiped out. Who can tell me what exactly is going on? News immediately spread out, triggering a huge commotion. Divine City was the first stop, and then it spread in all directions. How is this possible? At first, everyone didn't believe it at all. What kind of place was the Valley of Gods? It was a great imperial race among the 10,000 archaic races. Even though it didn't produce archaic emperors like the Blood Phoenix Mountain, Divine Silkworm Ridge, or Fire Chilin Cave, it was still incomparably terrifying. It was a glorious great race. It really has been wiped out. Not only is the Divine Valley burning, even that region is collapsing. All of the great mountains are collapsing. There were people who swore to the heavens that they saw everything with their own eyes. This triggered a tremendous commotion. Soon after, the news was verified. It was unknown just how many cultivators hurried over to personally see what was going on. 
There were humans among them, and there were even more ancient races of different shapes and appearances. All of the creatures here were shocked. Everything here was too terrifying. Not a single one of them was left alive. The Valley of Gods has been wiped out, and it was a single clan wipeout. This was a piece of news that shocked everyone like thunder. It made everyone's ears ring with wang wang sounds, and even their souls were shaken. The northern region was immediately thrown into chaos. It was too shocking. Everything was just too inconceivable. An archaic imperial race was wiped out, becoming history in a single night, forever disappearing. Great Emperor, the human race still has a great emperor that hasn't died. It was Wu Shur who gave the order to wipe out the Valley of Gods. When this news was released, it was even more shocking than the Valley of Gods being wiped out. Everyone was stupefied, stupefied, almost petrified. Wu Shur's subordinate, Zhang Lin, has solemnly carried out the Great Emperor's decree to wipe out the Valley of Gods. This divine voice, after being supported by the Heaven Origin Divine Formation, became louder and louder. In the end, it was even more resounding than heavenly thunder. It rumbled and collapsed tens of thousands of mountains. This was a voice comparable to the berating of a great emperor. Everyone who heard it felt their souls tremble. They wanted to prostrate themselves in worship and kneel for eternity. In the end, the mountains and valleys collapsed, and the incomparably mysterious heaven origin forbidden formation disappeared without a trace. The traces left behind by Yi Fan and the others were completely erased. Everyone fought to spread this news, making many ancient races tremble in fear. The entire northern region was thrown into an uproar. Zhang Lin had already passed away, but this name was like the Heavenly Emperor's divine mark. It would never be erased, and it was engraved into everyone's hearts. Zhang Lin suppressed the northern region and wiped out the entire Valley of Gods. Exceptional style. The one under Great Emperor Wu Shur is indeed extraordinary. It's unimaginable that he killed a great archaic imperial race. The entire northern region was in an uproar. All the races were discussing this like boiling water. It was difficult to calm down. The mountains collapsed and the valleys collapsed. The ancient heaven origin formation disappeared without a trace. Many cultivators and countless experts rushed into the Valley of Gods in search of the treasures. In the past, no one dared to step into this place. But now, all the living beings rushed in together. Many human cultivators and ancient race experts opened up one burnt stone palace after another in the sunken earth veins and searched through the ruins. There were people who found many treasures and some rare treasures. Dozens of great treasures were opened one after another. On this day, the northern region was in chaos. The hearts of the ancient races trembled. They were all uneasy and fearful. The Valley of Gods was plundered in less than a day. Many people felt their hearts ache because the true divine treasury had already been burned to the ground. Only when the ancestral king personally arrived did the mountain range calm down. All the cultivators retreated in fear. Such a great event had shaken the northern region and shocked the entire world. It was impossible for the awakened ancestral king not to pay attention. In truth, there was an indescribable fear in their hearts. No one knew better than them how terrifying the three ancient kings of the Valley of Gods were. But they had been killed just like that. They had no choice but to personally come and investigate. They wanted to find out what had happened. Is the human Wu Shur really alive? Even his disciple can suppress the Valley of Gods. This Zhang Lin must be the all-knowing great sage. On this day, many ancient kings gathered in the ruins. They all felt a chill run down their spines. They felt an indescribable fear and their bodies were frozen. In this battle, only one woman from the Valley of Gods came out. She wasn't killed while the others were all killed. The survivor was called Zi Tianfeng. She was Zi Tiandu's sister. Ah! The Heavenly Prince roared. His face was ashen as he smashed a teacup. Many ancient races knew that he had persuaded the Valley of Gods to send troops to the southern mountains to massacre the barbarian race. But now, such a thing had happened. How can Wuxia still be alive? He gritted his teeth. The destruction of the Valley of Gods this time was a great blow to his prestige. As the son of God, he had a halo that others couldn't compare to, but he couldn't afford to squander it like this. Chapter 805 A person's life is but an instant in the long river of time. But if you die, it is forever, even longer than the ages. Don't talk about death so easily because life is much shorter than death. It is worth cherishing. These were the words Zhang Lin had said before. Yang Yi thought about it in a daze and her eyes became blurry again. In the end, she hugged the yellow soil and walked away step by step. Where was her next stop? Perhaps it was the old home of the Yuan Taoist master, perhaps it was where Zhang Lin's descendants lived, or perhaps it was the Jade Lake. Yi Fan watched her leave and could only sigh. He couldn't help her because many things had to be done by oneself. Only then could one truly pass this trial. The northern region was in chaos. The unfathomable valley of gods had been wiped out and removed from the myriad races. 
This overturned everyone's thoughts and exceeded everyone's expectations. As one of the great ancient royal races, they had experienced thousands of tribulations and had existed since ancient times. What kind of enemies had they not met before? The Archaic Era was extremely cruel. The ancient races were like trees in a forest and had experienced bloody battles. The battles between the races could easily last for tens of thousands of years. They were the cream of the crop. Otherwise, how could they have been passed down? The more they fought, the braver they became, and they were given the title of royal race. They were used to great scenes and had encountered countless great enemies. After passing through the great calamity of the Archaic Era, they thought they could rule the world and slowly cultivate for thousands of years. Who would have thought that they would be destroyed as soon as they were born? Moreover, this was done by the human race they looked down on. One had to know that in the Archaic Era, this race was not looked upon favorably and had faced extermination several times. They had reached this day with great difficulty. They had just woken up from their slumber and thought that their glorious era had arrived, but this was the end. Many ancient races gasped and felt a chill in their hearts. The entire northern region was not calm. Only the human race was excited and their blood was boiling. The people under Great Emperor Wu Shi's command had moved everyone's hearts. The impact of this battle was too great. All the ancient races were scared. Even the powerful Valley of Gods had been destroyed. Who wouldn't be scared? Yi Fan was gratified after hearing this news. Zhang Lin did not die in vain. He had suppressed the northern region in one battle and everyone was afraid. He did not waste any time and hurried to his burial place to retrieve his true body. Back then, considering that it was too dangerous to enter the Purple Mountain, he left behind his physical body and a wisp of his primordial spirit before he left, leaving behind the hope of resurrection. The mountainous area was tranquil. Not a single blade of grass grew, and not a single sound could be heard. Yi Fan dug through the soil layer and went several thousand meters underground. His expression changed on the spot. Someone has been here. He immediately became anxious. This was his Tao body, the foundation of proving the Tao. He couldn't bear the slightest mishap. Who was it that came here? When he came to the deepest part of the underground, he saw a thief's hole, it was as if it was made by nature. Yi Fan's nose almost became crooked from anger, he cursed, that dog Duanda. This immoral fatty wasn't in front of him. If he was here, he wouldn't mind hanging him up and beating him up, turning him into a thug and turning him into a mad demon. I am a great archaeologist. There was only this line of words in the underground stone chamber, and the origin heaven formation pattern that Yi Fan had set up was disintegrated. Fatty Duan. Yi Fan grinded his teeth. Where was this bastard now? How could he find him? He left this place and used the heaven and earth transformation technique to rejuvenate this flesh shell. He then walked towards the human city because he wanted to know what had happened during the month he was missing. He didn't know if he didn't understand, but now that he understood, he was shocked. This fatty really dared to make a fuss. The heavenly prince was called an egg, and Yuan Gu was called a watermelon. He challenged everywhere and threatened to fight a decisive battle, but each time, he would brush past the enemy and never fight. This damned fatty had been provoking and clamoring everywhere for a month. Even the Valley of Gods was cursed like a hammer. He had the spirit of being the enemy of the whole world and being the only one in the world. It was also a kind of ability that he hadn't been killed and was still alive. During this month, the human race's saint physique was in the limelight. If not for the destruction of the Valley of Gods, he would definitely be the topic of discussion. Yi Fan was speechless. Even though the people Duanda had provoked were all people he wanted to kill, this bastard was really asking for a beating. He chased all the way, wanting to find traces of him and seize his true body. However, this bastard seemed to know that he had made too many enemies recently and that it was somewhat dangerous. He had hidden himself, and it was difficult to find him. In the following half a month, the northern region was in chaos. All the races were thinking and investigating in secret, wanting to know the truth. Blood Phoenix Mountain, Divine Silkworm Ridge, and Fire Chilin Cave had produced ancient emperors before. It was hard to say whether there were emperor weapons or other hidden resources. Even they were shocked and searched everywhere. Whether or not the great ancient emperor was still alive became a sore point for all the ancient races. According to reason, he shouldn't be living in this world, but this battle was too frightening. Why is it like this? The archaic ancestral king muttered and pondered for a long time without saying anything. During the archaic years, ancient trees towered into the heavens and strange beasts ran amok. Great battles often broke out between different races, but it was rare for it to be this easy. The Valley of Gods was completely destroyed in a single night. In the following month, the northern region was still in chaos. No one dared to make any big movements out of fear of touching some bottom line. Finally, the great ancient imperial families discussed and issued a notice. They said that becoming an immortal was the ultimate goal of cultivators and that there was no need to kill each other on this path. When this news was released, the world was in an uproar. 
The tone of the ancient races clearly softened quite a bit, as if they were no longer high and mighty and were willing to live in harmony with the human race. Regardless of whether it is the archaic emperors or the great human emperors of the later generations, they have all said that all things reinforce and subdue each other. There is a reason for the reproduction of different races, and the heavens treat everyone equally. Someone from the archaic imperial family said these words, and it shook the world. Did they change their unyielding attitude? Were they really going to treat the human race peacefully? After the sect masters of the human race learned of this, they faintly guessed at the ancient race's fear and intentions. They quickly responded, saying that a rarely seen great era had arrived and that it should be a flourishing age and not a terrifying age of chaos. In the following period of time, the northern region's chaos eased by a great deal. Whether it was the human race or the ancient races, they all let out a long breath of relief. During this period of time, all sides were probing each other. They sent out some signals through some special occasions, and many of them were critical issues. In the end, as if they had reached a tacit understanding, the ancient races no longer said that they would go on an expedition to conquer the regions with the most spirit medicines, dragon energy, earth marrow, and other such resources. The human great sects also expressed their stance at a suitable time. The five regions were vast and boundless, and there were many famous mountains and rivers that could be conquered. The ten thousand races wouldn't lack pure lands. Zhang Lin's battle had shaken the northern region, and the world seemed to have calmed down. It was unlikely that chaos would occur in the near future. However, all the great sects knew that this was only a temporary calm. No one knew what would happen in the future. Ancestor, this battle of yours caused the various races of the supreme ancient immortal realms to fear you. Your achievements will forever be remembered by the human race. Yi Fan let out a long sigh. He poured a bowl of wine on the ground and offered it to the ancestor. At the same time, he felt a sense of nostalgia. Great Emperor Wu Shi's fame was truly unrivaled. This time, borrowing his name had played an inconceivable role. This might not last long. Yi Fan muttered to himself. If he wanted to continue shocking them, it would only become more and more difficult. Although there were still a few steps he could take, it wasn't time yet. At the very least, there would be a period of peace. He had to quickly grow up so that when the true dark chaos erupted, he would have a foothold. The ten thousand ancient races were inextricably linked to the seven great life forbidden zones. This was a place that not even the ancient emperors could completely raise to the ground. If one thought about it deeply, it was just too terrifying. Had a period of relative peace arrived? Everyone was rejoicing. It was just that no one knew how long this would last. Duanda you bastard, where did you go exactly? Yi Fan cursed. Amitba. On this day, in the distant western desert, an ancient Buddhist chant rang out from Mount Meru, shaking all the ancient temples. On this day, a Buddha child from the western desert crossed the central continent and entered the eastern wasteland. Finally, he came to the northern region and brought a decree. Peace under the heavens. There were only these four words, bold and powerful. The moment it was unfolded, the heavenly Tao rumbled. Divine sounds descended from the heavens and Tao light rushed into the heavens. It was as if a group of ancient Buddhas were chanting. Their voices resounded throughout the world, shocking everyone. The victorious fighting Buddha had not died. This news spread out immediately. The five regions were shaken, and even the ancient races were shocked. All the ancient kings were shaken. Regardless of whether it was the human race or the archaic races, they didn't know what kind of feelings they should have towards him, because it was rumored that he was an archaic king, but he converted to the human race's Buddhism, cultivating on Mount Meru and becoming a Buddha. Previously, it was rumored that he had passed away in seclusion. Unexpectedly, he didn't die and was still alive in this world. Even the ancient races were incomparably powerful, but they couldn't help but be wary of him, let alone the human race. Who was the victorious fighting Buddha? It was rumored that he was a sacred ape, the younger brother of the ancient fighting sacred emperor. He had grown up under his guidance and his cultivation was terrifyingly high. Back then, he feared nothing and could rampage through the world. His cultivation was comparable to sacred emperors of the same age and he had killed countless powerful existences. If it was really him, even the strongest ancient king would have to think twice before jumping out. Moreover, after the ancient races came out, they all went to the ancient land of the battle sacred ape lineage to search. They didn't sense the aura of the old sacred emperor's weapon. Many people guessed that it had been taken away by his younger brother. The younger brother of the ancient emperor of fighting, if he had an ancient imperial weapon, who could resist? It wouldn't be too much of a problem if he wanted to wipe out an entire race. He had come out of seclusion at this time and passed down such a decree. It would naturally cause a huge commotion. Was the victorious fighting Buddha trying to mediate the current conflict and make all sides calm down? This wasn't something that just anyone could do. However, no one dared to say anything against him. Yi Fan was quite shocked. Laozi, Sakyamuni, victorious fighting Buddha. There was finally still one of these familiar names in this world that hadn't gone far. 
Not long after, the northern region was in a heated discussion. It was almost boiling because the ancient races had actually proposed to hold a meeting of the myriad races. This was definitely shocking news, and it was most likely related to the victorious fighting Buddha. At that time, all the races would have to send people to participate. Such a grand meeting would definitely cause a sensation. Many sect masters of the human race responded. They felt that there should be such a meeting. At that time, they could sit down and discuss some important issues in detail. Chapter 806 Previously, the situation had been tense. The ancient imperial family had wanted to massacre the Southern Mountain's barbarian race. But now, such a reversal had occurred. Zhang Lin had succeeded in suppressing the northern region, and the convention of the myriad races was about to follow. This was beyond everyone's expectations. Half a month later, there was definite news that the convention wasn't empty talk. It was really going to be held, and it had already been confirmed. The world was in an uproar. The ancient races were too mysterious to the human race. They were all incomparably powerful. Now, they were actually going to sit face to face and discuss the future. This was truly a huge matter. That damn Duanda, let's see where you can run this time. Yi Fan believed that such a convention would definitely involve the unscrupulous Taoist. However, he wasn't worried that Fatty Duan wouldn't return the body because the heaven devouring demon jar was still in his hands. The damn Fatty probably did this because he was afraid that he wouldn't return it. The convention of the myriad races was definitely incomparably grand. Where and when it was held would definitely be very particular. This was because this was a matter of great importance. The ancient races were extremely powerful. If they really wiped out the human race experts, they wouldn't even have a place to cry. In the end, after discussions between the races and the request of the human race, the venue of the convention was chosen to be the Jade Pool. This was a safe arrangement. The Jade Pool had the Green Gold Pagoda of Immortal Tears, which was also the West Emperor Pagoda. There was no need to fear any unforeseen events, and it could make the races behave themselves. To show their sincerity, the ancient race agreed to this request. Because they hadn't left the northern region, they had nothing to fear if there was a war. The humans were somewhat surprised to see them agree so readily. They couldn't help but think of Blood Phoenix Mountain, Divine Silkworm Ridge, Fire Chilin Cave, and other places that had produced emperors. Could they all have ancient emperor weapons? These days, Yi Fan had been nourishing this saint body with spirit medicines. He consumed a lot every day, and what he needed was bought from the auction house of the northern region Divine City. Now, he didn't lack source power. At this level, he could turn stone into gold. Moreover, he had flattened the Wang family of the northern plains and bathed the divine valley in blood. He had obtained a lot of divine source. This old body, after being nourished for half a month, was sparkling and translucent. Then, he used the heaven and earth transformation art to transform it into his own appearance and reconstruct it. During these past few days, he had been cultivating his flesh shell while comprehending the Tao. The ancient scripture he obtained from the Valley of Gods was indeed extraordinary. It had its own unique aspects, explaining how to strengthen the primordial spirit. The fist-sized golden figure sat cross-legged on the immortal foundation of a sage. His entire body radiated resplendent golden light as he cultivated the divine spirit condensation technique of the ancient races. His body grew increasingly sturdier and more imperishable. Beams of divine light shot out one after another, converging together to form nine divine halos. They appeared on the immortal platform and revolved around Yi Fan. After being enlightened by this ancient scripture and being remodeled, he firmly stood on the ninth minor step of the second level of the immortal foundation realm, moving towards the perfection boundary. Yi Fan's spirit resided within the sacred shell. He borrowed the exuberant golden blood energy to refine his spirit and possessed an extremely powerful effect. Buzz. The void trembled. Yi Fan's spirit stepped out from the space between his brows. It was only the size of a fist, but it became more and more solid. Nine divine rings appeared behind his head, turning into undying Tao light. There was a vague sound of the great Tao resonating, rumbling about. Whoosh. Finally, with a flash of light, the golden figure once again sat cross-legged on the immortal foundation. At the same time, the sacred shell opened its eyes. There's still some time before the convention of the myriad races. Let's go see some old friends first. During these days, Yi Fan felt vaguely uneasy. After such a long time, he still hadn't heard any news from Pang Bo. He didn't know where he was or if he was still alive. Two days later, he crossed into the southern region and entered the Supreme Mystery Sect. Step by step, he came to the humble peak. This peak was still the same as before. There was no magnificent waterfall, no picturesque scenery, and there was no fragrance of flowers and birds. There were only a few stone halls that were about to collapse and large patches of weeds. The others didn't notice, but on the lonely peak overgrown with weeds, an old man opened his eyes and looked down. Yi Fan was shocked. Old man Li Ruoyu's strength was unfathomable. He came here on the body of a sage and stepped on the row incantation, but he was still discovered. 
Why did you change your physical body? Li Ruoyu asked. His eyes were like torches as he stared straight at the source. Yi Fan was surprised. Every time he saw this old man, his cultivation level would increase greatly. His speed was frightening. Back then, Li Ruoyu sat on the humble peak for hundreds of years and didn't make any progress until he finally soared into the sky. It could be said that a great talent matured slowly. Greetings, senior. Yi Fan bowed. Back then, the old man had done him a great favor and allowed him to obtain the Bu incantation. When he was chased by all the holy lands and no one dared to interact with him, the old man recognized him as his disciple. Li Ruoyu nodded in satisfaction. Seeing Yi Fan's primordial spirit sitting on the ninth small step of the second layer of the immortal foundation, he was very satisfied. Yi Fan. Within a ruined palace hall, a man walked out. He was extremely moved, grabbing his hand with a single motion. Although he had entered the sacred shell, before coming here, Yi Fan had molded it into his own appearance. Zhang Wenchang recognized him at a glance. It's me. I heard that you entered the starry space ancient pathway and left together with the nine dragons pulling the coffin. Twelve years later, you returned. What happened exactly? Did you really return to the other side of the starry space? Zhang Wenchang asked in agitation. He missed his wife and son, he couldn't forget the past. No. Yi Fan shook his head. He sat down and told Li Ruoyu and Zhang Wenchang about his experiences in the past ten years. After that, he asked about the mysterious man attacking the humble peak. If he wanted to understand clearly what kind of enemy he was, he had to have an idea. The invaders are extraordinary. Old man Li Ruoyu spoke. Yi Fan started. He could sense that this old man had already severed his Tao and was definitely a king. Yet, he still had such an evaluation. This was no small matter. A badly damaged nine orifice stone golem was the main attacker. The others didn't act and were merely spectating from afar. What? How is this possible? Yi Fan was dumbfounded. When had he provoked such a creature? How could it be like this? Zhang Wenchang's cultivation was only at the four extreme secret realm, but old man Li Ruoyu was very satisfied. He said that there would be a day when a dragon would soar. Yi Fan sighed. In this world, perhaps only this old man was willing to teach this disciple. If it was anyone else, they would have long since abandoned him. He had a vague feeling that this old man would definitely have great accomplishments in the future. Every time they met, he would experience a qualitative leap. His cultivation speed was terrifying. Senior, this is an ancient scripture I obtained. I can't understand it, so I want to give it to you. Yi Fan took out a scroll of scripture. It was given to him by the third beauty of the central plains, Princess Yudai. She said it was written by an ancient emperor in his later years. It was different from other methods. It talked about flowers, birds, fishes, and bugs, standing aloof from worldly affairs. That kind of mentality was almost impossible for humans. Moreover, there were no secret techniques or Tao methods. Yi Fan studied it for a long time but couldn't find a way. He believed that this ancient scripture wasn't suitable for him. He had always wanted to find an opportunity to give it to Li Ruoyu because he felt it was too similar to the great Tao of nature. As expected, when the old man received the scroll and carefully studied it, he revealed a serious expression for the first time. He sighed and said, as expected, it was written by an ancient emperor. I hope it can help senior comprehend the Tao. Yi Fan believed that this scripture was given to the right person. Rather than calling it an ancient scripture, it's better to call it a handwritten letter. I believe this was either left behind by the Grand Emperor or written by Emperor Hung Yu in his later years. Li Ruoyu said. Yi Fan was astonished. The old man was unfathomable as expected. He could even deduce this. When the day comes when you are about to become a saint, come back here and retrieve this ancient scripture. Although there is no specific method, carefully studying it will be greatly beneficial. It can help you pass the test, the old man said solemnly. Wen Chang, I'll wait for the day you soar into the heavens. Yi Fan stood up and bid farewell to Li Ruoyu. Not long after, he went to the Ji family. Of course, he was secretly led in. He came to the ancient cave where Ji Haoyue was cultivating in seclusion. It was very lively here. Yan Ishi, Li Tian, Li Heishui, and the others were all here. They were all very excited. Little Yi, you succeeded. The Wuxia bell rang for three months in a row. That's too abnormal. Li Heishui said. How did you destroy the Divine Spirit Valley? Tell us quickly, Li Tian said. Big Brother Yi, was it really you who cursed the Heavenly Prince and Yuan Gu? Dong Fang Man asked. Their hearts were filled with questions. They were shocked by everything that had happened recently and couldn't understand it. Yi Fan told them everything in detail. They couldn't help but sigh when he mentioned Zhang Lin's death. Zhang Lin's heroic spirit is unparalleled and he died. 
However, I feel that Yang Yi might be in pain. Why is reality always so helpless? Ji Ziyue murmured. In the end, they all went north because the convention of the myriad races was about to begin. Rumor had it that Huang Shudao, Fire Qilin, the Divine Silkworm Daoist, the Heavenly Prince, Yuan Gu and the others would all appear. Not to mention the true giants of the ancient races. Some of them would definitely appear. At that time, it would really be a gathering of the wind and clouds. However, they separated and didn't travel together. This was due to Yi Fan's strong request. The main reason was that the bastard Duanda had caused a lot of trouble for him. He didn't know when someone would jump out to settle the score. The human race's sacred physique was too popular recently. There was still half a month before the convention of the myriad races would begin, but countless cultivators had already arrived in advance and entered this area. In the northern region, there were patches of scarlet land that easily spanned tens of thousands of miles. Not even a blade of grass grew, and most of them were barren lands. Although the Jade Lake was in the northern region, it wasn't one of them. It was located in an area with fragrant flowers and pleasant scenery. There was the tranquility of a bamboo forest, the natural nature of a stone arch bridge, and the spectacular sight of a 3,000-foot waterfall. Yi Fan had already been here during the Feast of Peaches, so he wasn't unfamiliar with this place. He didn't expect that the convention of the myriad races would be held here again. He didn't go in but stayed outside the Jade Lake, quietly waiting for Fatty Duan to appear. After waiting for seven or eight days, his target really showed up. Yi Fan was so angry that the roots of his teeth were itching. He saw another him, dressed in purple and had a heroic appearance. However, upon closer inspection, his gaze was too crafty and he didn't seem like a good person. This bastard. His other self swaggered over without the slightest bit of concealment. Moreover, he had his hands behind his back and looked down on the world. Damn fatty. Yi Fan rushed over immediately and shouted, scaring Duanda. He then said with a smile, why are you so fierce? If you want to vent your anger, I'll go all out and let you beat me to your heart's content. Damn you, that's my body. Throw your skin out and let me kick you to my heart's content. Chapter 807 Fatty Duan came over as if he was asking for a beating. Hit me with everything you've got, I'll let you vent your anger. Damn Duanda, this is my flesh. Yi Fan grabbed his collar and resisted the urge to beat him into a pig's head. He actually wanted to kick him crazily. This damn fatty was too hateful. No matter how he looked at him, he looked like he deserved a beating. His smile was unlikable. Jade Lake. Auspicious energy swirled around spiritual peaks, auspicious earth accompanied by multicolored clouds. The beautiful lake was enshrouded in mist, creating a picturesque scene. Gazing into the distance, there was no lack of majestic energy amidst the beauty. 3,000 feet of silver waterfalls, 8,000 zhang of giant mountains, grand and magnificent like a Kunlun immortal realm. Outside the Jade Lake, there were people descending on auspicious clouds from time to time. There were humans riding on flying swords, as well as ancient creatures shrouded in demonic energy. During this distinguished meeting, all of the 10,000 archaic races will come. Are you just throwing your life away by swaggering through the streets like this? Yi Fan pressed down on his head, wanting to forcefully extract his primordial spirit. Don't worry, the first rule of the Jade Lake Distinguished Meeting is that no matter how great the enmity is, no battles are allowed here. Duanda resisted with all his might. Yi Fan was shocked. This damned fatty was truly a bit unfathomable. He actually couldn't force out his primordial spirit. I'll return it to you later. This place isn't suitable. Duanda grimaced in pain. It was clear that he was under great pressure as well. Don't waste your energy. No matter what, this grandpa is still someone who will rebuild after breaking, even though I still broke in the end. From time to time, creatures riding on ancient treasures passed by. When they saw them, they couldn't help but give them a few glances. Soon after, someone finally recognized them. Isn't that the human race's holy body? He also came. Many people were shocked. Quite daring, actually daring to come here. Aren't you scared of having your tendons pulled out and your bones peeled off? An old ancient creature laughed coldly in the distance. Duanda sneered and said, with this one here, you can just f asterisk king stay where you are. Even though the distinguished meeting has rules that forbid killing, if you provoke me, I'll still blast you into dregs. That ancient creature released a cold snort and turned around to leave. He came from a small clan, so he didn't dare to recklessly take action here. Otherwise, if he really was killed by the Western Emperor Pagoda, no one would help him. You feel good using my body to show off, don't you? Yi Fan's expression was not friendly, but he did not immediately withdraw his body. Because, he was already at the peak of the second level of Immortal Foundation. Once his spirit and shell fused together, he would definitely attract a supreme heavenly tribulation. It was truly not suitable for him to do so in the Jade Lake. This was also the reason why he had the confidence to enter the Jade Pool. 
Even when facing the ancestors, he dared to trigger the thunder punishment and let them suffer the great tribulation of the saints. I say, brat, you need to be honest. The heaven-devouring demon jar is with you, so why would I show my might? When are you going to return it to me? Fatty Duan said forcefully. They walked into the jade pool side by side. Yi Fan didn't pay any more attention to him. He just felt that if he really needed to go through the heavenly tribulation, he would first strike this bastard until white smoke came out of him. You don't say, the various races of the supreme ancient immortal realms all have their own personalities. Look over there, there's a fellow with the head of a dog, the body of a human, and a pair of pure white divine wings on his back. There's even a divine halo around him, how interesting. Duanda commented. Shut up for me. If you dare to say another word, I will seal your mouth. Yi Fan spoke. This bastard actually dared to use his fleshly body to attract hatred here. He was truly asking for a beating. In that case, let's split up. You walk your path and I'll walk mine. Let's not obstruct each other's eyes. Duanda hesitated. After that, he stared at a figure that resembled a fiend god as he spoke, what's the origin of this person? He's so ferocious and has four heads and eight arms. I'm sure it won't be easy to slaughter him. It was clear that the ancient creature in front of them heard their words. Its black hair was thick, and it wore King Clan armor. It was a dignified divine object, its eyes as sharp as sword radiance. If you keep grumbling, I don't want your body anymore. Either way, I have an even more powerful divine shell. The heaven-devouring devil jar will belong to me. Yi Fan threatened. Don't. Let's just walk around and chat. If I say any more, just slap my mouth. I won't resist at all. Mother of asterisk her, that's my body. Hey, look, there's a deity over there. He really is ferocious and powerful. His entire body is shining. If we hang him up, he might be able to become an everlasting lamp. Your mouth really is lowly. That's a king-level expert. I'll skin you alive later. Just skin me then. I won't resist at all. Return my body to me. I'm just speaking casually. Hey, look, there's an unmatched overlord over there. He has nine beautiful women's heads, yet he has a phoenix body. It's truly inconceivable. Those tail feathers are so beautiful. Pung. Yi Fan covered his mouth. This bastard's mouth was truly deserving of being trampled on. His mouth had reached the acme of perfection. Mother of Asterisk Kerr, don't cover my mouth. I actually just wanted to say that a fan made from phoenix feathers is definitely priceless. I dug up a saint's tomb before, but unfortunately, a senior had already visited and only found a precious fan stone inscription. What a pity. Fatty Duan was like a dead pig that wasn't afraid of boiling water. There were still a few more days before the myriad clans meeting would begin, but many cultivators had already arrived at the Jade Pool. The races stood in great numbers and their appearances were all different. Many of the creatures were like gods and demons, extremely frightening. The Jade Pool was very vast, but there were many restrictions. Many areas couldn't be set foot in. With the divine might of the immortal tears green golden pagoda covering the sky and earth, no one dared to take a step forward. However, the area that was open for the meeting was also very vast. Precious trees were verdant and ancient trees were everywhere. There were spiritual peaks one after another, and there were lakes one after another. Clouds and multicolored clouds adorned the pure land. The area was vast enough, just to avoid conflicts from clashing with the different races. Dang! The divine bell rang out in a long and drawn-out manner. Many human race sect masters and ancient creatures all went out to welcome them. A cave master of the Fire Chilin Cave's 13th cave had arrived. This kind of identity couldn't help but be respectful. This was a race that had produced ancient emperors. They were extremely powerful during the archaic years, and there was a period when they ruled over the world. The tens of thousands of races all revered them, and there was no one who didn't fear them. They had wiped out many great races that didn't obey their orders. This race's inheritance is ancient, and the most terrifying thing is that there is an ancient prince still alive. He is their bloodline's trump card, personally sealed in the divine source by the archaic emperor back then. Some people discussed. Now that the various races appeared in the world, many secrets were revealed. The so-called ancient emperor's son should be the fire Chilin. I wonder if he came or not. I believe he will definitely come to this kind of distinguished meeting. An ancient creature spoke with reverence. Even though they were all archaic races, there was still a difference in status, to the extent where the difference was like the clouds and mud. The human race didn't know for sure, but they could infer one or two things from the sons of the ancient great emperors. The sons of the ancient great emperors, every single one of them were exceptional figures from past to present, all of them only half a step away from verifying the Tao. They possessed incomparable talent and terrifyingly powerful bloodline power. These weren't empty words, because during the darkness chaos, there were imperial sons who appeared, sacrificing themselves for the Tao, suppressing all of the great chaos. 
Unfortunately, those heroes were all used up in the darkness chaos. If not for the fact that they were born in the same era as their imperial fathers, they would have already verified the Tao back then. Now, even though these ancient princes hadn't grown up yet, not reaching great success, they still avoided their father's generation. Sooner or later, they would definitely shock the world. Sai, do you know why I challenged the heavenly princess and Yuan Gu, and then missed them each time? Duanda was in a bad mood. Those bastards really are powerful. Even if we are at the same level, I still feel like the divine body doesn't have any advantage. Yi Fan was speechless. He had never believed that the divine body was number one under the heavens. The bloodline of the previous generations of ancient emperors was incomparable. There was nothing much to say, but he believed that he could compete with them. However, he knew that verifying the Tao wasn't determined by one's bloodline. Back then, the great emperor was merely a mortal, but in the end, he stepped on the corpses of many kings to reach the apex, becoming unrivaled throughout the ages. Comparatively speaking, Yuan Gu isn't the most terrifying because he has the bloodline of the ancient emperors. Duanda actually revealed this piece of information. Half a day later, the divine bell rang again. One of the seventeen mountain lords of the blood Phoenix Mountain had arrived. His status was illustrious and incomparably respected. This bloodline had also produced ancient emperors and ruled over an archaic era. In the following two days, the human race was in an awkward situation. Up until now, only the barbarian king could be considered to be able to control the situation. There were no other kings. This was indeed an unnatural scene. The divine bell rang every day, but up until now, only the barbarian king of the human race was worthy of greeting. One didn't need to think to know that on the day of the great assembly, some great races would definitely send ancient kings. However, did the human race still have saints in this era? When they thought of this problem, many people didn't have the confidence to raise their heads. It would be great if great emperor Wu appeared. Even if all the ancient kings of the various races came, they wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, even if the emperor's might doesn't appear, when the time comes, the human race's great sage Zhang Lin can also come personally. Many people in the human race were discussing like this to cover up their current predicament. Yi Fan and Duanda had always been carefully observing. They understood the various races of the archaic era and compared their strengths. Saying that there were 10,000 races was actually an exaggeration. How could there be so many? Two days later, a commotion broke out outside the Jade Pool. Although the divine bell didn't ring, many people rushed over to take a look. Who has arrived? Duanda was suspicious. Let's go take a look, said Yi Fan. Outside the jade pool, a young man walked over. He seemed calm, but every step he took seemed to harmonize with the heaven and earth. There was an indescribable rhythm to it. This was an extremely beautiful man. His appearance would make many women in the world jealous. He could be said to be peerless in style. His entire body was sparkling and flowing with divine splendor. There were several old servants protecting him. This was the first time Yi Fan had seen a man who was even more handsome than Hua Yunfei. There was nothing to pick on and he was close to perfection. Heavenly Prince Many ancient creatures bowed together. They were extremely sincere and there wasn't the slightest bit of falsehood. This was the son of the undying Heavenly Emperor. He had appeared today. Yi Fan's eyes flickered with light. He finally saw the only bloodline of the deities in the hearts of the various races of the Archaic Era. The heavenly prince was surrounded by a five-colored divine ring. He was like the son of a deity that descended into this world. Even his hair seemed to be sparkling as he walked over step by step. His eyes were extremely deep. Within them, there were actually mountains and rivers evolving, the vicissitudes of time, and all kinds of deductions of ascension to immortality. It was truly shocking. Yi Fan was astonished. This was definitely the precious inheritance left behind by the undying heavenly emperor. It was a priceless secret. The heavenly prince stared at Yi Fan and Duanda with a single glance. His eyes swirled with radiance. An elder behind him even snorted coldly. Human race's holy physique, you came as well. This time, you finally didn't miss it. Let's see where you can run to this time. That elder sneered coldly. His killing intent was boundless. Suddenly, a long roar sounded from the distance. However, a streak of golden holy light had already arrived before the sound. It carried with it heaven overflowing blood energy as it smashed down with a large black rod. You're right. Let's see where you can run to this time. A golden figure rushed over and shouted loudly. Audacious. An old servant behind the heavenly prince walked up and blocked in front of him, facing this large rod. Pooh. Without any suspense, after the black rod smashed down, this unfathomably powerful old servant was smashed into meat paste. He was crushed on the spot. This was actually a golden holy ape. Its entire body was resplendent and blood energy filled the sky. It faced the sky and roared with incomparable might. Yi Fan was overjoyed. The monkey was unharmed and actually arrived today. 
The others all turned pale with fright. The son of the emperor of fighting had arrived. His status was high, and he came for the heavenly prince. No one could compare to him. Chapter 808 After a few months, the monkey appeared in this world again. He didn't encounter a great disaster. He stood there with a large black gold rod in his hand, appearing extremely heroic. At this moment, his eyes were fiery, and the hair on his body flickered with brilliance. It was as if they were cast from gold. His entire body was resplendent, as if a deity had descended into the mortal world. The large black rod was dripping with blood. One of the heavenly prince's protectors was beaten into a pile of mush. Bones and blood flew everywhere. The sacred prince appeared and even faced off against the heavenly prince. This was undoubtedly a huge commotion, triggering a huge commotion. Then, news quickly spread, and many people hurried over after hearing the news. What is the meaning of this? The heavenly prince's black hair scattered about. He was surrounded by a five-colored divine ring. There were nine of them in total, protecting him at the center. The monkey was extremely domineering. Golden holy light surged around his body, and the large black gold rod in his hand pointed forward. He looked forward arrogantly and said, I don't have any other intentions. I just want to slaughter you. In all directions, everyone's expressions changed greatly. The inheritor of the battle sacred ape bloodline had arrived. This was truly a confrontation that exceeded everyone's expectations. The sacred prince against the heavenly prince could be said to be opposing each other with equal harshness. Their statuses were all illustrious, and many archaic races had to bow down to them. They were the ones with the most powerful bloodlines, and their origins were terrifying. There was no need to talk about the undying emperor. There were countless legends about him, and he was an unrivaled existence that exceeded deities. The emperor of fighting was the last emperor of the archaic years. His strength was tyrannical and could be said to be heaven-defying. He was known as the sacred emperor, and he was the only one since ancient times. Their descendants clashed, and it was like a comet smashing into the great earth. The radiance was dazzling, and everyone couldn't help but pay attention. This was a clash between the most powerful descendants. Sacred prince, you are unrestrained, killing my subordinates in front of everyone. Do you think my temper is too gentle? The heavenly prince walked forward. His appearance was heroic and majestic, perfect, and extremely dazzling. It was as if an ancient emperor had revived. I already said that I am going to kill you. In the past, you incited many people to take action against me, yet you still have the face to say these words. Today, I have recovered from my injuries, and I am going to kill all of you with a single strike. The monkey's aura was extremely wild. The golden battle saint's aura surged through the nine heavens like a war god. None of the ancient creatures here dared to speak. They all felt great reverence towards these two. This was a battle between ancient princes, and normal people had no qualifications to interfere. Boom! The black cudgel in monkey's hand swung down, dripping with blood. Droplets of blood dripped down, causing the void to tremble incessantly like a rag. The expression of an old servant behind the heavenly prince changed. He walked up to face the attack, not allowing his master to advance. He activated a copper lamp, the flame of the lamp's wick burning the heavens, suppressing downwards. Crack. The dark gold rod in the monkey's hand was even heavier than a mountain. It shattered the light and extinguished the divine flames, and it shattered the copper lamp into pieces with the might of Mount Tai. Pooh. There was still no suspense. This extremely powerful old servant's head was blasted into countless peach blossoms. Even his primordial spirit couldn't escape, destroyed in his flesh. I've become a king. A servant behind the heavenly prince exclaimed. He quickly rushed forward and stood in front of the heavenly prince, blocking the monkey's attack. Clang. This old servant held a dragon horn mace that released a string of scarlet light. A scarlet dragon flew out and collided with a large mace, releasing waves of Tao sounds. All types of auspicious lights and auspicious colors shone brilliantly. This was a confrontation between kings. The people in the back were horrified, all of them quickly backing up. An expert of this level was rarely seen in the human race, making many sect masters suck in a cold breath of air. The great battle was fast and intense. The monkey was like the emperor of fighting, trampling on heaven and earth, the large rod sweeping out, valiant under the heavens, brandishing the world. Dang! Sparks flew in all directions between the metal rod and the dragon horn mace. Strand after strand of auspicious energy was destroyed, auspicious light scattered. The great Tao traces were blasted apart. The monkey's power suppressed all directions, blasting this old servant until he coughed out blood and retreated. Truly worthy of being the son of the holy emperor, famous for his fighting prowess, intimidating the world. He injured me when he was just at the initial stage of severing the Tao. This old servant's chest rose and fell intensely, his entire body swirling with radiance. He was extremely shocked. Good. Yi Fan was sincerely happy for the monkey. Not only did the monkey return alive, it even crossed a threshold that was extremely difficult to cross. 
one had to understand that the third immortal severing Dao had stopped who knew how many people. Those with world-shocking talent might face even greater resistance. The Heavenly Prince's expression finally changed. He was also stuck at this trial, not successfully severing the Dao even now. If he faced the monkey just now, it would most likely be disastrous. Child of God, do not take action. What you lack is only time. A year of cultivation is equivalent to a hundred years of cultivation for others. In the future, no one will be able to contend against you. That old servant spoke. Sacred Prince, you are a member of the Archaic Emperor race, yet you walk together with the human race's divine body, even taking action against the various clans. Are you going to betray your ancestors? The Heavenly Prince shouted. You really care too much. Who I walk together with, do you have the right to care? Also, stop putting so many hats on me. During the Archaic Era, the 10,000 clans stood in great numbers, fighting all year round. Blood flowed like rivers in the savage Great Earth, and as for how many clans were wiped out, no one could say for sure. I've never heard of the 10,000 clans being a single family, all of them dominating for thousands of years. Apart from this, the human race is also a branch of the 10,000 clans. Regardless of whether I walk together with the human race's divine body or the Blood Phoenix Mountain's inheritor, there isn't much of a difference. The monkey was also extremely sharp. His aura was like a rainbow as he walked forward with the rod in hand. He wanted to attack and kill the Heavenly Prince. The Heavenly Prince sneered and said, The present is no longer the Archaic Era. The various clans have reappeared, wishing to rule the world once more. However, the original Great Earth has already been completely occupied by the human race. Could it be that your actions are not rebelling against the various great clans? What is the coexistence of 10,000 clans? You don't understand at all, so don't try to reason with me. Do you really think that you are the child of God? I don't feel anything special about the undying Heavenly Emperor at all. When the monkey's word sounded, the expressions of many ancient creatures changed. The undying Heavenly Emperor was a taboo existence that could not be blasphemed against. Shut your mouth. What ability do you have to dare criticize the archaic Heavenly Emperor? This is a great crime of disrespect, one that must be punished by the entire world. The old servant that was fighting against the Heavenly Prince shouted with the dragon horn mace in hand. Even a servant like you dares to shout in front of me? Get lost. The monkey shouted loudly. The metal rod swung outwards, blasting the Heavenly Prince into retreat. Cracks appeared one after another on his body, and a streak of blood flowed out from the space between his brows. Sacred Prince, you are going too far. The Heavenly Prince's eyes were terrifying. His black hair flowed down like a waterfall, and nine divine rings appeared behind him. There was a total of five colors, as if he was the reincarnation of the Heavenly Emperor. The monkey laughed coldly and said, Back then, when my father corroborated the Tao, he completely overturned your old man's Tao field. What kind of divine miracle is that? He was blasted into dregs by a single sacred emperor fist. He was merely deified by the later generations. When these words sounded, the entire place became silent. This was a taboo topic, yet the monkey didn't care at all. When he spoke like this, it made the hearts of many ancient races pound. The emperor of fighting was an existence that didn't fear the heavens or earth. He didn't believe in the so-called gods of the past at all. Otherwise, why would he dare to have such a title? There was only one thought in his heart, and that was, with me, I am invincible. Regardless of who it was, even if it was a legendary deity, as long as he faced them, he would only punch through them and blast them into powder. The various races of the Archaic Era had indeed heard of these rumors, but no one dared to discuss them too much. The end of the Archaic Era was the world of the Sacred Battle 8 bloodline. The Sacred Emperor ruled the world, so who dared to go against him? Who would have thought that today, the monkey didn't feel any restraints and spoke everything out loud, making many ancient creatures keep quiet out of fear? Yi Fan finally understood why the Heavenly Prince wanted to take the monkey's life after he emerged into the world. Turns out there was this type of secret behind it. Even if you have the bloodline of an ancient emperor, you still cannot blaspheme the unmatched Heavenly Emperor. Today, we will execute you. The injured old servant held the dragon horn mace and attacked again. The sonorous voice of the Great Tao was like a sea, and auspicious light filled the sky as it hacked towards the monkey's head. At the same time, an even older ancient creature threw himself over, rushing towards the monkey. Yi Fan's expression changed. He sensed how powerful this person was and feared that something would happen to the monkey. The unmatched sacred shell erupted with brilliance, but it concealed its mysteries as it immediately rushed over. Pung! His fist smashed outwards, colliding with that even older servant. A string of bloody radiance erupted. That old servant's palm first exploded, and then his entire arm exploded. In the end, his body also cracked apart, flying outwards, but he didn't rot away. At the same time, the monkey's rod also smashed the dragon horn mace into several dozen pieces, causing that old servant's arms to split apart and fall off. In the surroundings, regardless of whether it was the ancient creatures or humans, they were all incomparably shaken. 
However, not a single person dared to step forward. The grudges between the ancient emperor's son was something they didn't want to get involved in. On the battlefield, Yi Fan and the monkey stood shoulder to shoulder. Duanda also walked over with large steps, and then they pressed forward together like three war gods. Golden blood energy linked together. Sacred prince, so what if you've severed your Tao? Do you really think I can't do anything to you? The heavenly prince's voice was cold. The nine divine rings behind his head quickly enlarged and released a wave of terrifying fluctuations. Divine child, calm your anger and do not forcefully take action. Your talents are number one throughout the ages, and when you succeed in severing your Tao, no one in the same generation can match you. You will become an existence like the heavenly emperor. Please enter the jade pool, we will deal with him. His protector spoke. Shameless boasting. The monkey spat coldly and said, back then, my father's greatest regret was that he wasn't born in the same era as the undying heavenly emperor and couldn't blast him into dregs. Now that you and I are in the same era, it's perfect for me to deal with you and fulfill my old father's wish. These words could be said to be extremely disgraceful and unfilial, but not a single one of the surrounding ancient creatures dared to say anything. They all pretended not to have heard anything. The monkey's father was the archaic era's last sacred emperor. Many ancient creatures had personally experienced the era when he ruled over the world. His battle prowess could crush the heavens. Even now, they would feel great fear and reverence whenever they talked about him. Back then, even the most powerful individuals of the various races had to prostrate themselves in worship. He was too high to reach. After all, he was a living sacred emperor. He was a bit more real than the legendary undying heavenly emperor. It was all so precisely because of this that no matter how domineering the monkey was and how disrespectful he was towards the archaic heavenly emperor, no one felt that it was strange. The battle sacred ape bloodline had always been like this. They didn't fear the heavens or the earth, destroying all legends. At this moment, Yi Fan, the monkey, and Duanda pressed forward together, forming a powerful blood energy storm. Golden holy light submerged this place. Who dares to stir up trouble here, disregarding the rules of this distinguished meeting? A loud shout sounded from the jade pool. There were great figures who appeared. Many figures rushed over. A mountain lord from the Blood Phoenix 17 Mountains, a cave master from the Fire Chilin 13 Caves and others all came. They were all imperial family representatives. When they saw that it was the monkey who shouted murderous words, all of their hearts jumped. This was not someone who was easy to deal with. The monkey's current identity was too sensitive. If he really did stir up trouble, everyone would feel restraining fear. I haven't stepped foot into the Jade Pool yet, so it can't be considered violating the Great Meeting's rules. Today, I wish to kill the undying Heavenly Emperor's son. The monkey held a large black club in his hands. Killing intent surged, his domineering is boundless. Chapter 809 The monkey surged with killing intent and was extremely domineering. The heavy black metal club in his hand pointed forward as if it was going to collapse mountains and rivers within a hundred thousand li. A creature with the heads of nine beautiful women but the body of a phoenix spoke, the meeting of the myriad races is about to begin. Now, all killing is forbidden. Peace is the most important. However, the monkey's large club had already smashed out, hacking forward murderously, causing sand and stones to fly everywhere. Even the short mountain at the side was uprooted, about to collapse. He had already taken action to kill the heavenly prince. He was incomparably domineering and didn't listen to advice at all. The lords of the Blood Phoenix 17 Mountains and the Fire Chilin 13 Caves were all extraordinary existences. Great clans that had produced ancient emperors possessed incomparably lofty statuses. The other clans all had to be respectful when they saw them. Who dared to not give them face? However, one was the Heavenly Prince and the other was the Sacred Prince. Their origins were astonishing, making things difficult for them. At this moment, both sides didn't listen to advice. The battle didn't stop here and was about to carry out a life and death battle. This made their hearts jump. If an ordinary person didn't listen to advice, they would have long killed them. Dang! String after string of sparks shot out like shooting stars piercing through the sky, drawing out dazzling radiance outside the jade pool. Several old servants went up together, strenuously blocking this shocking attack. They all staggered back with large steps, blood flowing out from the corners of their mouths. The monkey was incomparably valiant. The great club's power was heavy and ferocious, its astral energy surging. Several short mountains at the side were uprooted from the staff's winds, rumbling and collapsing. The scene was terrifying. The hearts of many great clan's representatives were greatly shaken. This was the son of Emperor fighting. He had just severed his Tao, yet he already possessed such power. Who in the younger generation could contend against him? Princes, please calm your anger. No matter what kind of grudges you have, you can discuss them in detail in the Jade Pool. There is no need to make a big fuss here. An ancient creature that was rather old spoke. Now, even the imperial clans of the divine Silkworm Ridge and Primordial Lake couldn't interfere in the dispute between the two princes. 
It was because none of them were simple characters. There was no need to mention the heavenly prince's identity. As the only descendant of a deity, all the races had to show him some respect. Moreover, many of the protectors of the nine great dragon veins outside the ancient imperial mountain survived and were not eliminated by Wu Shur. Now, there was an extremely impressive force behind him. As for the monkey, he wasn't someone to be trifled with either. This was especially so in recent times. Everyone was wary of him and didn't dare to offend him. Because of the Buddha's voice from the western desert, the victorious fighting Buddha of Mount Meru was still alive, and it was very likely that he was his uncle. This made the various imperial clans feel as if there was a boulder weighing down on their hearts. The younger brother of the emperor of fighting had avoided the era of his elder brother and lived to this day. Perhaps he could prove his Tao in the future. This was a great deterrent. Previously, when they heard that the monkey had been schemed against by some of the ancient races, they didn't think much of it. But now, things were different. Who would dare to play any tricks? No one dared to make things difficult for him anymore. If it was someone else who caused trouble before the start of the Grand Assembly, they would have been obliterated long ago. However, these two people were each more tyrannical than the other. Even the various royal families did not dare to touch them. In the end, two great races that had sent out ancient emperors appeared, blocking between them. Only then did the war stop. Blood Phoenix Mountain and Fire Chilin Caves people stood out, stopping them, not letting them get close. This could be considered an explanation to the people behind the two princes, not allowing them to fight to the death. The monkey was extremely unyielding, not wanting to stop at all. He cursed the heavenly prince in front of everyone's faces. Previously, the heavenly prince had joined forces with some experts to chase after him. This matter couldn't be allowed to end here. Sacred Prince, what do you plan to do? An aged ancient creature asked. The monkey insisted on killing the heavenly prince, not willing to give in. The battle sacred ape race was extremely domineering. After being chased for half a year, he had a stomach full of anger. This is indeed a serious problem. As the son of the emperor of fighting, he is being chased after by some servants. This is blasphemy towards the ancient emperors. The divine silkworm ridge bloodline that hadn't spoken all this time stood out and spoke like this. Their statuses were revered, and they played an important role in the tens of thousands of races. Not far out, the heavenly prince's expression immediately changed, but he didn't say anything. There were great races that stood on the monkey's side, and this wasn't a good sign. Indeed, without a proper explanation, this can't be justified. Another archaic king race individual nodded in agreement. Those that leaned towards the heavenly prince's side all felt that things weren't good. If things got bigger, could it be that the two princes really were going to fight to the death? Everything is our fault. We shouldn't have acted on our own, shouldn't have shown hostility towards the sacred prince, and even more so shouldn't have led everyone to chase after him. This old servant is willing to use death to atone for our crimes. The old servants behind the heavenly prince stood out. Indeed. As servants, they dared to kill the emperor of fighting's only son. They have truly crossed the line and should be punished. The divine silkworm ridges people nodded and said. Quite a few people's expressions changed. This was clearly standing on the monkey's side. However, they didn't press too hard, only wishing to execute these old servants. They didn't truly point towards the heavenly prince. We will use death to ask for forgiveness from the sacred prince. These three old servants were quite decisive, directly shattering their own primordial spirits on the spot. The space between their brows split open, ending their own lives on the spot. The heavenly prince's eyes were incomparably sinister. His face immediately fell ashen, his eyes releasing two terrifying streaks of radiance. If you aren't convinced, then come out and fight around with me. The monkey was still domineering, using the black gold club to press forward. All right, let's end things here. Those who want to kill the sacred emperor's son for no reason should indeed be punished, but there is no need to let the disturbance spread. Fire Chilin Caverns people spoke, and a few other great clans followed suit. At this moment, many ancient creatures kept quiet out of fear. This was truly a battle between deities, and they didn't dare get involved. The waters were too deep, and it might involve several great clans that were opposing and allied with each other. The monkey came, beating two people to death with his own club, and then forcing three to death. The heavenly prince's five protectors were all killed, making many people shiver in fear. They could feel how powerful he was. For the heavenly prince, this was undoubtedly a slap to the face. This was especially the case when the three people behind him were forced to death in front of everyone, making even his knuckles turn green. No one dared to discuss this, and quite a few people felt a chill run through their hearts. Even though today was a confrontation between the sacred emperor and the heavenly prince, it still revealed a few problems with the emperor clan. The monkey didn't continue to pursue this matter. He knew that enough was enough. It wouldn't be good if things continued any further. The disturbance passed just like that. Many cultivators walked towards the jade pool. None of them dared to get too close to the two princes out of fear of being viewed with hostility by the other side. 
the human race's holy body and monkey walked together, drawing the attention of many people. However, they didn't dare to say too much. Before, they already dared to curse the heavenly prince as an egg and Yuan Gu as a watermelon. Now that they were gathered together, it couldn't be any more normal. They were similarly lawless and out of control. The confrontation this time ended with the monkey's great victory, and the heavenly prince's face becoming ashen. Every single person had a balance in their hearts, thinking about how they were going to face these two in the future. Everyone says that the heavenly prince's aptitude is number one since ancient times. A year of cultivation is equivalent to a hundred years of cultivation for others. Once he succeeds in severing his Tao, he will definitely go crazy and take revenge. The battle sacred ape race is as rare as phoenix feathers and unicorn horns. During the golden age of the archaic era, there were only three to five of them. However, each of them was heaven-defying. With such a small population, they were able to become part of the emperor clan and rule over the world. Do you think that the heavenly emperor's only son's aptitude would be bad? There were still a few days before the great meeting would begin. The various clans were discussing this in private, but no one dared to carelessly side with them. This was a great era, and the ancient emperor's bloodline was like a dormant divine lion. They had all come to this era and would all awaken. Not only these two, there were also Huang Shudao, Fire Chilin, and the others. It was hard to say who was stronger and who was weaker. The fragrance of the snow orchid wafted through the air. Its petals fluttered down like snow, creating a pure white expanse. This was an ancient forest, all of them tall and strong snow orchid trees, releasing a strong fragrance. Between the green leaves hung snow-colored jade flowers, refreshing the mind. Yi Fan, the monkey, and Duanda sat around a stone table under the ancient tree, drinking to their heart's content. Not long after, Li Tian and Li Heishui found this place and joined in. Brother Monkey is mighty. Brother Monkey is domineering. The few of them felt very happy, especially Li Heishui who hated the heavenly prince to the core. He had once been hunted down to the point where his life was worse than death. If it wasn't for the monkey in the past, he would have died long ago. Your Highness, your race didn't even have ten people at its peak. How did you reproduce? Li Tian was most concerned about this kind of life event and was always studying it. The monkey was quite speechless, but in the end, he still admitted that their bloodline was very domineering. They could marry other races, and the children they gave birth to would definitely be sacred apes. Duanda also said with a smile, Your Highness, where is the sacred mountain of your race? When will you bring us to take a look? I have great respect for the Emperor of Fighting. The monkey was a sentimental person. He patted his shoulder and said, There will be a chance. I'll bring you there in the future. Fatty Duan, you're so wicked. I think you're thinking about the cemetery of the sacred battling apes, right? Yi Fan hurriedly stopped the monkey and told him to keep his mouth shut. How can you doubt my character? I just want to test the supreme elegance of the Emperor of Fighting. Duanda said with a righteous expression. The monkey's expression was unkind, but in the end, he poured a cup of wine for Duanda and said, I'll bring you into the origin ancient mine in the future. Help me bring something out. Don't be so ruthless. Duanda shook his head and refused immediately. Forgive me. I'm powerless. Many people from various races had come over these past few days, and the divine bell rang every day. They were all creatures with illustrious identities and deserved to be welcomed by everyone. The human race was still in an awkward situation. Apart from the barbarian king, there was no one who could suppress the situation. On this day, there was another commotion outside the jade pool. Yuan Gu, who was born on a demonic mountain in the primordial lake, had appeared. It was another bloodline of an ancient emperor. As expected, Yuan Gu and the heavenly prince walked together. After entering the jade pool, they walked side by side and faced Yi Fan and the monkey from a distance. This is Yuan Gu. Yi Fan looked on coldly. This was a tall young man who was very muscular. His black hair reached his waist, and his skin was bronze in color. There was a demonic mist lingering around his body, giving off a very oppressive feeling. His eyes were very special. There was a black sun in his left eye, and a blood moon in his right eye. He looked incomparably demonic, and ordinary people didn't dare to look at him directly. He could swallow people's primordial spirits. He stood there quietly like a black demonic mountain. His physical body seemed to be able to crush the heaven and earth, making people tremble in fear. As soon as he appeared, he confronted Yi Fan and the monkey, causing a huge commotion. Many cultivators rushed over and watched from afar. What a joke! The convention of a thousand races is about to begin, and the human race only sent a barbarian king. There aren't many people who can show up. Yuan Gu sneered, and his face was full of indifference. When the convention begins, the ancestral king will come personally. I want to see who will appear in the human race to be on equal footing with them. Most likely, there won't be anyone who can sit at the same table. Many human cultivators present were angry, but they didn't dare to say anything. This was indeed a fact. 
Relatively speaking, the human race really didn't have any experts who could deter others. Chapter 810 Your Yuan Gu, that watermelon. Will you die if you don't pretend to be a saint? I've wanted to kill you for a long time. Why have you been running around all this time? Come here and accept your death. Duanda challenged while pointing at his nose. Li Tian and Li Heishui knew that he was a fake and immediately rolled their eyes. However, Yi Fan didn't stop him and let him do it. Yuan Gu's left eye was a black sun while his right eye was a blood moon. He was tall and majestic. He immediately raised his eyes and smiled cruelly, are you courting death? You watermelon, come at me. I'll kill you in ten moves. Duanda boasted shamelessly. The people around didn't know he was a fake and were all apprehensive. They couldn't figure out how strong he was after seeing his arrogant attitude. So this is the human race's divine physique. I've heard of his name before. So this is what he looks like. He once led the barbarian cavalry to flatten the Wang family of the northern plains. He even threatened to destroy the divine valley and kill the heavenly prince Yuan Gu. Is he really that powerful? Many ancient race cultivators saw that he didn't put Yuan Gu in his eyes at all and began to mutter. A few human female cultivators' eyes were even filled with splendor. Duanda was in high spirits and shouted, Watermelon Yuan Gu, come. I'll kill you in three moves. Yi Fan wanted to kick him. This guy was too arrogant. Reducing from ten moves to three moves was getting more and more unreliable. No matter how he looked at it, Yuan Gu wasn't someone to be trifled with. Perhaps he had even severed his Tao. If that was the case, Duanda would be killed in three moves. You're right about one thing. I only need three moves to obliterate your so-called human race's divine physique. Yuan Gu had his hands behind his back. His entire body was shrouded in a demonic mist like a demonic wall that could cut through three thousand worlds. Many cultivators rushed over. Seeing these two people being more arrogant than the other, they couldn't wait for them to fight. One was the human race's divine physique, which represented an invincible physique. The other had the bloodline of an ancient emperor and was born to prove his Tao. Don't go overboard. If you make too much of a fuss, you won't be able to resolve it. Yi Fan warned Duanda. It's fine. The first rule of the Jade Lake meeting is that no one is allowed to start a fight here. If he makes a move, the Immortal Tears Green Gold Pagoda might kill him, Duanda said. On the other side, the Heaven Prince also transmitted a message to Yuan Gu, I'm worried about the West Imperial Tower. If we fight here, we might trigger the Extreme Emperor Aura. Yuan Gu's expression was gloomy. Human race's sacred physique, do you dare to fight me outside the Jade Lake? You really don't have any guts. I'll let you have three moves first. If you still think you're no match for me, then get out of my sight and I'll spare your life. I'll hunt you down in the future. Duanda looked ahead arrogantly with his hands behind his back, looking invincible. Yuan Gu's expression became even colder. The black sun in his left eye pulsated while the blood moon in his right eye flickered faintly. He looked like a fiend god. Too arrogant. Is the human race's sacred physique really that powerful? The blood of the immemorial emperor flows in Yuan Gu's body. Back then, his talent surpassed all the other imperial clans of the primordial lake. That's why he was sealed until now. He was born to prove his Tao. Many of the ancients felt that Yi Fan was too arrogant. No matter how powerful he was, they didn't think he could suppress Yuan Gu. Everyone, fighting is prohibited in the Jade Lake. Otherwise, the West Emperor Tower will release an Emperor's might. Please consider your own safety. Right at this moment, a heavenly voice was heard. A graceful woman walked over gracefully. It was a fairy-like woman. She had a slender figure and a slender waist. Her steps were graceful and soft, and her black hair was as shiny as silk. Her skin was as white as jade and flickered with a luster. This was a peerless beauty with long eyelashes. Her eyes were misty and contained a poetic charm. The Jade Lake Saintess had come and showed her true face. She was no longer covered by the fairy mist like before. At this moment, she was graceful and intelligent. A tense confrontation was resolved because she had rushed over to pass on a message. Before the myriad races convention began, the races could sit down and talk. Yuan Gu was called away by the people of the Primordial Lake and was not allowed to fight with the human race's sacred physique. Meeting the Jade Lake Saintess again after more than ten years, even though it wasn't their first meeting. Yi Fan was still stunned. This was a woman like a real fairy. She's really an outstanding beauty, comparable to Yi Qingwu. Li Tian, as if he had been injected with chicken blood, moved forward and opened his folding fan to introduce himself. He said that he was the leader of a sect and kept trying to get close to her. Duanda walked over with a deadpan expression and pushed Li Tian aside with a slap. He looked at the Jade Lake Holy Maiden seriously and said, Actually, there's something I wanted to say twelve years ago, but I couldn't say it out loud. So, I came back for you after twelve years. Yi Fan was speechless. He took a step forward and grabbed his neck, suppressing him with the sacred shell. The Jade Lake Saintess was stunned. 
Then, her eyes moved, causing the divine pearl to lose its color and the beautiful pure land to dim. She smiled and turned to leave. Damn, this fatty needs a beating. Come and teach him a lesson together, Yi Fan said. Li Tian was the first to respond, and the others also came forward. I'm just being kind. Since you're not willing, I'll be more careful next time, Duanda shouted. No, I can't let a bastard like you enter my body again. If you don't come out, I'll take the heaven-devouring demonic jar and subdue you. Yi Fan threatened. Duanda grumbled and asked him to return the demonic jar first. I can't return the jar to you first. Now that no human race saint has appeared, we'll most likely need this sacred shell to intimidate them, Yi Fan said. This saint body was genuine and only lacked divine laws and magical power. If someone tried to probe it, they would definitely be exposed. If the heaven-devouring demonic jar was stored in the sacred shell, other people's magical power would be completely dissolved. No one would be able to test this bottomless pit. In the end, in an uninhabited place, Yi Fan returned a small half of his primordial spirit to his body. He didn't dare to pour in all of it, fearing that he would attract a heavenly tribulation. Meanwhile, the other half continued to stay in the sacred shell, preparing to appear as a saint when necessary. Before the distinguished meeting started, the various races had already sat down to discuss. Where did Yi Fan and the others go? This was a grand hall. Clearly, there were spatial Tao patterns carved inside, and it wouldn't be a problem for it to accommodate as many people as it wanted. There were all kinds of creatures here, and many of them were of all shapes and sizes. It was very noisy, and they quarreled non-stop. The land occupied by the human race is too vast, yet a weak race has ruled over the entire land. It's time to return this land to us. Inside the Great Hall, all types of voices could be heard, and they argued continuously. It was to the extent where many great races even began to divide up their territories, wishing to divide up the various lands equally. The human race's sect masters were also arguing, but it was clear that they weren't taken seriously by those powerful races. They were almost completely ignored. During the archaic years, the human race only occupied a remote corner, and even self-preservation was an issue. They were food in the mouths of many powerful races. A certain king race was extremely domineering, speaking such excessive words in front of everyone, feeling secure in their backing. Correct, back then, when all races stood side by side, kings contending for supremacy, the human race would sometimes look for powerful races to protect and attach themselves to. This is nothing more than a small race that can't reach the apex. The current era is already no longer the archaic era, it is now the human race's world. Yi Fan walked in, his true body in front, the sacred shell behind him. However, he didn't release the pressure of a saint. Hein, it really isn't the archaic era anymore, but now, our races have all awakened. Nothing can be like before. An aged ancient creature laughed coldly. They said that this was a distinguished meeting of all races, preparing to sit down and negotiate, but the various powerful races didn't place the human race in their eyes at all, looking down on them from high above. At the end of the distant world, on a majestic black peak, a type of unordinary aura spread out. In the eastern wasteland central region, the sacred cliff that was close to the northern region was dyed black and red by the blood of a large success divine physique. Now, his corpse was still in the enormous coffin at the top of the mountain. At this moment, a golden ancient scroll that was sealed on the sacred cliff released brilliant radiance. It fluttered about, unexpectedly loosening up. This was a resplendent scroll that looked as if it was cast from gold. It was refined by great emperor Wu Shur in the past, and it had guarded this cliff for more than a hundred thousand years. Right at this moment, it trembled intensely, releasing walala sounds. It was actually about to fly into the sky, and the entire black mountain began to tremble because of it. In the end, blazing radiance rushed into the heavens, and it finally fell down. It was divine and vast, making it impossible for others to look straight at it. They had to prostrate themselves before it. Inside the Jade Lake, the various races were arguing about how to divide their territories. They didn't put the human race in their eyes at all, and their attitudes were very high. It was as if they were looking down on a small vassal race. Ever since Yi Fan entered the palace, Yuan Gu and the others in the distance had already noticed him. The heavenly prince stood up and sneered, everyone says that the human race's great emperor is not dead yet and that Wu Shu's subordinate, Zhang Lin, killed the Valley of Divinity. I think there's something fishy about this, and it can't be trusted at all. For him to say such words in this kind of situation was undoubtedly very shocking. Immediately, he attracted the attention of tens of thousands of people, and everyone looked over. I only want to say that no matter how powerful a great emperor is, he can't live for more than a hundred thousand years unless he has already become an immortal. The heavenly prince's heroic aura was overwhelming, and his appearance was almost perfect. Nine divine halos appeared behind him, making him look like a deity. His eyes were incomparably deep as he looked disdainfully at the heroes in the palace. Who among you humans can prove whether immortals exist in this world? 
My father left me a mark that allows me to understand some of the mysteries of the heavens. I once slept in the ancient royal mountain for countless years, and I can clearly tell you that Wu Shur has already passed away in meditation 80,000 years ago. Although I was muddle-headed back then, I knew what had happened. He died on the Tao platform. That kind of aura was world-shaking and could even crush the heavens. It was definitely a great emperor who had turned to ashes. The heavenly prince's words shocked many people. The palace was completely silent, and everyone was dumbfounded. Human race, your hearts are filled with fear, so you use deceitful methods to destroy a great royal race of the supreme ancient era. You want to use this to suppress the other races? Such wishful thinking. The heavenly prince sneered, because I know very well that Wu Shi is dead. All the human cultivators felt a chill in their hearts, and many started to shout. Nonsense, you weren't even born back then, so what could you have sensed? Your father's grave was occupied by great emperor Wu Shi. You harbored hatred in your heart and slandered his supreme reputation. How could great emperor Wu Shi be dead? He was the one who sent people to kill the valley of divinity. Meanwhile, the thoughts of the various ancient races were stirred up. Many of them were excited and asked loudly. Your Highness, is this true? Did Wu Shi really turn to ashes 80,000 years ago? The grand ancient palace was immediately thrown into chaos. Many ancient existences' emotions were fluctuating intensely. The heavenly prince nodded seriously and said, That's right, everything I said is true. It is because I was too close to that Tao platform back then and personally sensed everything. The moment these words were spoken, the Jade Pool was in complete chaos. Many ancient races couldn't help but laugh. The human race, on the other hand, was gloomy and incomparably worried. Suddenly, there was a commotion outside the Jade Pool. Then, it quickly spread inside. It was clear that something big had happened. Wu Shi, Great Emperor Wu Shi, is still alive. There were ancient creatures who were terrified, breathing heavily as they entered the palace, revealing this type of news that was like a bolt of lightning striking down from the heavens. What happened? Even the Blood Phoenix Mountain and Fire Chilin Cave couldn't remain aloof. This was the first time their expressions changed as they personally asked. The outside world is already in chaos. Great Emperor Wu Shi has revived. The investiture of the gods he refined has crossed the great lands of the northern region. Endless golden light has illuminated the world. Chapter 811 an ancient scroll traversed the northern region, illuminating the great earth. The radiance was spiritual, as if it could illuminate the past, present, and future. It was as if it was cast from gold. Its entire body was resplendent and dazzling. It turned into a streak of eternal holy light that arrived from the central region. It weaved through the vast northern region, its speed exceeding everyone's imagination. A single flash of radiance covered tens of thousands of li, tearing through the mortal world. This was a type of divine miracle. It traversed through three thousand realms, piercing through the nine heavens. It emitted an undying divinity that existed eternally with heaven and earth, competing with the sun and moon in splendor. This is the aura of an ancient great emperor. On the great northern region, it was unknown just how many creatures were alarmed. They couldn't help but kneel down. A heaven-shocking miracle. This is the manifestation of a deity. Many people were trembling. Blood flowed from their kowtows as they knelt down. Their expressions were filled with fear. Immortal divine light pierced through the northern region. Every single trajectory was like a heavenly moat, splitting apart the heavens. It was incomparably brilliant, as if it had swept through 80,000 years. The divine seal decree was branded with the imprint of great emperor Wu Shi. It seemed to have turned into a large golden hand that swept through the heavens just like that, shocking the entire northern region. This is too terrifying. Is there really a great emperor still alive in the human race? Within an ancient nest, a group of ancient creatures looked towards the horizon, their expressions filled with fear. The speed is too fast. This is the incomparable aura of a deity. Could it be that we have returned to the prehistoric era? Within another ancient race tribe, there was a group of powerful existences that were horrified. This golden divine list radiated tens of thousands of streaks of Tao light, covering the nine heavens. Its trajectory was astonishing to the extreme. Auspicious signs filled the sky, as if time was reversing and returning to the archaic past. The divine seal decree was like a streak of ascension light that illuminated every inch of the northern region. It was as if someone had ascended to immortality. It was shocking to the extreme. Divine Silkworm Ridge, Primordial Lake, these forbidden lands were all illuminated. An unmatched emperor's might rumbled downwards, leaving these great clans that had produced ancient emperors shaken. Chi. The ancient scroll fluttered about, streaking across the fire Chilin cave. After a brief pause, chaotic energy covered the heavens and covered the earth. This ancient emperor clan was all horrified. Boundless divine light rushed out from the thirteen ancient caves. What is this? Is this really the manifestation of a great emperor of the human race? 
As the golden ancient scroll flew off into the distance, the fire Chilin cavern and the ancient imperial family all had dignified expressions as they looked into the horizon. Wu Shi wanted to refine the immortal subduing role and seal immortals. However, there were no immortals in the world. Instead, there were ancient living beings that were suspected to be gods. Hence, he changed the name to Investiture of the Gods. It was that immortal item. It rushed above my fire Chilin cave, is this a warning? This, he really is alive. It really makes one feel uneasy. Not long after, the Investiture of the Gods entered the Seventeen Blood Phoenix Mountains, and it similarly emitted the light of the Great Tao that drowned the mountains and ravines, causing the Imperial family members below to be horrified. Don't revive the ancient Imperial weapon. Don't act blindly without thinking. An old ancestral king stared at the sky and ordered in a deep voice. The Divine Seal Decree flew far away. It didn't stay for too long before it vanished into the endless horizon. That day, in various parts of the northern region, the most powerful archaic king clans were terrified to the extreme. They found it hard to calm down. A golden ancient scroll tore through the heavens, appearing above their clans. On the boundless great earth, it was unknown just how many human cultivators were kneeling in worship. They knelt down without getting up. Meanwhile, the various ancient clans were panicking, their hearts full of fear. Within the Jade Pool, when everyone learned of everything that happened in the outside world, they were all petrified. Soon afterwards, they became a boiling cauldron of voices. The Heavenly Prince felt as if he had been struck by a fist. The nine divine rings behind his head were almost destroyed. This truly was a resounding slap to the face, leaving him stupefied. Did Great Emperor Wuxia revive? Impossible. He didn't believe it. Back then, he had indeed sensed something, sensing the abnormalities on the Dao platform. Someone was ascending, so how could he reappear in this world? 80,000 years ago, he was still in the Divine Egg, but he still had a trace of perception. That type of world-shaking aura wasn't too far away. How could he be wrong? Within the Grand Hall, everyone was discussing this. This time, the human race's momentum rose greatly. The various clans were all comparatively bitter. If there really was a great emperor still alive, then it would be useless even if all of their clans joined hands. Unless they enter Origin Ancient Mind to pray. However, that place is different from the Archaic Era. No one can enter anymore. Great changes unknown to anyone have happened. Will it still belong to the various clans? The various clans were all clamoring. They were all arguing and discussing. Now that such a major event had happened, it would affect everything greatly. Right now, if one were to talk about who was the most dejected and tragic, it would undoubtedly be the Heavenly Prince. He clenched his fists so tightly that his knuckles were about to break. Not long ago, he went to the Divine Valley to lobby, saying that Wu Shi died early and couldn't appear in this world anymore. In the end, a few days later, Zhang Lin appeared out of nowhere, saying that he had received Great Emperor Wu Shi's decree to suppress everyone in this clan. Now, he even said in front of everyone that Great Emperor Wu Shi had long ascended to ashes, and as a result, the Divine Seal Law immediately flew out to suppress the northern region. This was truly a slap to the face, moreover one that continuously rang out. How could he endure this? His lungs were about to explode. The Heavenly Prince had never felt as depressed as he did today. He really wanted to roar towards the heavens. These were truly two tragedies. Without a doubt, this was a huge blow to his prestige. Even if his father was a deity, the undying Heavenly Emperor, he still couldn't endure this kind of squandering. Moreover, not long ago, he was suppressed by the monkey. Comparing the past and the present, it was clear that the Heavenly Prince was a bit stronger. This made him feel extremely depressed. Ah! In the distance, Duanda was extremely unkind. He stared at the Heavenly Prince and laughed in a seemingly fearful manner. This Heavenly Prince is actually quite sharp, hitting the crucial point each time. If not for Zhang Lin stunning the world and the Divine Seal Law appearing at the right time, he really might have poked a huge hole in the sky. Li Heishui sighed and said. The people on the side all nodded. Even Yi Fan had no choice but to admit that this Heavenly Prince could only blame himself for being too unlucky. The two words he released had great destructive power, yet they were always mysteriously met with tragedy. No one knew better than Yi Fan and Duanda that Great Emperor Wu Shi was definitely no longer in this world. They had seen traces of his ascension. It was just that why the Divine Seal Law would fall off by itself and enter the northern region with lightning speed to intimidate all the ancient races was hard to explain. One had to know that every step in the Holy Cliff was filled with danger. There was a killing formation personally laid down by Great Emperor Wu Shi. As for taking down the Divine Seal Law, it was even more difficult. It was an immortal item refined by an ancient emperor and could be used to seal gods. Could it be that the Daoist suppressed in the Holy Cliff has escaped? Yi Fan's heart trembled. He then shook his head. It shouldn't be him, otherwise, he wouldn't have helped the human race to intimidate the northern region. 
The blood of the grand completion Saint Physique dyed the stone cliff red. Hundreds of thousands of years had passed, but there were still many holes that had turned into pools of blood that hadn't dried up yet. That was a crucial step in Yifan's intimidation. In his plan, he would bring people to take down the Divine Seal Law and use an Imperial weapon to destroy the last wisp of the Daoist's primordial spirit. However, he didn't expect the Divine Seal Law to fly out by itself. On this day, all the races in the Northern Region kept quiet out of fear. The Divine Seal Law had cut through the vast sky of the Northern Region, and the pressure of an ancient emperor was surging out. Who wouldn't be afraid? There must be a trap. The Heavenly Prince gritted his teeth and muttered to himself. However, who would listen to him now? Only Yuan Gu was by his side, advancing and retreating together with him. The others had all gone off to discuss countermeasures. In the northern region, all the human cultivators were overjoyed and seething with excitement. There was no news that could be more inspiring than this. In the eyes of the ancient races, the human race was like meat on a chopping board, a flock of lambs waiting to be slaughtered. However, among them, a divine lion had been resurrected. This was a heaven-defying change. In the Jade Pool, the human race had enough confidence to face the other races. Yi Fan and the others also let out a sigh of relief. They walked out of the ancient palace and strolled by Shushan Lake. They saw many familiar faces and all nodded to greet them. Now, even the Saint Masters were afraid of Yi Fan and didn't dare to be arrogant. Isn't that the Alcade Saint Child? Li Heishui asked. After not seeing him for so many years, the Alcade Saint Child seemed to have returned to his natural state. He didn't have the dazzling holy light of the past and only had a sense of reality. He was like an ordinary person with flesh and blood who had blended into nature. They didn't say much. The two parties only nodded at each other across the small lake. They brushed past each other and went on their own ways. This fellow isn't simple, Duanda said. Even without him saying it, everyone present knew that the Alcade Saint Child was extraordinary. Up until now, no one had tested how strong he was. The main reason was that he was very low-key and no one had heard of any world-shaking battles. Not long after, Yi Fan saw the Golden Winged Old Pun King. He was even older than before and less domineering. Instead, he looked more melancholic and desolate. Yi Fan went forward to greet him. He admired this old Pan King quite a bit. This person had run amok in the world and was honest. He didn't shield his shortcomings back then, otherwise, he might not have lived until now. Is little Pan King brother here? He's been dead for two years. The old Pan King looked at the falling leaves and felt a bit sad and lonely. His turbid eyes became even more gloomy. Little Pan King brother is no longer in this world. Yi Fan was stunned. Life was really unpredictable. Such a strong demonic genius had actually fallen. Back then, the golden-winged Little Pan King had forced him into desperate situations several times and was once his strongest enemy. The Golden Taiji Circle had made a great breakthrough under the celestial demon slaughtering Saint Art. Compared to those who schemed, the golden-winged Little Pan King was more unyielding and direct. He had always fought fair and square and had never ambushed or schemed against him. Such a strong little Pan King, who was known as one of the few with the greatest potential in the eastern wasteland, died just like that. It could be said that he died young. He was too strong. In order to pass the nine heavenly trials set by the great sage of the Sky Pan race, he forced his way through. In the end, he failed. The old Pan King let out a sigh. He was incomparably lonely. He had lost his most beloved blood descendant at such an old age. This was truly unbearable. Yi Fan didn't know how to comfort him. The path of cultivation was just this difficult and cruel. Time was too merciless. The talented little Pan King had fallen just like that. It made people sigh. As the date of the Myriad Race Convention approached, the ancient ancestral kings finally appeared. The Jade Lake shook and the Divine Bell rang. Everyone went out to welcome them. Many people guessed that if it wasn't for the appearance of the Investiture of the Gods, there most likely wouldn't be any ancient sage-level ancestral kings here. This was because there really wasn't anyone in the human race who could suppress them. It was difficult to alarm them. Where is the sacred prince? Do you really think that you can blaspheme the gods with the victorious fighting Buddha supporting you? Since you dared to insult the undying heavenly emperor, you must atone for your sins with death. No one would have thought that the first batch of ancient ancestral kings would directly denounce them and kill the monkey. They were incomparably domineering. This was a very beautiful woman with snow-white skin that seemed as if it would break with the slightest breeze. Her figure was graceful and peerless, but she was also incomparably terrifying. After entering the Jade Lake, she directly found Yi Fan and the monkey. She sneered and said, I don't care if you are the human race's sacred physique or the battle lineage's sacred prince. Since you dare to insult the undying heavenly emperor, you must pay the price in blood. Where do you think this is? What's so great about the ancient kings? We can kill them all the same. Yi Fan entered the sacred shell and went forward to block the way. Not far away, the heavenly prince sneered. 
He stood together with some ancient race beings and didn't say a word. The monkey was very straightforward. He held the jet black club in his hand and said, When I reach the saint realm, I'll blast all of you into dregs. Chapter 812 I can tell with a single glance that this is a protector of his children. Duanda muttered. She was clearly here to stand up for the heavenly prince, purely to denounce him. This queen was extremely beautiful. Her body was slender and graceful, almost translucent like jade. Seven colored lights surrounded her body, and her beautiful hair was smooth and soft. She walked over step by step like a goddess. Her eyes were sharp as she pointed at the monkey and said, So what if you are the heavenly prince? Blaspheming the deities of the myriad races means death. Everyone kept quiet out of fear. No one dared to step forward to persuade her. Even though she was delicate and beautiful, she was a true and unrivaled ancient monarch. There was no need to talk about the human race. It was absolutely silent. This was an ancient saint-level existence, too high for them. She had always only appeared in legends. Pung. The monkey stabbed his rod into the ground. His fiery eyes emitted golden light. He was wild and untamed without the slightest bit of fear. Right now, there was simply no way out. He could only fight to the death. Even a firefly dares to compete with the bright moon? I'll give you a chance. Apologize to the heavenly prince and repent in front of all the races. This way, I can spare your life. Otherwise, even if the victorious fighting Buddha is still alive, I will still take action. A piercingly cold murderous aura and cold words came out from the mouth of such a beautiful and moving woman, adding a strange atmosphere to the atmosphere. You want me to lower my head and break my emperor's heart? If you don't have any misgivings, then kill me. At that time, everything left behind by the undying sky emperor will also be blasted into dregs. The monkey didn't lower its head. Right now, he couldn't rely on his own strength to contend against this queen. Only his uncle could intimidate her. The surrounding people all shivered. According to the temperament of this race, this was truly something they could do. Emperor of Fighting's own son was killed. As his uncle, even if he became a Buddha, he would most likely turn into an Azura and massacre the eastern wasteland. A cold light flashed in the queen's eyes. She reached out a slender jade-like hand and waved it forward. At this moment, everyone was horrified. The pressure of a saint engulfed all directions. Most of the people in the jade lake trembled and then knelt down. Just now, the queen had restrained her aura, but now that it was released, it was not something ordinary people could endure. Putong sounds rang out incessantly. There was a large expanse of people on the ground. There were people from all different clans, all of them shivering with fear as they trembled on the ground. This wasn't like facing a body of flesh and blood at all, but more like worshipping a deity. The terrifying aura was incomparable, and not many people could stand still. Bang! The huge rod in the monkey's hand was immediately sent flying. The webbing between his thumb and forefinger split open, causing blood to flow. All the golden fur on his body stood up. This was the might of a sage. That slender, jade-like hand hadn't even brushed over, but the monkey, who was at the initial stage of severing the Tao, was already heavily injured. Blood seeped out of his mouth. Buzz. The fair and alluring jade-like finger finally brushed over. Even a king-level expert would be scared out of his wits. This kind of power was too terrifying. Anything that was touched by it would be turned into ashes. This queen seemed determined to kill the monkey. Her face was incomparably cold, and she had no intention of stopping. Boom. Yi Fan finally took action. The void trembled. The divine shell he occupied shone with endless radiance. It moved horizontally in front of him, a fist dominating heaven and earth. All of the brilliance wasn't released by him, but rather because his body was absorbing spiritual essence from all directions. He didn't want to expose this divine body's secret. This was a ferocious and tyrannical fist. He used the flesh shell alone to break through the saint's barrier of light before smashing towards the female ancestor. It had to be said that this was a terrifying queen. She immediately sensed that something was wrong and didn't face it head on. Instead, she borrowed force to neutralize it a bit before shifting outwards. Despite this being the case, her slender jade-like finger still spasmed. That fist brushed past her, causing blood to drip out and her finger to break. Everyone was shocked. The human race cultivators were the most shocked. What kind of person was this? To be able to stop a queen, when did a saint like this appear? Everyone was stupefied. They all looked over in disbelief, staring blankly and speechlessly. This person had entered the jade pool a long time ago, yet no one sensed his divine might. What a powerful physical body. I truly underestimated you all. There was actually someone like this here. However, this isn't much. This type of voice sounded from the back. Two middle-aged men walked over shoulder, both of them extremely valiant. They wore pure white battle clothes, facing Yifan together with the queen. No one dared to say anything. 
The heavenly prince actually had these ancient kings behind him, all of them descendants of his father's troops. They were truly valiant, a power that made one have no choice but to consider carefully. Seniors, the great meeting this time has rules. Fighting cannot be carried out within the jade pool. The jade pool holy lady spoke. Her voice was extremely gentle, not cowering in the slightest, clearly entering everyone's ears. In the sky dome above, the immortal tears green golden pagoda released streak after streak of green energy, every single strand thick like a mountain, heavy and majestic, making everyone here feel suffocated. At this time, someone from the divine silkworm ridge walked up and said, Seniors, please calm your anger. He is the son of emperor fighting after all. Even if he is in the wrong, please show some leniency. There were people from other ancient races who agreed, pleading for leniency for the monkey. They were afraid that if the three ancient kings attacked together, no one would be able to stop them. I've already said that he must first apologize to the heavenly prince and then repent in front of all races, kneeling before the undying heavenly emperor. Otherwise, he definitely won't be spared. The queen's slender hand returned to normal as she spoke coldly. Before the great meeting of all races, we had already reached a consensus that we cannot fight here. Do you think you all can stand above all races? There aren't just the three of you saints in this world, said Yi Fan. Is that so? Then let's go out and settle this. This queen made up her mind to take action against the monkey. She stretched out her hand to grab him, preparing to drag him away. You all are too unbridled. Yi Fan walked up and took action to stop her. The monkey was even more furious. All of the golden fur on his body stood on end as he once again picked up the large club and swung it down, hacking forward murderously. Human race, it's rare to have a saint. Cherish your life because we know that the so-called investiture of the gods is also fake. The two ancient kings wearing silver battle robes behind him sneered and moved forward to deal with Yi Fan together. It was obvious that they had the same opinion as the heavenly prince. They believed that great emperor Wu Shi had passed away on the Dao platform 80,000 years ago and couldn't possibly still be alive. Yi Fan frowned. These were three genuine ancient kings while he was just an imposter. If he really fought against them, he would definitely die with a grudge. He did have some powerful trump cards, but it wasn't suitable for him to reveal them at this time. They would still be of great use in the future. Little monkey, your father is unpardonably evil. He destroyed the Dao field of the only god of all races. Do you think you can do anything? Today, I'll teach you a good lesson and let you understand the consequences of blasphemy. The queen was very vengeful. It was obvious that she had long been resentful. Back then, when the emperor of fighting oppressed the heavens and the earth, they could only endure. Now, they wanted to find revenge on the monkey. At this moment, all races didn't dare to make a sound. They didn't even dare to breathe loudly. To them, the three ancient kings were like gods. Pung. Yi Fan took action, clashing against one of the ancient kings. His flesh broke through several layers of light barriers, but in the end, he was stopped by the power of the divine laws. Little monkey, let's see who can save you today. With a wang sound, the queen flicked away the dark gold club in the monkey's hand. However, it didn't break. She revealed a shocked expression and said, this is that vicious weapon from back then? The monkey released a long roar, but he couldn't struggle free. He was lifted up by the queen and flew out of the jade pool. When facing this kind of existence, not being a saint was still not enough. He was no different from an ant. There was no suspense at all. Let's see who can save you. A little monkey dares to be disrespectful to the undying heavenly emperor. Today, I'll slowly pull out your bones and peel off your skin. The queen laughed coldly again and again. She lifted the monkey out of the jade pool. Many creatures followed out. They all wanted to see what was going on. Kneel or not, life or death is up to you. The queen said. Even though she was alluring, there was killing intent pervading the air. The monkey would naturally rather die than submit. It was impossible for him to admit defeat. That would be even more unbearable than killing him. Yi Fan knew he couldn't delay any longer. He secretly activated the heaven-devouring evil jar and dissolved the incoming divine laws. He broke out of the encirclement and avoided the ancestral king who was confronting him. He then rushed towards the monkey. If you don't kneel, I'll personally break your legs. I'll make you kneel with your head on the ground. The queen was cold and was about to take action. In the back, the heavenly prince, Yuan Gu, and the others sneered. They didn't utter a single word and watched quietly with a hint of ridicule on their lips. Bang! Suddenly, a resounding slap resounded. It was so abrupt that everyone's expressions froze. A young lady had appeared at an unknown time. She looked elegant and moving. Her jade-like skin was pure white and tender. Her purple hair fluttered gracefully and covered half of her immortal face. She gave the queen a slap and pulled the monkey up from the ground. With a flash of light, she helped him wipe away the bloodstains and heal his wounds. Everyone was dumbfounded. What kind of existence was this? 
She had slapped an archaic queen as soon as she arrived as if she was in an uninhabited land. Outside the jade pool, the spiritual spring was gurgling and the green grass was like a cushion. This was a pure land that was extremely quiet. No one was talking. Everything was too sudden and terrifying. Just how powerful was this young lady? She dared to slap the female ancestral king's mouth. Everyone was shaken by her appearance. The queen herself was also dumbfounded. How many years had it been since someone dared to humiliate her like this? However, when she saw that immortal face, her heart couldn't help but jump. Boom! At this time, Yi Fan rushed out from the jade pool. He didn't know what was going on and threw himself at the female ancestral king. His fists were ferocious and domineering. Astral energy surged, causing sand and stones to fly everywhere. Several small mountains nearby were directly uprooted and collapsed in midair. The queen came back to her senses and hurriedly blocked. With a P.U. sound, one of her arms shattered and turned into a lump of mud. Her entire body flew out and was almost torn into pieces. Yi Fan didn't show any mercy and continued to chase after her. An ancient king wearing silver battle clothes chased after him and shouted loudly, wanting to block his path. Meanwhile, when this person saw the spirited young lady, he was also stupefied. He was just like the female ancestral king, and then he staggered backwards. You, are still alive. Boom. On the other side, Yi Fan and the female ancestral king collided again. This time, half of his body was split open and he flew backwards while covered in blood. Ah. Uh. The queen released a long roar. Boundless divine laws surged forward and were about to drown Yi Fan within. At this time, the young lady took action. With a light brush, the boundless divine laws and heaven overflowing magical power all came to a standstill and were then destroyed. Only now did Yi Fan stop. When he carefully recognized the appearance of the ethereal young lady, he was stupefied. It's her, who came back to life. In the past, there was a strange stone in the divine city called the Blood Sacrifice Altar that contained a goddess. At that time, she was pierced through the chest by an exceptional vicious weapon and nailed to death within the divine source. She was then snatched away by the monkey that had just been born. It was actually her. In the distance, a young Taoist with disheveled hair, a prince wearing a nine dragon golden battle robe, and a little nun wearing snow white clothes were currently walking over together. Among them was a little spirit that resembled a little phoenix. It was gorgeous and dazzling as it flew here and there. When it saw the purple haired young lady outside the jade pool, it was immediately stupefied. It was extremely perplexed, and the tears in its large eyes couldn't be controlled. They fell down in pairs and then flew over with a so sound. Woo woo. Even this little creature didn't understand what was going on. It felt an indescribable sense of intimacy towards the young lady. It landed on her shoulder and began to sob loudly. Chapter 813 The purple-haired goddess had a calm expression. She gently stroked the little life form on her shoulder. Her jade-like fingers were sparkling and sparkling with an alluring luster. The elf that looked like a small phoenix was crying loudly. Her eyes were filled with tears and were completely blurred. She kept rubbing her head against the young girl's cheek and even reached out a small claw to grab a lock of her hair. She refused to let go even if she died, afraid that it was just a dream. That divine silkworm? Li Heishui's eyes almost popped out. After that, he stared at the beautiful young lady and felt that this was inconceivable. Back then, when this goddess was cut out from the gambling den in the divine city, the divine silkworm cried non-stop and even fainted in the end. Now that they met again, it had already transformed several times, yet it still hadn't forgotten her. This is truly a silkworm that cares deeply about relationships. They were separated by life and death in the supreme ancient immortal realms, and now, they are finally reunited. Yi Fan sighed. On the other side, the princess and the other two male ancient kings were incomparably shocked. They didn't expect to see someone who should have died long ago here. They no longer dared to act recklessly. All of them slowly retreated with unnatural expressions and even some fear. The purple-haired young lady's hair covered half her face. Her lips curled up, revealing a gratified smile as she stroked the little divine silkworm. Be good, don't cry. Didn't we meet again? It must have been hard for you to retain your imprint and not forget about me. When the time comes, I will give you a divine origin as a reward. She smiled lightly, her snow-white teeth were even more sparkling than pearls. Her smile was extremely radiant, infecting the hearts of others. It was precisely such a woman that caused the three ancient kings to feel trepidation. They didn't dare to do anything and even wanted to retreat. From afar, the three of them walked over. The young Daoist with disheveled hair was recognized by someone. It was none other than the divine silkworm Daoist who had always been wandering around the divine city. As for the male in the golden battle robe, it was Grand Xia's prince, Xia Yiming. As for the white-robed nun, it was Grand Xia's princess, Xia Yilin. Little Guai, don't cry. The white-robed nun called out softly. 
Seeing the divine silkworm crying so sadly like a cat with a painted face, she felt very sad. It's fine, it just saw its kin and is crying tears of joy. The true divine silkworm royal clan has some things that are hard to erase. They won't forget. Divine silkworm spoke. Xiao Guai. The girl in the middle of the field was surprised. Then, she smiled and said, what a nice name. I'll call you Xiao Guai from now on. The divine silkworm squirmed and cried while rubbing its head against the young girl's cheeks. It whimpered as if it was trying to say something. In the distance, divine silkworm ridges people all rushed over, incredibly excited, bowing respectfully, saying, you, are her highness, still in this world. Everyone was petrified, especially the ancient races. All of them were in awe and shock. This was an earth-shattering piece of news. Many people knelt down and bowed. Divine Silkworm Ridge had previously produced an unrivaled existence in the heavens above and earth below the nine transformations, sweeping through the heavens without an opponent, becoming known as an emperor of the world. Even though there were many experts in the Divine Silkworm Ridge, most of them were golden silkworms, silver silkworms, jade silkworms, and so on. There were very few with sovereign bloodline, never exceeding fifteen in history, only slightly more than the battle sacred ape race. As the princess of the Divine Silkworm Ridge who had shaken the world in the past, there were many legends about her. Naturally, she caused a huge commotion. Greetings, Princess Divine Silkworm. Greetings, Battle King Concubine. Almost all of the creatures of the great races knelt down, all of them incomparably respectful, all of them shouting loudly. This made many human cultivators shiver, not knowing what was going on. All of them watched in a daze. Get up, just call me Princess. The young lady's voice was very gentle, pleasant to the ears. She is also the Battle King Concubine, what's going on? Duanda prodded the fully recovered monkey. She almost became my aunt, but she was killed during a great chaos. The monkey said. What? Duanda rolled his eyes. Who was the monkey's uncle? It was very likely to be the Western Desert's victorious fighting Buddha. If that was the case, then this young lady's origins were truly terrifying. At this moment, the people of the other ancient races also began to discuss. All of the great races knew some things of the past, but the smaller races knew very little. Princess Divine Silkworm had heaven-warping talent. In the past, countless outstanding talents of the various ancient races went to propose marriage, but they were all beaten out, returning in low spirits. Only Emperor of Fighting's younger brother passed her test. It could be said that not only was this princess beautiful, but her cultivation was also world-shaking, far exceeding that of ordinary ancestral kings. Unfortunately, during the end of the primordial era, Emperor of Fighting passed away, and the land lost its supreme ruler. Immediately, there was chaos, and the various races fought each other. No one knew what kind of shocking change happened, but even Princess Divine Silkworm had fallen. When the news spread, the various races were greatly shaken. Back then, the monkey first entered the Jade Pool to seek the Peach of Immortality, and then went west to the Qinling Mountains to fight for the Dream Divine Marrow, all to save her. Yi Fan was enlightened. No wonder the monkey was so hardworking. Strictly speaking, this was his future aunt. It's all thanks to the holy fruit you gave me back then. It was born from their Divine Silkworm race's holy medicine. The monkey said, Yi Fan had also heard that the nine holy trees in the primordial abyss were actually formed from an undying medicine, and they belonged to the divine silkworm race of the primordial era. Could it be that everything was predetermined? That was originally something of the divine silkworm race. Daoist divine silkworm was also present. Strictly speaking, his seniority was higher than everyone else in the race. He was the son of the nine transformations emperor's ancestor, and his status was extraordinary. He didn't come over. He hugged a wine jar and drank until he was drunk. He seemed out of place with the surroundings, and it was obvious that he was also someone with a story. After Princess Divine Silkworm comforted Little Guai, the smile on her face disappeared. She turned around, and although her expression was still very calm, there was an additional kind of might. She looked at the Primordial Queen and said, Just now, I heard that you wanted the Saint Prince to kneel and repent in front of the ten thousand races. You also wanted to kill him. I want to ask you, why do you dare to be so arrogant? Her voice wasn't very loud, but it made the scene quiet down. Everyone held their breath and watched quietly. This beautiful and intelligent young lady was someone that even the old Saint Emperor of Fighting was very satisfied with. How could the kings of the various races not be afraid of her letting her younger brother propose? He blasphemed the gods and insulted the Heavenly Emperor. He should be punished, the Primordial Queen said, but her tone was clearly not as firm as before. Blasphemy? When the Emperor of Fighting was still alive, why didn't you argue with him? He overturned the dojo of the undying Heavenly Emperor, so why didn't you stand out and say a thing or two? I think he bullies the weak and fears the strong, Princess Divine Silkworm said calmly. I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to punish him so that he would be more respectful to the gods. 
The queen was clearly very afraid, and she was no longer as strong as before. The divine silkworm princess was calm. She touched Bab on her shoulder and looked forward, saying, as the sacred prince, he has a fiery temper. Yet, you want him to apologize to the sacred prince and kneel in front of everyone. Is there anything more vicious than this? You want to break his legs and kneel in front of the ten thousand races. Are you trying to destroy his Tao heart? At this point, Princess Divine Silkworm's expression did not change, but her tone was a little cold. She said, I'll also give you two choices. One is to kneel in front of the ten thousand races, and the other is for me to break your legs and kneel in front of the ten thousand races before apologizing to the Saint Prince. Everyone present felt a murderous aura. As expected of one of the most famous female experts in the last years of the primordial age, she was rather straightforward and unyielding. You've gone too far. The primordial queen was furious. As an ancestral queen, she could command a large royal family. Anyone who saw her had to be respectful, but she had to kneel to a junior. It was worse than killing her. Even if this person was a prince, she could not do it. At her level of cultivation, she was a top-notch existence in the primordial age's strict world. Apart from the ancient emperor, no one was worthy of her kneeling. You also know that you've gone too far. Why did you make the saint prince kneel and repent in front of the ten thousand races just now? Are you targeting him, or are you trying to humiliate the old emperor fighting? At this point, Princess Divine Silkworm's tone became heavier, and her expression was no longer as indifferent. Everyone in the Primordial Age knew that the Divine Silkworm race and the Sacred Battling Ape race were on good terms. In particular, Princess Divine Silkworm had respected the old Sacred Battling Ape race the most back then. She naturally had to question him now. He's just a junior. Even though he's the Saint Prince, it's nothing for me to make him kneel and apologize, the Primordial Queen said. She no longer had much confidence. All right, then I'll ask you to kneel and make your own choice now, Princess Divine Silkworm said calmly. Princess Divine Silkworm said calmly. The little living being on her shoulder nodded as well, and its large eyes that were still filled with tears kept blinking. Your Highness, isn't this a little too much? The other two ancient kings stepped forward and said. The two of you, disappear as far as you can. Otherwise, kneel down as well. At this moment, Princess Divine Silkworm displayed her domineering side. Her voice wasn't loud and was very calm, but it was rather terrifying. In the surroundings, the experts of the various races didn't even dare to breathe loudly. Indeed, if one wasn't a family, one wouldn't enter the same door. Although Princess Divine Silkworm was a woman, she had the domineering and domineering aura of the Battle Saint tribe. We are the descendants of the Undying Emperor and have a respected status. No one can make us kneel, the Primordial Queen said. Undying Emperor, what a great reputation. This time, you're mainly standing up for the Heavenly Prince, right? Do you believe that I'll directly kill all the so-called princes behind you? Princess Divine Silkworm sneered and walked forward step by step. The Primordial Queen's expression changed. Facing the number one expert of the Divine Silkworm race, she ultimately didn't dare to say anything for fear that she would really be ruthless. Behind them, the Heavenly Prince and Yuan Gu were both shocked. They felt that this woman was someone who would do what she said. Even if they had the Primordial Royal Family supporting them, Princess Divine Silkworm would still dare to kill them. Egg, watermelon, behave yourselves. Otherwise, I'll kill you immediately. Duanda flaunted the Heavenly Prince's might. The Heavenly Prince and Yuan Gu glared at him fiercely, remembering this strange fatty. Damn it! As soon as Duanda finished speaking, he slapped himself and scolded himself for being muddle-headed. Now that he wasn't here with a sacred body, it was too late for regrets and he cursed his bad luck. Weren't you very arrogant just now? You made the Heavenly Prince kneel. What's going on now? Are you forcing me to make a move? Princess Divine Silkworm sneered. You! The Primordial Queen's expression changed. Princess Divine Silkworm attacked. Seven-colored divine light flew out from her slender jade-like fingers, turning into a rain of light that scattered out. Boom! The Primordial Queen displayed all kinds of divine laws and blocked with all her might. However, after dozens of collisions, she finally let out a loud cry and let out a miserable groan. Crack! No one could see how Princess Divine Silkworm attacked, but the Primordial Queen's legs made the sound of bones breaking. She was completely deformed and fell limp. She was suppressed by a divine might and knelt on the ground. You! Her expression was ferocious. Princess Divine Silkworm waved her hand and pulled the monkey closer. Facing the queen, she said, apologize. Treating me like this, aren't you afraid that I'll? The primordial queen was furious. Princess Divine Silkworm smiled. The other half of her celestial face that was covered by her purple hair was revealed. She was very delicate and beautiful. She stretched out her jade-like hand and said, since that's the case, then die. Bang! She was very straightforward and decisive. Her slender jade-like palm pressed on the queen's head, shattering it on the spot. Even her primordial spirit couldn't escape and she died a violent death. 
The scene was dead silent. Everyone almost stopped breathing. This was a primordial ancestral king. She killed her just like that. It was too sharp and domineering. Even the monkey was shocked. Killing an ancestral king was a huge matter that would trigger a war between races. At this moment, Princess Divine Silkworm raised her head and stared at the Heavenly Prince and Yuan Gu. A smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. It was very beautiful, but it was terrifying. The other two primordial kings felt a chill down their spines and quickly blocked in front. The royal experts of the primitive lake also flew out and blocked there. Everyone was shocked. Chapter 814 The Divine Silkworm Princess's slender fingers brushed her purple hair. Her pure white face was very calm, but it made the ancient race members in front of her shudder. Everyone couldn't help but retreat. The hearts of the two ancient kings were beating non-stop as well, and they even had the urge to escape immediately. Your Highness, please calm down. You've already killed an ancient king, so let's end everything here. One of the ancient kings forced himself to persuade her. Everyone in the surroundings was shocked. A queen had been killed, yet they actually endured it and were so low-key. From this, one could see how powerful the divine silkworm princess was. The people of the primordial lake also came forward and protected Yuan Gu, separating him from the heavenly prince. They were afraid of being implicated, so they were incomparably respectful and said, Your Highness, please be magnanimous. In the surroundings, everyone held their breaths. The divine silkworm princess's might was even stronger than they had imagined. Even the royal family members had no choice but to lower their heads in fear. How many ancient kings could a great royal family have? It was very difficult to have more than three. They had the word ancestor, which was equivalent to representing this great family. Their status was incomparably high, and killing them was equivalent to starting a war with this royal family. And the divine silkworm princess had killed that queen with a raise of her hand. She didn't hesitate at all. She was decisive and had no scruples, which made people's hair stand on end. Your Highness, please calm down. At this moment, the royal family of the Fire Chilin Cave also came forward to help plead for mercy. When Your Highness roamed the ancient world, the kings all retreated. Why bother about this? Just forgive them. The people of the Blood Phoenix Mountain also spoke. The divine silkworm princess's purple hair hung down, covering half of her face. The corners of her mouth curled up slightly, and she looked a little cold and arrogant. She stared at the heavenly prince and Yuan Gu and said, Don't be arrogant because of your noble birth. Relying on your father's shadow is nothing. If you anger me, I'll kill you all. The heavenly prince felt as if he had been struck by lightning. The nine divine rings behind his head almost collapsed, and his body shook. Yuan Gu trembled even more. The black sun in his left eye and the blood moon in his right eye almost melted. Your Highness. At this moment, the people of the Divine Silkworm Ridge also came forward to help plead for mercy. They were also a bit worried. Even though their family's divine might princess had great achievements, she was still not unrivaled under the heavens. If she really killed the two ancient princes, the Divine Silkworm Ridge wouldn't have an easy time in the future. Those archaic ancestral kings would go crazy, and they might even use the same method to get rid of Daoist Divine Silkworm. The Divine Silkworm Princess glanced at them and had no intention of attacking again. This made the others heave a sigh of relief. This was really a sharp goddess. She was fresh and beautiful, but she was rather domineering and powerful. The storm passed just like that. Everyone had a scale in their hearts. Even though the monkey bloodline was sparse and almost extinct, just one of them was enough to scare people. They all began to show him respect, truly acknowledging him as the illustrious sacred prince from the bottom of their hearts. Princess Divine Silkworm expressed her gratitude to Yifan. Then, she asked about the situation of the nine divine medicines in the desolate ancient abyss and frowned. That was the divine silkworm race's immortal medicine. It originally grew on the divine silkworm ridge and contained fragments of the great path. It was the race's supreme treasure. How did it end up in that abyss? She thought of some past events, but it was difficult to connect them together. Back then, the ancient medicine flew away on its own. Even the divine silkworm race's great sage couldn't stop it. I'll go there when I have time, said the divine silkworm princess. Princess, be careful. An ancient king from another race went there before, but he returned in failure, advised the people of the Divine Silkworm Ridge. I understand. The Divine Silkworm Princess nodded. The little creature on her shoulder also snorted and rolled its large eyes. It had a mischievous look on its face. Little guy, do you still remember me? Yi Fan asked with a smile. Beside him, the others were silent. No one dared to speak loudly in front of this goddess. However, he wasn't one of them, which made many people envious. Humph 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 humph. Little Guai rolled its eyes at him. It grabbed a lock of Divine Silkworm Princess's hair with its little claw and carefully guarded against him, as if it was afraid that it would be taken away. You have no conscience. I was the one who helped you pass through the tribulation. Yi Fan wanted to touch it, but it groaned. In the distance, the ancient races all frowned. 
Was the human race's holy physique trying to rope in Divine Silkworm Princess and make Divine Silkworm Ridge stand on their side? It was chaotic enough with a monkey, and with those Divine Silkworms, everyone had to be wary. The human race's path is under our own feet. Others can't help us, said the Divine Silkworm Princess. She didn't want to get involved in the disputes of the races. It would be a lie if Yi Fan, Li Heishui, and the others said that they weren't disappointed. They couldn't win over such a super support. However, they also knew that the relationships between the races were very complicated. The Divine Silkworm Princess had to consider the Divine Silkworm Ridge and wouldn't easily get involved in the chaos. The appearance of the Investiture of the Gods intimidated all races, but there are still some ancient kings who believe that Great Emperor Wuxia has already passed away. They will personally come to this meeting. In the end, the Divine Silkworm Princess floated away with Little Guai. She left just like that, light and unrestrained, leaving only this sentence for Yi Fan and the others. All the large tribes present were relieved. As long as the Divine Silkworm Ridge Princess didn't stand on the side of the human race, everything would be fine. Otherwise, they would really be afraid. Yi Fan and the others' hearts sank. This wasn't good news. Even the investiture of the gods had come out, but there were still ancient kings who didn't believe it. The situation wasn't good. There wasn't much time left. When the meeting of the 10,000 races truly began, these powerful ancient kings would descend. There would probably be chaos and even a great disaster. Even Great Emperor Wu Shi's investiture of the gods can't suppress them. Yi Fan and Duanda were at their wit's end. This was the most powerful trump card they could use in the near future. There was no other way in the short term. The Heavenly Prince wasn't the only one who knew about the ancient Emperor Mountain. There were definitely others who knew some secrets. Otherwise, they wouldn't believe that Great Emperor Wuxia had turned to dust. However, the human race, other than Yi Fan and the others, all believed that Great Emperor Wuxia was still alive. In the past few days, the human race of the northern region was like boiling water, and there was a clamor everywhere. They didn't know that some ancient kings were sneering. There were still a few people who hadn't been suppressed. This was a great disaster. It was the same in the Jade Pool. Many sect masters of the human race thought that they had the initiative and had a lot of power, but they didn't know that there were ancient kings looking down on them. What should we do? Li Heishui frowned. Seeing the emotions of the human race in the Jade Pool, he was filled with worry. Who is controlling the investiture of the gods? Will he appear? When the time comes, will he come out to intimidate us? Yi Fan asked. It shouldn't be that dog, right? According to its identity, it should be an existence that has been wandering between destruction and reconstruction. After all, it has followed Wu Shi before. Duanda muttered. Could it really be Black Emperor? That's not possible. With his greedy and shameless appearance, how could he be an expert? Yi Fan rubbed his chin. It was really hard to imagine Black Emperor as an expert. That bastard's eyes were opened when he saw a treasure. He even stole someone he knew. He was even more wicked than Duanda. Now, the human race was extremely lacking in powerful experts. Once the conference was held, the situation wouldn't be optimistic. Let's hide this saint shell first. Since a powerful ancient king will appear, he will most likely establish his might. Since they don't believe that Great Emperor Wu Shi is alive, they might directly kill your only saint first. After careful consideration, the monkey said such a serious question because he understood the ancient king too well. That's right. A saint shell is hard to subdue. After all, it's not a true living saint. If the heaven-devouring devil jar were to be shaken out and found to be a dead shell, the consequences would be even worse. Duanda also said. At this moment, Yi Fan and the others felt a cold chill. It was like an autumn wind had swept past and thousands of leaves had withered. It was a desolate scene. Brother Yi, it's been twelve years. We won't go back until we're drunk. Not far away, the great Xia Prince walked over. After a long time, he had a sincere smile on his face. Yi Fan temporarily put down his worries and went up to greet the great Xia Prince. After greeting the great Xia Prince, he smiled at the little nun in white beside him. Little Master is becoming more and more beautiful. Are you married? Li Tian opened his folding fan with a pa sound and shook it three times with each step. Little master, how old are you? Are you willing to comprehend the wondrous principles of Buddhism with me? The little nun who was as delicate as a porcelain doll had grown up, but her big eyes were still clear. She was still very dependent on her brother. Hiding behind him, she said angrily, none of you are good. He he. The group of people laughed dryly. They felt guilty for blaspheming a young Buddhist nun like this. The great Xia Prince smiled. He was not angry because he knew that these people would not dare to do anything to his sister. They were just taking advantage of her with their words. Brother Yuakong, over here. Li Heishui saw the group of people from the Sky Demon Palace who had just entered the Jasper Lake and called out to their young master. Yao Yuakong was full of heroic spirit. His purple robe fluttered in the wind. He was many times stronger than before. His essence, qi, and spirit were almost boiling. 
Yi Fan, Brother Heishue, I didn't expect to see you again. Yao Yuakong was very excited. Where have you been all these years? Why haven't I heard from you? The great Xia Prince asked the young master of the Sky Demon Palace. I have been in seclusion for more than ten years. My body has finally recovered. Yao Yuakong said. Everyone knew that with the Sky Demon body, he should have been able to look down on his peers. However, before he was born, he was schemed against by someone in his mother's womb. As a result, he had always been weak and could not display the power of the Sky Demon. Congratulations! A group of people sent their blessings and congratulated him. Not long after, Ji Haoyue and his sister also arrived. They entered the Jasper Lake with the old antiques of the Ji family. They did not go north with Yi Fan. The Jade Lake Saintus had brought the two of them over. It was a lively gathering of old friends. For the time being, they had forgotten the perplexity of the future of the human tribe and the worries in their hearts. They toasted each other under an ancient tree and drank heartily. Some old acquaintances joined them. When the southern demon and Chi Haoshui arrived, they also brought the central emperor who they were not very familiar with. Is it him? Why do I feel like I am seeing an old friend? The central emperor's words made Yi Fan and Duan de quiver. Only the two of them were paying attention, so they heard it vaguely. These people gathered together. It was undoubtedly a small gathering. The monkey pulled the divine silkworm Daoist to drink. The southern demon and the central emperor used Dao techniques to refine Qi to drink. Yi Fan grabbed Duanda and stuffed his mouth with a wine jar. The divine king body Ji Haoyue and the sky demon body Yao Yuakong discussed physiques. The saintess of the Jade Lake, Qi Haoshue, Ji Ziyue, and the little nun each had their own celestial beauty. They competed with each other and drank. Boom! Finally, what should have come had come. A powerful ancient king descended. The divine bell rang continuously. An overwhelming saint aura surged into the Jasper Lake without any concealment. An ancient king with a dragon head and divine light circling around his body walked in. Everywhere he passed, all the living beings uncontrollably bowed down. This was the pressure of a saint-level expert. Ordinary cultivators could not withstand it at all. He walked straight toward the group of humans. In the end, there were endless thuds. They all knelt on the ground because of his aura. The might of a saint was irresistible. He clearly did this on purpose. He walked forward with large strides and sneered. I heard that a saint appeared in the human race. It's really rare. Come over and let me see if you live up to your name. He was loud and had a hint of killing intent. What the divine silkworm princess and the monkey said was true. The powerful ancient king wanted to kill the only saint of the human race. Chapter 815 The ancient tree was like a horned dragon. Its branches were bold and upright as they stretched towards the sky, sprinkling a layer of shade on the ground. This ancient king had a dragon head and a majestic body. He was born with an unusual disposition and looked tall and sturdy. There was a dazzling ring behind his head. A large number of humans and ancient creatures knelt on the ground. Their bodies were trembling and convulsing uncontrollably as if they were facing a deity. He possessed incomparable might and the natural aura he emitted made it difficult for others to endure. This was the pressure of an ancient saint. As he stood there, everyone knelt down. Where is that saint? Tell him to come and see me. His face was full of coldness. With his hands behind his back, he stood proudly in the center of the field and looked disdainfully at the Jade Lake. The ancient trees swayed and their shadows danced. This place was very quiet and still no one answered. Which human cultivator dared to step out? They didn't have the strength to fight against the saint. At this moment, this ancient king's expression was very cold. He swept his gaze over everyone and then laughed unrestrainedly towards the sky. You actually ran away? How laughable, ha ha ha. Humans, you are just as cowardly as before. He charged in alone with an air of supremacy and looked askance at everyone present. This kind of oppressive aura made people's primordial spirits about to split apart. This kind of laughter was very ear-piercing. The expressions of the human cultivators all changed. This was a type of humiliation and was equivalent to slapping them in the face. Not far away, in the ancient forest, Yi Fan and the others all had ugly expressions. This ancient king was too excessive. He wanted nothing more than to take out the saint's shell again. An old human cultivator with an unyielding personality barely resisted the saint might and said, he might have left because he has something to do. You don't need to humiliate the human race like this. Left because he has something to do. I think he escaped. As long as he comes back, I'll kill him immediately. The dragon had ancient king placed his hands behind his back and the ring behind his head became even more dazzling. His fearless laughter was like a knife that ruthlessly stabbed into everyone's heart. He was incomparably disdainful as he faced everyone alone. At this time, even many ancient creatures were astonished. This ancient king was obviously looking for trouble and had no intention of sitting down to participate in the assembly of a thousand races. 
Not far away, the heavenly prince revealed a sinister expression. The two ancient kings beside him looked at each other and smiled. They knew that a good show was about to begin. Not only them, but other powerful ancient kings also did not believe that Wu Shi was still alive. They would definitely come to the Jade Pool personally to demand an explanation. What a disappointment. The human race is still as useless as before, never daring to face us and can only be reduced to vassals. This ancestral king's expression became even colder, his words not leaving any face at all. Damn it. Even an outsider like Li Tian couldn't endure it any longer. His heart burned with anger, and at the same time, he regretted coming to such a freakish ancient star. The ancient creatures were just too terrifying. The others also felt aggrieved. This ancient king had come purely to humiliate them. That kind of dominance was specifically aimed at them. At this moment, everyone was furious but did not dare to say anything. This was a saint. Even if there were a thousand or ten thousand of them, they would not be able to withstand a single hand of his. With a press, they would all be turned into ashes. So boring, so boring. The dragon-head ancient king shook his head with a hint of disdain. He walked forward in large strides in an incomparably calm and composed manner. On the side, the reactions of the various races were different. Some were surprised, some were worried, but most were excited. The influence of the investiture of the gods on the northern region seemed to have been diluted by this ancient king. His words and actions stirred up many tribes. Where is the human race's sacred physique? Let me see it. This ancient king strode into the depths of the ancient forest and walked straight over. His eyes were somewhat cold as he stared at Yifan. Oh no! Duanda's expression changed. This person was clearly here to find fault and most likely wanted to eliminate Yifan. After all, the human race's sacred physique was not ordinary. Most of the great races in the ancient times did not wish for him to grow, so it was best to kill him in the cradle. It's no big deal. If it really doesn't work, I'll throw caution to the wind and use that sacred shell to smack him to death with the heaven-devouring evil jar. Yi Fan said fiercely. Try not to act recklessly. There will be big problems. Duanda's expression was solemn. In that instant, they quickly exchanged opinions in secret. The dragon had ancient king walked over step by step. The powerful aura of a saint flowed like hazy primal chaos mist, causing everyone to tremble in fear. It's you? He stood high above and looked down at Yi Fan behind the stone table. That's right, it's me. Yi Fan stood up and looked him in the eye. He was calm and fearless. In the distance, the spectating humans and ancient races were all astonished. Facing the might of an ancient king, he was actually able to stand up and not kneel. This was beyond everyone's expectations. Somewhat interesting. The dragon had ancient king looked down at him. His aura suddenly became much denser, and the ring behind his head became even more dazzling. He was like a god. Yi Fan felt a powerful pressure, and all the bones in his body were creaking. If it wasn't for his special physique, he might have already collapsed. Even so, his body was in intense pain. A powerful force surged toward him, forcing him to kneel. This was the aura of a saint. What kind of ability is it to suppress with the power of a saint? What's there to be proud of? A cold voice rang out. The monkey stood up and confronted the ancient king. Everyone's hearts skipped a beat. Not long ago, Princess Divine Silkworm had stood up for the monkey. The scene was still vivid in their minds, and now, he was going to provoke another ancient king. Sacred Prince, as a member of our ancient race, it's inexcusable for you to be so close to the human race's sacred physique, said the dragon-head ancient king indifferently as he retracted his might. My father once said that all living things reinforce and counteract each other. There's a reason for each race's existence, said the monkey. You're the descendant of Emperor Fighting, so I don't want to criticize you. However, you don't have to worry about the human race's sacred physique. No one can stop me. The dragon had ancient king's expression turned cold. He had the urge to kill the monkey as well if there was any disagreement. In the distance, everyone felt a chill in their hearts. An ancient king had arrived in person. Ordinary people couldn't compare at all. The difference was too great. All the sect masters attacked together, but they couldn't stop a single finger of his. Are you trying to bully others? Yi Fan pulled the monkey back and didn't let him go forward. He wasn't afraid and his expression was calm. It was as if he was questioning him. Are you talking to me? I can kill you tens of thousands of times with a single finger. The dragon head ancient king was cold. That's right, I'm talking to you. Yi Fan nodded his head fearlessly. Behind him, everyone was astonished. All their gazes were focused on him. He actually dared to speak to an ancient king like this. This was equivalent to knocking on the gloomy gates of hell. The southern mountain's barbarian tribe leader couldn't watch any longer. He was afraid that Yi Fan would be killed with a single finger, so he said loudly, the investiture of the gods has suppressed the northern region. Great Emperor Wu Shi has manifested a miracle. Today, the convention of the myriad races is about to be held. 
As an ancient king, you don't have any self-respect. Why are you so overbearing? The surroundings were quiet. Everyone held their breaths. To dare to question an ancient king like this required great courage. They were all sweating for the barbarian tribe leader. Ha ha ha. The dragon head ancient king laughed at the sky. He looked down on everyone and simply didn't put anyone in his eyes. There was only endless contempt. A bunch of ants. Even now, you're still pinning your hopes on that dead person. He has long since rotted into bone dregs. To tell you the truth, I've come this time to shatter your daydreams. His attitude was arrogant. These words were not only humiliating the human race, but also great Emperor Wuxia. Everyone was filled with righteous indignation. What, you're not convinced? I'll stand here and let that ghost Wuxia come out to suppress me. The dragon head ancient king sneered, how can a person live for hundreds of thousands of years? That's simply a joke. That's right. Not far away, the heavenly prince echoed loudly. Yuan Gu also nodded. At this moment, the ancient races were in an uproar. Everyone began to discuss and their minds became incomparably lively. They were all very excited. You're humiliating us, the great emperor of the human race. You'll definitely turn into ashes soon. The barbarian tribe leader shouted. Ha ha ha, how naive. Wait until that ghost crawls out of his grave. The dragon head ancient king's expression turned cold after he finished laughing. You're the barbarian chief of the southern mountains barbarian tribe? I've heard that the valley of divinities wasn't able to eliminate you. I'll do it. Boom. He shot a cold glance and a monstrous saint's aura surged out. The barbarian tribe leader coughed up blood and was sent flying. The scene was dead silent. This was the barbarian tribe leader, yet he couldn't even block a wisp of the aura released by a saint. The gap between them was simply too great. You. Yi Fan was enraged. What about me? You're just a little sacred physique of the human race that hasn't matured yet. How dare you disrespect me? Hurry up and kneel. He shouted again. You're going too far. The barbarian king appeared from behind. He stopped the barbarian tribe leader's bleeding and handed him over to his tribesmen to take care of. The dragon head ancient king turned around and sneered. Three immortal slashes. You've achieved great success. Interesting, but it's still not enough. I only need one finger to kill you. Do you really look down on the human race? The barbarian king's expression darkened. The other human cultivators also had ugly and furious expressions. Human race, you're not good enough. The dragon head ancient king shook his finger with an indescribable disdain. Wu Shi is already a dead man. What else can you hope for? You really haven't improved at all. You're just like the primordial era, just a small subordinate tribe under an expert. If you say that, I'll find someone to deal with you. The barbarian king was furious. All the hair on his body stood on end and his blood vessels surged. He wasn't the only one who was angry. All the other human cultivators were enraged and wanted to burn the nine heavens. A warrior could be killed but not humiliated. The dragon head ancient king had gone too far. Is that so? You bugs think you're worthy of fighting with me? I'll send you all on your way with one finger. The dragon head ancient king said sinisterly. He extended a finger and pointed at the barbarian tribe. At this moment, the barbarian king only had one action. He took off the beast skin hat on his head and said, I'll find someone to deal with you. Buzz. The void collapsed as a large black claw reached out. It was as if it came from an ancient land that tore through time and space. Crack. Fierce and terrifying, the large black claw grabbed the incoming finger. The sound of bones breaking could be heard as blood splattered everywhere. The ancient king's finger was broken off. Ah. Uh. The dragon head ancient king let out a blood-curdling scream and fell back. He couldn't believe his eyes. The finger that contained the divine law of the great Tao had been broken. Everyone was flabbergasted. They felt that it was inconceivable and incomparably shocking. On the barbarian king's head was a small black tortoise. To be precise, it was a black tortoise because it had a true dragon's head. After clearly seeing what had injured him, the dragon head ancient king was so angry that his lungs were about to explode. A slow black tortoise was shaking a small claw at him. He couldn't take it anymore. This was a type of humiliation. He said in a low voice, a tortoise. I've actually been injured by a tortoise. F asterisk CKU. You're the tortoise, I'm the black tortoise. The slow black tortoise on the barbarian king's head said sharply. Everyone was dumbfounded and almost petrified. Why did this strange black tortoise have the same temperament as the barbarian tribe? They both belonged to the crude and crude type. The dragon head ancient king roared angrily. He activated the divine law of the great Tao and charged forward. Bang! However, a large black claw stretched forward and slapped him over. F asterisk CK you to death. Remember, I'm the black tortoise. Chapter 816 Ah! Uh. 
The dragon had ancient king roared. As the ancestor of a race, he had moved unhindered throughout the ancient era and rarely had a worthy opponent. Yet, he was knocked down by a single slap from a turtle. He had almost gone mad. Hei Wu laid on the barbarian king's head and was relatively calm. He tilted his neck and slowly said, it's useless even if you shout your throat hoarse. Dragon head ancestral king was so angry that his whole body was trembling. His eyes were like two sharp knives, cold, and flickering coldly. After standing up, he pressed forward step by step. His godly rules were like the sea, like a rainbow, interweaving into a path of Tao. All the light struck the turtle shell and all kinds of divine laws struck the black armor interweaving with patterns. All of them were silently annihilated. How? Moreover, at this moment, the black turtle stretched out a large claw. It was as large as a dustpan and directly slapped the dragon head ancient king, causing him to fall to the ground once again. Crackle. All the bones in this ancient king's body exploded. It was unknown how many pieces they had cracked into. His entire body was covered in blood and almost disintegrated. He turned into a blazing light and escaped, standing several hundred meters away. The dragon head ancient king's face was ashen and as ugly as one could imagine. Just now, he was still looking down on everyone, but now, he was almost smashed by a turtle. How could he endure this? Do you remember who I am? The black turtle slowly landed on the barbarian king's head and shook a small claw, saying, Black tortoise, I am the great black tortoise. Ah! The dragon head ancient king was almost going crazy. He felt that this was a type of humiliation. The two dragon horns on his head flickered with radiance and emitted boundless radiance. They wanted to slash apart this part of the sky, accompanied by the rumbling of the great Tao. Boom! Suddenly, the aura of the great ancient emperors pervaded the air and the sound waves of the great Tao were deafening. Strand after strand of green and hazy air currents descended from the boundless sky. Every strand was as thick as a mountain, grand and heavy, and they were like strands of heavenly rivers that were pouring down. In the boundless sky, there seemed to be an independent small world. Primal chaos surged, and the earth, fire, wind, and water moved. Within it, a green pagoda was faintly discernible. This was an aura that covered the heavens and the earth. It was righteous, auspicious, and vast. It didn't have an overbearing might, but it had a type of inviolable holiness and solemnity. Forget about ordinary cultivators, even the bodies of the dragon head ancient king and the black tortoise went rigid, not daring to move recklessly. Even they felt that if they acted rashly, they would definitely be destroyed. West Emperor Tower This was also the Immortal Tears Green Gold Pagoda. It was personally forged by the Western Empress back then, and after experiencing the endless great eras, it remained imperishable. It had been passed down to this day, and it could suppress everything in this world. The Jade Lake Grand Assembly has a rule. No one is allowed to start a fight here. I hope the Hidden Dragon River's ancestor king will abide by this rule. The Jade Lake Queen Mother's voice sounded from the sky. The extreme Tao Emperor weapon itself was an invincible existence. It was an alternative continuation of the ancient emperor's lives. Who in the world would dare to resist it? Once the monarch weapon awakens, even the ancestral king would have to face it head on. However, the process of recovery was a little slow. It was difficult to control the extreme path emperor weapon, and it would take a long time for many almighties to use it with all their might. Their essence would be sucked dry at any time. Otherwise, with a monarch weapon in hand, it could be said that he owned the world, and who could rival him? Apart from the ancient emperors themselves, no one could truly fully activate the monarch weapon, not even the sages. Even if they could use it, it would be quite strenuous. Of course, within each mountain gate, there would definitely be formation runes personally laid down by the ancient emperors, which could speed up the recovery of the extreme path emperor weapon. It wouldn't consume too much essence, so the Immortal Tears Green Gold Pagoda appeared at this time. The Western Empress' words were only directed at the Dragon Head Ancient King. Even the misty green pillar of air only fell on the top of his head, causing him to feel great pressure and even a hint of fear. In the pure land of the Jade Lake, the West Emperor Tower surpassed everything in the mortal world. Any sages that entered this place would lose their freedom. The Black Tortoise was quite satisfied that there was no pillar of air hanging above its head. It then stretched out a small claw and hooked it at the Dragon Head Ancient King, saying, If you're not convinced, come over and I'll carve the two words Black Tortoise on your face. The Dragon Head Ancient King's nostrils spewed out white smoke. Not long ago, he was in high spirits, pointing at the world and looking down on all living beings. His transcendent attitude was completely gone. Come out and fight with me if you have the guts. I've been waiting for you to say that. Let's go, the great black tortoise will carve a piece of history and write a grand epic on your face, the black tortoise said. Good. Duanda, Li Tian, and Li Heishue secretly applauded and jeered. Many human cultivators also revealed a smile. They felt that this tortoise had a good temperament. His actions were akin to stomping this arrogant ancient king from the sky to the ground. No one stopped him, and in fact, no one could stop him. 
The dragon head ancient king didn't want to stay any longer and rushed out first. The black tortoise landed on the ground and grew to the height of a human. It stood upright and looked like a strange man carrying a black walk on his back. With its hind legs on the ground and its two front claws carrying the weight on its back, it walked out slowly, not much faster than a snail. The ancient king who was standing outside the jade lake waited for a full fifteen minutes. His eyes were spewing fire and his eyes were about to roll back when he saw the tortoise bastard slowly walking over. Without any superfluous words, the dragon head ancient king directly used his most powerful divine technique. The halo behind his head was dazzling and suppressed the sun in the sky. The halo enlarged and turned into a dazzling disk. It devoured the essence, energy, and spirit of all living beings and plundered the vitality of heaven and earth to forge an immortal treasure wheel. Dang! A clear and leisurely sound resounded throughout the world. The divine will behind his head became more and more dazzling, making him look like a deity. His entire body was sparkling and translucent. Boom! Finally, the treasure will shone and rumbled. It was like a wheel of reincarnation, shining on the black tortoise and striking out with the power of reincarnation. Heavenly Path Reincarnation The dragon head ancient king shouted in a rather domineering manner. He took a step forward, and the entire sky trembled. The treasure will press down, causing the sky outside the jade lake to almost return to primal chaos. You dare to compete with the great black tortoise in terms of domineeringness? See how I break you. The black tortoise's entire body shrunk back into the turtle shell. No matter how many divine laws or techniques you used, they were all useless. All kinds of laws turned into blazing light, and all of them landed on the black tortoise shell. There were mysterious and ancient patterns flickering on the surface, neutralizing the endless divine light. It was difficult to break through. In the distance, the people were astonished. There were probably not many people in the world whose defensive power was more abnormal than his. He was able to take on the strongest divine race of the ancestral king head-on without being damaged. Where did this black tortoise come from? Yi Fan moved closer to the barbarian king and asked in a low voice. He only knew that this was the protector of the barbarian race, but he did not expect it to be so powerful. Who raised it? Let me think, it should be my grandfather's grandfather. The barbarian king said a long string of grandfather's 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 grandfather. Even he found it hard to tell how many years this tortoise had lived. A conservative estimate would be more than 6,000 years old. Normally, this tortoise did not pay attention to anyone and only occasionally spoke a few words with the barbarian king. He did not expect to see an ancestral king so talkative today. Go to hell. The dragon head ancient king shouted. The disc behind his head became even more dazzling. It blazed like the sun and descended, suppressing the black tortoise. With a single roar, the mountains collapsed and even the clouds hundreds of miles away were scattered. His aura swallowed the mountains and rivers. You can't compete with me in terms of aggressiveness. Then let's see who's better, the black tortoise was not afraid and similarly shouted. It stretched out its head from the shell and brandished its old black fists. It directly smashed the heaven and earth and roared, Overlord Divine Fist. It could be said that its movements were very comical and its name was also not very good. No matter how one listened to it, it sounded like a tortoise divine fist, but its fists were indeed ferocious and powerful. The first punch of the black fists directly blasted open the disc and shattered it. The second punch directly broke the dragon head ancient king's two arms, and the third punch smashed through his chest. The dragon head ancient king exploded and then turned into a beam of light in the distance. His face was ashen and extremely unsightly as he reassembled his corporeal body. Tortoise fist. I've actually been f asterisk king defeated by a tortoise fist. You don't learn from your mistakes. This is the overlord divine fist created by the great black tortoise. Today, I'll make you remember it forever. The black tortoise stood upright and charged forward. Its two old black fists swung about like two large millstones, creating whistling winds. The surrounding mountains were all uprooted like they were made of paper and flew into the distance. The people were horrified. The two black fists were densely covered with all kinds of divine laws. No wonder they could shatter all the ancient king's secret techniques. There was the power of the heavenly Tao circulating within them. Boom! The two saints clashed once again. One had to admit that the black tortoise was ridiculously fierce. Its two old fists shattered the vacuum and destroyed everything in its way. It struck out 108 punches in one go. Even though most of them were neutralized by the desperate dragon head ancient king, there were still a large number of fist shadows that landed on his body. Remember, this is the overlord divine fist. The dragon head ancient king's body was disintegrating. Whether it was his flesh or broken bones, there were indelible jet black marks left behind. Especially on his face, there were more than ten patterns. All of them were jet black and shaped like little tortoises. They were left behind by the fist imprints. When they separated once again, the dragon head ancient king was about to go crazy. Not only was he defeated, but he was also engraved with a mark of humiliation. The black light flickered and couldn't be erased at all. 
Everyone almost laughed out loud. Even the ancient races were no exception. They were intimidated by the ancient king's divine might and were forcefully holding back their laughter. The dragon had ancient king's body was covered in cuts and bruises. His face was the worst. There were more than ten little tortoise imprints on it that couldn't be erased. Remember, this daddy is the black tortoise. If you dare remember wrongly again, I'll also engrave your primordial spirit, the black tortoise said seriously. Its face was solemn, but it made people want to laugh. The dragon head ancient king had truly gone mad. Was there anything more humiliating than this? Previously, he had displayed his martial prowess and humiliated the human race, suppressing everyone until no one dared to make a sound. But now, he was beaten to death by a tortoise. Tortoise imprints were engraved on his body and face. Moreover, they were engraved with great power and couldn't be erased. He faced the sky and roared continuously. You tortoise, tortoise fists. The dragon head ancient king said through clenched teeth. I am telling you very seriously that the great black tortoise is furious. It is going to blast you into dregs with the emperor tyrant divine fist. The black tortoise's expression was serious. Then, it brandished its old fists and rushed over. Great Tao divine laws flickered in all directions, magical force like a sea. Earth, fire, wind, water rotated. The two fought until the heavens collapsed and the earth cracked. The dragon head ancient king was about to explode from the black tortoise fists. In the end, he released a great roar of disbelief. He was flustered and exasperated. Then, he turned around, covering his head and scurrying like a rat, starting to escape without a trace. At this moment, he didn't care about anything else. What face? What dignity? They were all empty. The most important thing was to survive. Right now, he was truly scared of this tortoise. In his panic, he didn't care where he was going. He turned into clouds, wind, and lightning, fleeing all the way. Remember, this daddy is the great black tortoise. The tortoise chased after him with a deadly earnest expression. He didn't want to let him go at all. This was clearly a gargantuan matter, the consequences extremely serious. After all, they were chasing after an archaic ancestral king. However, everyone laughed. It was difficult for them to feel that type of urgency. Meanwhile, the various archaic clans were like this as well. They wanted to laugh, yet they couldn't, feeling extremely uncomfortable inside. This was too crazy. Even a tortoise raised by the human race was a saint, beating a powerful ancient king until he covered his head and scurried like a rat. How were the various races supposed to continue living? In the end, the human race's cultivators all laughed, feeling great satisfaction. This ancient king who looked down on the human race and wanted to suppress and kill a saint deserved to be chased down by a great black tortoise. Chapter 817 This black tortoise was meticulous in its pursuit. It ran extremely quickly, and all types of Tao patterns flickered beneath its feet. It was as if a streak of flowing light had streaked across the sky. The dragon head ancient king was about to go crazy. He couldn't beat this tortoise and was being chased by it like this. He was furious and wanted to die. Heavenly Tao Reincarnation In the end, he gathered all the magical power in his body and once again used the strongest divine law. Light gathered behind his head and formed a giant wheel that illuminated the void. Overlord Divine Fist The black tortoise also cried out loudly. Its black old fists swelled endlessly and smashed down like two black great mountains. The heaven and earth resonated and rumbled with noise. In the end, within the resplendent radiance, a pair of black old fists smashed apart the precious wheel, shattering the radiance and defeating this divine law. Pooh! The dragon head ancient king exploded. His primordial spirit wanted to escape, but it was immediately blocked by the black tortoise. It withdrew its body into its body, and the tortoise shell turned into a black millstone that crushed over with rumbling sounds. Ah! The dragon head ancient king screamed miserably. All of the essence energy he had accumulated throughout his life erupted, but it couldn't penetrate the tortoise shell. He was crushed into powder by the black millstone, and all types of flowing light shot out. A rain of blood fluttered about in the void. Then, it turned into scarlet light and began to burn. This part of the sky collapsed and was continuously destroyed, turning into a ruined land. An ancestral king of a generation had fallen. Boundless light burned and rushed into the heavens. All types of great Tao laws attacked one after another in a disorderly and chaotic manner. No one dared to interfere and could only wait for it to disappear. Beside the Jade Lake, everyone was shaken. An archaic king was killed just like that. His blood splashed through the sky and he turned into a torch of light. His name was erased from this world. The archaic races were deathly silent. A powerful ancient king was killed just like that, blown apart by a seemingly harmless and even comical black tortoise. Didn't the human race almost never have any saints? How could the tortoise they raised be so powerful? It really made one's hair stand on end. In the sky, that tortoise was deadly earnest and solemnly said, Remember, I am the great black tortoise. 
Just now, everyone could still laugh, but now, they no longer had that kind of mood. An ancient king was blown apart, so who could provoke this tortoise? How could the barbarian race have such a powerful sacred tortoise? The heavenly prince said to himself. The nine divine rings behind him were extremely dazzling. He frowned. Prince, lower your voice, the two ancient kings said. They sensed that this tortoise was not easy to provoke. Inside the jade lake, petals were falling in profusion. Sparkling and translucent petals were falling unceasingly in an ancient forest. Yi Fan toasted the barbarian patriarch and old barbarian king to express his gratitude. Within the pure land, many people were drinking with one another. Their hearts were at ease. The insufferably arrogant dragon head ancient king was crippled by a tortoise and then crippled. This made them feel quite satisfied. The sound of the zither was tinkling. Within the ancient forest, on the shore of the bright lake, auspicious light lingered about. Mist rose and hundreds of birds flew about. It was a scene of peace. The ancient races all had gloomy expressions. An ancient king was killed in front of everyone. This was like a great stone weighing down on their hearts, making them feel uncomfortable. The conference was finally about to begin. Tomorrow morning was the day, but everything was so calm that many people felt uneasy. Finally, when the red sun was setting in the west, the aura of the star domain reversing came from outside the pure land. No one came in, but everyone was terrified. The pressure of the ancient saints covered the sky and earth. Dang! The divine bell rang out in a long and drawn-out manner. A supreme character had arrived, and everyone had to welcome him. On the horizon, several figures slowly walked over. Each of them was tall and incomparably majestic. They were like several demonic mountains that wanted to collapse the ancient skies. They walked very slowly, but it was quite intimidating. Every one of them seemed to have experienced endless tribulations. Their bodies were one with the great Tao of the heaven and earth, fusing with the Tao laws. Seven people. There were no less than seven ancient saint-level existences. They came together, and as they walked together, the earth almost sank. All kinds of brilliance descended from the sky, and the heavenly sounds rang out incessantly. It was as if they were crying for them. This was the scene produced by the seven ancient saint-level experts. They were recognized by the heaven and earth, and all kinds of auspicious signs descended for them. Each one of them was in charge of a unique divine law. Seven ancient saints. Such experts appeared at the same time. Just the thought of it made people tremble. On the horizon, it was submerged in a blazing light. Seven tall figures walked over, and every one of them was dyed in a layer of golden brilliance. All creatures trembled, feeling incomparable reverence. These were the existences of the saint level. They had to use their entire lives to look up to them. All of the human cultivators' eyes burned with passion. How great would it be if these were the saints of the human race? There were a total of seven of them, and they all appeared like this. How shocking would that be? However, as the footsteps approached, all of the human cultivators felt as if cold water had been poured over their heads. Every single saint's appearance was different, and they all had the distinct characteristics of the ancient races. Even though they had a premonition, they still couldn't help but feel a deep sense of disappointment. How could the human race have seven ancient saints appear all at once? Everyone felt a sense of powerlessness. How were they supposed to contend against these kinds of ancient clans? Suddenly, several ancient kings walked over together. The pressure was suffocating. The barbarian race's protector, the black tortoise, was indeed powerful, but it was difficult for him alone. So many ancient races came, and this wasn't even all of them. The disparity was just too great. At this moment, the outside of the jade pool was quiet. There wasn't the slightest sign of life. It was absolutely silent, and not a single person could say anything. If it wasn't for the fact that many people firmly believed that great Emperor Wu Shi was still alive, this would definitely be a great era that would cause everyone to despair. There simply wasn't the slightest bit of hope to speak of. It was extremely difficult for the human race to even find a single saint, and the various ancient clans all had a group of ancient kings overseeing them. The disparity was just too great, and there was simply no way to contend against them. Bathed in multicolored light, their bodies were inlaid with gold. They walked over step by step, and their appearances were all different. Some had a human head and phoenix body, some had a human body and a chilin head, and some had 36 pairs of divine wings on their backs. There were even some that looked exactly the same as humans. It was clear that they didn't come from the same race, but there was one similarity, and that was that they didn't believe that great emperor Wu Shi was still alive. Just like the dragon head ancient king, they came here to demand an explanation. Seven saint level existences. Who could stop them? A single sacred tortoise definitely wouldn't do. This was a heaven overflowing battle prowess that could destroy all enemies. Seven king clans joining forces. Yi Fan sucked in a breath of cold air. The others still had a belief that Wu Shi was still alive, but he was well aware of the truth. At this moment, his entire body was ice cold. Who could stop them? This was only the beginning. 
the seven ancient kings retracted their might. They weren't as insufferably arrogant as the dragon head ancient king, forcing all clans to kneel down. However, they were extremely cold, even more apathetic and emotionless. They stood outside the jade pool like seven great mountains. The jade pool distinguished meeting is about to begin. The seven ancient kings have descended, making the distinguished meeting this time flourish greatly. Someone spoke, indirectly flattering them. Seven seniors, please come inside. A human sect master spoke. Even though there was enmity in their hearts, they had no choice but to treat them respectfully. If the reception wasn't good enough, there might be a great disaster. However, the seven ancient kings stood outside the jade pool, as if they didn't hear anything. They didn't pay them any attention, their faces as cold as ice. The arrival of the various ancient kings has made the distinguished meeting even more dazzling and colorful. This is a cause for celebration. Please enter the jade pool. Another few human sect masters spoke. However, they were still ignored. The seven ancient kings didn't even give them a single look. They didn't give them any reply, treating them like air. The few human sect masters bowed respectfully. They immediately went rigid. This wasn't humiliation, but rather cold disregard. The other human cultivators' bodies also went cold, feeling the difference between heaven and earth. These seven ancient kings didn't even give them a single look. Their eyes were full of great changes, as well as callous coldness. It was as if they were facing a group of ants, not having a common language. They didn't purposely look down on them, but this type of eyes from different worlds, their attitude of ignoring them made one's heart even more ice cold. Ants and giant dragons didn't interact at all. This was what everyone felt. They were in two different worlds, and because of this, they were ignored. They couldn't even feel anger, this was a type of indescribable sorrow. The dragon had ancient king that was beaten to death considered everyone beneath his notice. His temperament was extremely impetuous, making others fear him, but it was difficult for them to respect him. Meanwhile, these seven ancient kings were different. They were incomparably cold, not uttering a single word, making others feel even more fear. They ignored the humans here, this type of indifference coming from the bottom of their hearts, making everyone even more horrified. I pay my respects to the ancient kings. The heavenly prince walked up and greeted them. Only now did the seven of them nod their heads, but they still didn't say anything, towering like seven demonic mountains outside the jade pool. What a great display, seven ancient kings descending together. If you all came to participate in the jade pool distinguished meeting, why didn't you all come in? The black tortoise appeared, its expression grave. What kind of distinguished meeting is this? Who here can sit together with us and discuss the future of the world, discuss the development prospects of all clans? Finally, an ancient king spoke, incomparably cold. The words he spoke even more so expressed his attitude, which was that he didn't attach any importance to the humans here at all. This really is a cruel law, the weak being food for the strong. Did you all really not wish to enter the jade pool? The black tortoise said. Can you find someone who is on equal footing with us? Another ancient king said ruthlessly. The others seemed to have been frozen solid. They were still ice cold, still indifferent, not giving the humans here a single look, as if they were facing a group of insignificant ants. Everyone couldn't even feel anger, only feeling sorrow. The difference in strength was too great. These seven ancient kings weren't trying to show off their might, but rather because everything came from their hearts, instinctively ignoring them. Are you all going to turn me into an ant as well? The black tortoise's expression also became cold, asking with a sunken voice. You killed an ancient king from Hidden Dragon River, still quite strong. We originally wanted to seek guidance from you. There weren't any excessive words. A great battle directly erupted, every step filled with killing intent, the most powerful divine laws clashing right from the start. Wang. The black tortoise's offense and defense were natural, not strenuous at all. A claw slapped down, blasting this ancient king back more than ten steps. Quite strong, add me in and give it a try. Another ancient king walked up, cold like an ice house. Hong. A great battle erupted again. The black tortoise still occupied the absolute advantage, wishing to kill the two of them, turning into a streak of dark light. Quite strong, but how many can you fight alone? Three more ancient kings walked up together, one of them incomparably powerful, far exceeding ordinary ancient kings, enough to contend against the black tortoise himself. Five ancient kings took action together. There were two even colder ones on the side, not moving at all, indifferently watching the battle. Kill. The black tortoise was furious, but how could a single person stop five ancient kings? One of them was too powerful, comparable to him, an exceptional great enemy. Together with the support of the other four, he was immediately not a match. Pung. The black tortoise suffered thirteen heavy blows in succession, coughing out large mouthfuls of blood, flying outwards. If not for the tortoise shell's defensive strength being astonishing, it would have definitely turned to ashes just now. The black tortoise was defeated, continuously coughing out blood. 
He crawled up with difficulty, his eyes extremely cold, blazing divine lightning shooting out, walking forward again. Hong. This time, he suffered 19 blows in succession, all of them struck by that ancient king who was far stronger than ordinary people. He coughed out large mouthfuls of blood, even the black tortoise shell producing a few cracks. Pung. This time, the black tortoise fell onto the ground, only crawling up after exhausting a great deal of strength. The seven ancient kings were like solid ice that wouldn't melt for 10,000 years, unmoving, towering in front of them. One of them spoke without any fluctuations of emotion, saying, when a great clan needs a tortoise to maintain its pitiful dignity, is destruction still that far away? When these words sounded, all of the humans' expressions changed. This was like a blade stabbing into everyone's hearts. Even the ones who were the most patient couldn't help but roar out right now. Many people felt their mouths tighten, unable to help but roar towards the sky. Wu Shi is already dead, none of you can count on him. Another cold sentence was spoken. At this time, everyone wanted to rush forward. Even if they were going to die, they still wanted to fight and fight a great battle. However, they discovered with sorrow that they didn't even have the qualifications. The difference was too great, not even on the same order of magnitude. Are you all relying on this tortoise? Can he still fight? Can he still protect your last bit of laughable dignity? An ancient king who hadn't spoken all this time coldly spoke. At this moment, everyone's hot blood surged, wishing they could immediately rush over. If there was a human race great sage who descended from the sky right now, how great would that be? This was everyone's hope in the midst of despair. The meeting of the myriad races is a joke. Is there anyone who is on the same level as us? How can we hold it? Another ancient king said. Everyone's faces were ashen, but they were powerless to refute. There was no one at the same level as them to talk to, which made them angry and helpless. Boom. Suddenly, the sound of footsteps came from the end of the world, merging with the pulse of this world and clearly entering everyone's hearts. The setting sun was like blood, sprinkling down red brilliance that filled the sky, dyeing the earth with a layer of red. At the end of the world, a tall and straight figure was walking over step by step. His clothes were whiter than snow, and he was heroic and imposing as he moved forward resolutely. This was a saint who belonged to the human race. His heroic spirit was overwhelming, and his style was peerless. A true saint of the human race. Many of the human race cultivators present actually cried at this moment. It was unknown whether it was because they were excited, happy, or sullen, but hot tears flowed down their cheeks. The human race relied on a tortoise to protect their last dignity, which made them so miserable that they wanted to die. They were mercilessly torn apart by several ancient kings, and it was even more painful than being cut by a knife. Today, they finally saw a saint that belonged to the human race. He merged with heaven and earth, and his white clothes were untainted by a speck of dust. He was extraordinary, and his handsome face was firm and resolute. He was peerless, like an immortal king that had descended into the world. Yi Fan was also excited. After seeing this person, even he couldn't help but tear up. Chapter 818 In the setting sun, a man in white was walking over step by step. The glow of the setting sun shone on him, dyeing him with a layer of divine brilliance, making him extraordinary. His appearance touched everyone's heart. Many people roared out loud. Being looked down upon by the seven ancestral kings from the bottom of their hearts made everyone feel aggrieved. This was a handsome and young face, but the vicissitudes in his eyes indicated that he was no longer a young man. His snow-white robe fluttered in the wind as he stepped on the sunset glow. Like a dream, his splendor and peerless appearance made people want to kneel down and worship him. This wasn't a result of pressure, but rather an emotion that stirred everyone up. Everyone began to cry out loudly. A saint. A saint that belongs to the human clan. It had been almost 17 or 18 years since they parted. Yi Fan's eyes were sour. He did not expect to see the Divine King in white here. He was able to reach this step today all because of Divine King Jiang. He helped him repair the broken path of the Divine Body, cleanse the Great Path with the blood of the gods, and helped him break through. It could be said that Divine King Jiang had exchanged all of this for him with his life. Otherwise, he was afraid that he would vanish into the crowd. Divine King. Yi Fan's voice trembled. His steps were unsteady as he walked forward to greet the Divine King. Back then, the Divine King was a hero in his twilight years. He went alone into the great wilderness, only seeking death. This made him very sad, but he was unable to help. Now, he finally appeared in the world again. Yi Fan was extremely excited because the Divine King was the person he respected the most. The Divine King had a head full of white hair that sparkled like snow. His body was tall and strong, and his appearance was peerless. As soon as he appeared, he gave people the feeling of a majestic mountain that could hold up the sky. He made people feel that everything could be withstood, like an immortal pillar that held up the sky. 
Many people were excited, and many were quietly wiping away their tears. Their eyes were red. After being suppressed for so long, everyone was extremely looking forward to the arrival of a human clan saint. The seven ancestral kings also had to look back. When they saw this extraordinary person, everyone's heart skipped a beat, and their cold expressions froze. Divine King. Yi Fan walked over, paying his respects, almost choking with emotion, his emotion sincere. Get up. Divine King Jiang Taishu personally pulled him up. His white robes were picturesque, and the unparalleled elegance of the past seemed to appear before their eyes, causing everyone's hearts to surge with emotions. There were many kings in the world, but only the white-robed divine king was crowned with the word, peerless. The setting sun dyed the world red. The divine king's entire body was dazzling as he stood there, illuminating everyone's hearts. It made people feel as if he alone could support the entire sky. God King A Supreme God King At this moment, no one knew who shouted first, but everyone else followed suit. Their voices shook the heavens and the earth. At this juncture of despair, the arrival of a single person had such an effect. This had ignited the passion of everyone, causing many of the ancient race beings to feel a wave of fear. Meanwhile, the seven archaic kings also revealed looks of surprise. Dark light flickered within their eyes as they calmly watched. The divine king was a very unfortunate person. He became famous when he was young, and he had already achieved the three executions of the immortal realm. However, the heavens were jealous of his talent, and he was at the peak of his power when he was trapped in the Purple Mountain for four thousand years. After his return, everything changed. He had lived a heroic life, but he was already past his prime. There was nothing more painful than this. He was originally invincible, but now he was quietly waiting for his life to come to an end. What was even more tragic was that his beloved had died in order to save him. He watched helplessly as, with such a vicissitudes of life and experience, he held the cold corpse of fairy rosy cloud in his arms, and his hair turned white in the bleak sunset. Anyone who understood the Divine King's life would feel moved and sad for him. His life was full of misfortunes, and he was an outstanding person who would make others feel heartache. When he was young, he had killed the Sun Sovereign, one of the Gemini kings of the Central Prefecture, who had already entered the realm of great accomplishment. And not long ago, the Battle of the Barbarian Race's cavalry in the Northern Plains revealed that he had injured the Dark Devil King, the foundation of the Wang family, causing him to lose the confidence to prove his way. How many other unknown past events were done when he was young? With such a glorious battle record, if he had not wasted 4,000 years, what level would he have grown to? Every time they thought of it, they would sigh and feel pity for the Divine King. This was a true heaven-warping hero. Finally, a saint has appeared, an ancient king said coldly. The scene quieted down. Everyone was paying attention to the white-robed king, or perhaps they should call him the white-robed saint. But from a psychological point of view, people were more willing to call him the white-robed divine king. This was no longer an achievement, but a unique title. A saint that is not like ordinary people. Among the seven ancient kings, the only man who had not spoken yet spoke. He frowned slightly and said, how should I address you? Jiang Taishu, the divine king, said calmly. His eyes were full of spirit, like the sunset, sparkling brilliantly. He did not have the aura of a saint, nor did he have an intimidating might. But just by standing there, he could share the limelight with the seven ancient kings. He did not seem to be the slightest bit weaker. This was what everyone felt. No one knew whether it was a misconception or an illusion. Their hearts became extremely certain. The arrival of the divine king was like a stabilizing force, making them feel at ease. Why, do I feel that you are different from other saints? An ancient king's cold expression faded, and a hint of doubt appeared on his face. We are different. We are of different races, and the Tao we have proven is also different, the divine king said. No, what kind of Tao have you proven? You are definitely stronger than ordinary saints, the ancient king said in a low voice. Everyone present was shocked, especially the ancient races. They were even shocked. For an ancient king to say such words, it was enough to show that the white-robed saint before them was stronger than him. Times have changed. Every human saint is different, Divine King Jiang said calmly. However, these words were like a clap of thunder, shocking the ancient kings present. Their expressions changed for the first time. As for the others, only a few people figured out what he meant. Then, they were also shocked. This was the post-primordial era. It was different from the past. The world could not accommodate saints, and no one could prove their Tao. Even king tears were almost impossible to see. These years had been an era that made the most talented cultivators despair. They had great talent, but they could not cut their Tao. They spent their days in vain, and their hair turned white. They were sorrowful, but they could not achieve anything. It was different before the primordial era. Before the rules of the world changed, king tears were not rare. Every race had saints. It was much easier to cultivate than it was now. In the present age, king tears were as rare as phoenix feathers and chilin horns. 
It was even more difficult than becoming a saint in ancient times. With such harsh conditions, how could one take the step of becoming a saint? In these years, those who could cut their Tao three times were all amazing. Everyone had their own unique path. It was facilitated by all kinds of great opportunities, and it could not be replicated. Under these circumstances where becoming a saint was not allowed, one had to take that heaven-defying step. How strong of a will and talent did one need? Every saint who became a saint under such circumstances was incomparable. They were different from others. Even if they had only taken the first step, they were still terrifying. This was because they were kings among saints, and they had succeeded under the most impossible conditions. What kind of person was the white-robed divine king? He was crowned with the word, peerless, and he had a king physique. With such difficult background conditions, he could be called the king of kings. Times have changed. An ancient king muttered to himself. His heart was in turmoil. Human saints were almost impossible to see, but as long as one jumped out, they would be extremely stunning and frightening, making them feel fear. The convention of the myriad races is about to begin. Won't you all come in and have a seat, the divine king invited. His hair was white like snow, and he was heroic and imposing. His tone was calm and upright. It's not worth going in and sitting. What kind of convention is it without people who can sit at the same table as you? We're sitting here, and there's no one who can sit at the same table as us. Who can we talk to? An ancient king mercilessly reopened their scars. This made many human cultivators angry, but they could not refute him. If divine King Jiang had not come, this would have been the case. How about I sit and discuss the Tao with you, the white-robed divine king said. You are unordinary, I was just about to experience it. You should pass through us first. An ancient king walked up and immediately took action. Behind him, there were thirty-six pairs of divine wings. They fluttered together, and suddenly, a heavenly light screen appeared. A heavenly sword soared up and slashed down. This was formed by the boundless divine laws, and it was his strongest attack. In a battle between saints, a single attack could decide victory and defeat, deciding life and death. In this setting sun, Jiang Taishu's entire body was surrounded by golden light. He only made one move, and that was to slash with his fingers. Clang! The heavenly sword snapped under the divine king's two fingers, and the divine laws were extinguished like smoke. They turned into a dazzling light and disappeared into the void. Boom! An even more terrifying battle began. This time, there were six saints. Apart from an ancient king, they all attacked and suppressed the white-robed divine king together. Thousands and tens of thousands of strands of light intersected and turned into a Tao immortal mace. The sonorous voice of the heavenly Tao rang out in all directions, and all kinds of auspicious chi gushed out and fell down. This was the trump card the six saints used together. It competed with the world for fortune, competed with the sun and moon for brilliance, and advanced with peace and slaughter. Boundless light, boundless tribulation, boundless energy, suppress eternally. The six of them shouted together. Their voices resounded through the heavens and earth, rumbling and rumbling. It was unknown how many tens of thousands of Li it traveled. The void in front of them was collapsing. Chaotic light vaguely appeared, and a small world was forcefully cleaved open. There was an additional aura of opening the heavens here. This was a peerlessly powerful attack. The sky was filled with auspicious colors, and divine lotuses appeared on the ground. All kinds of light gathered together to form a divine sea. Everyone collapsed. They weren't attacked, but they couldn't endure the pressure in the sky. It was as if the world was about to be destroyed. The Supreme Divine King's hands moved. Time seemed to have stopped for him. His white hair danced in the wind, and his eyes were filled with determination. He was unmoved as he drew out a path. Only Yi Fan understood that he was using the Battle Saint technique. The number one offensive power for the past 5,000 years had once again displayed its brilliance. And this time, the Divine King entered the stage with the identity of a saint. He displayed his unrivaled attack, the most powerful attack. Hong. The world collapsed. A blood-red furnace appeared. It was divine and vast, filling the sky. There were divine birds, suns, and other ancient diagrams carved on it. The multicolored haze was like blood, blossoming brilliantly. All types of laws interweaved beside this sacred furnace, releasing heavenly Tao rumbling sounds. It suppressed downwards, and no one could stop it. What? You brought an extreme Tao emperor weapon. Could this be the Jiang family's eternal universe furnace? Several ancient kings were horrified. Their fine hairs stood on end, and they felt a deep sense of powerlessness. They couldn't resist, and they were continuously pressed down. No, this is an offensive saint technique he evolved, not an emperor weapon. This, is too terrifying. An ancient king's entire body went ice cold. Everyone was shaken. This was earth shattering. The human cultivators knew that this was definitely the battle saint technique. It had evolved an unrivaled attack. 
Number one offensive power for the past 5,000 years, an unbreakable legend. Everyone was stirred up. After entering the Saint Realm, the White Clothed Divine King became even more invincible. He was still that unrivaled Supreme Divine King. The various ancient races revealed looks of fear. Everyone was terrified. A single person was suppressing six saints. Just what kind of style was this? An unrivaled expert, a king among saints. In the sky, the sacred furnace that filled the sky with scarlet multicolored light was unstoppable. The six ancient kings all bent over, about to kneel on the ground. His unrivaled style hadn't diminished in the past. The number one offensive power for the past 5,000 years was still an unbreakable legend. The king had a head of white hair that was sparkling like snow. His tall and sturdy body was exceptionally charming. Just by appearing, he gave off a feeling like a majestic mountain that could support the heavens. It made people feel as if everything could be withstood, as if he was an immortal pillar that supported the heavens. Chapter 819 The white-robed divine king was still as graceful as before. As he took action, everyone's blood surged. They roared out in response as their blood boiled. In the sky, the blood-colored divine furnace blossomed with boundless light. Scarlet multicolored light curled about, and divine laws were boundless. The great Tao rumbled incessantly. The six ancient kings bent their waists and knees. They couldn't bear the divine might, and it was useless even if they resisted together. Every single bone in their body was ringing, about to explode. The world was a boundless expanse. There was light everywhere, and there were natural laws everywhere. A blood-red divine furnace stood there, as large as a mountain, illuminating the sky. Everyone was intimidated. The six saints couldn't defeat it even after joining hands. They were about to kneel down and be completely destroyed. Everyone couldn't help but be shocked. The white-robed saint's reputation wasn't undeserved. His battle saint technique was unparalleled, and even the eternal universe emperor furnace had been produced. What else couldn't he do? Ah. The six saints all cried out and spat out large mouthfuls of blood. Their bodies bent even more, and if they didn't kneel down, their bodies and Tao would disappear. Finally, the seventh ancient king took action. He was extremely powerful. He turned into a streak of boundless white light, and it was as if a silver river was descending. He merged with the Tao. Immortal for a thousand eras, unbreakable by ten thousand tribulations, boundless Tao techniques, splitting open the heavens and earth. This ancient king was extremely powerful. It was as if he had obtained eternal life within the boundless light. He hacked down with a giant divine axe, wanting to split open the blood furnace in the sky. It was as if he was splitting open the heavens, and chaotic energy rushed out. It had to be said that this person was extremely powerful. The earth, fire, wind, and water rotated, and the aura of a new world rushed over. He hacked apart everything in his way, and chaotic light surged. This wasn't an illusion, but the true power of the absolute beginning. There was an aura of the birth of all living things pervading the air, as if they had returned to the beginning of the Tao. Hong. Facing all of this, the white-robed divine king formed a seal with both hands. Scarlet multicolored light surged, and the resplendent eternal universe furnace rose continuously, directly blocking this axe. Nine divine phoenixes rushed out from the furnace, and a sun appeared on the spot. This was a type of emperor might, and it didn't seem to be produced at all. It was as if a true extreme Tao emperor weapon had arrived. An intense collision ensued. That sun and divine axe collided, and immortal light erupted. The entire world seemed to collapse. Hong. At this moment, everyone lost their hearing and couldn't hear anything. That huge collision sound made many people's ears bleed. Fortunately, they were far enough away, or else everyone would have died and turned into dust. Not even a trace of blood would be left behind. This was a terrifying impact. The sun imprinted on the eternal universe furnace collapsed, and the heaven-splitting axe also crumbled, turning into flowing light. The fluctuations created by the collision were too terrifying. It was as if the nine heavens had been pierced through. This was a great destruction. A few elders in the jade pool cried out in alarm. A few of the formation patterns outside the pure land were almost torn apart. The offensive power of this battle was too incomparable. There were countless formation patterns here. It was a battlefield specially created for saints. There were many ancient stones buried underground, some of which were carved by the Western Emperor. When the Jade Lake moved, not all of these things could be moved here, but the most important ones were brought here. This was a battle between saints, one that could destroy the heavens and the earth. The battlefield that was specially prepared for them had almost been penetrated, and a small mistake had occurred. Ah! The seventh saint shouted loudly. His hair danced in the wind and his eyes were wide open in anger. However, he could not block the attack of the nine divine phoenixes and was suppressed beneath him. Hong. In the sky, the blood-red divine furnace rose high and then fiercely smashed down. This time, it suppressed the seven ancient kings together. Everyone was stunned. What kind of battle strength was this? 
one person suppressed seven saints and occupied the upper hand. This was an exceptional and stunning performance. Four of the seven ancient kings had not gone far after entering this realm, but the other three were all extremely powerful. The last one was especially terrifying, yet he was still not a match. Rise! The seven roared loudly. Their voices resounded through the clouds and shook this part of the sky. Their voices traveled tens of thousands of li, and even the laws of heaven and earth trembled. The addition of the seventh saint made them even more terrifying. They actually wanted to lift the blood-colored sacred furnace and shatter it in the void. At this moment, a bloody pillar rushed out from the top of each saint's head. It was as if they were going to pierce through heaven and earth. They were truly going to stake it all and use all of their strength. Ah! Uh. The majestic and magnificent roars shook the years and collapsed space. The rumbling sounds were like the galloping of a magnificent army. Deafening wasn't enough to describe it. The angry roars of the seven saints tore through the long river of time. The blood-colored sacred furnace rose and was about to be lifted. The seven saints erupted with incomparable power. Their hair stood on end in anger and their blood chi was like the sea, surging out from the top of their heads. Everyone cried out in alarm. Facing all of this, they were truly afraid. If Divine King Jiang was defeated, who else could stop him? At this moment, the white-robed saint became the only human saint that they could rely on. He was their spiritual pillar. Everyone was terrified and couldn't help but tremble. The human race couldn't afford to lose. They didn't have that many ancient kings and too few saints. Once they died, the consequences would be unimaginable. Heaven blessed the divine king. Many people secretly prayed. His white robes fluttered in the wind. Divine King Jiang let out a long roar that shook the surroundings. He descended from the sky and his entire body shone brilliantly as he stepped on the eternal universe furnace. This was an eternal scene. No matter how many years passed, people wouldn't forget it. The peerless divine king's peerless style was undoubtedly displayed. His robes were whiter than snow. Divine King Jiang Taishu stepped on the eternal universe furnace and descended, suppressing the seven sages. He continued to descend, unmatched. Ah! Uh. The seven saints roared and coughed out large mouthfuls of blood. Cracks appeared on each of their bones. They were in despair. This human saint could be called a king among saints. The seven of them couldn't move him even with their combined strength. They were suppressed by someone stepping on the eternal universe furnace. They felt powerless and lost the courage to fight. Are all the post-desolate antiquity era saints so terrifying? The strongest ancient king had the most tenacious willpower, but he was also in despair. Their bodies were ringing. All kinds of laws were reversing and about to destroy their bodies. Moreover, at this moment, their physical bodies couldn't hold on any longer. They were about to kneel down and fall at the feet of the white-robed divine king in an extremely humiliating posture. The divine king is invincible. Everyone roared with excited expressions. The terrifying scene of defeat didn't appear. The white-robed divine king's peerless style actually suppressed the seven saints with his own strength. Peerless divine king. Although he should be called the white-robed saint, people were more used to calling him the peerless divine king because this could better show how extraordinary he was. His white clothes fluttered. The divine king Jiang Taishu stood on the scarlet blood divine furnace, illuminating the heavens. It was as if he had reached the summit alone, looking down on all the other mountains. The seven saints were all kneeling below the divine furnace. This was a spirit of heaven as a cliff and he as the peak. He looked down on the boundless earth, and even the saints had fallen and had to kneel at his feet. This eternal scene, no matter how many years had passed, was imprinted in people's hearts and couldn't be erased. Ah! Uh, the seven saints were on the verge of death. They couldn't endure this kind of pressure and roared at the sky. However, at this moment, the white-robed divine king smiled brilliantly and withdrew his supreme might. He dissolved the eternal universe furnace and restrained all of his aura. His white clothes were whiter than snow. He stood alone in the void and didn't kill the seven saints. He didn't make them kneel down in humiliation either. The world became quiet and everyone was dumbfounded. Even the seven saints didn't know what was going on. They stood there in a daze, not knowing what to say or do. No one would have thought that the white-robed divine king would stop at the crucial moment and not transform the divine furnace. Everyone knew that he definitely could have killed the seven saints just now. Moreover, he could have made them die on their knees in humiliation. Their illustrious reputation would have gone down the drain and become his own supreme might and prestige. However, he didn't do that. His expression was calm as he stood alone in the sunset. His style was outstanding. The faces of the various archaic tribes turned pale. Seven saints had been defeated by a single person just like that. It was shocking and many people's legs went soft. Why didn't you take action? An ancient king asked in a low voice. When will we be able to kill if we continue like this? This is a distinguished meeting of the myriad races, not a massacre, the divine king replied. The seven ancient kings became silent. They found it hard to calm down. 
There was bitterness and disappointment. They were defeated just like that. He displayed his strength but didn't use it to be domineering. He is a true king. His future path is destined to be much further than ours. An ancient king sighed softly. Many human cultivators didn't understand. Why didn't they kill the saints? That way, they would have one less terrifying enemy. Very few people understood the heart of a divine king. We have lost. Thank you for not killing us. At this moment, the seven saints actually bowed together, shocking everyone. Regardless of whether it was the ancient races or the humans, they were all stupefied. Such powerful ancient kings had unyielding pride. They didn't respect the heavens, didn't bow to the earth, and even more so wouldn't bow to those at the same level. In this world, unless the ancient emperors were reborn, they wouldn't bow to anyone. However, at this moment, they lowered their heads to the divine king. What was a true king? To make even their great enemies have to pay respect, to feel reverence and incomparable admiration. The white-robed divine king gave the best explanation. To make the ancient kings bow, to make the archaic saints bow, this was an unimaginable glory. Who in this world could do this? In this battle, the white-robed divine king didn't kill a single enemy. His clothes weren't stained with blood, but his name was destined to shake the world and alarm all races. Everyone had to revere him. We have underestimated the human race. You are a true king. The seven saints bowed to the divine king again and turned to leave. Everyone was dumbfounded. Since the ancient times, how many people could enjoy such respectful etiquette? Everyone pondered for a moment and understood. The divine king was right not to kill them. He could kill these seven whenever he wanted to but if he did, the various races of the supreme ancient immortal realms would go crazy for revenge. The human race wouldn't be able to defend against this. Using not killing to intimidate others was far more intimidating than displaying martial prowess and tyranny. The few of you have already arrived at the Jade Lake. Why don't you all go in and have a good chat? The Divine King urged. The figures of the seven ancient kings froze. After a moment of hesitation, they turned back and entered the pure land together with the white-robed Divine King. Don't look down on us acting together. If we can't even pass this trial, the human race would truly have no more hope. Not only do we not believe that Wu Shu is still alive, there are also some even more powerful people. They should all come tomorrow. The seven ancient kings weren't ashamed of joining hands to deal with the enemy. They very frankly spoke the truth. The seven of them regained their coldness. They weren't as impetuous as the dragon head ancient king. They only sat opposite the white robed divine king and ignored the others. This was destined to be a sleepless night. Because at the instant the sun rose, an unknown fate would be waiting for everyone. Could the divine king fight against the world alone? Many people felt their hearts heavy when they thought of this question. They found it hard to sleep. They felt that this night was extremely long and hoped that it would last forever. Chapter 820 This night was very long, as if it would never end. No one knew what would happen the next day. Many people couldn't sleep at all. Their faces were haggard and worried. It was difficult to endure. Finally, dawn broke. A ray of light rose from the east, piercing through the mist and shining into the jade pool. The bright red sun overflowed with splendor. The pure land was shrouded in mist, and the morning dew, tender leaves, lake ripples, and bright petals were all flickering with luster. Fresh air blew into their faces. The mist in the mountains was multicolored under the sunlight. It was enshrouded in mist, and it was extremely beautiful and peaceful. However, on such a lively morning, everyone's heart was heavy. What should have come was finally coming. The gathering of all races was about to begin, and powerful ancient kings were about to descend. On a cliff, the white-robed divine king sat cross-legged. He breathed in and out while facing the morning glow. He was otherworldly and untainted by dust. Yi Fan was beside him, narrating the events of the past ten years in detail. Tonight, Yi Fan was able to sit together with Divine King Jiang, which made many cultivators envious. This was something that people yearned for but could not achieve. He was like a god. On another cliff, the seven ancient kings were also sitting cross-legged. Their expressions were indifferent, and there were no fluctuations in their emotions. Only when the morning glow rose did they open their eyes at the same time. It's about to come, said an ancient king. When these words were spoken, everyone was pulled back to reality. They were about to face a tremendous storm. The powerful ancestral king appeared, and they didn't believe that great emperor without beginning was still alive. There was definitely going to be a shocking clash. Everyone's hearts were clouded. They stood motionlessly on the ground, waiting for that moment to arrive. It was heavy and oppressive, and they almost stopped breathing. Finally, the divine bell rang. An extremely powerful saint had arrived and entered the pure land. He needed the masters of each sect to welcome him. What should have come had finally come. No matter what, they couldn't avoid it. Whether it was a great world of symbiosis or a chaotic world of darkness, it would all be revealed today. At this moment, no one could remain calm. 
This was a negotiation that could be recorded in the annals of history. It concerned the future of all races, and its effects were far-reaching. Peace negotiation. That's the only word a weak race can use. What do you have to negotiate with me? A clear and cold voice came from outside the pure land. It didn't leave them any face. Under the morning radiance, three tall figures walked over, their steps like that of dragons and tigers. They all wore battle clothes that were icy cold, flickering with metallic luster. Their armors were all forged from divine gold, all of them holy grade. Behind him, a few more people appeared, radiance shining in all directions. Very well, all my old friends are here. Let's go to the Jade Lake together and see who can sit down and talk with us. Everyone was horrified. There were a total of eleven saints that came personally, and all of them had overflowing magical power. They were like living deities that came from the ancient earth. Let's enter the Jade Lake and see what's so special about the inheritance left by the West Emperor. They did not come with good intentions. Although the eleven ancient kings did not show any signs of surprise, when they came together, they covered the sky and covered the earth. People could not even stand straight, and almost all of them knelt on the ground. Everyone was horrified. It wasn't just one or two, but more than ten of them. Even if a divine king was unmatched, how could he contend against so many people? Everyone was in despair. This was not a confrontation of equals at all. If a great battle really broke out, these people would definitely have an overwhelming advantage. Moreover, this was not all. There were definitely more people behind them. Above the heavens, a thick and heavy green pillar of energy descended. The immortal tier's green gold pagoda towered in a small world, faintly discernible and surging with primal chaos. The aura of an ancient great emperor, is that the legendary West Emperor Pagoda? I can't see it clearly. I really want to hold it in my palm and take a closer look. One of the ancient kings laughed coldly after looking up. Everyone was greatly shaken. Was this a provocation? Perhaps in the near future, something like this would really happen. They would attack the human race's important land and seize the emperor weapon. An ancient king reminded. If they said a few words less and this pagoda descended, they would all turn into ashes. Meanwhile, another saint said that the Jade Lake could do as they pleased. At the very least, there were two ancient emperor weapons aimed at this place. If they really took action, it would be hard to say who would turn into ashes. After these eleven people came in, they didn't feel the slightest bit of pressure facing the West Emperor Pagoda. They acted as if there was no one else around and gave pointers to the Jade Lake Pure Land. The humans here all trembled in fear. They had come prepared. Two ancient emperor weapons were pointed at the Jade Lake. It was earth-shattering. If they really fought, the West Emperor Pagoda might even be destroyed. Of course, this was the worst-case scenario, but it wasn't impossible. The weapons of ancient great emperors clashed. No one could bear that kind of price. The pressure in everyone's hearts was as great as a mountain, almost suffocating them. On the heaven-connecting platform, there was a broken mountain over a thousand zhang tall. Not a single blade of grass grew on it. It was as if a great mountain had been cut in half. The broken part was a vast and boundless sky platform. It was said that this was originally the highest mountain in the north region. It was personally cut into a platform by the West Emperor. Even though it was broken, it was still incomparably majestic. It had the aura of a king among mountains. It could be used as a martial arena or a public square to discuss official matters. No matter how many people came, it could accommodate them all because of the West Emperor patterns. Back then, when the Jade Lake moved, it took a great deal of effort to move this mountain into the pure land. At the center of the heaven-connecting platform, the white-robed divine king sat cross-legged. Behind him were many sect masters of the human race, and opposite him were seven ancient kings and many ancient race experts. At the edge of the broken mountain, a black-faced Daoist stood with his hands behind his back. He was preparing to welcome the eleven ancient kings. He was the black tortoise of the barbarian race. I was wondering how strong the human race was and how they had to have some confidence in convening the meeting of the ten thousand races. But what did I see? Just you one man and one tortoise dare to sit on the high platform? Cold smiles and emotionless expressions. The eleven ancient kings arrived on the heaven-connecting platform. They looked around coldly and a hint of killing intent appeared at the corner of their mouths. Not long ago, this humble Daoist used the overlord's divine fist to kill an ancestral king who didn't open his eyes. The Daoist transformed from the black tortoise said with a serious expression. The temperature dropped rapidly and cold killing intent filled the air. The eleven ancient kings looked over and stared at the black tortoise. Their expressions were incomparably cold and their gazes were like knives. The atmosphere was extremely tense at the start. A great battle could erupt at any moment. Many beings were trembling in fear. Should the two of us go over as well? Beside the heavenly prince, the two ancient kings glanced at each other and asked for each other's opinion. However, they didn't take action in the end. It's just a tortoise. The human race really can't make it. An ancient king said. He was clearly provoking them and had come specifically to kill. 
But killing you is a little overkill. The black tortoise raised its head and said. You have come from afar, why don't you sit down and have a chat? The white-robed divine king said. The black tortoise turned around and left its butt to them. It walked back and sat on the ground. Talk. What is there to talk about? Can you humans sit on equal footing with us? An ancient king walked over with large strides. He was very unyielding. He only had one goal, and that was to fight and kill all the saints of the human race. What do you think is considered to be on equal footing? And why have you come? The white-robed divine king didn't get angry and asked calmly. You will never have the qualifications to sit on equal footing with us. Just you one man and one tortoise are far from enough. Another ancient king stepped forward. If the great emperor comes, do you all have the qualifications? I'm afraid you should just scram as far away as you can. The black tortoise was furious. Let's not talk about strength. Just in terms of numbers, the great human race only produced a single saint. In the end, you still have to drag a tortoise with you. What future prospects do you have? How can you be on equal footing with us? The ancient king at the front clearly wanted to fight. The corners of his lips revealed a cold smile. The weak race has no right to speak. There's nothing to say. Another ancient king was even more direct. Three of the eleven ancient kings were so overbearing, pouring salt on the human race's wounds. They had no intention of sitting down and talking at all. At this time, the atmosphere on the heaven-connecting platform was tense to the extreme. A great battle was about to break out at any moment. There was no hope for peace talks. This didn't involve reasoning, but rather a question of whether they had the qualifications or not. Among the eleven saints, one of them who hadn't spoken all this time spoke up at this time. Things have already developed to this point. We can only fight. We only came a step earlier. There are still powerful ancient kings behind us. If they are killed by us, what is there to talk about? At this point, it was already unavoidable. If they wanted to negotiate, they had to first fight out the qualifications. All right then, let's fight here. The white-robed divine king was very straightforward and didn't say anything else. I've been impatient for a long time. The three ancient kings clad in divine iron robes came to the front. It was them who had been overbearing just now. Behind them, the ancient kings hesitated for a moment. In the end, they didn't go forward and chose to watch the battle. This battle will be a battle of life and death. If you die, there's nothing to talk about. Everything will end here, one of them said unyieldingly. They were all wearing saint robes that were close to the level of sacred weapons. To be able to refine them to this level was quite terrifying. There were many saints since ancient times, but the sacred weapons left behind were too rare. Is this the battle platform carved by the Western Emperor? Not bad. How many years has it been since I've tasted the blood of a human saint? The three ancient kings transformed into demons. The bone spikes on their backs shot into the sky, looking incomparably sinister. The white-robed divine king went forward and started a great battle in a flash. He rushed together with the three, the boundless divine law cutting through the air. It had to be said that these three were all extremely powerful. They had walked very far on the path of saints and were far superior to ordinary ancient kings. Even though the white-robed divine king was extremely talented, he didn't have the upper hand in a one-on-one -on -one battle. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of exchanges had passed, and God knew how many times the divine laws had attacked. In the primordial era, the human race was the subsidiary race of a few powerful races. Only with their protection could we survive. After so many years, nothing has changed. We're destined to kneel at the feet of the powerful races. An ancient king sneered. He intentionally disturbed the divine king's state of mind and caused fluctuations in his divine laws so that he could find an opportunity to attack. All right, a battle of life and death, the divine king said. He was still incomparably calm, but his attacks were even more terrifying. Kill. The divine laws of the three saints suddenly merged into one and turned into a golden god. It shone with boundless radiance and pressed down on the heaven-connecting platform, suppressing forward. Boom. Divine King Jiang Taishu waved his fist, creating a monstrous wave. His right fist turned into the eternal universe furnace, passing through the body of a god and smashing an ancient king. Boom. Next, he waved his fists again. Both fists turned into the eternal universe furnace, and each punch blew up the remaining two. Blood rained down from the sky and turned into boundless bloody light. The ancestral king's blood dyed the high platform red. Not killing divine kings didn't mean that no one else was killed. Chapter 821 The cold wind, the scarlet blood, the shattered bones, and the bright red Dao platform. The divine king stood alone in the center of the field, his white clothes pure and untainted by a single drop of blood. It was a shocking sight. Absolute silence. It was a ghastly sight. The three ancient kings had been crushed to pieces, their bodies dead and Dao extinguished. Many people's bodies spasmed and their souls trembled, wanting to leave their bodies. 
The Divine King didn't kill anyone, but it didn't mean he didn't kill anyone. The previous seven ancient kings were cold and had the right to be so, but they didn't deliberately say anything. However, these three had humiliated the human race to the extreme and were all killed by the Divine King in white. Even if such people were spared, they wouldn't feel any gratitude and might even become worse. Can everyone sit down and have a chat? The Divine King stood on the bloody platform and spoke to the eight ancient kings in front of him. It was impossible to say that they weren't shocked. The three just now could be considered experts among the ancient kings, but they had all been killed. The other eight were all silent. Ha, ha ha ha. Unbridled laughter rang out, causing the sky to tremble and the sound to travel tens of thousands of miles. At the end of the horizon, two ancient kings suddenly appeared. Their magic power was overflowing, and their essence, energy, and spirit were surging like a divine sea, drowning out the entire world. These two saints were very powerful. They were like eagles and wolves, as if two gods had descended into the human world and looked down on the world. One of them was laughing loudly, like the rumbling of the divine drum of the celestial court, causing the surroundings to collapse and the earth to cave in. It was obvious that these two demon-like figures had come with ill intentions. Everyone gasped. Just how many ancient kings were there? How were they going to continue fighting? Three had died, and now two more had come. The meeting of the myriad races originally wanted to negotiate, but some of the ancient kings didn't believe that Wu Shu was still alive and wanted to take action. This was just the beginning. Would more people come? I didn't come too late, did I? A cold voice came from outside the pure land. Another ancient king had arrived and entered the jade pool. He had divine wings on his back and dragon horns on his head. His appearance was similar to a human's. On the sky connecting platform, there was only silence. No one spoke, which made people despair. Up until now, only the ancient kings had appeared, and the human race didn't even have a second saint. What to do? How were they going to continue fighting? Even if the white-robed god king was the reincarnation of a battle god, he would not be able to defeat so many ancient kings. Who knew how many more would come? One, two. Time flowed on. Everyone silently counted. Their bodies were all cold as the number of ancient kings continued to increase. Early this morning, there were already seventeen ancient kings standing side by side on the heaven-connecting platform. The auras they released made the skies rumble. It was just too shocking. Furthermore, there was only the white-robed divine king. How was he supposed to fight against so many ancient kings? Everyone felt bitter in their hearts. The difference was too great. A gust of wind blew past. Everyone wrapped themselves tightly in their clothes as they felt exceptionally cold. It was as if late autumn had arrived, and the bleakness of the night swept through everyone's hearts. These were existences similar to ancient sages, and there were seventeen of them. Just the thought of it made one lose the will to fight. The white-robed god-king was also human. This was, a situation of certain death. Who could help him? Everyone felt a sense of helplessness. No matter how they struggled, they could not see a trace of hope. There were too many ancient kings, causing everyone to feel despair. Moreover, this didn't include the seven ancient kings that had already arrived yesterday. Even though they had a trace of respect for the divine kings, they still sat on the other side. However, it still made people shiver in fear. This was a situation that made people's hearts turn cold. No one said anything, and they couldn't even release a sigh. They didn't even have the strength to raise their heads. It really is a bit disappointing. Is the human race inferior to the archaic era? I remember there were still a few saints back then. Is there only one in the entire world now? Following these cold words, an ancient king descended from the sky. He was like an evil god that broke through the underworld's cage. He carried with him heaven overflowing demonic energy, and his bat wings were pitch black like ink. The great underworld ancestral king also came. Even many ancient kings were shocked. They took a few steps back. It was clear that his identity was not ordinary. Chang. A light cry sounded in the sky. A streak of blood lightning descended from the sky, drawing out an expanse of dazzling bloody radiance. It stabbed into the heaven connecting platform and rang with zheng zheng sounds. This was a dragon spear that was scarlet like blood. A horned dragon coiled around it, and it spat out a bright red spear point. It was extremely intimidating. A queen descended. Her skin was wheat-colored, and her body was fit and beautiful. She was extremely tall, but she was also surging with killing intent. She had a head of red hair, and even her eyes were blood-colored. She held the dragon spear. The blood lightning ancient king also came. Meanwhile, the various clans here were all horrified. They felt great reverence, and all of them backed up. This was an expert whose name had spread throughout the world. Few people dared to provoke him. How boring. A cold snort sounded from the void. A male wearing bronze armor walked over step by step. The great Tao resonated around him. Everyone was shocked. The bronze armor he wore was a true holy artifact, and it was enough to prove his terrifying identity. 
Since the ancient times, before the saints passed away, they all had their own weapons. However, those that could truly leave behind holy artifacts were too rare. This was also a type of proof and symbol of strength. The green vine ancestor has arrived. A few ancient creatures couldn't help but cry out in alarm. This was an individual that could make all sides tremble with just a stamp of his foot during the archaic years. The hearts of the human experts here were like dead ashes. They felt that there wasn't the slightest bit of hope. From the reactions of the various clans, one could see just how terrifying the three ancient kings that came later were. Suddenly, the horizon became resplendent. An ancient king was born along with the multicolored light of dawn. He was dazzling, and it was as if he had walked out from the rising sun. He was surrounded by a divine ring, and he was incomparably divine. We want to see how Wuxia will display a miracle. He stepped onto the sky connecting platform. Blazing splendor burned around him like a sun god. He didn't come with good intentions, and it was clear that he didn't come to participate in the distinguished meeting. As soon as he appeared, the other ancient kings were all shaken. They couldn't help but take a step back. It was clear that he had an extremely high status. That's the vast sun ancestral king. The knowledgeable individuals from the ancient clans all cried out in alarm. They couldn't help but feel a chill run down their spines. This was a vicious individual that lived up to his name. During the archaic years, his battle accomplishments were extremely glorious. On the sky connecting platform, terrifying divine bodies emitted an aura that could collapse the heavens. There were a total of 21 figures that made everyone's hearts tremble. Among them, the four most powerful ancient kings stood side by side at the very front. They were respectively the Great Underworld Ancestral King, the Lightning Blood Ancestral King, the Green Vine Ancestral King, and the Vast Sun Ancestral King. These four were the last to arrive, and even the other ancient kings felt a bit of reverence towards them. They were all experts whose names shook the world during the archaic years. Every single one of them had killed until rivers of blood flowed and corpses piled up into mountains. All races feared them. When this group of ancient kings gathered together, forget about fighting, just the aura they released was enough to collapse the great earth and cause rivers of blood to flow. Meanwhile, on the other side, there was only a single divine king in clothes purer than snow. He was facing so many people alone. This was an unequal confrontation, and the disparity was too great. What should they do? This was a path of no return. Unless a divine king corroborated the Tao, there was no way he could contend against them. If a battle truly broke out today, his undefeatable legend would definitely be shattered. Moreover, he was going to use up every last drop of divine blood. Those who should have come had more or less arrived. This kind of contrast made the hearts of the humans turn cold. Their faces were ashen, and they gave up on their last bit of hope. The black tortoise didn't move because the seven ancient kings beside it also didn't move. They sat there cross-legged and had already made it clear that they wouldn't make a move. If the divine king could pass this stage, they would turn around and leave. Yi Fan felt bitter in his heart. The divine silkworm princess had told him that some ancient kings would come to demand an explanation. He didn't expect it to be such a group. The divine king's bravery spoke for itself, but even if he was a war god, he couldn't stop so many saints. Moreover, the four ancient kings at the very front were so different. Secret of all, will you be able to display your splendor today? He muttered to himself. Before dawn broke, he told this secret to the divine king. Among the nine secrets, this secret was the simplest. There was no need to comprehend it. It was just a mysterious key that could be used as long as one remembered it. The green vine ancient king was wearing a bronze battle robe. His expression was calm as he said, You haven't gone far on the path of saints, but you have battle prowess that can catch up to us. Those who have become saints in this era are indeed not simple. As soon as these words were said, the experts of all races were shocked. This was the first time they knew the strength of the white-robed divine king. He was about to catch up to the four ancient kings whose names shook the ancient times. However, when the human cultivators heard these words, their bodies turned cold. Although the divine king was brave, he couldn't compare to the other party. Moreover, there were four of them. A cool breeze blew over. The divine king's white robe fluttered as he stood quietly at the center of the Tao platform. He faced more than twenty ancient ancestral kings alone, his expression unchanged from beginning to end. You are a hero, but it's unrealistic to fight against ten thousand races alone, said the vast sun ancient king, whose entire body was submerged in divine light like a sun god. So many ancient kings, it's really admirable. The white-robed divine king sighed and said, if I don't act, you will. There's no choice. You know it's impossible, but you still want to die. Among the four ancient kings, the only queen spoke. Her name was Blood Lightning, her figure was fit and beautiful. She held a dragon spear in her hand and her killing intent was the heaviest. The white-robed divine king didn't say anything. If you want to sit down and talk, you need to have the qualifications. How can you compete with us alone? An ancestral king coldly spoke from the back. This world is very cruel. 
If you want to have the right to speak, you must display an equivalent strength. The ancient underworld king coldly spoke. The bat wings on his back flapped, and a torrential demonic chi surged, terrifying to the extreme. Is there no other choice? Then let's fight. The voice of the white-robed divine king was very soft, but it was earth-shattering, causing everyone's ears to ring. How could he fight against so many ancestral kings alone? Everyone was stunned. This was a situation of certain death. There was no hope of survival at all, yet he chose to do so. He was practically going to die. You overestimate yourself. Do you think you are the quasi-emperor? How dare you say such words? Everyone, it's better if you kill him as soon as possible. The blood of the human race is saint. What a nostalgic taste. How many years has it been since the archaic era passed away? You want to defeat the myriad races by yourself? This is simply courting death. Let's fulfill your wish, you laughable human. After this battle, the various races will rule the world and sweep away all ants. Just like in the archaic era, only the true kings will be able to rule this land. Behind him, a few ancient kings said in a cold and bone-chilling tone. Meanwhile, the four ancient kings whose names shook the archaic era didn't say a single word. They all felt an unusual atmosphere. The white-robed divine king sat cross-legged in the air. An ancient zither appeared before him. He gently plucked the strings, emitting a wonderful sound that resounded through the world. Divine Overture. In the back, Yi Fan's eyes were red. His entire body was trembling. Back then, when the Divine King helped him reconnect the broken path of his divine physique, he ultimately emitted this kind of sound. This time, no matter what, he wouldn't let something like this happen a second time. The Divine Overture was only the beginning. If it evolved into a true divine melody, he would obtain a power close to that of a deity. Ding dong. Suddenly, the melody connected together. The Heavenly Tao resonated, moving in a leisurely manner. The sound traveled tens of thousands of li into the mountains and rivers. Divine melody, this is, a true divine melody. Yi Fan's voice trembled. Flower petals fluttered in the air. They were sparkling and fell between heaven and earth. A sweet fragrance assailed the nostrils, making the white-robed divine king seem even more otherworldly and untainted by the aura of the mortal world. Kill him. In the back, an ancient king shouted and rushed forward. Who? A figure exploded, turning into a rain of blood that filled the sky. The sparkling flower petals were dyed red. It was an exceptionally beautiful scene. What is going on? This power. Another ancient king roared. He rushed forward, but he couldn't even move. With a PU sound, he also turned into a rain of blood. Flower petals danced in the sky. The divine overture shook the nine heavens. The flower petals were dyed red, stunning the world. Chapter 822 Within the Jade Lake, there were clear lakes, towering peaks that pierced into the clouds, vast waterfalls, quiet bamboo forests, and varied sceneries. At this moment, the sky was filled with a rain of flowers. Zither music rang out, ringing through this pure land. It was auspicious and tranquil. However, all the cultivators were drenched in cold sweat, drenching their clothes. Everyone felt a chill from head to toe, because the heaven-reaching platform contained a world-shaking killing intent. Petals fell in profusion and a sweet fragrance filled the air. They danced about in the air, sparkling and translucent as they lingered around the white-clothed divine king. He gently plucked the zither strings, playing the supreme truths of the world, containing the aura of the universe at its beginning. Pop! Another ancient king that rushed over was smashed to pieces. Fresh blood bloomed, dyeing the beautiful rain of flowers red. The fragrance of life bloomed, scattering along with the cool breeze. Piece after piece, the sky was filled with sparkling and fragrant flowers that flickered with the radiance of life. The pure white petals that were stained with blood continuously drifted down. Pop! Another light sound rang out. Over a hundred flowers of blood bloomed. The fourth ancient king that rushed over exploded. Scarlet blood dyed the sky red. His corpse was torn apart and fell onto the heaven-reaching platform. This was a magnificent scene, but it also had a blood-soaked elegance. Amidst the peace and tranquility, a terrifying sharpness blossomed. The white-clothed divine king played a divine song, causing everyone to be shocked and terrified. In the blink of an eye, four ancient kings were torn to pieces, turning into fleeting clouds. With such destructive power, how could people not be shocked? He sat alone at the front, as if he could block a magnificent army. With a single person sitting there, the group of kings couldn't get through, intimidating more than twenty ancient kings. The white-clothed divine king didn't move, allowing the rain of flowers to swirl about. His gaze was deep as he stared at the ancient kings before him. The world was extremely quiet, only the sound of falling flowers could be heard. A divine song was born. Not only were the humans shocked, even the various ancient tribes were stunned. Then, they felt incomparable fear. This song wasn't completely related to one's cultivation. 
It was the embodiment of one's state of mind. It contained one's understanding towards the Tao, as well as one's comprehension towards the world of mortals. Although the sublimation of one's spiritual realm couldn't represent one's full combat strength, it was the embodiment of a cultivator's strongest potential. Sublimation to the extreme might one day illuminate the world. The white-robed god-king's fate was full of misfortune. He had spent half his life alone and his entire life miserable. He had far too many regrets after losing his beauty. Perhaps it was exactly because of this that he comprehended the divine melody that almost no one had ever been able to set foot in. After a long silence, Teng Chin, one of the four ancestors, sighed and said, Very good. The divine melody appeared once in the immemorial era and shocked both the past and present. At that time, I had never heard of it, but today, I have the fortune to see it. Although it is only the beginning, it is enough to shock the heavens and make the gods weep. When the music sounded, four ancestral kings were instantly killed. Who wouldn't be shocked? This was a world-shocking murderous song, yet it was so peaceful. Everyone didn't know if they should enjoy it, or if they should tremble in fear. He is extremely powerful, but in the end, he is only one person. Green Vine Ancient King, please take action and kill this person. An ancient king spoke from the back. The others also felt a sense of pressure. They asked the four ancient kings to attack together and kill the human saint. I'm looking forward to it. All of you, step back. The Green Vine Ancient King stepped forward. The bronze armor on his body flickered with a cold luster. This was a true saint weapon that had been passed down through the ages. He pressed forward step by step. His expression was indifferent and no fluctuations could be seen. Only a trace of fervor occasionally flashed through his eyes, as if he was staring at his prey. Green Vine Ancient King is eager to hunt and wants to break through to a higher realm. Could it be that he wants to use an incomplete divine melody to cross the tribulation and complete his body? The ancient underworld king said in a deep voice. He is playing with fire. The lightning blood ancient king was the only female. She held a scarlet and sparkling dragon spear in her hand and said coldly. Her killing intent was the strongest. Chang. A beam of light appeared in the green vine ancient king's hand. It was one Zhang long and quickly turned into a dragon spear. Its shape was similar to the lightning blood queen's and it was similarly intimidating. Humph. The lightning blood ancient king snorted coldly after seeing him imitate his weapon. He didn't say anything else and quietly watched from the back. A talent rarely seen in a thousand generations. I hope you won't disappoint me. I haven't felt such joy in many years. Even if you can give me a bit of pressure, it's fine. The bronze ancient king walked forward. A sinister radiance appeared on his face. He was fervent and thirsty as if he was excited to hunt. Wang. The dragon spear was like a streak of blood-colored lightning as it pierced through the void. His movements were too fast. He was like a sphere of light as he advanced with the dragon spear in hand. Sonora sounds rang out incessantly. Sparks flew in all directions and Dao marks appeared. All types of light flickered on the sky connecting platform. Countless divine laws rushed out as the two clashed intensely. The divine king's hands moved. Countless strands shot out from the ancient zither and turned into streaks of Dao light. They collided with the dragon spear and released a heaven-shaking sound that traveled tens of thousands of li. What a powerful divine melody. The green vine ancient king sighed in admiration. He held the dragon spear with both hands and his body turned into a streak of green radiance. He forcefully pierced forward and aimed straight for the divine king's forehead. Everyone cried out in alarm. This spear was too tyrannical. It illuminated the heavens and no one could open their eyes. It was as if it could pierce down the sun from the heavens. Its divine might was matchless. It surpassed the restraints of space and unlocked the shackles of time. In that instant it was breathtaking and illuminated the ages. Not even the white-robed divine king zither light screen could defend against it. The dragon spear was unmatched as it pierced through everything in its path. A ghastly strand of blood appeared between the white-robed divine king's brows as it dripped down. Ah! The instant the dragon spear's radiance disappeared, everyone cried out in alarm. After seeing this scene, every single human cultivator felt their bodies go cold. Was the divine king killed? Meanwhile, the ancient races were shaken. The green vine ancient king whose name shook the archaic era was terrifying after all. The might of his spear was unparalleled under the heavens. He was worthy of being a king among saints, someone who looked down on the archaic era. Ka. A light sound rang out. The divine king's two fingers snapped the dragon spear in half. The spearhead was less than an inch away from the space between his brows. The divine laws rushed forward, but they couldn't get any closer. Boom. The white-robed divine king's left hand pressed down on the zither. Tens of thousands of beams of light shot out towards the green vine ancient king, forcing him to retreat with lightning speed as he evaded this attack. How powerful. He didn't disappoint me. He's worth making a move. The green vine ancient king spoke. The various ancient tribes were all shocked. The human cultivators were all on the verge of collapsing. 
They all let out a long breath. Just now, the white-robed Divine King's life was in danger, causing everyone to be on tenterhooks. And now, there was only a single human saint here. Divine King Jiang had become their spiritual pillar, the only saint they could rely on. The battle between the ancient saints began. They fought in the void. This was an application of the Tao, a comprehension of the laws of heaven and earth. A single strike could destroy mountains and rivers for tens of thousands of li. If it wasn't for the heaven-connecting platform being carved by the Western Emperor and having the runes of ancient great emperors carved on it, it would have long collapsed into dust. Only this type of martial arena could withstand their battle. Great Earth Ten King In the blink of an eye, 500 exchanges had already passed. The Green Vine Ancient King released a great roar. 49 dragon spears appeared in all directions. It was unknown how many times more terrifying it was than before. The sky was filled with spear shadows and divine radiance. It was as if the stars in the sky were trembling. This world was collapsing. Primal chaos pervaded the air and nothing existed anymore. Everything ahead returned to the beginning of heaven and earth. The green vine ancient king is terrifying after all, worthy of being a king among saints. There are few who are his match. In the back, there were ancient kings who all sighed in admiration. Such a world-shocking strike, other than ancestor vast sun, blood lightning, and great underworld ancestor kings, the others all admitted that they couldn't take it. If they faced it head-on, they would undoubtedly die. Ding! A zither sound tore through the primal chaos. The heaven-connecting platform reappeared. The white-robed divine king was still seated there, playing the zither. Divine laws erupted one after another. Apart from a trace of blood between his brows, he was completely unharmed. What? He's unharmed? Everyone was shocked. Your strength has exceeded my expectations. The green vine ancient king calmly spoke, but he became even more terrifying. A phoenix-winged golden ronsoor appeared in his hand. Although it wasn't a holy artifact, it was still intimidating enough. It was as if a divine phoenix was imprisoned in his hand. Kill. At this moment, an even more intense great battle began. 800 exchanges passed in the blink of an eye. The two were evenly matched, and it was difficult to determine victory or defeat. It's time to end this battle. The green vine ancient king roared loudly. The phoenix wing golden ronsoor hacked down with woo-woo sounds, opening up small worlds one after another and crushing downwards. This was the power of the world. Since the ancient times, there were many ancient kings, but those who could reach this realm were as rare as phoenix feathers and chilin horns. At this moment, the primal chaos surged, surging forward violently. Zheng, 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 Zheng. The white-robed divine king stroked the zither. It was no longer auspicious, but instead ringing with Zheng Zheng sounds. Every time the zither string was plucked, it would be like a sword cry, resounding through the heavens. Streak after streak of terrifying radiance shot out, slashing out with immeasurable Tao laws. One could see that the divine sound turned into the light of the beginning, crisscrossing about. Its offensive power was heaven-defying. Ah! The green vine ancient king cried out loudly, flying outwards. The phoenix-winged golden ronsoor in his hand was hacked into ten pieces, falling onto the ground like scrap metal. What? The green vine ancient king was defeated? How could this person be so powerful? Forget about the various ancient races, even those ancient kings were horrified. Green vine ancient king had shaken the entire ancient era. With a stamp of his foot, clouds would move in all directions, yet now, even his weapon was destroyed. Chang. Green Vine Ancient King leapt up. His expression was cold, but there wasn't a trace of injury on him. The bronze battle clothes on his body flickered with a cold luster, intimidating one's soul. I have the sacred clothes that have been passed down through generations. You will never be able to break through it. I want to see how you will fight again. Green Vine Ancient King shouted. His entire body shone, piercing through heaven and earth. Then, he brandished his fist, brandishing out immeasurable divine laws as he slaughtered forward. Sacred weapons that had been passed down through generations were rare in this world. Even in the hands of mortals, they could display world-destroying power, let alone in the hands of a true saint king. With this bronze battle clothes, his defensive power could be said to be unrivaled. It was difficult for outsiders to break through, and he could disregard all attacks. In the back, Yi Fan's heart sank. He called Li Tian over, about to take out the goddess furnace and gift it to the divine king. However, he was stopped by the blind old man who had appeared at his side at an unknown time. If you take it out like this, it might not necessarily enter the Divine King's hands. Your power has exceeded my expectations time and time again, but it is time for everything to end. Green Vine Ancient King's voice was like thunder. He activated his most powerful divine technique, turning into a streak of light as he rushed over. A fist blasted apart the barrier of light in front of him, directly striking the Divine King's forehead. Everyone cried out in alarm. A great battle was about to end. Many human cultivators couldn't bear to watch. 
They were all filled with unwillingness, and even more so felt a type of powerlessness, anger, and helplessness. Clang. The final zither sound rang out. It was as if a heavenly sword pierced through the nine heavens, and then it gently sliced through the air, ringing in everyone's hearts. Then, everything calmed down. Everyone saw that apart from a streak of blood between the white-clothed divine king's brows, he was still elegant and otherworldly, surrounded by the rain of flowers as he sat there. Meanwhile, green vine ancient king fell backwards. How did you, break through? He carried an expression of unwillingness and shock on his face. With a PU sound, it shattered, and then turned into ashes, leaving behind an undamaged set of battle armor. Chapter 823 the Blood Lightning, Great Underworld, and Vast Young Ancestral Kings moved together, blocking the white-robed God King in an instant. The other ancient kings also moved forward at the first moment, surrounding the God King. There was no blood, no bones, only an ice-cold sacred robe. Teng Ching had died in battle and turned into dust. Apart from the battle robe, nothing was left behind. How could this be? What kind of attack was that? This was the question of many people. All the ancient kings were alarmed as they stared at the white-robed God King in the center. Sparkling petals fluttered about, falling unceasingly. He was like a deity that transcended the mortal world. Sigh of the deities. The great underworld ancient king said. The bat wings on his back flapped and demonic energy surged into the sky. He was tall and majestic like an underworld deity. During the archaic years, there was someone who performed the divine song and also released the sigh of the deities. It was even more terrifying than the heavenly sword and could kill in an instant. However, one had to pay a great price to do so. Ahead, a trace of blood seeped out from the corner of the white-robed God King's mouth. Although it was very faint and he was still smiling indifferently, it caused all the human cultivators to feel worried. However, the ancient kings became even more careful. They all revealed solemn expressions as if they were facing a great enemy. Wrong, we were all wrong. This person didn't just step into the Saint Tao and didn't chase after us. He is a true Saint King with few opponents under the heavens. He can fight to the death with people like us. The Blood Lightning Queen spoke from behind. Her voice was deep and her killing intent rushed into the heavens. Everyone was startled. Then, their bodies turned cold. The expressions of the ancient kings in particular changed. The white-robed god king wiped away the trace of blood at the corner of his mouth and stood up. He walked through the sparkling rain of petals, causing the ancient kings to involuntarily retreat. This supreme style of facing off against all the ancient kings left them both shocked and worried. It was something they would never forget. Correct, he has already walked very far on this path. He is not much weaker than the three of us. The vast young ancestral king nodded. His body erupted with boundless divine light like the reincarnation of a sun god. Many human cultivators were dumbfounded and didn't know what was going on. Only Yi Fan and a few others knew because they had already vaguely guessed it. He could still clearly remember that scene from the past. Back in the northern region divine city, the sovereign of the eventide was dressed in a holy robe and wielded a peerless golden spear. He had used everything he had learned in his life, but he was slain by a godly monarch in his twilight years. One had to know that the Sovereign of the Eventide was a king of the Great Perfection four thousand years ago. After so many years, who knew what realm he had reached? No one could say for sure. Furthermore, the Celestial Monarch of the Eventide was truly on the brink of death. After escaping from New Purple, his vitality was almost gone. His divine powers had long been depleted, so living a little longer was just an extravagant hope. What sort of power could penetrate the Sovereign of the Eventide, who was armed with a sacred artifact? Most importantly, the Sovereign of the Eventide said before his death, Jiang Taishu, you, were sealed in the Purple Mountain and your lifespan is nearly depleted. How did you break through to such a realm? Looking back, everything became clear. Before leaving the Purple Mountain, the Divine King was most likely already a saint. It was just that he was overlooked by everyone and no one thought about it. After that, the Divine King reached his twilight years and carried Fairy Rosy Cloud's corpse to the vast wilderness. He was gone for more than ten years, and according to the Black Emperor's conjecture, he could only be reborn in a land of death. It was like a wildfire burning a sick grass, waiting for spring to come and live another life. When that time came, the Divine King would begin a second life, and he would ascend at the end of the Tao, becoming even stronger. It's him. It's actually him. In the crowd, the two ancient kings beside the Heavenly Prince revealed looks of astonishment before their expressions turned ugly. The Divine King had been trapped in purple for four thousand years, fighting against all sorts of ancient life forms. He was forced into a strange stone wall and suffered all sorts of torment. Back then, we attacked him when we woke up, but we were obstructed by the strange stone wall. Our divine will could not fully enter, but we nearly obliterated him, said an ancient king. They were the descendants of the undying heavenly emperor. They were ordered by their ancestors to protect empty purple and were sealed in the source of God. However, when they woke up again, that dying human had already become an empyrean saint. 
The awakened ancient kings acted together and forced him to the brink of death, but they still failed to kill him. At that time, the person below Wu Shi's Dao platform acted. I feel that he was intentionally tempering the heart of that human, tempering his will that is as tough as steel. If not, we would have had a chance to kill him. An ancient king spoke, his tone was filled with trepidation when he spoke of that person. Is it that person surnamed Gu? He's the protector of old man Wu Shi's tomb. Judging from the time, he should have died many years ago. The heavenly prince laughed coldly. I truly didn't expect it to be him, surviving until now. After breaking free from the ancient royal mountain, his strength has already grown to such a level. Even his origin energy is different, like he is a completely different person. The two ancient kings had strange expressions on their faces. Yi Fan's ears trembled slightly. Ever since his primordial spirit reached the peak of the second level of immortal foundation, although he had yet to undergo his heavenly tribulation, a portion of his innate abilities had already manifested. His clairaudient ability was extremely rare, even rarer than the heavenly eye. Such an ability not only allowed him to hear voices from afar, he could even occasionally sense divine sense transmissions. At such a close distance, he was able to sense the thoughts of the three of them. How would you guys understand? The ancient king severed his origin energy, like an undying blade of grass under the harsh winter, regenerating when spring arrives. Since ancient times, very few people have been able to live a second life. Yi Fan mused. Let's go up and help them. The two ancient kings finally couldn't endure it any longer. They stepped into the battlefield, facing off against each other. Boom! At this moment, the ancient king actually took the initiative to attack. He was like an illusory phantom, transforming into a beam of white light that shot out. No one could block him. This is the godly king heaven traversing steps. Everyone, be careful. There was actually an ancient king who had such a deep understanding of humans. However, the white-robed ancient king was too fast. He broke through the restraints of the blood lightning, great darkness, and vast young saint kings and rushed out, sweeping through everything in his path. The battle saint art was unparalleled in the world, causing him to be incomparably tyrannical at this moment. He was no longer ethereal and ethereal. This was the first time the white-robed ancient king roared, his voice shaking the nine heavens. His right hand transformed into a heaven-piercing sword, incomparably sharp as though it could slice apart the heavens. It was actually the ultimate emperor weapon of the central prefecture, the Grand Sovereign Sword. Pooh! The supreme heavenly sword cleaved down, slicing apart the skull of an ancient king, all the way to his legs. His primordial spirit was destroyed and his body was cleaved into two. Large amounts of blood splattered everywhere. The white-robed ancient king roared. His left hand transformed into a green-gold pagoda that had shocking defensive prowess. It seemed capable of suppressing the past, present and future. This was none other than the Western Emperor Pagoda. Pooh! Another streak of bloody light erupted. His left hand turned into a pagoda and killed an ancient king, turning him into a pool of blood and shattered bones. His soul turned into ashes. It was too fast. All of this happened in the time it took for sparks to fly off a flint. Not a single person could stop it. The blood lightning, great darkness and vast yang, the three great sage human kings, roared and evolved various great daos to trap the heaven-connecting platform. You. The two ancient kings that came from the heavenly prince's side turned pale with fright. The white-robed ancient king's true target was actually them. They had been targeted as soon as they entered the battlefield. Dang. A bell rang out. The heavenly Dao chimed and all living things moved. The world seemed to have turned upside down as the drawn-out bell sound spread through tens of thousands of li of rivers and mountains. The white-robed ancient king brought his hands together, forming a large bell. The sun, moon, mountains, and rivers were engraved on it. There were millions and millions of rivers and mountains, as well as flowers, birds, beasts, stars, and even deities kneeling on the ground. It was simple and imposing, displaying the secrets of the beginning of the world. Was this the Wuxia bell? Everyone was shocked. This bell wasn't complete. Clearly, the ancient king hadn't seen it clearly before. However, its power was enough. A bell sound rang out majestically. The white-robed ancient king's hands turned into a large bell and pressed down, suppressing everything in its way. Ah! The two ancient kings cried out and did their best to resist, but it was useless. Their bodies were instantly shattered into pieces and turned into a bloody mist within the bell waves. Both their bodies and souls were destroyed. This was the strength of a peerless ancient king. Back then, he exhausted his divine blood to save Yi Fan and then severed his own origin to save Little Ting Ting. In his twilight years, he carried Fairy Rosy Cloud's corpse into the Great Wasteland. He had been gone for more than ten years and advanced to the extreme. The ancient king slaughtered in all directions, sweeping through everything in his path. The ancient races were all trembling in fear, and even the ancient kings on the battlefield felt their hair stand on end. This kind of invincible appearance shocked everyone. Enough! Three pillars of blood shot out from the top of the blood lightning, great darkness, and vast young saint king's heads, piercing through the heavens. 
Each of them blossomed with boundless light and sealed the heaven-connecting platform. Kill. The other ancient kings also took action. All kinds of divine laws were displayed, completely trapping the front and preventing the ancient king from rushing out. The white-robed ancient king stood alone in the center of the battlefield. His clothes fluttered in the wind, and a trace of blood appeared at the corner of his mouth. This was the price of killing four ancient kings in an instant. In a battle between saints, there were times when a whole body of essence chi was accumulated and erupted, and life and death could be decided in a single move. Just now, he had done so, but he had also injured himself. In the distance, the human cultivators were all incomparably excited. The ancient king's bravery was the best news for them. Yi Fan was silent and pondered quietly. There was a trace of worry, but there were even more benefits. The battle saint technique transforming into all kinds of emperor weapons had greatly moved him. You have no chance. Great darkness ancestor king said coldly. Killing in all directions under the eyes of the three great sage kings and instantly killing four ancient kings was also a kind of embarrassment for them. It was not good to look at. I want to see how you can defy the heavens in this battle. Although the blood lightning monarch was female, her killing intent pervaded the surroundings. Vastyang also went forward. The three experts laid down a formation to seal off the front, and the other ancient kings also imprinted their great divine abilities in the void, wanting to refine the white-robed ancient king alive. The white-robed ancient king withdrew his battle intent and calmed down. He sat cross-legged in front of the zither, and there was no killing intent at all. When he moved, he was like a god of death, and when he was quiet, he was like an orchid. Once again, he was enveloped by the rain of flowers. If you want to kill me, only two of you saint kings will die, or everyone behind the three of you will die. These calm words were earth-shattering. It stunned everyone present, and the world immediately became silent. It was so quiet that people could not even breathe. You won't be able to kill a single one of them. Vast young ancestor king said coldly. At this moment, all the ancient kings moved together, turning into boundless divine laws and attacking forward. They wanted to refine the peerless ancient king, trapping him in a small world. In this tranquil pure land, flower petals drifted down, stained with blood. They were as bright as crystals, and like a rain of tears, it was a sad beauty. The ancient king plucked the zither with both hands, using his heart to play a true divine song. This was his understanding of the Tao, a sublimation after cultivating to the extreme. This was an absolutely beautiful scene. The ancient king sat cross-legged in the void, his snow-white clothes fluttering in the wind. He was surrounded by the sparkling rain of flowers, and he was otherworldly. Pfft. He opened his mouth and coughed out a mouthful of blood, dyeing his pure white clothes red. It was a ghastly sight, but at this moment, a sound of slaughter that could shake the world and make ghosts and gods weep rang out. It slashed through the sky and rushed out of the cage of this small world. Clang. A light sound rang out, like a divine sword being unsheathed and slashing the heavens, the world became silent. You. In front, the space between ancestor Vast Yang's eyebrows cracked, and blood flowed out. His face was filled with disbelief as his blood dyed the Tao platform red. Then, he fell towards the sky. If you want to kill me, then use your lives to exchange for it. Blood seeped out from the corner of the white-robed ancient king's mouth. He began to play the zither again. He was ethereal like a god, peaceful and indifferent. The world was very peaceful. Only the falling flowers were drifting about, sparkling and translucent. A fragrance permeated the air. At this moment, the peerless ancient king seemed to have transcended the mortal world. Chapter 824 Ancestral King Hao Yang fell down. The scene was dead silent. Everyone was terrified. The space between his brows was pierced through by the sound of a zither. He fell into a pool of blood and no longer moved. Such a powerful saint king had dominated the archaic era and had few opponents under the heavens. Yet, he passed away just like that. For the various ancient tribes, this was undoubtedly shocking. A murderous sound pierced through their minds like a heavenly sword being unsheathed. The divine splendor of an instant pierced through their foreheads without any suspense, shocking the nine heavens and ten earths. The blood lightning and great underworld saint kings both took a few steps back. Their expressions froze. This was a character on the same level as them, yet he died just like that. As for the other ancient kings, their bodies went cold. How sharp was this destructive power? Killing them wouldn't be difficult at all. This made them feel uncertain in their hearts. Did they really need to exchange their lives to kill their opponent? The divine king coughed out a mouthful of blood, dyeing his pure white clothes red. However, he was still very calm. He sat cross-legged in the air, surrounded by the rain of flowers as he faced the kings alone. He said he wanted to kill the saint kings, and he really did it. How could people not be afraid of such deterrence? An ancient zither flowed with clear splendor. The seven zither strings undulated like seven transparent little dragons leaping about, emitting the divine laws of heaven and earth. 
Amidst the sparkling rain of flowers, his heart was calm and empty. It was as if he had forgotten everything in the outside world and was immersed in a wondrous Tao realm. Even though the divine melody is missing, it is still so terrifying. It has the majestic power of a deity. The blood lightning queen's voice was ice cold. She clenched the dragon spear in her hand tightly and pointed it forward. Dao runes circulated and divine laws covered the area densely. It was sealed into a cage and turned into a small world. He is consuming his life force. If he wants to attack, he will have to pay the same price. Everyone, there is no need to be afraid. The great underworld ancient king said. He was like a god that rushed out from the underworld. There were many figures. More than ten ancient kings moved forward, surrounding the white-robed divine king once again. However, every single one of them was incomparably cautious, afraid that they would be killed in a single strike. Let's attack together and kill him. He is consuming his own life force and won't be able to hold on for long. A rather radical ancient king roared and took the lead to attack. He opened his mouth and a heavenly river appeared. This was produced by an ancient mirror he spat out. Saint laws were activated and entered the small world in front. Ding! A musical note jumped out, a murderous sound erupting, hacking apart the silver natural laws. It moved along its trajectory, rushing towards that ancestral king. Poo! A flower of blood blossomed. Even though this ancient king dodged in time, blood still splashed out from his shoulder, instantly pierced through. A black hole appeared there, devouring the blood. Kill! The others also joined in to help the ancestral king kill Jiang Taishu. Streaks of divine chains entered the pure land one after another, interweaving into a large net. Saint Dao refining net, grind together, crush his body. An ancestor king shouted and took the lead to spit out a mouthful of primordial source energy. The others followed suit and sealed the pure land. Together, they weaved a Taoist net to destroy Jiang Taishu. They didn't want to take the risk. They wanted to use the safest method to kill the divine king and refine him with their saint origin. Streak after streak of light surged. Their bodies began to burn, and every single one of them shot out a streak of light that entered that small world, turning into tribulation flames. Within the pure land, the divine king was extremely calm. Both of his hands plucked the zither strings, and a divine melody flowed out. At first, it was a tinkling sound, and then it gradually became more resounding. Zheng Zheng vibrated as it tore through the heavens. Pop! A streak of divine light rushed up and pierced through the Taoist net. Like a divine sword piercing through the heavens, it directly slashed out. The dozen ancient kings were all shocked. Don't worry, he has paid the same price. We can exhaust him to death, someone shouted, because he saw another streak of blood seeping out from the corner of the divine king's mouth. In the center of the pure land, a streak of blood dripped down and landed on the divine king's snow white robe. It was like a blood colored plum blossom, shocking everyone. Many cultivators of the human clan were worried. This was not the way to go, and the white robed divine king would die with regrets. Kill. The dozen ancient kings roared, and the primordial source energy they spat out became even thicker. It turned into a divine sea, drowning the area in front of them, not giving the divine king any chance. Zheng Zheng Zheng. In the pure land, the divine king's hands quickly plucked the zither strings like iron swords, producing waves of clanging sounds. The sound of killing was deafening, and it was very different from before. The purgatory formed from the saint origin energy was slashed by the heavenly swords one after another. Finally, a crack appeared, and then a piece collapsed with a loud bang. Clang. The divine sound was like a blade, cutting into everyone's heart and emitting a cold metallic sound. Ah. An ancient king cried out, bearing the brunt of the attack. Half of his body was torn apart by a visible ripple, and he was sent flying. His primordial spirit was destroyed, and he died on the spot. What, you can kill people like this? The others were astonished. Blood seeped out from the divine king's mouth. He had paid a considerable price to break through this cage, so he naturally wouldn't stop here. He forcefully plucked the zither strings, and another ripple could be clearly seen. PFFF In front of him, another ancient king cried out as blood splattered everywhere. He was instantly killed by the divine tune, and both his body and soul were destroyed. Kill, he won't be able to hold on for long, the remaining people shouted. All kinds of divine laws flew out and rushed in the direction of that ripple. At the same time, the blood lightning queen who had been watching coldly from the side finally made her move. A scarlet cloud soared into the sky as she swung the dragon spear in her hand and stabbed forward. The scarlet red dragon spear was burning fiercely as boundless divine flames burned the void. Countless Tao patterns flowed out and transformed into a world-destroying divine spear. It shattered the vacuum and arrived in front of the divine king. This spear was simply too fast. Like a blood lightning, it slashed out a black rift in the void as its speed was displayed to the extreme. Clang! 
One of the zither strings jumped up and transformed into a transparent horn dragon. It coiled around the peerlessly sharp blood-colored spear tip and let out waves of dao sounds and dragon roars. PFFF The moment the dragon spear was coiled around, it spat out a beam of blood light which pierced through the divine king's shoulder. Bright red blood blossomed and radiated resplendently. The dragon spear disappeared like a divine python as it retreated after a successful attack. Ding! That zither string temporarily coiled around the dragon spear and finally let out a soft hum which penetrated through the red agate like divine spear. PFFF In the distance, the blood lightning queen's body shook violently as a few terrifying cracks appeared on her entire arm. She opened her mouth and spat out a mouthful of fresh blood as she took a few large steps back. Divine King Physique truly lives up to its reputation after becoming a saint. She wiped away the bloodstain at the corner of her mouth and overflowed with even more murderous intent. The surroundings were deathly silent. Even those ancient kings were a bit scared. The Blood Lightning Queen's strength was so powerful, yet this kind of fatal attack had actually injured her. Kill him, don't give him a chance. Don't let him escape from that cage. His life won't last much longer. The Great Underworld Ancient King said in a deep voice. The Great Battle began once again. These ancient kings all stepped forward and unleashed their most powerful attacks towards the Pure Land. Divine Light crisscrossed and surged. Ah! Uh. An ancient king screamed as he was sliced apart by a zither string that had rushed out of the Pure Land. Under the gentle hum of the divine sound, he turned into a rain of light and disappeared into the Tao laws of heaven and earth. Another ancient king was killed. The divine king himself also swayed and his face became much paler. Another strand of blood appeared on his snow-white clothes. What should I do? Yi Fan couldn't hold it in any longer. He wanted to reveal his trump card and kill his way over to help the divine king. No matter what, he wouldn't let this tragedy happen a second time. He definitely couldn't let the divine king die. Land of the Nine Underworlds, Underworld Earth rises and sinks, reincarnation. Suddenly, the great underworld ancient king shouted in a low voice. In that instant, he used a forbidden technique. A desolate underworld earth appeared and suppressed down, sucking the divine king inside. You finally succeeded. The blood lightning queen was astonished. Then, she quickly took action to help. The others also activated their divine laws. The underworld earth was dim and lightless. Black mist lingered about and not a single blade of grass grew. A yellow spring surged, leading to an unknown distance. How could I have succeeded? It's only the initial appearance of the underworld earth. Help me, suck him inside. I'll suppress and kill him. The great underworld ancient king said. Boom. More than ten people took action together and finally sucked the divine king inside with the underworld earth. Everyone suppressed him together, wanting to close this strange black prison. Clang. In front of the Divine King, the ancient Zither shone resplendently. His hands moved, and his mind seemed to be immersed in it. His essence, energy, and spirit were imprinted on it. At this moment, a sky-shaking rumble was emitted. This wasn't like the sound of a Zither, but rather the sound of the first movement of the universe and the beginning of the world. Chaotic light shone, deafening. Ah! Miserable cries rang out. Two ancient kings were killed, their bodies smashed into pieces. They collapsed on the heaven-connecting platform, and even the void became scarlet. The world of the underworld couldn't be closed. The Divine King sat cross-legged in the void. Everything within a radius of thirty meters was sparkling and translucent. Ten thousand flowers floated down. His expression was calm, and the zither music returned to its original rhythm. A small pure land was stuck in the underworld earth. It couldn't be entered or exited, and it was in a deadlock there. The human race's Divine King is too terrifying. The ten thousand ancient races were all afraid. Even Saint Kings can't suppress him. How troublesome. Yuan Gu frowned. The Heavenly Prince sneered. There are so many experts among the ten thousand races. Back then, even a peerless character like the Divine Silkworm Princess was impaled to death with a single spear. If he really jumped out, it would be enough to flatten the world. Underworld God Reincarnation Boundary The Great Underworld Ancient King roared. He used all his strength. At the crucial moment, life and death were about to be decided. The others also helped, and all kinds of splendor flooded the Jade Lake. The terrifying aura was vast and mighty. The nine heavens and ten earths were about to be beaten to the point of collapse. Within the thirty-meter pure land, the Divine King's right hand was holding, wiping, flicking, hooking, and piercing. His left hand was holding, chugging, pouring, and striking. His entire body was suffused with clear light. The Divine Sound was like water, peaceful and tranquil. The sound waves weren't very loud, but they shook the mountains and rivers and cleansed the souls of people. This was the true song of the gods. At this moment, the Divine King was extraordinary as if he didn't belong to this world. 
he sat cross-legged in front of the void immortal zither. His hands moved, and the world became peaceful. Ah. Uh. In the end, with a loud cry, the great underworld ancient king's head tumbled down. It was cut off by a clear sound, and then it exploded, filling the sky with blood. What? The great underworld ancient king is also dead? How could this be? Just how powerful is that hero? Everyone was shaken. In the pure land, falling flowers danced in the air like the tears of a god. They fell down, flickering with light as they floated beside the divine king and landed in front of the ancient zither. At this moment, blood continuously flowed out from his mouth. He couldn't swallow it back even if he wanted to. The sparkling petals floating down were all dyed with blood. He had also paid a considerable price. However, he was still an undefeated legend. Even though his injuries were extremely heavy, he still made people feel deep reverence. Chapter 825 Everything in this world seemed to have disappeared. Only the white-robed divine king was left. He had become an eternal ray of light, untainted by dust. He was like a true god as he sat there motionlessly. Accompanied by the cries of the heavens, auspicious lights fell from the sky, all moving for him. Countless Tao marks flickered and cried for him. No one could get close. Only the falling flowers danced around him. Even though he was heavily injured and in coughing up large amounts of blood, all the ancient kings were shaken. Only after a long time did people come back to their senses. The ancient races all looked terrified. They didn't know how much they would have to pay to take the white-robed divine king's life. Meanwhile, the human cultivators were all worried. They all had a bad premonition. Their state of mind was completely different from the ancient races. The divine king's vitality had been severely consumed and he probably wouldn't be able to hold on for long. He's so powerful. We must find someone to get rid of him. Otherwise, he will become the greatest obstacle on my path. He started earlier than me, so it will be too late if we don't get rid of him. The imperial sun was awe-inspiring. Will anyone else attack in the near future? Yuan Gu asked. His left eye was a black sun, and his right eye was a blood moon. It was exceptionally frightening and strange. Don't worry, a supreme existence is coming soon. In fact, many people don't believe that Wu Shi is still alive, the imperial sun said calmly. Not far away, Yi Fan almost couldn't help but reveal his trump card. However, after hearing all this with his clairaudient, he forcefully restrained himself. His heart sank. Someone else would come. How many terrifying kings did the ancient races have? This was only a portion. He felt that he had to use his trump card at the most critical moment. Back then, after the emperor of fighting passed away, the world was immediately thrown into chaos. Even an unrivaled character like the divine silkworm princess was killed by a spear. Even that fighting monkey was forced to head west. The 10,000 races, have no lack of peerless experts, especially on this ancient planet, the imperial sun said to himself. So hard to kill. At the center of the battlefield, the lightning blood queen spoke. The dragon spear in her hand released a cold bloody radiance. Even someone as powerful as she didn't dare to act rashly. They had surrounded the great enemy again, but none of the ancient kings acted rashly. They were all afraid of being killed by the divine king before his death. They were all very careful. The divine king stroked the zither with both hands, and the tinkling sounds rang out. He did not take the initiative to attack, and the two sides were in a stalemate, in a delicate state of balance. A single person facing a group of ancient kings, this kind of power was shocking. No one dared to take even half a step forward, and they all felt restraining fear towards each other. Are you guys afraid? You're all ancestors of your race and have seen all sorts of storms and waves. Could it be that you don't dare to kill a dying person? The lightning blood queen said. A scarlet mist rose from her body as the dragon spear shot out a blood-colored light that pierced through the clouds. Kill. Finally, the kings attacked again. The white-robed god king did not have much life left, so they could not give him any time to catch his breath. This was the best opportunity to kill him. The sound of the zither rang out, and the falling petals danced in the air, drawing out streaks of brilliant light. Ripples flew out like fireworks, dazzling to the extreme in an instant. Pooh. A streak of bloody light erupted. An ancestral king's head fell to the ground, his primordial spirit destroyed, dying a violent death. Dead, another ancient king is dead. Outside the battlefield, there was great chaos. Today, so many ancient kings had actually died in the hands of a single person. The price was too great, and the various races could not bear it. As expected, Divine King Zhang's face paled even more, and he coughed out a lot more divine blood. His body swayed, and he would collapse at any time. Just a little more and he would be finished. Another ancient king said coldly. They had already fought to this point. If they stopped attacking and gave the white-robed god king time to recover, then all their efforts would have been for naught. Kill. This time, he has no more power to resist. The others roared, and divine laws were activated. Another round of fierce attacks unfolded. 
This time, there was no sound of the zither, and no ripples spread out. There was only a sigh that came from the white-robed god king, but it was even more terrifying. Ah! A terrified scream rang out. An ancient king's body turned into light, and he was quickly annihilated, finally disappearing. The sigh of a god. The world immediately quieted down. These ancient kings all stopped, and each of them felt a chill run down their backs. They were used to seeing life and death, but they had never felt such fear as today. The opponent was already exhausted, but he still didn't die. He killed the enemy again and again. If this continued, the one to die of exhaustion would not be the white-robed god king, but themselves. At this time, the divine king was dyed in blood, and his white clothes were about to become bloody. A gust of wind would cause him to collapse. His face was pale, and his life would come to an end at any time. However, he was like a bottomless pit. No one knew when they would be able to fill it up with the lives of the ancient kings, so no one dared to try again. There are so many of us. If this continues, we will all be killed by him. An ancient king shivered all over. He fought against so many kings alone, and he had killed so many. Blood dyed the Dao platform red, and a single drop of such blood could kill a powerhouse. This place had become a hellish battlefield, and the ones being killed were all gods that people had to look up to. It was shocking, and they had never seen something like this before. At this time, even the Lightning Blood Queen had stopped attacking because she wasn't confident. Even though they felt that the Divine King would fall at the next moment, they had failed time and time again. Ancient kings were killed one after another, and this made them lose their courage. This was an unforgettable scene. A blood-soaked white-robed man sat in front of an ancient zither. He was otherworldly, and the rain of flowers lingered around him. The group of ancient kings were stunned, and no one dared to act recklessly. The world was silent, and no one spoke. Only the falling flowers flew about, producing rustling sounds and flickering with a translucent luster. It was actually this kind of result. No one had expected that the human race only had one saint, yet he could face off against so many ancient kings. Why is it like this? Some ancient clansmen were unwilling, but they didn't dare to go forward. Meanwhile, many human cultivators were both excited and terrified. They were afraid that this was all an illusion, and all of this originated from a single person. They were afraid that the white-robed god king would fall. A single person suppressing so many kings. If news of this gets out, it will be the shame of all races. What are you all afraid of? A cold voice came from the sky. Five dazzling streaks of light descended from the sky. The one in the lead was actually a saint king. His purple hair scattered behind him, and his figure was tall and slender. He was almost the same as the human race. The four figures behind him were all ancient kings. Even though they couldn't compare to him, they were still astonishing enough. This was especially the case when they arrived at this time. It's ancient King Zilin, they came from the nest of 10,000 dragons. The various ancient clans were all shocked. This was an extremely powerful power. It was rumored that there might be an ancient great sage in the nest of 10,000 dragons that could overlook the entire ancient star. They walked over step by step. The name of the saint king in the lead was Zilin, and his fame had spread throughout the archaic era. Many people recognized him. His expression was cold, and he was about to take action against the white-robed god king. Hong. Right at this moment, the western emperor pagoda in the sky released thunderous sounds. Pillars of energy as thick as mountains descended one after another, as if they wanted to destroy all of the ancient kings. However, Zilin wasn't afraid at all. He stared at the heavens and said, Jade Lake Sacred Ground, do you all really dare to take action? There are two ancient imperial weapons outside that are already aimed at this place. The scene was deathly silent. It had actually reached this step. The situation was extremely serious. The weapons of the ancient emperors had already been arranged, and a single mistake might result in a terrifying confrontation. This kind of collision, even if it wasn't world-destroying, wasn't far off. No one could imagine how terrifying the consequences would be. During the Archaic Era, whenever the ancient imperial weapons were used, there would always be a few illustrious great clans that would be wiped out. Their deterrence was indescribable. You humans aren't the only ones with emperor weapons. Our ancient imperial weapons are even more ancient and have long become deities. If we truly fight, the outcome has long been decided. Another four figures descended from the sky, all of them wrapped in divine flames. Everyone felt a chill in their hearts. With so many ancient race saints, the ancient imperial weapons they activated would definitely be many times more powerful than the human race's emperor weapons. Truly a hero of a generation, to be able to resist so many ancient kings alone. This is truly unexpected. As soon as these words were spoken, another three ancient kings descended. Grey mist pervaded the air, and their auras were terrifying. The hearts of the human cultivators were like dead ashes. How were they supposed to fight against so many people? The white-robed god king was already heavily injured and on the verge of death. Now, another twelve ancient kings appeared, and there was even a saint king among them. 
Does the heavens want to exterminate our race as saints? A human sect master lamented. This was a situation that made everyone speechless. The difference was truly too great. It made people feel powerless and indescribably sorrowful. Truly boring. Is there only one saint in the human race? Yet you guys still couldn't capture him despite having so many people. Truly a disgrace. Two males appeared in the void. Every pore on their bodies was shining, making it difficult for people to look straight at them. It's them, the twin ancient kings. The various ancient races were all shocked. These two looked exactly the same, and their fame had spread throughout the archaic era. They were a pair of twin brothers, and what was terrifying was that they were both saint kings. A total of fourteen ancient kings came, and among them, three were saint kings. This kind of scene already foretold the conclusion and made the human race silent. Especially the twin kings that came later, they made people feel even more restraining fear. Originally, their words made the expressions of a few ancient kings change, but after seeing them, they didn't start a conflict. The person you're talking about is their father, right? Yuan Gu asked in a low voice. The heavenly prince nodded and said, correct, it's that existence that has a chance of becoming the great sage, Skyfall ancient king. During the archaic era, how many great sages could there be? It truly is too difficult to verify the Tao. I only knew it was Skyfall ancient king. There were rumors that he had a chance of succeeding. Yuan Gu sighed and said. Long long long. At the end of the horizon, nine terrifying ancient beasts ran over. Every single one of them was a king level expert. They were incomparably terrifying, and they were all archaic vicious beasts. They pulled an ancient war chariot and trampled across the sky. It was as if the divine drums of the celestial court were beating, resounding through the clouds and intimidating everyone's hearts. Nine archaic vicious beasts at the king level could only be used to pull the chariot. This kind of appearance was extremely shocking, making everyone's entire body go cold and their fine hairs stand on end. Hong. The nine archaic vicious beasts stopped, and the ancient war chariot stopped as well. A heaven overflowing aura pervaded the air, and a terrifying figure stepped out from the war chariot. Mist curled about, forming a hazy expanse that drowned him out. Even the heavenly eyes couldn't see through him. Only a pair of green eyes revealed a terrifying light. One could vaguely see a tall figure that was like a demonic god. Greetings, Heavenly King Skyfall. Even though the ancient kings present were very arrogant and prideful, they still went up to pay their respects after seeing this ancient ancestor. One could imagine just how high his status was and how terrifying his strength was. At this point, the human cultivators were in complete despair. How could they resist? Once this heavenly king Skyfall appeared, it was useless no matter how heaven-defying the white-robed divine king was. How could they fight against more than twenty ancient kings and this heavenly king Skyfall who had the potential to become the great sage? He fought a group of ancient kings alone and killed three saint kings. This kind of battle record is very shocking. He's an outstanding talent. Heavenly King Skyfall stood in front of the war chariot and looked down. His eyes were even more terrifying in the black mist. They were like two divine lamps, and only the outline of his tall body could be seen. The white-robed divine king stood up and faced all the ancient kings alone. He then looked at Heavenly King Skyfall with a calm expression. I am willing to accept you as my adopted son. Are you willing to join my race and become the great sage respected by all races? Heavenly King Skyfall spoke such earth-shattering words. Everyone was dumbfounded. Many ancient kings were shocked, and even his son, the Gemini King, was shocked. They looked at the terrifying existence on the war chariot. Humph. The white-robed divine king snorted coldly for the first time and said, I only want to know how many more ancient kings will come. Since I'm already here, the others won't take action. Heavenly King Skyfall calmly spoke, but it made people feel a domineering aura of supremacy. At the same time, in an uninhabited region, a resplendent divine ranking soared into the sky and flew towards the Jade Lake. Chapter 826 The heaven connecting platform was majestic and majestic. In the air, the nine archaic beasts were each more ferocious than the last. Their demonic energy overflowed into the heavens. They were all kings at the grand completion level, yet they could only be used to pull chariots. Behind the nine ancient beasts, huge divine chains flickered with cold light. They were pulling an ancient chariot that was full of blade marks and arrow holes. Above them, Heavenly King Skyfall towered like a demonic god, pressuring the entire Jade Lake to the point where it seemed like it was about to collapse. A rumbling voice came down from above. You are a hero, rarely seen in a thousand generations. I actually don't want to strangle a genius, don't force me. The white-robed divine king was very calm. He wiped away the blood at the corner of his mouth and said, It is you all who are being overbearing. The human race has always wanted to sit down and have a chat with you all. The surroundings were deathly silent. Everyone could hear their own heartbeats, and they were all nervous to the extreme. 
An unrivaled existence like Heavenly King Skyfall had actually arrived. During the archaic years, he was invincible and swept through the wastelands. All kings submitted to him. He alone was enough to wipe out several great races. This kind of ancient existence had cultivated for an extremely long time. Regardless of seniority or strength, they were both extremely high. One has to know that even his two sons were terrifying saint kings that could suppress an area. No race dared to disobey them, and their fame was extremely great. Sitting down and having a chat requires strength and confidence. But what does your human race have? Heavenly King Skyfall didn't speak, but one of his sons did. In this kind of situation, perhaps only they would dare to interrupt. Could it be that we really have to fight to the end? The white-robed Divine King gazed forward. The twin saint kings were covered in light, and divine aura pervaded the air. Even their pores were emitting divine splendor, making it difficult for others to look straight at them. You are indeed very powerful and stunning. You alone killed so many ancient kings, but the great human race only has a single saint. Compared to a race, your foundation is too weak, so you cannot stand on equal footing with the other races. Another of the twin saint kings spoke. The heaven connecting platform was completely silent. No one spoke. His words were difficult to refute. The human race had too few saints, and they were powerless to resist so many ancient kings. Many people's hearts turned cold. What hope was there left to speak of? With so many ancient kings gathered, any one of them could flatten an area. Join my race and inherit my teachings. Not only will you be immortal, but you'll also be able to rule over the world. With your talent, you might even become the great sage. Heavenly King Skyfall stood on the ancient war chariot like a demon lord, looking down on all living beings. So what if it's your orthodoxy? My ancestor is an ancient emperor. Do I still need your guidance, said the white-robed god-king. His voice was like the hum of a sword. Normally, he was very easygoing and calm. Only when it came to such matters would he be very serious, and even his words would become sharp. The primeval emperors. Heavenly King Skyfall frowned. The other ancient kings were cold as they looked over. The saint king from the nest of ten thousand dragons said, the past, reality, he he. His smile was extremely cold, making one's hair stand on end and goosebumps appear on their bodies. His meaning was clear. The great ancient emperor had passed away. No matter how glorious it was, it had become a thing of the past. Reality was cruel. Your human race had billions of living beings, but only one sage had emerged. What did you rely on to compete? The human race wants to be on equal footing with the ancient race? That's just a pipe dream. You guys are so weak, yet you've occupied this entire land. It can only be a miracle that your race hasn't been wiped out. Another ancient king's words were even sharper and crueler. This was a very serious problem. The root of the conflict was here. During the archaic era, the human race was weak and lived in a remote corner. Now, they suddenly became the masters of this land. After the myriad races awakened, they naturally wanted to start a massacre. The white-robed god-king didn't say anything and calmly looked at them. However, he seemed so lonely. In this vast world, he was the only one among the human race who could take action. Let's ask Heavenly King Skyfall to take action. Kill him and everything will come to an end. The human race doesn't have the qualifications to talk about anything else. An ancient king was relatively radical and didn't place the others in his eyes at all. At this time, only the sound of falling flowers could be heard. The world was extremely quiet. Many experts looked towards Heavenly King Skyfall on the ancient war chariot. The white-robed god-king opened his mouth and said, from start to finish, you all have been talking about the so-called qualifications. I fought with you all, and killing until now is still not enough. The white-robed god-king was indescribably solemn when this topic was brought up. After experiencing a great battle, the bodies of the surviving ancient kings were ice cold. They all felt a chill run down their spines. Only after experiencing the battle not too long ago did they understand how terrifying divine kings were. What he brought up at this time was the truth. According to reason, they had already slaughtered their way out of the qualifications. They alone could contend against the kings who came earlier. What qualifications are you all talking about? You all don't even have them. An ancient king shook his finger. His expression was indifferent as he spoke ruthlessly. This was disdain that came from the bottom of their hearts. It was a psychological superiority that had existed for a long time, and it had never changed since the ancient times. During the archaic era, your human race survived in the cracks. At the most pitiful time, you struggled at death's door and were almost wiped out. You were once vassals that relied on the feet of some powerful races to seek protection. What dignity, what qualifications? An ancient king ruthlessly tore open the prehistoric scars and sprinkled salt into the hearts of every human cultivator. His expression was full of disdain and cruelty. At that time, you all were nothing more than an insignificant group of ants. Some of the great races here were your past masters. These words were like a clap of thunder, causing many human cultivators to tremble. They were filled with a sense of humiliation. 
You are talking about the Archaic Era. When the human race first arrived on this ancient star, our ancestors truly suffered. They paid too much, but they stubbornly survived. The Divine King was solemn and solemn. His expression was solemn and respectful as he said, it wasn't easy for our predecessors. Their humiliation will be washed away. Our descendants opened up a prosperous era and walked their own path. We will not let them down. What prosperous era? How can we be compared? During the Archaic Era, the might of the ancient emperors was revered by the nine heavens and ten earths. How can you all compare? An ancient king said. Why can't we compare? During the Archaic Era, several ancient emperors appeared one after another. They belonged to different races, but during the Primordial Era, the human race produced several great emperors. They were not at a disadvantage. The white-robed divine king's voice was sonorous and deafening. Not only were they not at a disadvantage, but the great emperors came from different races while the great emperors came from the human race. This was a terrifying might. When the great emperors that had passed away were mentioned, the blood of all the humans surged. Their hearts lit up and they wanted to roar out loud. A single race produced so many supreme existences. Their true potential was not inferior to the myriad races and was enough to contend against them. Just now, the humiliation of their ancestors was so oppressive that they couldn't even breathe. During the Archaic Era, the human race was weak and insignificant. They were even food for many powerful races. However, things were different in the future. Many ancient races became silent. Even the ancient kings present wanted to say something, but they couldn't find a reason to refute. They all became silent. After a long time, the Violet Forest Saint King sneered and said, everything is in the past. The Archaic Emperors were definitely stronger than the human race Great Emperors because some of them didn't die and became immortals. Meanwhile, your human race Great Emperors have all died. Everything is the same as before and nothing has changed. You all are still as weak as before. That's right, reality is like this. Your situation is worse than the Archaic Era and hasn't improved at all. You are just a single saint, so what right do you have to talk to us? Just kill him. Many ancient kings agreed. That's to say, no matter what, you all want to kill us all and there won't be any changes? The white-robed divine king asked. Precisely so. One of the Gemini saint kings shouted. Aren't you all afraid that the great emperor still haven't died and will send down his thunderous rage? The white-robed divine king shouted. His expression was ice cold. This was the first time he treated the king so coldly. You are a hero. I really want to give you a chance and take you in as my godson. Heavenly King Skyfall spoke. Then let's fight. The white-robed divine king wasn't afraid at all. A divine king sword appeared in his hand and he held it horizontally in the sky. He faced the kings alone. It really is a helpless decision. Killing a genius isn't what I want, but I have no choice but to do it. Heavenly King Skyfall's voice was cold. He took a step forward and the Jade Lake shook as if it was collapsing. Obliterate him. Let's end this earlier. An ancient king roared. There were even more people who followed. Everyone was in despair. They couldn't bear to see the white-robed divine king's final moments. How could he stop them alone? The undefeated legend would be drenched in blood. Yi Fan couldn't bear it anymore. If he didn't take action now, when would he? Even if he died in battle, he didn't want to just watch as a divine king fell. The bloody scene of the past seemed to still appear before his eyes. The figure of the white-robed divine king leaving alone in sorrow, holding fairy rosy cloud's corpse in his arms. This was something that Yi Fan couldn't forget even now. Don't act rashly. Everything is still under control. Suddenly, a voice rang out in his heart. Yi Fan was stunned. This was, transmitted by the Divine King. Everything was still under control. What else could it be? Boom! Suddenly, a world-shattering sound rang out. A resplendent golden light tore through the boundless earth, arriving from the distance. The cry of the heavenly Tao. At this moment, it startled the entire northern region. It was like an eternal divine splendor that illuminated the mountains and rivers, entering the Jade Lake. Investiture of the gods, it's actually the investiture of the gods. It has appeared again. At this moment, everyone cried out in shock. They were incomparably shocked. Especially the various ancient races. Their faces were ashen. Facing the instrument of the strongest emperor in human history, everyone's hair stood on end. How could this be? Even the ancient kings were terrified. Their expressions changed because they felt the supreme aura of the ancient emperor. It's fake, it's not real, Saint King Violet Forest said. Boom! The investiture of the gods transformed into a golden bolt of lightning, descending from the sky with unparalleled might. It was like the hand of an ancient emperor pressing down. Even an immortal existence would be turned to dust. Ah! Uh. A terrified scream rang out. Saint King Violet Forest was crushed by the golden light and instantly turned to dust. He died without a trace. 
Following that, the four ancient kings who came with him were also sealed. They all turned to dust in the blink of an eye. Not long ago, they all said that the human race was as weak as ants. Their words were sharp, but in the end, they ended up like this. It's really the aura of an ancient emperor. How could this be? All the ancient kings were terrified. Boom! The investiture of the gods shone brilliantly, illuminating the mountains and rivers. Once again, it suppressed the twin saint kings and turned to dust. They didn't even have the chance to make a sound before they were killed. It was too shocking. In the blink of an eye, three saint kings and four ancient kings had died. Buzz! The void trembled. The ancient kings who had humiliated the human race and said that the human race had been struggling at death's door in the ancient times all cried out in fear. However, nothing could be changed. The investiture of the gods descended from the sky, powerful and domineering. It killed all of them and turned them to dust. The ancient emperor has come to wash away the humiliation of our ancestors. The white-robed god king roared. The other human cultivators were also excited and shouted. The great ancient emperor has appeared, great monarch Nosher is still alive. Wash away the humiliation and kill everything. On the sky connecting platform, there was a great roar. Many people were moved to tears. Boom! The investiture of the gods descended once again and suppressed heavenly king Skyfall. The nine ancient beasts were turned to dust and the ancient chariot collapsed. Ah! Uh. Even a powerful existence like Heavenly King Skyfall could only let out an unwilling roar. He was powerless to resist the eternal golden light. PFFF The investiture of the gods descended mercilessly. An unparalleled ancient giant exploded. His blood evaporated and turned to dust. Chapter 827 Heavenly King Skyfall died. Even someone as powerful as him could only release a cry of horror before exploding on the platform. His blood immediately evaporated and turned into ashes. Ah. Uh. Miserable cries continued. Another person turned to dust. Once the divine seal decree appeared, all deities would submit. This was a legend from the past, and now, it flew out from the desolate mountains, killing ancient kings and sweeping through everything. This was a shocking scene. There was no power in the world that could stop it. Wherever it passed, ancient kings would fall and saint kings would shed blood. Even existences that had hopes of becoming the great sage would be ruthlessly erased. Ah. Uh. These were cries of horror that came from ancient kings. Normally, they wouldn't even dare to think about it. There were people in the world who could kill them, but there was no one who could make them feel fear to this degree. However, at this moment, everyone was terrified. Their souls were trembling, trembling with fear, unable to budge an inch. This was the aura of an ancient great emperor. Their senses wouldn't be wrong. They couldn't produce the slightest bit of resistance. It was too powerful and incomparably terrifying. They wanted to bow down. Finally, there were ancient kings who couldn't take it anymore. Their legs went soft and they knelt down on the platform. It wasn't because they truly wanted to kneel, but rather because of the supreme pressure. This aura was higher than the heavens, wider than the sea, deeper than the star domain. It made them feel despair and they didn't have the slightest ability to resist. Ah, uh, how could it be like this? There were some ancient kings who had lived for an endless amount of time and had paid homage to the unmatched emperor of fighting. They had only sensed this aura from his body. Ancient great emperor, there really are people who haven't died. It's them, we're finished. This kind of fear quickly spread. In the distance, the various ancient clans were all horrified. Then, their bodies began to tremble. They could also feel this power. What kind of terrifying scene was this? Their ancient kings were all kneeling on the ground, kowtowing towards the dazzling divine ranking. Just the thought of it made them tremble. Don't. An ancient king cried out. Another person was killed, turning into ashes on the spot. All resistance was futile. The divine seal decree illuminated the heavens, illuminating the mountains and rivers. It possessed boundless divine might, its brilliance connecting the nine heavens and ten earths. It was personally created by great emperor Wu Shur. Legend had it that it was originally refined to suppress immortals, but there were no immortals in the world, only creatures that were suspected to be gods. Thus, it was eventually named the investiture of the gods. Although it wasn't an offensive weapon and its greatest use was for sealing, it was still refined by the great ancient monarch after all and possessed boundless magic power. When it was passed down, it was equivalent to the suppression of the great monarch of no beginnings palm. Who was Wu Shur? That was an invincible existence that had swept through the three thousand worlds. Who in the world could stop a single hand of his? It was a supreme deterrent. Even the powerful undying Daoist of the sacred cliff had been suppressed for hundreds of thousands of years. He couldn't break free from the divine seal decree and was refined alive, leaving behind only a remnant will. Great Emperor Wu Shur's magical artifact flew over. The impact of this was huge. Even the ancient kings were turned to dust with one strike. 
If this wasn't the might of an emperor, what was it? This was equivalent to announcing that the great human emperor was still alive. Ah. A final scream rang out. The divine sealed decree sent down a beam of holy light, killing yet another ancient king. Only then did it stabilize and hang in the void. The ancient races were all horrified. Monstrous fear surged from the bottom of their hearts, and they couldn't even breathe. Great Emperor Wu Shi's magical artifact hung there like an immortal god. It illuminated the jade pool, and even the black heaven connecting platform began to sparkle. Even the ancient kings of the ancient races were forced to kneel there. Who else could resist it? The human cultivators all shouted. The depression and humiliation in their hearts all turned into roars that rushed out of their bodies and into the clouds. On the heaven-connecting platform, only the white-robed divine king stood alone. Only he could still stand. The other ancient kings couldn't move at all. They knelt down and couldn't get up. The hopes of our ancestors and the prosperity of our race have already been achieved by the great emperor. What right do you have to humiliate the human race? Divine King Jiang shouted. He held the dazzling divine king's sword in his hand and faced the kings kneeling on the ground. The divine seal decree hung in the air. It was resplendent all over, and strands of divine power fell down one after another, turning this place into a pure land of the gods. I can't control it. It's hard to get up. It's the same as when I went to see the emperor of fighting back then. This is the power of an emperor. A terrifyingly old ancient king was sweating profusely. He couldn't even move a finger. Past prosperity doesn't mean eternal brilliance. So what if there are ten thousand races? If you want to fight, then fight. The awakened great emperor of the human race is looking down on us. We only need to move forward. Divine King John's words were impassioned and powerful. When he finished speaking, he bowed to the divine seal decree and said that great emperor Wu Shi was immortal. In the distance, the human cultivator's blood was boiling. The depression in their hearts was released, and they were all excited and excited. As for the various ancient races, their faces were ashen. What kind of blow was this? What happened today was too terrifying and exceeded everyone's expectations. Boom! The divine seal decree seemed to be responding to the words of the divine king in white. It shook violently and light pierced through the nine heavens, illuminating tens of thousands of miles. It was as if a great emperor was nodding and rumbling. Below, the ancient races all knelt down. They couldn't bear the pressure. Apart from the humans, everyone else in the jade pool kowtowed. They couldn't stand at all. The divine might shook the world. This was a powerful deterrent. In the distance, Yi Fan was excited. He had thought about the divine seal decree countless times, but he couldn't act on it. Now, the divine king in white and someone else had carried it out. This was something he couldn't achieve. This was a very big plan. How could this be? The kings kneeling on the sky reaching platform were all sweating. They couldn't understand. They felt a chill in their hearts. Why, did something happen again? Heavenly king Skyfall died, but the divine king in white survived. In the crowd, the heavenly prince gritted his teeth and secretly talked to Yuan Gu. He was about to go crazy. This was the third time he had been slapped in the face. I think. He wanted to say something. However, Yuan Gu hurriedly stopped him and said, Heavenly Prince, it's best if you don't say it. The Heavenly Prince's expression immediately changed. Even though it was always something unexpected that happened when he was about to succeed, stopping him like this and telling him not to say anything was a bit too disrespectful. Yuan Gu said, don't misunderstand. I just feel that even though you have great innate luck, during this period of time, it is as if you have been cursed. You absolutely cannot make any vows, or else you might end up stepping on nothing at the peak. The Heavenly Prince's expression changed. I understand. An important great enemy has appeared and is fighting with me over the opportunity to verify the Tao. As a result, something unexpected has happened. The Undying Heavenly Emperor was a man of great learning, his magical force exceeding that of deities. He established an immortal scripture-like inheritance, and within it, there were heaven-defying and fate-changing techniques. This was also the reason why the Heavenly Prince was alarmed. He sensed a few things. He had predicted something several times, but in the end, the conclusion was always changed by someone else. If we are killed, there will be ancient imperial weapons that will descend and destroy the Jade Pool. On the sky reaching platform, an ancient king spoke with difficulty. His forehead was covered in sweat as he spoke the truth. Pfft. The seal of the deities descended. He turned into a streak of bloody light and disappeared from this world, forever erased from this world. No one can doubt the divine might of the great ancient emperors. When the human cultivators saw this scene, they all raised their heads and shouted towards the sky. They couldn't help but kowtow towards the Tao God list. This place was in an uproar. Ancient kings have fallen one after another, and the aura of great ancient emperors has surged out. The Jade Pool is truly daring. Did they use the immortal tier green golden pagoda? Within a majestic ancient mountain range, an ancient king released a low roar. 
He gazed towards the Jade Pool's direction, his eyes emitting a terrifying radiance. Aim the ancient imperial weapons at the Jade Pool and suppress it. An aged ancient king released a terrifying demonic voice. It was as if the prison of hell had been opened. At the same time, within another magnificent ancient mountain, someone also gave a similar order. A terrifying ancient emperor's divine might rushed into the nine heavens and suppressed towards the Jade Pool. Hong Long Long. The heaven and earth were in an uproar. The entire northern region was on the verge of collapse. All the powerful cultivators were terrified. They looked towards the void, their souls trembling. On this day, countless living beings in the northern region trembled in fear. The ancient emperor weapon was reviving, causing everyone to be terrified to the extreme. A tsunami-like sound surged towards the jade pool. It was as if a star field was collapsing, trembling, and then falling down. The extreme imperial weapon pressed down, and its boundless might boiled. The ancient emperor's magical weapon is here. A strand of divine will enter the jade pool. You dare to blaspheme it? The white-robed divine king shouted, his voice shaking all directions. Boom! At the same time, a blood-red divine furnace rushed out of divine king John's body. Divine phoenixes cried together, and the scarlet clouds were intoxicating. Immortal brilliance rose. Eternal Universe Furnace. He carried the Eternal Universe Emperor's weapon on him. At the same time, the Jade Pool's West Imperial Pagoda released a heaven-reaching green brilliance. It broke free from the small world and floated in the sky, dripping down tens of thousands of silk ribbons. Boom! In another direction, an ancient mirror rushed into the sky, shining through the ancient worlds. It was as if it wanted to reopen heaven and earth. G Family's Void Emperor's weapon also appeared. This ancient mirror froze the nine heavens and ten earths, past, present, and future. The three extreme imperial weapons moved together, appearing in the sky above the Jade Pool, facing the two ancient imperial weapons in the distance. They released a world-destroying might. At this time, the investiture of the gods shone, illuminating the entire sky connecting platform. The human cultivators didn't feel any pressure, and they could all stand. Human, are you provoking us? Using an extreme imperial weapon to kill an ancestral king. Do you know that once the ancient imperial weapons come out, your race will be exterminated? No one can stop it. A roar came from the horizon, and it was incomparably dignified. You are the ones who don't understand the situation. Do you know that Great Emperor Wu Shi has appeared, and the Investiture of the Gods has appeared? You are destroying yourselves. The white-robed Divine King stood beside the Eternal Universe Furnace and shouted. What? Impossible. How is Wu Shi still alive? How is this possible? Wu Shi has already passed away for 80,000 years. Exclamations came from the distant sky. They didn't know what just happened in the Jade Pool, and they were bewildered and incomparably shocked. Are you questioning the dignity of the human race's Great Emperor? The white-robed Divine King shouted. We. Before they could say anything, resplendent holy light rushed out from the Jade Pool, and it tore through the sky. What? You dare to attack the ancient Imperial weapons? The person controlling the weapons was shocked, and he did his best to activate them. At the end of the towering mountain range, the two great Imperial families were also shocked, and they watched nervously. Ah. Uh. The investiture of the gods rushed past, and only miserable screams could be heard, as well as a wave of heaven overflowing divine might. Then, with a flash of light, the divine list changed direction, and rushed to another place. Another wave of exclamations rang out, and the person controlling the ancient imperial weapons died a violent death, and he was crushed into ashes. Great Emperor Wu Shi's decree has appeared, and the world is subdued. Who dares to blaspheme it? A rumbling roar accompanied the heavenly Tao, and auspicious light drowned the earth, resounding throughout the northern region. All races were shocked, and at this moment, everyone knelt down. Chapter 828 the Divine Seal Decree flew out and turned into an eternal divine splendor. It eliminated the owners of the two ancient imperial weapons one after the other. This was too shocking. Those who could sense the situation here were all shaken. A vast divine might covered the sky, making people involuntarily kneel down. This is the aura of a great human emperor. It really is the manifestation of an ancient great emperor. At the end of the lofty mountain range, the emperor who used the extreme ancient weapons turned pale with fright. It was as if he had been struck by lightning. He was frozen on the spot and then a deep fear emerged. Just now, the ancient imperial weapon didn't even have time to revive before the holy light obliterated its owner. Everything happened too quickly and left everyone shaken. Quick! Hurry and retrieve the imperial weapon, don't make any mistakes. Some people were anxious and scared out of their wits. This was related to extremely serious consequences. What kind of terrifying power was this? Even the ancient imperial weapon didn't have time to revive and couldn't stop it before its owner was eliminated. It was almost impossible for something like this to happen. 
Everything showed that the ancient great emperor hadn't died yet. There was still someone alive. Otherwise, who could do all this? The ancient imperial weapons are divine. Even if they fall into the hands of others, they will still fly back. An ancient king who had lived for an unknown amount of time appeared and spoke from the depths of the lofty mountain range. What? The other party ignored them and didn't even look at them. He didn't care about the two ancient imperial weapons that were about to revive. The faces of the people from the two great imperial clans became even paler. The fear in their hearts deepened. Was this really the manifestation of an ancient great emperor? He didn't care about the fall of the two imperial weapons at all. Hong. A dazzling beam of light shot out, reaching up to the nine heavens and down to the nine underworlds. The divine splendor of an ancient great emperor covered the world. The divine seal decree erupted with endless light and an unparalleled divine might. In a flash, the light illuminated the entire northern region. It was extremely brilliant. Then, there was only darkness. It flickered for a moment and rushed into the clouds, disappearing into the nine heavens. The divine seal decree had disappeared. This kind of power, this kind of aura, it truly is the might of an ancient emperor. In the depths of the mountain range, the expressions of the ancient clan elders were solemn to the extreme. Many people rushed into the distance and retrieved the ancient imperial weapons, no longer daring to act blindly without thinking. In the distance, in the sky above the Jade Lake, the Eternal Universe Furnace, Void Mirror, and Eternal Universe Furnace shook for a while before slowly fading away. The power of creation disappeared, leaving behind only some chaotic energy. After an unknown period of time, everyone came back to their senses, and all of them subconsciously let out a long breath. However, the ancient kings and kneeling on the towering platform took a long time before they slowly stood up. Their faces were as pale as paper and they swayed. After experiencing such a calamity, they were both mentally and physically exhausted. Their entire bodies were covered in sweat. The terror they felt just now was something they would never forget for the rest of their lives. The world was silent. No one spoke. Everyone stood there silently. None of the cultivators from the various races said anything. Today, quite a few ancient kings came, but most of them died. There weren't many left, the losses world shocking. If news of this got out, no one under the heavens would believe it. The appearance of the divine seal decree toppled everything. Killing ancient kings was like cutting grass. They were instantly turned to ashes, filling their bodies with fear. It was something that would be hard to forget for the rest of their lives. The ancient kings who survived were merely those who experienced it personally. They reported to the various races that Wu Shi was still alive, and the most radical ones were wiped out. What exactly happened? Finally, someone arrived at the Jade Pool and asked about the changes here. After another period of time, powerful cultivators from various races appeared, all of them eager to know the truth. Everything that had happened just now had shocked many of the great powers of the northern region. Soon after, the Jade Pool was in an uproar. People could no longer remain calm. The news flew in all directions and spread to the other great regions. Everything that had happened today was a world-shaking change. Flying over thousands of mountains and rivers, crossing great rivers and grasslands, the eastern wasteland, central continent, southern mountains, northern plains, and western desert were all shaken. When the ten thousand ancient races understood everything, they immediately fell silent, unable to utter a single word. This was a great calamity for them. Within the Jade Pool, Yifan understood that everything that had happened was a plot. The Divine Kings and the others had worked together to lead it. It was the same as his previous thoughts. However, he couldn't do it because he lacked that kind of formidable strength. Meanwhile, the Divine Kings and the others could and had the ability to take the next step. However, he was the one who started all of this, and it was all because of him. Ever since he rang the bell of the beginning, everything had a trajectory, and the saints of the human clan had taken action to perfect his original intention. He and Zhang Lin had killed the Valley of Gods, but it was like killing a chicken to warn the monkeys. However, the white-robed Divine King had done even more. How many ancient kings had fallen on the sky-connecting platform? The blood-soaked meeting had been fought to the point where everyone was terrified. The white-robed Divine King was definitely not the only saint of the human race. They had only pushed him out to contend against the various kings alone, establishing their might and establishing an unrivaled image. Just one Divine King had drawn the attention of the ancient ancestral kings, and they had fought until rivers of blood flowed. Heavenly King Skyfall had appeared, and then the God Seal list had been activated to kill the most radical ones. This was the true example of killing the chicken to warn the monkeys. Killing such a group of people was more intimidating than anything else, and then the God Seal list had appeared, frightening everyone with the fact that Great Emperor Wu Shi was still alive. This plan was very risky, and it had almost gone out of control. The attack of two ancient imperial weapons was too dangerous. From this, one could see the strength of the ancient race. They had truly reached an unbridled level, daring to kill a sacred place like the Jade Lake. The person controlling the God Seal list must be very strong. 
At the very least, it should be a legendary great sage. Yi Fan thought to himself and frowned at the same time. Even if the God Seal list had been revived and had boundless divine might, it would still be extremely difficult to create the aura of a great emperor. The caster had most likely paid a great price. In particular, the God Seal list had flown away to kill the person holding the ancient imperial weapon. Even the great sage would find it difficult to break free from the shackles of time and space. Who knew how much cultivation he would have to consume? The God Seal list has killed everything. The ancient race will most likely be quiet for a long time. There will probably be a peaceful negotiation after this, Yi Fan said to himself. If a few human saints appear one after another at this time, it will undoubtedly be shocking. Yi Fan was thinking about who would appear. A divine king in white had already caused the world to darken and ghosts to cry. If a few more saints appeared after the primordial antiquity era, the deterrent effect would increase. Putting aside whether Great Emperor Wu Shi's appearance was real or fake, just the appearance of a few saints was enough to make the ancient races feel extreme fear. This was because the Divine King in White had demonstrated to them how unparalleled the saints who appeared when the rules of heaven and earth didn't allow them to prove their Tao were. If Yi Fan had stirred up a cool breeze, then the Divine King and the others had stirred up a shocking hurricane. They had magnified what he wanted to do countless times and carried out comprehensive perfection. While he was thinking about the causes and details of this battle, the ancient races were also thinking about it. The appearance of the God Seal list had shocked many races, including the royal family. At this moment, all the races felt a bone-piercing coldness. If a great emperor of the human race was still alive, it would be useless even if they invited a few great sages and quasi-emperors to help. The God Seal list has appeared. Is Wu Shi really still alive? This was a secret place that only the supreme figures of the royal family could enter. There were a few people sitting cross-legged. Their bodies were blurry as if they had almost merged with the great Tao of heaven and earth. If it wasn't for Wu Shi, even if he knew all the secrets of the God Seal list, knew all its profundities, and had enough time to revive it, it would still be difficult to use this kind of divine might. An extremely ancient voice came from a hazy figure of chaotic Qi. It's not impossible. If two great sage or a quasi-emperor were to take action and pay the price of blood, there is a certain chance of success. Another voice sounded, as if it had traveled through the heavens. Regardless of whether it is the real Wu Shi or the fake, it still proves how terrifying the human race is. There are unmatched experts still alive. At this point, this mysterious place quieted down. There were no more sounds and the blurry figures all disappeared. Everything was as Yi Fan predicted. Two days later, a few powerful ancient kings personally came. They were no longer overbearing and seemed like they wanted to sit down and talk things over. The original representatives of the various races didn't leave. When they saw their own ancestral kings personally come and restrain their holy auras, they were all shaken. Everyone knew that a relatively peaceful era had arrived. In the future, it would be difficult for there to be any conflicts. It was just that they didn't know how long this would last. The Jade Lake Pure Land was now truly peaceful. The tense atmosphere was swept away. The human cultivators all had smiles on their faces as everything calmed down. The Nine Phoenix Ancestral King has arrived. Many ancient races were shocked. They recognized one of the participants. The one who came was a terrifying existence from the Blood Phoenix Mountain Imperial family. He was on the same level as Heavenly King Skyfall and was known as the Nine Phoenix King. During the archaic years, few were his match. His appearance triggered a huge commotion. Those who understood him all knew how terrifying he was. His name shook the archaic world. The past unmatched emperor of fighting had said that his aptitude wasn't bad. Even though it was a casual sentence, to be able to obtain the evaluation of an ancient emperor was an unmatched glory. The entire world would naturally know about this and everyone would feel reverence towards him. Then, an even greater commotion erupted, triggering a huge wave of chaos. The second saint of the human race appeared, leaving all clans shaken. The number one bandit of the northern region, the old Undying appeared. He wore a spacious black robe that not even the heavenly eyes could see through. It was to the extent where it was unknown whether he was male or female. The human race has a second saint? All clans were shocked. A white-clothed divine king slaughtered until corpses covered the ground. The kings were all terrified, and now a second one appeared. This was undoubtedly shocking. The storm didn't stop there. Not long after, the third saint of the human race appeared, triggering another clamor. All clans were alarmed, and the human race was boiling. Even Yi Fan didn't expect this person to appear. It exceeded his expectations. He wasn't a stranger, but rather an old man he had seen before. His figure was stooped and he was incomparably old. He was the gatekeeper of the heavenly jade holy land in the northern region. No one would have expected this. He said he was a descendant of heavenly jade. I think he should be one of the lucky survivors from back then. Yi Fan was a bit dazed. He still remembered the scene of him entering the desolate stone square with the crimson dragon Daoist. 
At that time, the Crimson Dragon Daoist was startled and left. Now, he understood everything. The appearance of three saints from the human race naturally shocked the ancient races. Many ancient kings felt restraining fear and became incomparably cautious. At this point, the effects of the battle with the white-clothed divine king were undoubtedly evident. Everything didn't stop there. Not long after, the fourth saint of the human race appeared, triggering a wave of cheers. This was a type of sudden happiness. Meanwhile, the ancient races were all dumbfounded. How could another one appear? This saint came from the extraordinary warrior manor in the central state. He was an old manor lord who had already retired for many years. His successors had already died several generations ago. The ancient races were greatly shaken by the appearance of four saints. After the news spread, there were immediately ancestral kings who rushed over in person because this was far beyond their expectations. Moreover, it was rumored that a great sage would come. This was an existence who was invincible in the heavens and earth. He had only lost once in his life, and that was to an undefeatable existence in the past, the emperor of fighting. There were many cultivators in the jade pool. People came and went as the meeting opened. Yi Fan saw a familiar figure. It was an exceptionally beautiful youth with red lips and white teeth. His eyes were bright and clear, and he was even more beautiful than a woman. It's her. Xia Jioyo. Yi Fan was startled. He still remembered this exceptional genius. When she was 12 or 13 years old, she was already stronger than all the saint children. Now, so many years had passed, and it was unknown to what extent she had grown. The two of them had fought before. At that time, he had even smacked the butt of this cross-dressing girl. This world-shocking genius was so angry that she wanted to skin him alive. Is it really him? An old friend from back then. Not far away, the central emperor gazed in another direction and stood there in a daze. Yi Fan turned around and just happened to see his expression. He followed his gaze in astonishment and was immediately stupefied. The proud girl Xia Jioyo was already walking in that direction while supporting an old man. It's him, the sickly old man. Yi Fan was astonished. After that, a window in his heart was suddenly pushed open, and a lot of the fog dispersed. He immediately thought of many things. The central emperor was someone who died early 9,000 years ago. He was sealed by the Chishir Manor and was able to revive. This kind of heroic genius who died early, and the old friend he knew was naturally a hero from 9,000 years ago. Tracing back to the endless river of time, who was the most suspicious person? There was only one person, and that was the unrivaled Gai Jioyo of the past. His name shook the heavens and earth, and he was someone who almost corroborated the Tao. When the genius girl Xia Jioyo chose her name, she must have been influenced by him and purposely used that word. The sickly old man was Gai Jioyo, and he had walked all the way from the ancient river of time to the present world. This was truly frightening. Thinking back to the various events at the Qinling Celestial Pond, the sage who had helped him was undoubtedly Gai Jioyo. Only he could have used the army formula to interfere with the extreme Tao Emperor weapon and save his life. Furthermore, the investiture of the gods had left the holy cliff and appeared here. Only this human race's great sage could use the army formula to control it. The cause and effect were all connected, and Yi Fan had a feeling of sudden realization. Senior. Yi Fan quickly chased after him, extremely excited. The two people in front of him stopped. The genius girl Xia Jioyo had delicate features and was stunning. She was still dressed as a man, but she was no longer as arrogant as before. Time had worn away her edges and corners. When she met Yi Fan this time, she was very calm. As for the sickly old man, he had a sickly look on his face. After seeing him, he smiled, looking very ordinary and ordinary. Senior, I've always wanted to repay your great kindness in the past, but I couldn't find any traces of you. I have the undying true dragon elixir here. It can extend your lifespan, said Yi Fan. In the past, when Gai Jioyo attacked in the Qinling Mountains, he had said that his lifespan was exhausted and he was about to die. He could only use the god rule once in a very long time. After controlling the investiture of the gods, he didn't know if he had injured himself. Yi Fan was incomparably worried. If he wanted to extend his life, this great sage definitely couldn't die. Don't worry, I'm fine. Controlling the investiture of the gods was done by me and another person. Moreover, I've obtained a few king medicines, so I can live for a few more years. The sickly old man smiled and was very easygoing. Yi Fan was relieved. With such a person overseeing things, there was nothing to worry about. Perhaps even the ancient race's great sage would come in person. This storm has come to an end, and there won't be any more waves. There will be a relatively peaceful period in the future. You guys should grasp it well. Chapter 829 There will be a period of relative peace, so make good use of it. Old man Gai Jioyo spoke very lightly, but Yi Fan was both touched and heavy. It was really not easy to come by. This was a situation that was created by a few saints. How many people could understand the difficulties and dangers involved? They could die at any time. 
Especially with the attack of two ancient imperial weapons, this situation became chaotic. If it wasn't someone like Gai Jiuyo, who would have the courage to kill those with imperial weapons? With the revival of the ancient imperial weapons, even the great sage would die with a grudge. Even someone as powerful as Gai Jiuyo would not have survived if he hadn't mastered the army formula. Seniors and the others worry about the world and are worthy of respect. I didn't have to do anything before, Yi Fan said. No need to be modest. Gai Jiuyo really couldn't tell that he was a peerless figure. He looked sickly and didn't have the demeanor of a supreme expert. He smiled and said, we just perfected it. Yi Fan didn't say anything more. The ones who were really modest were these human saints. They must have had a detailed plan. Even though they didn't show themselves, they had foresight. A true virtuous sage would always stand at the highest peak and look at the path that the world couldn't see. Beside him, Xia Jiuyo was in a white dress. She was as stunning as she used to be, overshadowing even fairies. She had changed from a stubborn and willful girl to a peerless beauty. Now, many things could be understood. Back then, Xia Jiuyo had clamored to refine Yi Fan Saint Blood into a treasure pill. She must have done it to prolong her master's life, but it was also out of filial piety. The sickly old man's life had dried up. This girl must have been trying to find a way to live a few more years in this world. After thinking this through, Yi Fan felt that the domineering girl in the past wasn't so annoying anymore. Instead, she seemed a little cute. He couldn't help but laugh. If you dare to look at me one more time, I'll refine your eyes into magic lamps. Xia Jiuyo's lips curled up slightly. Her big eyes flickered with a cold light. Yi Fan. He was just thinking that this girl had changed and become a lot cuter, but he was immediately threatened, leaving him speechless. As the saying goes, a leopard cannot change its spots. Although her peerless appearance had softened a little, she still had a proud heart, and her strength had not changed. The sickly old man walked forward with the help of the genius girl. He was ready to participate in a small meeting that only the sages and ancestral kings were allowed to enter. It concerned the peace of the world in the future. Outside the jade pool, an ancient war chariot was approaching. It was covered with axe marks and arrow holes. It was obvious that it had gone through many bloody battles. The nine primordial fierce beasts that were pulling the carriage all spat out divine light. Each of them was incomparably terrifying, and their auras were frightening. One or two of them were close to the sage realm. It's him, the Chilin Heaven Ancestral King from the Fire Chilin Cavern has arrived. That's right, it's the Chilin Heavenly King. He's on the same level as the Nine Phoenix King, and he's a terrifying existence that has the chance to become the Great Sage. During the Primordial Era, he moved unhindered through the various regions, and it was difficult to find a match for him. The Nine Phoenix King had been praised by the unparalleled Emperor of Fighting in the past, and the one who had come was naturally a blazing sun among the ancient races. Many ancient races came forward to pay their respects. They felt that the Jade Pool meeting this time was too extraordinary. Even the Nine Phoenix King and the Chilin Heaven Ancestral King had arrived. It could be said that the ancient races attached great importance to this meeting. However, what was unexpected was that the Chilin Heavenly King was stunned as soon as he got off the war chariot. Then, he quickly walked forward and bowed to an old man. Many ancient race experts were stupefied. What kind of existence was the Chilin Heavenly King? He was actually bowing to an ordinary-looking old man. Greetings, Great Sage Hunchuo. The moment the Chilin Heavenly King's words came out, everyone was petrified. Then, there was a put-on sound as the ancient races all knelt down and called out to the Great Sage. This was a very ordinary old man. Rather than calling him an ancient race, it was better to say that he was a human. He looked like an old man from the countryside, and even his clothes were the same. There really was a great sage who had come. This made this meeting even more extraordinary. Everyone was shocked that such a character had appeared. One had to know that how many great sages could there be in an ancient planet. In the era when ancient emperors didn't appear, they were definitely unrivaled existences. The great sage Hunchuo's name shook the ancient times. He had only been defeated once in his life, and he was suppressed by the other party with a single hand. However, this wasn't shameful at all, because the other party was an undefeatable existence, the emperor of fighting. Who dared to challenge the ancient emperors? Forget about the result, just this kind of courage was admirable. At that time, the ancient times were greatly shaken. Although the great sage Hunchuo mocked himself and said that he was courting death because he didn't know the immensity of the heavens and earth, it didn't damage his prestige. Instead, it shocked the entire world. Back then, the emperor of fighting only laughed it off and didn't injure him. Moreover, he even said that he wasn't bad. This could be considered a type of praise and obtained the ancient emperor's approval. No one would have thought that the great sage who had only been defeated once in his life would really come. Although there were rumors, no one believed it at first. The great sage Hunchuo let the Chilin Heavenly King get up and they walked towards the Jade Lake Pure Land. He immediately saw Gai Jiuyo and his body trembled. He didn't let the Chilin Heavenly King accompany him anymore. 
He walked forward alone and caught up with the sickly old man. He said, the human race, is really admirable. What is there to talk about? Myriad races coexist and the world is at peace. Gai Jiuyo smiled. That's right. The emperors of the ancient times and the great emperors of the human race were all magnanimous and said similar things. The great sage Hun Chuo nodded and sighed. He said, it's better for the characters above the great sage to not appear in the future. Leave the world to the later generations. The sickly old man Gai Jiuyo also nodded and said, I think even the great sage shouldn't appear. For example, with my old arms and legs, it's still possible for me to ruthlessly wipe out a royal family. Not to mention those vigorous ancestral kings. If they are angry, it's not impossible for them to kill millions of corpses and end a few races. For the peace of the world, for the hard-won peace, it's better to let them cultivate on their own. The great sage Hunchuo was stunned. Then, he smiled and said, we have to give the young people some chances. The old man Gai Jiuyo squinted his eyes and said, the ancestral kings and sages have cultivated for many years and they all crawled out from mountains of corpses and seas of bones. It's useless to engage in so-called life and death battles to break through. Didn't the strongest bloodline of the ancient emperors awaken in this generation? I'm looking forward to it. Aren't the most outstanding prodigies of the myriad races also full of vigor? They all need a stage, so let's leave the world to them. There are indeed a few bloodlines of the ancient emperors. One year of cultivation is equivalent to a hundred years of cultivation for others. Their talents are rare throughout the ages. The princes of the human race weren't all used up during the Dark Age, right? In such a great era, the path of the ancient emperors paved with blood and bones is really cruel. The great sage Hunchuo muttered to himself. The central emperor watched Gai Jiuyo disappear into the distance. There was a moment of silence before he sighed softly. Although they were old acquaintances, he didn't go forward to meet them. Everyone had their own different path. Life experiences were different, so the trajectory was also different. As long as one's life had not reached its end, there would be all kinds of possibilities. Everyone was the only protagonist in their own life, but at the same time, they were also the supporting characters and passers-by in the lives of others. Yi Fan sat quietly at the Jasper Lake. He waited for a long time, but the old woman of the same generation as the crazy old man didn't appear. He sighed. An era had come to an end. Such a sage had fallen in the birthplace of the northern celestial light. However, no one knew that the sage's later years were like this. It was more or less miserable, and there wasn't even someone to send her off. Withering, the curtain had come to an end. The wind rose, and the fallen flowers drifted. Although there was a delicate fragrance, it was very sad and beautiful. An era had come to an end. The wind grew stronger, and all kinds of petals fell and withered. Yi Fan sat alone for a long time and felt a chill. In the end, only the sage and the ancestral king were discussing. Outsiders didn't know what kind of quarrel they were having, but there were occasional bursts of anger and coercion, indicating that the scene was not peaceful. Little Yi, you're here. I've been looking for you for a long time. Come, let's go drink. Li Tian walked over, his eyes sizing up the various beauties as he laughed. Little Yi, let's go. Drink to your heart's content today, and the future will finally be peaceful. Then, damn it, let's go kill that heavenly prince and that watermelon Yuan Gu. Li Heishui also walked over, hugging a wine jar and burping. Yi Fan smiled and walked back with them. In front of them, the southern demon, Ji Huishui, the central emperor, Ji Ziyue, the Jasper Lake Saintess, Ji Haoyue, the monkey, and the divine silkworm Daoist were drinking together. It was very lively. Duanda was playing the role of a useless advisor, giving random ideas to Dongfang Man, urging him to challenge the heavenly prince and kill him to avenge his brother. As soon as he returned, Li Tian was filled with all kinds of jealousy and hatred. He saw his senior brother Yan Ishi drinking with a girl from the far ancient imperial family. Damn it, a real primordial divine girl. People like my senior brother should be struck by lightning. With him here, I lack a sense of existence. Li Tian was indignant. She's the sister of the fire unicorn. Yan Ishi said this as if nothing had happened. He was dressed in white, and his face was like jade, otherworldly and refined. What? Ancient imperial bloodline? Don't provoke her. Li Tian's expression changed. He then said, leave it to me from now on. Everyone was speechless. In the distance, a girl in purple walked by. Duanda immediately poked Yi Fan and said, Purple Mansion Saintess, innate Dao embryo, this is a good opportunity. Knock her out and carry her away. In the future, we can cultivate a second Wuxia. Everyone rolled their eyes at him. Suddenly, there was chaos outside the Jade Lake Pure Land. It was as if chickens were flying and dogs were jumping about. Someone was cursing and the faint barking of dogs could be heard. At this moment, Yi Fan jumped up with an incomparably excited expression and said, It's, the Black Emperor. How can this be? I saw it die with my own eyes. It was killed for us. Li Heishui's mood immediately became downcast. 
It's him, there's no mistake. Yi Fan rushed out. Seeing this, the others also stood up and followed. Outside the Jade Lake, a big black dog was sticking out its red tongue. It was as robust as a bull, and its black fur was shiny like silk. Black Emperor. Yi Fan was excited. It really was him. You, are still alive. Li Heishui was also excited and rushed over. Everyone was dumbfounded. This dog really wasn't dead and had come out alive and kicking. His life was truly tenacious. Why is there a ruckus as soon as you appear? Behind them, someone laughed and said excitedly. Who am I? Everyone's eyes are on me. The wind and clouds move for me, and heaven and earth cry for me. Only a place with me will there be glory. The big black dog was arrogant and boasted shamelessly. His skin was extremely thick. Boom. Within the Jade Lake, another wisp of the aura of a saint erupted. The noise was so loud that many people heard the sound of the ancestral king's meeting. No, absolutely not. Why can't a saint-level figure make a move? Why? Everyone was shocked. Clearly, a deadlock had appeared in the meeting. When the Black Emperor who had just arrived at the Jade Lake heard these roars, his expression immediately became solemn, and his entire body shone. I'm going to do something big. After saying this, he spat out a golden paper that was extremely brilliant, and the aura of a supreme great emperor rushed out. What is this? Yi Fan asked in surprise. Great Emperor Wu Shi's decree, the Black Emperor said solemnly. What, this really is? That's right, it really is. The Black Emperor nodded seriously. Chapter 830 Really, this decree, is real? Li Heishui felt his mouth go dry. He swallowed with difficulty, feeling incredulous. This golden paper was majestic, sacred, and auspicious. The aura it emitted made people want to bow down. This kind of thing was difficult to imitate. It was definitely an artifact of an ancient emperor. How is this possible? Is there really an emperor alive in the present world? Even the monkey was shocked, as if he had heard that the emperor of fighting had been resurrected. The large black dog raised his massive head proudly. His entire body was radiating with divine light, and it could be said that he was a dignified and divine being. Of course. Let me see what's written on it. Yi Fan stretched out his hand. He was excited. Intuitively, he knew this was a divine paper. This involves the mysteries of the heavens, and not just anyone can see it. Seeing that we're all acquaintances, just give me a holy fruit or half a stalk of undying divine medicine and I'll let you see it carefully. The Black Emperor put on airs, bared his white teeth, and said in a very confident manner. Sure enough, his nature was hard to change. Yi Fan went up to snatch it, but his mind was shaken. There was a kind of emperor's might that made him feel very uncomfortable. I'll give you half price because we are acquaintances. If that damned fatty who steals graves all day wants to see it, everything will be doubled. The large black stared at Duanda. Wu Shi is still alive. This is too ridiculous. The heartless Taoist rubbed his nose. At this time, Yi Fan had already held the Wu Shi decree in his hand. The divine paper was surrounded by light, making his body look auspicious and sparkling. He turned it over and over, feeling a kind of vastness and majesty. He was engulfed by a sacred light, but he didn't see any words. How is it? Stunned, right? Do you not recognize the words on it? Do you need me to teach you the Supreme Emperor's language? The large black dog said arrogantly. What's written on it? Let me see. Li Tian couldn't wait. He took it from Yi Fan's hand and stared at it for a long time. This wordless heavenly scroll, is so f asterisk king profound. Really? Let me have a look. Duanda came over to have a look, but at the same time, he was very vigilant in case of being bitten by the dogs. Based on my many years of experience in tomb raiding, this wordless heavenly book, doesn't have any f asterisk king words. Fatty Duan came to this conclusion. Damn dog, are you messing with us? Woof, I took the wrong card. Sorry, it should be the other card. The large black dog scratched his head, an embarrassed expression on his face. To think that I thought it was a wordless heavenly book. What a waste of my sincerity and respect. It turns out that it's just a blank piece of paper. Li Tian was the most indignant. I came here in a hurry, so I grabbed a few more. I didn't think that I would make a mistake just now, the large black dog explained guiltily. What? A few at once? Isn't that too cheap? Everyone was dumbfounded. Don't doubt me, the large black dog said. This time, it's definitely the real deal. Once it appears, everyone will have to pay their respects to it. Are you all ready? Go to hell, you took a stack of decrees at once. Who would believe you? Even Li Heishui cast a vote of disbelief. The large black dog spat out divine papers in succession, and they were all wordless heavenly books. The papers flickered with holy light, and had the aura of an ancient emperor. 
However, they were all wordless. Damned dog, you really know how to mess things up. Yi Fan wanted to kick him. Only Duanda kept the papers, wanting to take them for himself. His eyes shone with a thieving light, and he said, Good stuff, there are really a lot of papers specially used by ancient emperors. F asterisk CK, fatty, if you dare to swallow one, I'll bite you ten thousand times and take you as my human pet. The large black dog spat out the papers as he threatened fiercely, and said, These are all used by me to make my bed. Really, F asterisk king, extravagant. The eyes of the habitual tomb raider Duanda were bloodshot. You really have Wuxur's decree? Li Heishue was doubtful. Boom. Suddenly, the whole heaven and earth trembled, and a majestic aura spread out. A divine paper shone brilliantly, and it had an unusual aura compared to the other papers. That's it. They walked into the Jade Lake, and along the way, many people felt their hearts palpitate. It was as if they were facing an eternal monument, and they almost all knelt down. This time, the large black dog held his head high. He didn't have to pretend to be dignified and holy anymore. This piece of paper illuminated every inch of his body, and his whole body shone with dazzling holy light. Be careful, I'm going to use my divine power. At this moment, he only used a little bit of his divine power, and this piece of paper instantly seemed to have a life of its own. Boom! A terrifying wave spread out, instantly surging like a vast ocean, engulfing the Jade Lake. A few ancient characters appeared on the divine paper, profound and difficult to read. Above the nine heavens, streaks of auspicious light descended, and treasured lotuses grew on the ground. All kinds of multicolored light rose, and it was a scene of holiness that engulfed the large black dog in the center. To be more precise, it entwined the decree, turning it into an eternal light. This kind of aura couldn't be faked, and it belonged to an ancient emperor. It wasn't a divine power that could suppress the heavens, but it was as majestic as the vast ocean. Indistinctly, celestial music could be heard, and in the distance, all kinds of spirit beasts began to fly, and all the flowers in the pure land immediately bloomed. What? The decree of an ancient emperor has arrived? In the Jade Lake, many ancient kings stood up in shock, and even the saints of the human race were no exception. Their senses were the clearest, and with their cultivation levels, it was easy for them to come into contact with Tao marks of this level. There isn't the intimidation of extreme divine power, but it can't be wrong. This is the unique aura of an existence like the archaic emperor, an ancient king said with a trembling voice. Let's go and take a look. Great sage Hunchuo was very calm. He stood up, and walked out. Gai Jiuyo also stood up, and walked out with the others. They could clearly see a divine paper floating in front of them, and a large dog with its head held high was enveloped by divine splendor. There were four words on the decree, and they were intimidating. The strokes were vigorous, and the pressure made it hard for one to breathe. And this kind of spiritual pressure was something that only ancient kings would feel fear, and their bodies broke out in cold sweat. Ordinary people didn't have the qualifications to feel this kind of spiritual pressure, and it was difficult for them to trigger this kind of spiritual pressure. The more powerful one was, the more horrified they would be. Is this really the decree of an ancient emperor? An ancient king asked with a trembling voice. Indeed. The black emperor was incomparably arrogant, and said loudly, this emperor will personally read out Great Emperor Wuxur's decree. Great Emperor Wuxur's decree. As soon as these words came out, the Jade Lake immediately exploded, and everyone couldn't help but cry out. They all stared in this direction, at the black emperor, and immediately flared up. The divine paper shone with boundless brilliance, becoming more and more resplendent, illuminating the heaven and earth. The holy splendor scattered to every corner, making people feel reverence and peace. Who are you? How can you be sure that this is Wuxur's decree, an ancient king asked. You asked the right question. Listen up, this is the first time this emperor has revealed his true identity in the world. The black emperor swept his gaze in all directions, and standing on the high platform, he said, I am the mountain protector black emperor under great emperor Wuxur. The jade lake quieted down, and everyone stared forward, looking at it, looking at the decree, and they were indescribably amazed. The ancient race's people frowned even more. The word emperor had a special meaning, and this dog was so rebellious, daring to use such a name. It made them feel uncomfortable in their hearts. You guys still don't know who it is. There are some ancient records that great emperor Wu Shi adopted a young dog in his later years. Duanda spoke from within the crowd. It's him. I've heard of this kind of secret before. A few sect master level figures said in shock. The Jade Lake immediately became noisy. A dog caused a huge commotion, bringing along great emperor Wu Shi's decree, leaving everyone indescribably shaken. Nonsense, this emperor is a natural-born sacred emperor, the reincarnation of a deity. The black emperor boasted shamelessly. What mountain protector black emperor? It was definitely a mountain protector beast, magnified endlessly by it. Yi Fan and the others cursed inwardly, but they were also quite shocked. This was the first time the black emperor revealed his origins. 
What words are those? Why can't we decipher them? An ancient king was endlessly bewildered. They had long realized that this was the work of a great emperor. These are the special words used by ancient emperors and great emperors after comprehending the Tao. Great sage Hunchuo said. After carefully studying it, he read out those ancient words and said, There is no saint under the heavens. Correct, there is no saint under the heavens. Gai Jioyo also said. Hiss. The group of people sucked in a breath of cold air, all of them stunned. Was this the meaning of great emperor Wu He issued this kind of decree, leaving everyone shaken. If you don't believe me, you guys can take a look. The black emperor was extremely generous, bringing out the divine paper. The group of ancient kings were horrified, all of them retreating, and only after a long time did they slowly surround it. After watching for a long time, not a single person said anything, all of them silent. A great emperor was still alive, was he going to seal them? I've already said before, saints should hide their cultivation, leave this world to the youngsters. Gai Jioyo said. Great sage Hunchuo's expression was cold, and he said, good, good, good. The myriad races will coexist, and the future will be very peaceful. They invited this decree into the secret land of the Jade Lake, and continued to discuss. However, the style had already been decided, and no matter how noisy the people outside were, everything was about to come to an end. In a place where no one was around, Yi Fan grabbed one of the Black Emperor's large ears, and asked seriously, is Great Emperor Wu Shur really still alive? Of course, Great Emperor Wu Shur is peerless in the heavens and earth, and he wanted to suppress the celestial capital. Unfortunately, he left the nine heavens and ten earths, and could not be found. He was lonely for tens of thousands of years, invincible in the long river of time, the large black dog replied with certainty. Where is he? Li Tian's eyes shone, and he couldn't help but move closer, asking as if they were close friends. How would I know? I haven't seen him for many tens of thousands of years. He has probably entered the celestial realm, the black emperor said. The group of people were petrified, and then they all pounced, grabbing his neck. At the same time, they asked, where did that decree come from? F asterisk CK, you are all blaspheming the great black emperor. Let go. The black emperor coughed. Hurry up and tell me, where did that decree come from? The group of people were strangling him to the point where his eyes were about to roll back. I said, let go. That was written by great emperor Wu Shi more than 100,000 years ago, and I used it as a bed cushion. The black emperor stuck out his tongue, and revealed the truth. The group of people were all dumbfounded. This decree had actually been taken out from a dog kennel? Could this dog be any more ridiculous? He had deceived a group of ancient kings. The decree is real, and there is no mistake, but it does not mean that, the large black dog mumbled. The phrase, there is no saint in the world, was not aimed at all the saints in the world, but rather at a kind of moral character. There was no one in the world who could become a saint, and there was no perfect person in the world. The heaven and earth are damaged, and humans are also flawed. A flawless person will be destroyed, and immortals will no longer exist. The black emperor muttered, and said a few words. Back then, he had not heard it clearly, and only remembered a few words. Do immortals not exist? Duanda muttered to himself. Then, he shook his head, saying that this was impossible. Great Emperor Wu said that there are no immortals in this world. I think he saw a place where there were immortals, so he disappeared, ascended, and went to another world, the large black dog said. Damn dog, just how many secrets are you still hiding from us? Hurry up and tell us. Yi Fan did not let go. Brat, you ran away for twelve years. What exactly did you encounter in the realm of stars? Hurry up and tell us, the large black dog retorted. The Jade Lake meeting soon came to an end. Not long after, a piece of news that shocked the five regions spread out. There were no saints in the world, and the world was about to be at peace. Is this a sign of peace? I think it's the opening of the path of blood. The bloodline of the ancient emperors has not been depleted. Is the son of the great emperor of the ancient ages about to be born? Some people who had cultivated for a long time immediately smelled the scent of blood. Brat, let go of me. This time, I have suppressed all the races, and in terms of merit, I am the greatest. Regarding everything related to the investiture of the gods and great emperor Wu Shur, I have silently made an enormous contribution, enough to shock the heaven and earth and make ghosts and gods weep, the black emperor shouted. I want to ask you, where did little Nan Nan go? She ascended. The black emperor's words caused Yi Fan to stumble in shock, and he almost fell to the ground. Chapter 831 Little Nan Nan had ascended. When this news came out, not only did Yi Fan stagger, the others were also stunned, and couldn't speak for a while. Who are you lying to? Tell me, where did she go? Did you lose her? Yi Fan grabbed his black hair that was like a lion's mane. It's true, I swear I didn't say anything false. I saw it with my own eyes. Flowers floated in the sky, and celestial music played. 
Then, she flew into the sky, and I couldn't catch up to her no matter how hard I tried. The large black dog pointed at the sky and swore. That year, Wu Zhongtian, Li Heishui, and the others were ambushed, and Lu Ko was directly blasted into a bloody pulp. If the large black dog hadn't appeared in time, everyone would have been killed. That time was too dangerous. First, there was the inheritor of the demonic heaven devouring art, then there was the winged servant of the heavenly prince, this mountain eagle. Finally, there was the mysterious and unknown incomplete nine apertures creature, the large rock head. It was truly terrifying. The black emperor saved them with formation patterns, but he was hit by someone. A divine light entered the region gate and slashed him out of the void. Even if he had iron bones, he was still broken into pieces. Little Nan Nan fell from his body and cried loudly. She shook him with her two little hands, calling him to wake up. She lay on his body and cried her heart out. Yi Fan could imagine that scene. Little Nan Nan treated him and the Black Emperor as the closest people. At that time, he wasn't by her side, and only a large dog accompanied her. Little Nan Nan must have been heartbroken. Later, the pursuers approached. The large black dog recounted the events of the past, and was slightly disappointed. Little Nan Nan was sorrowful. She cried as she tried to carry him on her back and run. She stumbled and stumbled, and kept falling. I will definitely kill those people. Yi Fan clenched his fists so tightly that his knuckles turned white. Finally, the man and the dog were surrounded. But at that moment, Little Nan's small body actually emitted a brilliant light. The heavens descended, and celestial music played. It was as if she had ascended, and she soared into the sky with the Black Emperor. No one could catch up. When we reached the Outer Realm, her tears immediately helped me recover. That feeling, was too mysterious. Even now, the Black Emperor still felt that it was inconceivable. Then, it was swept down from the sky by a streak of Tao light, falling into a great wasteland. It survived. At that moment, the Black Emperor seemed to have gone mad as he carved the Great Emperor's remnant marks. It was rare for him to be accurate, and he directly arrived in outer space, returning to that place. However, he never saw Nan Nan again. Ever since that day, he had completely lost track of her. Over the years, the Black Emperor had spent most of his time in the sky above this ancient star, but in the end, he had never seen little Nan Nan again. Why is it like this? Yi Fan was dumbfounded. Poor little Nan Nan. Ji Ziyue said softly. She really liked this little one. She always wanted to tease her, but she disappeared just like that. The others also frowned. Many of them had seen the little girl before. She was obedient and cute, never growing up, yet she disappeared just like that. Everyone was worried. Ascend to heaven? Who could believe it? Don't worry, I feel that no one in this world can kill her. There is a special characteristic on her body that I have only sensed from one person in my life. The Black Emperor said. Yi Fan finally knew why the greedy and arrogant big black dog was willing to be little Nan Nan's mount. It was a pity that he couldn't see that little girl anymore. Everyone gathered together and talked about their own experiences, and the Black Emperor also revealed many secrets. Gu Tian Shu was still alive. This was another piece of earth-shattering news that the Black Emperor revealed after admitting that he had followed Great Emperor Wu Shur. This time, they could enter the Holy Cliff because the Black Emperor understood the killing formation there and told them the various secrets of the Investiture of the Gods. Gai Jiuyo and Gu Tian Shu were able to solve the mystery. Of course, the two of them also borrowed an extreme emperor weapon and temporarily suppressed it on the Holy Cliff. Now, they should have retrieved the Investiture of the Gods when they returned. The Saints have sacrificed a lot and done many things, but they have never mentioned it. It is not something that outsiders can understand. They felt respect in their hearts, but they also became more aware of their own shortcomings. They needed to quickly increase their strength during this rare period of peace. I can sense the aura of the Thai Sovereign Sword, the Great Xia Prince said. The little nun also nodded seriously. That kind of power was connected to their bloodline. Everyone was shocked. There was still an extreme emperor weapon in the Jade Lake. If they really fought, the North region would be flattened. The human race had prepared a lot. It is undeniable that in this world, some forces only care about themselves. They don't care about what will happen after their death. However, the great sects are still very responsible and will look far ahead, Ji Hao Yue said. If they really fought, the ancient race would definitely suffer heavy losses. Unfortunately, they have more than one great sage. Even if they killed great sage Hunchuo and the ancient kings present, it would be useless, Yao Yuakong said. In the end, the Jade Lake meeting came to an end, and people from all sides left in batches. Of course, there were still many people who had not left. Many familiar people gathered and drank to their heart's content. After all, a rare period of peace had arrived. A person with a very high status found Yi Fan. It was Lin Daochen, the vice manor lord of the Qishir Manor. He told him that in a few years, a path to the outer realm would be opened. After so many years, the Qishir Manor finally made a decision. 
They once again invited Yi Fan and told him that if he was interested, he could make a trip to the Central Plains. Nine Great Accomplishments Saint Physiques How many of them have set foot on this path, and some have returned alive? The reason why the Azure Emperor could prove his Tao in the post-antiquity era is also related to this path. The shortest is a year's worth of cultivation, and the longest is a lifetime in the outer realm. Lin Daochun didn't say much and only left these three sentences before leaving. Yi Fan stood there in a daze. After pondering for a long time, he suddenly raised his head and found that Lin Daochun had also gone to find the Wavering Light Saint Child, the Southern Demon, and the Central Emperor. The final selection hasn't been decided yet, or will the people going this time surpass the previous ones? Yi Fan was astonished. Even that bastard Duanda had been found. Even the Ji clan's little moon was one of the candidates. She was quite open and had a bright smile on her face, looking eager to try. Pang Bo had once told him that the journey to the outer realm was a path stained with blood. Since ancient times, only a few people had returned alive. I say, Lord Black Emperor, look over there. There's a fellow that suits you quite well. Li Tian pointed in the distance. It was an ancient creature with a dog's head, a human's body, and a pair of pure white divine wings on its back. A divine halo enveloped its head, making it look quite holy. Too ugly. The Black Emperor said with his tongue hanging out. Immediately, a terrifying pressure spread over. The divine halo around the dog-headed angel's body became even more resplendent as it looked over coldly. Don't say anymore, it's a bit smelly. Damn, too bad it's a male. The Black Emperor cursed drunkenly. Bang! The group of people were sent flying. The place where they were drinking exploded, and the ancient creature left the Jade Lake. This is an expert from the heavenly dog race. The Jade Lake Holy Maiden warned them not to speak carelessly. Finally, it was time to part. Yi Fan and the others were going to leave this pure land together. In the coming period of time, the 10,000 races would reproduce and recuperate. There wouldn't be any great battles, but no one could relax. The Black Emperor was drunk. His tongue was hanging out, and he stood up straight. He was actually together with Duanda, and the two of them had their arms around each other's shoulders. It was very disharmonious. The two of them didn't have much of a natural disposition. It was quite strange for them to be together like this. No matter how one looked at it, they were a pair of greedy and shameless people. I am lightning, I am light, I am the only legend. The Black Emperor howled dryly, startling countless wild ducks. Break and then establish, establish and then break, the elephant is formless, the Lord is nowhere to be seen, I am your only sacred emperor. Duanda also howled drunkenly. Then, the two bastards finally revealed their true colors. They fought against each other, attacking each other secretly, seizing each other's treasures, god weapons, and other things. F asterisk CK, tomb robber, don't think that I don't know that you've been eyeing the purple mountain for so many years. You dare to covet my nest? If I don't bite you to death, my human pet will tremble in fear, woof. Damned dog, don't think that I don't know your background. The limit of a great elite is fake. You break and then establish, and you go back and forth. You always want to steal my heaven engulfing demonic lid. My uncle boundless celestial being. You dare to attack me. Neither of them were kind people, and once they were together, they would definitely fight to the death. However, the others didn't try to dissuade them. Instead, they clapped their hands and cheered them on. Woof, woof, woof. After so many years, the large black dog had already become a supreme great elite, and was even close to the severing Dao tier. Meanwhile, Duanda was also strange and unfathomable. It was impossible to tell how powerful he was, and he fought evenly with the large black dog. Both of their objectives were to seize treasures, and the secret techniques they used were unheard of. They could capture ancient weapons from the bodies of others. In the end, the large black dog stopped first, and solemnly announced a ceasefire. Then, he ran off into the distance. In front of him were the people from the various holy lands. They were about to carve formation patterns and leave. There were many young disciples among them, and a purple-robed young woman among them was undoubtedly the most eye-catching. She was innately compatible with the Tao, and if she didn't deliberately suppress her aura, it would be like a heavenly curtain pouring down from the sky. Even so, she was still surrounded by all kinds of light of the Tao, and she was indescribably holy and otherworldly. Coupled with her peerless beauty, she was like a fairy from the nine heavens who had descended into the world. She was the holy daughter of the purple mansion. The large black dog was wearing a pair of flowery underpants, and he ran over on his hind legs. He was incredibly fervent, and he said, for the sake of quelling the chaos, for the peace of the entire ancient planet, and for the future of the human race, please give birth to an innate saint body Tao fetus. Outside the Jade Lake, the various forces were petrified, and the people from the Purple Mansion were also stunned. The heaven and earth suddenly fell silent, and there was a deathly silence. However, this didn't last for too long. The people from the Purple Mansion all shouted, and all kinds of light flew out toward the Black Emperor, causing him to cover his head and scurry away. 
Of course, they didn't kill him. Now, everyone knew that he was a divine dog that followed Great Emperor Wuxia. If they really killed him, there might be a great calamity. I'm serious. Great Emperor Wuxia asked me to find a successor, and it has to be an innate saint body Dao fetus, the large black dog said in a fervent voice from afar. You're not lying. If that's the case, I asked the Supreme Great Emperor to issue a decree. To everyone's surprise, a living fossil from the Purple Mansion Holy Land actually said such a thing. Of course it's true. To tell you the truth, Great Emperor Wuxia himself has an innate saint body Dao fetus. Otherwise, how could he have swept through the nine heavens and ten earths and become invincible? He wandered through the endless river of time, lonely and unmatched. He needs someone with the same physique to inherit his Dao fetus. The large black dog swore solemnly, and he almost cursed himself. There was a fervent expression on his face, and he moved closer to the people from the Purple Mansion Holy Land, speaking so loudly that his saliva flew everywhere. Pung. Little Moon of the Ji Clan made a move. This was a rare instance of violence. She borrowed an extra-large divine hammer from Duanda. It was even larger than a house, and she smashed it on the back of the Black Emperor's head, causing him to faint. Brother, drag our dog home and throw him into the woodshed. Ji Ziyue threw down the large hammer, clapped her hands, and summoned Ji Haoyue. It's fine, leave it to me. Brother Duan is also a brother. I don't have any other strong points, but I'm good at excavating the remaining value, and I can use my eyes to discern the beauty of the world. The unscrupulous Taoist priest stepped forward, wanting to strip the large black dog clean. Yi Fan hurriedly stopped him. Otherwise, if the black dog woke up, he would definitely go crazy, and the entire north region would hear the dogs barking every night. Let's go, everyone. May we meet again. The prince of the great Xia, the little nun in white, Yao Yuakong, and the others left one after another. Let's go as well. What plans does little Yi have for the future? Li Heishue asked. I want to establish an incomparably great sect, Yi Fan said. Let's establish a sect together and choose two neighboring mountains. These days, if one isn't a sect master, they don't even have the confidence to get close to an archaic divine girl, Li Tian said, sighing that the archaic divine girl was too powerful, and it was a little hard for him to handle. They hadn't walked far, and the jade lake behind them could still be vaguely seen. Suddenly, a dazzling brilliance appeared in the void. A sword sealed the sky. This was a fatal blow. A demon sword dripping with blood was as fast as lightning, stabbing towards the top of Yi Fan's head. It was terrifying to the extreme, and it escaped his spiritual senses. If it was a normal person, they would undoubtedly die, and there was no way to evade it at all. It was exceptionally sharp, and this was a thunderous strike from a king of assassins. At this moment, Yi Fan surprisingly calmed down. His heart was empty, and his body was like a green rainbow. He used the line formula, and by a hair's breadth, he evaded this attack, shifting thousands of meters away. Pooh. However, blood splattered. It was as though someone had long predicted that he would flee here. An assassin king of assassins appeared from the void, piercing a demon sword that was dripping with blood into Yi Fan's body. Little Yi Fan. Ji Ziyue exclaimed in shock. She instantly rushed over, and the others also acted. Don't come over, all of you retreat. Yi Fan roared, his voice like thunder, causing the entire mountain range to tremble. If it was someone else, their body and soul would have long since been destroyed. Because although the two who acted were extremely old, they had already succeeded in the third slash of immortals, and were incomparably terrifying. Such characters could be said to be a fatal blow to a second-level immortal foundation cultivator. If it was anyone else, it would be very difficult for them to revive. Only the saint physique was special. His flesh was incomparably tough, withstanding the impact of a king-level expert, not allowing the laws to dissipate, and forcibly breaking that demon sword. However, Yi Fan was also bleeding profusely. He was injured, and his golden saint blood was dazzling to the eyes. His blood chi rumbled like thunder, rumbling and seething. Hell, the mortal world, the two of us cannot live under the same sky. Yi Fan pointed to the heavens and swore. The others were also enraged. At this critical juncture, the ancient killer god dynasty actually wanted to strangle the saint physique of the human race. This caused the eyes of everyone to turn red as their anger soared to the heavens. As expected, there are all kinds of people. Even Duanda's countenance changed. For the sake of the human race, some great sects didn't hesitate to fight to the death, doing their best to resolve the crisis. Even taking out an emperor-ranked weapon was nothing. But for some great sects, they didn't care about what would happen after his death. From the start to the end, they only cared about their own benefits, afraid that the saint physique would grow stronger and uproot them. When the prince of Grand Xia said that the Grand Sovereign Sword was also in the Jasper Lake, everyone was still sighing. The radiance of humanity was always very resplendent, but in the blink of an eye, they encountered such a thing. F asterisk CK, little Yi Fan risked his life to enter the Violet Mountain and did so much. Where are these inhumane bastards? When everything calmed down, they actually acted against him. They deserve death. 
Li Heishui was infuriated. The rise of a supreme sect would always be accompanied by a storm of blood. In the next hundred years, let's build Yifan supreme sect on the ruins of the mortal world in hell. Li Tian spoke. Chapter 832 Qi The killer god imperial court's person turned into an afterimage. A blood sword appeared in front of him, breaking through the restrictions of time and space. Killing intent pervaded the air. He still didn't give up and unleashed a thunderous attack. Chang Sparks flew in all directions like a meteor shower. The instant Yifan evaded with the row technique, he pointed out a finger radiance to probe this person. The blood sword patterns didn't move in the slightest and only released Chang Chang sounds. Biting cold killing intent and heaven overflowing killing intent were like a group of archaic vicious beasts charging crazily, engulfing the wasteland as they charged over. The other killer king also arrived. Their attack didn't work, but they didn't leave. Instead, they wanted to use their king level power to suppress and kill Yifan. When one was powerful to this degree, killing sect masters was like cutting grass. I was just waiting for you guys to come. Yi Fan was truly angry. He did everything he could to deal with the archaic king race, yet in the end, he was treated like this. He didn't use heavenly tribulation because he didn't want to use it up now. However, he wasn't willing to let these two go either, even if they were terrifying immortal kings. Hong In the distance, the monkey took action. He brandished a large iron rod that was full of bumps and hollows. It wasn't very smooth. This was an archaic vicious weapon from back then. He turned into a streak of golden light and rushed over, smashing towards one of the killer kings. He was already at the third immortal severing Dao. Even though he had just stepped into it, he was still the son of an ancient emperor. His strength was great enough to catch up to kings who had cultivated for many years. One of them immediately gave up on Yi Fan and went up to block the monkey. He wanted to stall for time and let the other kill Yi Fan. He thought that nothing unexpected would happen because the immortal king killed sect masters as easily as plucking flowers. Yi Fan didn't have anything to hide. He immediately brought out that divine shell. He definitely wouldn't let these two go. Hong. Like a flood that overflowed into the heavens, a wave of blood energy pierced through the heavens. A majestic pressure pervaded the air. From the distance, it looked like a great golden furnace that immediately covered this place. Holy might. An unstoppable holy might. Go. This killer king was immediately horrified. He quickly called out to the other person and turned around to run. They would never face those who surpassed themselves head on. They focused on assassination. None of you will leave today. Yi Fan roared furiously. With a loud roar, a golden ripple rushed out like a vast sea. Pooh. The king of assassins coughed up a large mouthful of blood on the spot and almost fell from the sky. Although it was not a saint's law, it was still a sonic boom of this level. He naturally could not withstand it. That's right. None of you can escape. Monkey swung his cudgel and chased after another king of assassins. Whoosh. The two killer kings entered the void, disappearing from where they stood. However, Yi Fan sneered and chased after him with the row formula. This kind of secret technique was useless against him because he had already read the ancient scrolls of the celestial court. Boom. At this moment, he didn't need to use any laws. He punched out and the golden blood energy surged forward like a divine sea. Poo. The void collapsed, and a person spat out a mouthful of blood as he fell out. He didn't even look back as he continued to flee. The blood sword in his hand was broken, and one of his arms was bent beyond recognition. You really did obtain the legacy of the Celestial Court. King of Killers growled. Ah. Yi Fan shouted and spoke the six-syllable mantra. His physical body hummed and trembled slightly. Suddenly, a golden wave rushed out and caused the void in front to collapse. Ah. King of Killers screamed miserably. His divine laws couldn't injure this sacred shell, and he was seriously injured once again. Yi Fan's eyes were suffused with a cold glint as he used the row formula. His body turned into a beam of light and arrived in front of the King of Killers. He stretched out a large hand and grabbed the King of Killers. In terms of speed, none of the current kings could compare to him. There was simply no hope of escaping. Yi Fan grabbed him back like a little chick. In the distance, the monkey was bewildered. Although the fiery eye's golden clarity hadn't been shaken off by that King of Killers, he was also about to disappear. He couldn't completely break through Hell's concealment technique. Boom. Yi Fan arrived and blasted that shriveled figure out of the void with a punch. He then followed up with a heaven overturning seal. Ah. With a loud cry, this person's bones were also broken. In the end, the monkey's jet black cudgel also smashed down, smashing half of his body. Yi Fan was like dragging dead dogs. He placed the two killers together. They were both heavily injured and on the verge of death. Their bodies were spasming. 
We risked our lives to enter the Purple Mountain and did our best to suppress the Divine Spirit Valley. Patriarch Origin Heaven even lost his life. Where were you guys at that time? We just got a peaceful period, but you guys can't sit still anymore and want to kill me. I'll skin you guys alive. Yi Fan's foot almost squashed one of their heads. His heart was filled with rage. He had paid a lot, but these two assassin organizations had come to assassinate him at this juncture. It made it hard for him to calm down. There's something wrong with these two. They've reached the three immortals slaying Dao, but they're not that strong. There seems to be a problem somewhere. The monkey was quite sharp. They're half primordial spirits. Duanda walked over and searched their bodies with great familiarity. In the end, he kicked them twice and said, they're kings of assassins, but they don't even have a decent treasure. The important figures of the god dynasty of assassins were all very cautious. They would always leave a path of survival for themselves. These two king bodies were shells left behind by their predecessors. They weren't their true bodies. They were only half primordial spirits. No wonder. I was wondering why they were so weak. They don't match the strength of kings at all, the monkey said. Yi Fan reached out with a large hand and stripped their primordial spirits. In the end, their heads exploded on the spot and turned to dust. Not only are they ruthless to their enemies, but they're also ruthless to themselves. Half of their primordial spirits have been destroyed just like that. Li Heishui sighed. Hell, the human world, if you don't erase your names, then I will. Yi Fan looked into the distance and said with a powerful voice. Pang Bo, Dong Fang Yi, Wu Zhongtian, and the others were either dead, injured, or missing. Their hatred had long since been irreconcilable. What do we do now? Do we establish an unparalleled sect or go find the secret place of the two god dynasties? Li Heishui asked. They all felt that they should first use their own connections to find various clues about the two god dynasties and understand them thoroughly. After all, it was an immortal inheritance from ancient times. In the past, I established a mining sect on a whim. Now, it has moved to an oasis. We can meet there. Yi Fan gave an address in detail. The monkey was used to being alone, but he also said that he would go to the mining sect soon to help. Duanda even patted his chest and said that he would definitely find the cemetery of the ancient god dynasty of assassins and turn it upside down. Li Heishui could ask the 13 great bandits for advice, and there was no need to mention Ji Ziyue and her brother. The Ji clan most likely had top secret information. Dong Fang Man could ask the clan elders. After the large black dog woke up, his drunkenness disappeared. He bared his teeth and made a fuss, asking who had hit him. Everyone pointed at Duanda. Damn it, you guys are so mean. I'm going to escape. Duanda disappeared with a whoosh. He was the first to disappear into the horizon. Woof, woof, woof. The large black dog chased for hundreds of miles. He rubbed the big bump on the back of his head and returned without success. He clamored that he would definitely take Fatty Duan as a human pet in the future. In the end, they went their separate ways. Li Tian and Yan Yishi didn't understand this world. They were in the dark and could only follow Yi Fan. It's time to return the treasure. Yi Fan said. The matter of the North region was over. The ancient saints had gone into hibernation. Their cultivation was complete. The sky-devouring demonic jar had been returned to its respective owners at the Jade Pool. The sacred shell had to be returned. Once again, they came to the small world of the Green Flood Dragon King. Yi Fan and the others received a very high standard of courtesy. Many ancient demons came out to welcome them. Yi Fan naturally wouldn't be careless. He performed all the necessary etiquette. Then, he saw the Red Dragon Taoist, thanked the son of the Flood Dragon King, and returned the sacred shell. This was an invincible human-shaped weapon. Although the demon race was generous, they weren't so generous as to casually gift a sacred shell to others. Moreover, undercurrents were turbulent in the world. At any time, there might be a dark upheaval. The demon race really needed this sacred shell. With it to activate the weapon of the demon monarch, its power would definitely increase by several times. Do you still want Ryu to come back? If necessary, I can immediately call her back from the western desert, the red dragon Taoist said. There's no need. Not for a very long time. Yi Fan sighed. He told him about this trip and said, I hope that there will never be a need for Azure Emperor to come into the world. That day will never come. After saying this, Yi Fan stood up under the flickering divine brilliance of the Red Dragon Taoist. He walked out of the Great Hall and headed outside. He was going to see an old friend. The last time he came, he was filled with worry. The main reason was to borrow the sacred shell. He didn't stay for even a moment. Now, everything had finally calmed down. Who are you going to see? Li Tian asked with a mischievous smile. A demoness. The Black Emperor curled his lips. He didn't forget the demoness named Qin Yao. When the palace collapsed, he was buried alive. A cold wind blew over. Yi Fan felt his entire body go cold. 
He climbed up the mountain peak. The pines rustled, but the pavilion was no longer there. There was no sign of life at all. In the depths of the pine forest, there was only a lonely grave. The mound of earth wasn't big, and there was a stone tablet with the name Qin Yao clearly engraved on it. Yi Fan felt a chill from head to toe. When he came here again, his old friend had already passed away. They were separated forever. How could this be? He was absent-minded and then incomparably sad. After traveling for more than ten years, he actually only saw her grave after returning. He stood in front of the grave in a daze. What? Do you feel a tinge of guilt or sadness? You could see her a few more times in the past, but you never came back. In the end, you crossed the star domain alone. A young lady in golden feather clothes appeared and said coldly. Yi Fan recognized her. Her name was Jin Yen, a demoness of this small world. Back then, she was extremely loathsome, but now, he couldn't feel a trace of anger after hearing her words. There was only silence. The pines rustled. This place was very desolate and lonely. There was only a lonely grave like this. It made one feel sad. Light footsteps could be heard. Three demonic race men appeared. They were by Feng, Jin Yu, and Ku Zhu. They were Qin Yao's pursuers back then. How did she leave? When did she die? Yi Fan asked after a long silence. She died less than 200 days ago, Bai Feng replied. What? Yi Fan was dumbfounded. This was about the same time as his return. She was very happy after learning of your return, but she quickly became silent again and began to cultivate bitterly, Ku Zhu said with a hoarse voice. Why? What exactly happened? Yi Fan looked at him. Because you and us are people of two different worlds. Your cultivation is too high. She did her best to catch up, but in the end, something went wrong, Ku Zhu said in a low voice. Isn't it laughable? Jin Yen wiped away her tears and placed several bouquets of pure white flowers in front of the lone grave. To you, she might just be a passerby in your life. She doesn't count for anything. But to her, it's different. The wind became stronger. The pines rustled as if they were sobbing. The lonely grave made one feel sad. Yi Fan stood there in a daze. If you had never appeared, she would have lived very well. Perhaps she would have already become Dao companions with one of Big Brother Ku Zhu and the others. These calm words were transmitted through the wind. It was like a blade hacking at Yi Fan's heart. He became even more silent. He couldn't say anything, only feeling a wave of bitterness. There is no need to feel sad, no need to feel dejected, because there is no need. After many years, perhaps you will remember her. You might even feel some bitterness sometimes, but what does that matter? She is only a part of your life that can be considered profound. But in the end, a scenery is a scenery. It will never be the most important brand in the depths of your heart. In the past, Jin Yen was very loathsome. Now, she said words that Yi Fan couldn't refute. He couldn't refute her words either. Every word hit the nail on the head and opened up wounds. Chapter 833 Twelve years had passed, and when he looked back, things remained the same, but the people had changed. The pine forest was deep, and all that remained was a lonely grave. He would never see that woman again, forever separated from the heavens. The wind blew the pure white flowers Ku Zhu and the others brought, scattering them messily on the grave. There was a trace of desolation and a few wisps of fragrance. This was Qin Yao's life. Who was a passerby in whose life? The scattered flowers, the ice-cold steel, the lonely grave, there was no need for an answer, no need for further words. A fine rain began to pour down from the sky. It wetted the pure white flowers, diluting the delicate fragrance, adding a trace of coolness. Last time you came, you left right after meeting Senior Crimson Dragon, not even stopping for a moment. Have you never thought that there would be an old friend here, a woman you interacted with in the past? Jin Yan's voice became very loud, as if she was extremely emotional. She clenched her fists and glared at Yi Fan. Are you in such a hurry? Is there some world-shaking matter waiting for you to do? Are you going to mend the heavens? There is a woman here, lying in an ice-cold coffin. Is she really that insignificant? You've long forgotten, even if it was just for a moment. Jin Yen pointed at him, her body trembling in anger. A pine forest, a grave, a single person. The world was cold and bleak. Rain poured down. Yi Fan stood there for a long time. What could he say right now? Qin Yao had already withered like a flower, her life reaching its end. She blossomed brilliantly like fireworks, and then returned to eternal darkness and silence. Jin Yen, Ku Zhu, and the others had already left. There was only Yi Fan on the mountain. Under the rustling of the rain, he faced the new grave alone. The rain became heavier and heavier, finally pouring down in torrents, drenching him from head to toe. Water droplets continuously fell down, even on his face. His lips moved, his voice hoarse. It was impossible to hear clearly in the wind and rain. 
He had already cultivated the heavenly eye, so he could see through the muddy water, through the grave. He could see the crystal coffin underground. That woman was ice cold and silent, not moving at all. Her beauty was gone, but her appearance hadn't changed. She lay quietly and bleakly in the coffin. She was close, yet he couldn't touch her, as far as the horizon. One step to life, one step to death. Even if there was only a layer of earth between them, it was still difficult to touch. Separated by a netherworld, it was difficult to pull back. Yi Fan sat in front of the grave and placed his hand on the soil, allowing the rain to pour down on his body. He spoke softly until daybreak. On the second day, the rain did not stop, but it was much lighter. The pine forest was shrouded in mist. Yi Fan took one last look at the grave and descended the mountain step by step. He walked very slowly, leaving behind footprints. At the foot of the mountain, Jin Yen, Ku Zhu, and the others stood, watching through the misty rain. Finally, Jin Yen couldn't hold it in any longer. She pointed at him and said many things, as if she were venting her anger. Some of the words were harsh, unpleasant, and hurtful, but Yi Fan couldn't refute them. Some of the words might not be the truth, and they stabbed into his heart. I say, sister, when it is possible to let someone off, one should forgive them. Would Yi Fan be willing to see such a scene? Who would be willing to see an old friend die? Who would be willing to see life and death part? If he didn't have urgent matters to attend to, why wouldn't he stop? Li Tian asked. Let's go. Yi Fan stopped Li Tian, not letting him say anything else. He walked into the distance step by step, leaving this place that made him so sad that he couldn't say a single word. That little girl really wasn't bad. How could she die just like that? What a pity, the Black Emperor mumbled. It was unknown just how many cultivators had fallen on the long path of cultivation. In reality, there were large numbers of people who couldn't make it through and perished at every stage. Those who could succeed were all heroes. This was a ruthless path to begin with. Those who set foot on it would experience many cruelties. What they heard were the legends of the heroes whose names shook the world. Who would pay attention to the decline of a small cultivator? In reality, there were many sad songs on the path of cultivators. However, apart from those famous heroes, who would pay attention to the joys and sorrows of others? Yen Ishi patted Yi Fan's shoulder and didn't say anything else. They left this place, traveling 90,000 li in one go. Where are we going? What are we going to do? Li Tian asked. I'm going to undergo tribulation, Yi Fan said. Where do you want to choose? The Black Emperor laughed dryly. Use your brain and think carefully. Find an important place between hell and the human world. I want to resist the heavenly tribulation in such a place, Yi Fan said seriously. He sealed a part of his nascent soul in Yen Ishi's goddess furnace. He didn't place it on his celestial platform, forcefully delaying the arrival of the tribulation. Let me think carefully. It's been too long. That place is just a remote corner of the world. I wasn't too clear about it in the past, and now, I've almost completely forgotten about it. The large black dog scratched his head and began to ponder. They began to wander around the north region like a group of ghosts, and also like a group of death gods. They all knew that Yi Fan was full of depression and needed to find someone to kill. In these few days, they tried to find some light topics to avoid the heavy atmosphere. Of course, they didn't avoid the topic of Qin Yao's death. I've always been surrounded by flowers. If I leave for 12 years, there will most likely be many women who will clap their hands in joy. F asterisk CK. Li Tian cursed. None of you can do this. You have to learn from me. Use great willpower, great wisdom, and great fearlessness to sever everything. Bury them in the grave in your heart, and they will never have to worry. At this point, the Black Emperor poked Yi Fan, and said, for you, there will be an additional experience. The opportunity for the three slashes of Dao might come early. Severing Dao. Yi Fan looked into the distance, and said, let's go. We'll find hell and the human world first. Brat, have you thought about it? What kind of Dao do you want to sever in the future? The Black Emperor asked seriously. Yi Fan thought for a moment, and said, I can't sever whatever I want. If I think about it seriously, perhaps severing my entire Dao is the most suitable. There are too many fetters and shackles. The Black Emperor, Li Tian, and Yen Ishi all wore awkward expressions. You can't be serious, right? Cut yourself off. What kind of joke is this? Since ancient times, who has done this? Even if you want to commit suicide, you can't do this. The Black Emperor scolded. Yi Fan said, severing the Dao, that is a very long time ago. In history, the strongest few monsters were comparable to the young great emperor, but in the end, they all fell. My Tao seems to be very difficult to sever, let's finish the tribulation first. According to the Black Emperor's ancient memories, he searched many places, but to no avail. After hundreds of thousands of years of ups and downs, the world had changed greatly, and many of the old places had changed greatly. Furthermore, in the past, it wasn't very clear about these two great killer divine dynasties. 
It didn't know where the important places were, and had only vaguely heard of them. On this day, they arrived at a desolate mountain outside of Kaiyuan City in the northern region. They immediately stopped and walked towards the mountain. Because, they had heard from Li Heishui that his grandfather, Li Han, had died in battle to save them. The few of them decided to pay their respects. It should be that stone cliff. A broken spear was stabbed into the cliff. The blood had long since dried up, forming a human shape. It was dark red, a ghastly sight. One could imagine the miserable state at that time. Li Heishui had once said with tears in his eyes that his grandfather had been nailed to the cliff by an old assassin from the Hell God Imperial Court with a spear. One could imagine that a white-haired old man had died in battle to save his descendants. Looking at the broken spear and the dried blood, the few of them gritted their teeth. Half a month later, the Black Emperor brought them to the western part of the northern region. It remembered that some things had happened here in the past, and it was related to the Hell God Imperial Court. After walking into an ancient mountain range, there was no sign of life. Not even a blade of grass grew, and they still didn't discover anything. They were almost completely disappointed. They couldn't even find a living fossil like the big black dog, so who else knew? Found it. Suddenly, the Black Emperor shouted excitedly, pointing at a mark that was almost worn away by time, saying that this was a dark mark of hell. They must be in this mountain range. Be careful, don't be discovered by them, and search slowly. Finally finding some clues, they were naturally extremely cautious. After spending several days, they hid in the dark, and only rushed out when they saw a black-clothed man disappear on a cliff, pouncing over there. Yes, I understand now. There is a small world here that was opened by an ancient sage. It is an extremely important secret place in Hell, the Black Emperor said. In Hell, apart from a supreme ancient palace, that was where their foundation was. There were also 18 layers of Hell, which were the 18 main branches that extended from the roots. The 18 layers of Hell were extremely important. They were all small worlds in ancient times, independent of the great world, and almost impossible to find. They were incomparably mysterious, and were all important places. A small world opened by a sage. Their foundation is really deep. You all wait outside, I will go and cross the tribulation. Yi Fan said. Thinking of Pang Bo's life and death still unknown, Liu Ko being blasted into a bloody pulp, Dong Fang Ye's blood staining the falling eagle cliff, Li Heishui's grandfather being nailed to death, and so on and so forth, the blood in his heart was boiling. From today forth, there will be one less layer in hell. This is the first debt I will collect. Yi Fan's voice was deep and cold, ringing through the entire mountain range. He already found the entrance, retracting his primordial spirit from the goddess furnace, and then walked in with a single step. At first, the Black Emperor, Li Tian, and Yan Yishi were still a bit worried, following him inside. In the end, black smoke immediately rose from their bodies, hurriedly withdrawing. There is no justice in the heavens. The lightning tribulation is so great, how can there be human lightning in some celestial court's ancient watchtowers? Li Tian had never seen such a terrifying heavenly tribulation before. We should still back up, this place isn't safe either. This small world will definitely collapse, and those who are stuck inside are all finished. The Black Emperor bared his teeth, smoke coming out of his mouth, all of the hair on his body standing on end. They decisively backed up, only stopping after moving far enough. Everything was as they expected. This small world had existed since the ancient times, and after more than a hundred thousand years, it had long become unstable. The heavenly tribulation descended, and in the end, it collapsed. Ah! Miserable cries sounded. This small world was hacked through, and now it was adjacent to the great world outside. Everything could be seen. The lightning turned into a sea, and the thunderstorm connected to form a blazing purple light. This was a human tragedy. After this collapsed small world appeared, all types of miserable scenes could be seen. Large amounts of human figures turned into scorched corpses, and countless palaces became ruins. This was an important place for assassins. Experts were as common as clouds, and everyone was passively facing tribulation, unable to escape. Even though they were trying to break out of the encirclement, the tribulation clouds continued to surround their heads, and heavenly lightning struck down continuously. There was nowhere to escape to. This was especially the case when Yifan turned into a streak of humanoid lightning, chasing after experts everywhere. Wherever he passed, everyone would definitely be turned into ashes. There is a king. There is actually a powerful king here. The Black Emperor, Li Tian, and the others quickly discovered an extremely powerful existence with world-shocking strength. His heavenly punishment was boundless, forming a vast ocean. It's an assassin king who tried to assassinate Yifan last time. It's his aura, who would have thought that his true body would be here. Ah. Miserable cries sounded everywhere, and people continuously turned into ashes. This place became a living hell, but this time, it was someone else who came to take their lives. There was no suspense in this battle. After Yifan rushed over, he locked onto the assassin king. 
An even more vast sea of lightning descended, and he was blasted into ashes. The battle flattened this place, leaving behind only a vast expanse of ruins and human-shaped ashes. That day, the eastern wasteland was shaken. A secret area of the Infernal Realm was picked by someone, and from then on, there was one less layer of the Infernal Realm. Yifan said that since the human world and the Infernal Realm wanted to play, he would accompany them to the end. Next, he was going to hunt down their divine sons and goddesses. At the same time, he offered bounties to everyone in the world, offering generous rewards. Regardless of whether it was providing information on the Assassin Divine Dynasty or killing them, there would be sky-high rewards. The world was in an uproar. Was a single person going to start a war against two great ancient Assassin Divine Dynasties? Everyone was moved. Chapter 834 The northern region had just calmed down, and the ancient saints went into hibernation, welcoming a period of relative peace. At this moment, Yifan's declaration of war against the ancient killer god dynasty spread throughout the world. The thirteenth level of hell has been broken through. It's really unbelievable. All the assassins have been turned into ashes, and even the small space opened up by the ancient sages has collapsed. The heavenly tribulation of the saint physique is truly terrifying. It destroyed a level of hell alone, wiping it from the world. It's extremely powerful and shocking. In the outside world, everyone was discussing this matter. Yi Fan wanted to fight against the two divine dynasties alone, and the whole world was paying attention to it. The saint physique has passed the heavenly tribulation. This time, he has reached the great circle of the second level of immortal foundation. If he doesn't sever his Tao, who can contend against him? During this period of time, the world was not peaceful. All the sects were guarding against the attacks of the ancient races, and very few people paid attention to Yi Fan's cultivation. Now, they suddenly realized that he had grown to a very terrifying level. However, people didn't think that Yi Fan could win. Even if he used the heavenly tribulation to flatten the thirteenth level of hell, they didn't think that he could fight against the human world in hell alone, because it was too unrealistic. The ancient killer god dynasty has never been destroyed. Even in the most severe period of history, they still survived when the Holy Lands joined forces. In that battle in the past, heaven and earth collapsed, blood flowed like rivers, and ghosts cried and gods howled. Corpses piled up into mountains, and the celestial court turned into ashes. Hell and the human world retreated, but they didn't stop. Everywhere was noisy, but Yi Fan and the Black Emperor were relatively calm. They walked among the barren mountains of the northern region, not in a hurry to do anything. This is a dragon vein, there should be many divine roots underground. Yi Fan stared at a mountain ahead. On the way, they dug up more than ten mountains, and their harvest was plentiful. They didn't rush to continue at all, and used this to calm their emotions. After all, they were going to face two divine dynasties. When a true sect is established, there are too many formation patterns that need to be inscribed. The more divine roots, the better. Let's quickly accumulate them. The large black dog embezzled all the divine roots. Let's go, we can't dig this mountain anymore. As soon as he dug halfway, Yi Fan immediately stopped. There were ancient creatures underground, and they were definitely powerful existences. They began to plan to hunt down the divine sons and daughters of the two major assassin organizations. However, they didn't find any clues in the following half a month. This is the calm before the storm. They must be calculating where we are. When the time comes, they will strike like lightning. Say, do you think there's an existence like Killer Saint in these two assassin organizations? Li Tian asked a terrifying question. It's hard to say. In the ancient times, they killed saints endlessly, but now, we don't know. The Black Emperor said. Finally, on this day, many places in the eastern wastelands were covered in snow-white flowers. Large areas were dyed with blood. The two ancient divine dynasties made a response, declaring that they would kill the human race's holy bodies. More than ten years ago, you already put me on the kill list, but haven't I still lived well until now? On that day, Yi Fan stood out and mocked coldly, appearing in the divine city of the northern region. Moreover, on this day, Yi Fan announced to the whole world that killing the lowest level person in the god dynasty would be rewarded with 10,000 divine roots, killing a disciple would be rewarded with 100,000 divine roots, killing an important figure would be rewarded with 1 million divine roots, and killing a divine son or a big shot would be rewarded with 10 million divine roots. I'm about to become the Yuan Taoist master, so the divine roots won't be a problem. Moreover, they'll all be xenogeneic or divine roots. Even if I provide just one piece of information, I'll be rewarded with divine roots. Yi Fan directly declared ruthlessly. He was going to start a great war that would engulf the entire eastern wastelands. He was going to use all his power to eradicate the assassin organizations. He was extremely forceful and direct. If anyone can provide the location of the people of hell and the world, and take the head of their leader, I'll give them a piece of phoenix blood gold. In the end, Yi Fan released world-shaking news, displaying the immortal material exclusive to the great ancient emperors. It shook the entire northern region and quickly spread throughout the world. 
A piece of phoenix gold, that's right, it's a piece of true phoenix blood gold. There isn't a single trace of impurity, and there are nine phoenixes curling around it. Auspicious energy surged and rushed straight into the heavens. That day, the divine city of the northern region erupted with commotion. Everyone went crazy. This world-shaking news immediately spread everywhere, flying into the great powers. It really is a piece of phoenix blood gold, a priceless material. It's something even the great ancient emperors yearn for even in their dreams. It's the same material as the Jiang family's eternal universe furnace. That day, the five regions were in an uproar. It was unknown how many cultivators' blood was boiling. The phoenix blood moved people's hearts, and it was unknown how many people's hearts were moved by this kind of immortal material. A fist-sized piece like this, if forged cleverly, could definitely form a Tao weapon. If there were still great emperors in this world, they would definitely pay attention to it. Yi Fan didn't care at all. At this point, there was nothing to be afraid of. Everyone knew that he had the myriad energy cauldron on him, so another piece of enviable immortal material wasn't that big of a deal. Do you all dare to kill me? If you can provide the location of the two great ancient divine dynasties' palaces and take the heads of their leaders, I'll even give you the seed of the Chilin divine medicine as a reward. When Yi Fan released this news and personally took out the purple Chilin sealed within the divine source, another storm swept through the eastern wasteland. Crazy, too crazy. With so many immortal treasures, it will drive everyone to attack the divine dynasties. Everyone had indeed gone crazy. With so many benefits, no one could remain calm. Killing an ordinary disciple would give them a hundred thousand kilograms of origin. The temptation was just too great. After Yi Fan announced the news, he immediately fled into the distance, disappearing without a trace. He didn't want to become a living target for the divine dynasties. Draw everyone in the world to target the two great ancient divine dynasties and kill them together. After a few more years, Yi Fan might really become the Yuan Taoist master. Those origin resources really aren't a problem for him. He wants to use the people of the world to exhaust the two ancient organizations. Everyone understood his intentions, but they were still tempted. The reward was too generous, and almost everyone wanted to find some clues. The storm this time was even greater than what everyone had imagined. Even the ancient races participated, and many strange and powerful creatures moved out. Find the ancient palace of hell and the human world and kill one of their leaders. Will I be able to obtain the phoenix blood scarlet gold? Let me give it a try. No one would have thought that an ancient emperor's son would say these words. He was extremely interested in Yi Fan's reward and was the first to step out from the ancient races. Huang Shidao came from the Blood Phoenix Mountain. He was a low-key and incomparably mysterious ancient prince. He rarely appeared in the world, and very few people had seen his true appearance. Back then, the heavenly prince personally invited him to come out and kill the monkey, but he was refused. He said that he only wanted to exist in this life, never expecting that he would appear in the world at this time. However, soon after, everyone knew why he was interested in that phoenix blood scarlet gold. It was because what his clan cultivated was phoenix immortal force. The phoenix gold could be used as a primer to corroborate the Tao. Large amounts of ancient race experts participated, exceeding Yi Fan's expectations. It also made many people who were interested in the reward feel pressure. This was a powerful competitor. Meanwhile, not long after, another piece of news spread. Another ancient prince also expressed that he was going to take action. Not only was he interested in the Phoenix Blood Scarlet Gold Immortal Material, he also desired the Chilin Divine Medicine. The Fire Chilin Child appeared. He came from Fire Chilin Cave, always lingering outside Origin Ancient Mine. The people of the world didn't know what he wanted to do. This time, not only was he going to take action himself, he also drew over a few experts from his clan. They had to obtain the Chilin Seed, because it was rumored that this was their past divine medicine, but it flew away during a great calamity. It could be said that Fire Chilin Cave's people were extremely fervent and anxious, using all types of methods to contact Yi Fan. They were willing to use exceptional divine objects to exchange for it and immediately purchase it. What a coincidence! Yi Fan immediately laughed. He never expected the Phoenix Blood Scarlet Gold and Chilin Divine Medicine to startle even the two archaic emperor clans. It is worth being on guard. If Fire Chilin Cave's people become desperate and directly take action against you, then it will be troublesome. The Black Emperor said worriedly. Yi Fan nodded and said, this is indeed a problem. However, if we use it well, it will become a murderous immortal sword. Who knows, it might truly be able to destroy hell and the human world. The Chilin Divine Medicine Seed was something he wouldn't give away no matter what, because every single ancient emperor had one. It was something that couldn't be exchanged for millions and millions of gold. They naturally wouldn't show themselves, but they still responded. They still had the same condition, that if they wanted to obtain the medicine, they had to find the two great assassin dynasties' ancient palaces and kill one of their leaders. Huang Shidao himself was one thing, but the fire Chilin had drawn out the people behind him. This was very terrifying. 
If they really attacked, even the assassin dynasty would be terrified. Great. Although it is a double-edged sword, if we use it well, destroying hell and the human world will no longer be a delusion. Li Heishui clenched his fists when he heard the news. From that day onward, the eastern wasteland was no longer peaceful. Soldiers were everywhere, and many people began to search for hell and the human world. Yi Fan transported in Source Mountain into the God City. It was filled with Xenogenic Source Sources, and there were many bull-sized God Source Sources mixed in. Light shone in all directions, and the entire city was bright at night. How long had it been? He had suddenly produced such a pile of treasures, shocking everyone. There were countless treasures, and they shone brightly. Many people regretted that they had recruited Yi Fan when he was still weak. They wouldn't have fought and killed him. Now, his source techniques alone were enough to shock the world. People like the Yuan Taoist master were both frightening and fearful. This was what everyone felt. Everyone was envious, but no one dared to have any improper thoughts. This was because Yi Fan had simply piled the treasures into Tianxian Old Stone Square. Now, no one dared to go in. They already knew that the gatekeeper was a human saint. Anyone who dared to rob there would be looking to die. At the same time, people were shocked. How did Yi Fan get involved with the saint? And he didn't treat him like an outsider. This made the hearts of those who had strange thoughts turn cold. Of course, this time, Yi Fan was completely thick-skinned. He truly displayed the scene of crazy bull fighting the kings in the Z-Way segmentum, and then he piled the source sources in. He didn't care about these source sources. Even if this human saint was unhappy, he could throw them all away. At the very least, he had the effect of a tiger's skin. When it came to saints, even the fire chilin cave would have to think twice. Now that the saints were in hibernation and didn't appear in the world, they couldn't provoke them either. Yi Fan disappeared from the Divine City once again. In just half a month, the results were obvious. More than twenty disciples and two old assassins from the two Divine Dynasties had been killed. It was laughable to say that there were many incidents when they came out to carry out assassination missions. After being discovered, people gathered to attack them, and they were hunted down instead. The Eastern Wasteland couldn't calm down. A source mountain was piled up in the Divine City for people to collect. There was also a piece of phoenix blood gold and the seed of an immortal divine medicine. These days, there were bloodshed every day. Hell and the human world's missions failed time and time again. Those who dared to appear would be hunted down by a group of people. It was a tragedy. I'm so poor that I only have source sources left. With the heaven source technique, I can smash you to death with source sources. The black emperor shouted. He embezzled divine source sources all day long. His big mouth stretched to his ears and hadn't closed it for the past few days. Yi Fan thought he had concealed himself very well. It was difficult for outsiders to discover him, but he didn't expect to be found today. Moreover, it was an unexpected person, Old Saber Hancho. In the past, he, Li Dishang, Old Saber Hancho, Yao Guang Saint Child, Jade Lake Saintus, and others entered the absolute beginning forbidden area. A series of strange things happened there. After they parted ways, he never saw Old Saber Hancho again. He didn't expect him to suddenly appear today. It was very mysterious. My grandfather wants to see you. He was already so old, yet he said such an inexplicable sentence the moment he arrived. Why? Yi Fan asked in puzzlement. He comes from the Celestial Court. The mysterious and powerful old Saber Hancho's words stunned Yi Fan and the others. Chapter 835 Did the Celestial Court, the inheritance that made even the ancient saints change their expressions, still exist in this world? Yi Fan and the others were all stunned, unable to say anything for a long time. More than a hundred thousand years ago, all the Holy Lands joined forces and even used the Extreme Emperor weapon to finally uproot the Celestial Court. Everyone knew about that battle. Is the Celestial Court still in this world? Yi Fan asked. This was a very serious question. For him, it was a matter of life and death. Perhaps there would be an unimaginably great enemy. That was because the Xing character formula and a scroll of the Celestial Court scriptures were on him. If the Celestial Court still existed in this world, they would definitely think of a way to take it back. Old Saber Hancho seemed to have guessed what he was thinking and said, You don't need to worry, my grandfather doesn't have any evil intentions. He simply wants to see you. The Black Emperor immediately set her eyes on him and circled around him. She stuck out her bright red tongue and asked, Back then, the ancient palace of the Celestial Court wasn't breached? Breached, everything was destroyed. This is all I know, there's no need to ask anything else. Old Saber Hancho said straightforwardly. All right, I'll go see your grandfather. Yi Fan said. If the other party wanted to harm him, he wouldn't have appeared in such a manner, so he wasn't too worried. Li Tian, Yan Ishi, and the Black Emperor wanted to go together, but Old Saber Hancho flatly refused. In the end, only Yi Fan went with him. Be careful, the ancient divine court is not a good person. 
Don't be fooled by them. The Black Emperor reminded. Yi Fan nodded. The human heart was the most complicated. Sometimes, the judgment that one thought was accurate might not necessarily be correct. Perhaps it was to make him relax and scheme for the Xing character formula on him. They went all the way north and finally approached the Divine City. Old Saber Hancho's grandfather was waiting here, overseeing this eternal city. Yi Fan didn't want to enter this place again because a storm was already brewing. He had spoken here twice, so who knew how many pairs of eyes were staring at him, hoping that he would appear a third time. With the Guardian of Merak here, no one dares to cause any trouble. It's beneficial to you, so my grandfather is waiting for you here, Old Saber Hancho said. Is that so? There's one thing I've always wanted to ask in detail, but I never had the chance to. Yi Fan didn't say much about this. Instead, he mentioned an old matter. What is it? Old Saber Hancho asked. That year, after we got out of the absolute beginning forbidden land, someone attacked us at night and killed Elder Yao Guang. Did you do that? Yi Fan couldn't forget that incident. It's definitely not me. After what happened, I became the biggest suspect and had no choice but to leave, Old Saber Hancho said. Then, he said something that made Yi Fan shiver. That year, they weren't the only ones who had entered the absolute beginning forbidden land. Someone else had fallen behind them. It can't be an ancient being, right? No, it's a powerful human expert. He was walking on the footsteps left by Yao Guang's saint son. More than ten years ago, Yi Fan's cultivation base was low, so it was impossible for him to have such a sharp spiritual sense. He couldn't sense the powerful stalker behind them. After so many years, he finally knew that there was another unknown person who had entered the absolute beginning forbidden land with them. That year's incident was a bit terrifying. That person was very powerful. We were afraid of each other, and neither of us dared to act blindly without thinking. Old Saber Hancho's words revealed that person's cultivation base. At the very least, he was a peerless expert. So, that night, it wasn't Yao Guang's saint son who took action, Yi Fan muttered to himself. No, it should be him. With my many years of experience, that person was protecting Yao Guang's saint son. Moreover, the two of them were in contact, Old Saber Hancho said. So, that was his path protector. Yi Fan was startled. So, I had no choice but to leave that night. After I escaped, they would definitely make a move on me. There must be some unspeakable secret, Old Saber Hancho said. Yes, fortunately, Senior, you left in time. I think that peerless expert personally went to kill you, but he missed. At the same time, it also allowed me to avoid a disaster. Cold sweat appeared on Yi Fan's back. That year, it was really too dangerous. Being able to avoid a disaster was really because of all kinds of reasons. Only until now, when he knew the truth, did he feel terrified. Even if he was Yao Guang's saint son, it would be difficult for him to have such a protector, because that person might be even more powerful than Yao Guang's saint master, Old Saber Hancho said. He obtained another inheritance. If I'm not wrong, it must be that. Indestructible heaven technique. Yi Fan had a premonition long ago, but after directly confirming it, he was still shocked. Yao Guang Saint Sun hid himself very deeply. Old Saber Hancho was startled. This heavenly technique was world-shaking. It was passed down from generation to generation, but no one had ever seen it. It was the most mysterious. Just like the Wuxia scripture, it never appeared in the world, but it couldn't stop people's desire and reverence for it. It was as clear and distant as the bright moon in the sky. The indestructible heaven technique was created by Ruthless in his later years. It competed with heaven and earth for luck, seized the good fortune of the past and present, shed his demonic shell and aged body, and used it to give birth to a divine fetus, beginning a new life. Old Saber Hancho muttered to himself in horror. This kind of technique was too mysterious, it had never been seen in the world. Ruthless was world-shaking. After comprehending his whole life in his later years, he left behind such a scripture. How terrifying would it be? Since ancient times, it was unknown how many people wanted to dig out this scripture, but they could only sigh in vain. Unexpectedly, a successor had appeared today. Talented people appear in every generation, each dominating the world for several thousand years. Moreover, an unprecedented great era has arrived. Ruthless unique mysterious technique has appeared. I wonder when the Wuxia scripture will appear. Could it be that it must have an innate divine body? Old Saber Hancho muttered to himself. They entered the divine city. Yi Fan was very cautious. Hell and the human world were definitely the source of terror, he didn't dare to lower his guard. Old Saber Hancho's grandfather was called Chi Luo. The place he chose was very gorgeous. It was suspended in the sky, an ancient watchtower connected to each other. It was built with five-colored jade. Rumor has it that it was supported by the Southern Mountain's demonic imperial palace. Chi Luo was very old, he was leaning on a crutch. One of his eyes was very turbid, the other was a black hole, as if it was connected to a black hole in the universe. It was extremely terrifying. At his level, even if he was really blind, he could still refine his body. 
unless it was a great Tao injury, he would be able to recover. Yi Fan didn't believe that he was blind in one eye. No matter how he looked at it, that black hole seemed like it contained a terrifying Tao law. Perhaps it even contained a Tao weapon. Chi Luo stared at him for a very long time. Especially the black hole that shot out a strand of black light, it was even more terrifying. It was as if it could penetrate his body. It can't be wrong. You have obtained the Xing formula, and you have read the ancient scrolls of the celestial court. However, you didn't cultivate much. He was very direct, saying such words as soon as they met. Yi Fan was very calm, but he was shocked in his heart. This old man was very powerful. With just a glance, he was able to see through Yi Fan's depth. He was definitely an expert. Unless you become the Yuan Taoist master, otherwise, no matter how you disguise yourself, you won't be able to hide from the heavens will I. The old man laughed. What advice does Senior have for me? Yi Fan asked. Qi Luo immediately burst into tears. He cried until the entire palace rumbled and was on the verge of collapse. He was so shocked that even the sky was trembling. This kind of cultivation was indeed astonishing, far surpassing that of a super expert. He was definitely a world-shaking character who had already severed his Tao for many years. Senior, you are. Yi Fan didn't understand. The heavens have taken pity on us and didn't sever the inheritance of the celestial court. Finally, there is someone to continue it. There is finally hope to avenge the hatred of our ancestors. The old man cried loudly. Yi Fan felt his blood run cold. What was this old man trying to do? Could it be that he wanted to drag him into becoming enemies with the whole world? One had to know that the destruction of the celestial court back then was the joint effort of all the holy lands. It was rumored that the undying imperial court of the central plains also seemed to have contributed. Our ancestors proved their Tao by killing and killed many experts from the holy lands. Later on, they besieged us, but we don't hate them. This is the karma of heaven and earth. However, the celestial court overlooked the world. How could it be destroyed in one fell swoop and even uprooted? The old man wiped his tears. It was unknown whether he was really sad or if he had this kind of habit, but he cried until the void was about to collapse. It was the underworld and the human world who leaked the address of the celestial court and secretly took action. Yi Fan was surprised to hear this. The destruction of the celestial court actually had the shadow of the other two killer divine dynasties. As expected, there were all kinds of secrets. Because they know that as long as the celestial court exists, it will always look down on them and will never be able to surpass them. After a long while, Chi Luo finally stopped crying. Yi Fan's ears were ringing non-stop. This old man's strength was too terrifying. With a cry, the Tao patterns were densely covered. If it wasn't for his divine physique, his physical body would have already been shattered. Senior, what do you want me to come here for? The one-eyed old man wiped his tears and stood in front of the window with the help of his crutch. He said, actually, it's nothing much. I just want to see what kind of person you are. Seeing is believing. Yi Fan didn't say anything and just looked at him calmly. A while ago, the underworld and the human world sent out all their assassins and even their trump cards. Wang Ting's body and spirit were almost destroyed, but he was saved at the crucial moment by an immortal crane. Yi Fan was shocked. Even Wang Tang became the target of the two divine dynasties. This was somewhat out of his expectation. At the same time, the immortal crane saving him made him shiver. He had long heard rumors that Wang Tang was gifted when he was young and was carried away by a divine crane. That was how he became a legend. A stray dog wants to be beaten by everyone. Since ancient times, the underworld and the human world have been envious of our celestial court's line, secret, but in the end, they couldn't get it. Now, they have their eyes on his forwarding, secret. Once this secret is mastered, one can predict all opportunities. For an assassin, it is the same as the blind secret and can be called a supreme technique. In that case, their main purpose of killing me is for the blind secret, and not because of the previous enmity. Yi Fan scoffed coldly. It's like this. They have always been thinking about our celestial court's supreme secret technique. It can break through all formations like walking on flat ground. It can go anywhere in the nine heavens and ten earths. After it is refined to the extreme, it can even evolve into the god's law, time. Old Saber Hancho stood at the side and didn't say anything. He was quietly listening to the conversation between his grandfather and Yi Fan. After a long time, Chi Luo said again, there are many experts in this ancient watchtower built from multicolored jade. Not only are there Blood Phoenix Mountain and Fire Chilin Caves far ancient imperial family, there are also many young experts from the far ancient tribe. There are also dozens of assassins from the underworld and the human world. It seems their divine sons and daughters are also here. Yi Fan stood up and said, what do you mean? I want to see how you'll perform under the siege of so many young elites. Oh, I forgot to mention, Fire Chilin's younger sister, Hua Lin, er, is also here. She is a princess with the ancient emperor's bloodline. She is incomparably powerful. She has personally come here. You. 
Yi Fan's expression changed. The divine sons and daughters of the underworld and the human world are known to be able to kill all kings. They are much stronger than the saints. It is not surprising that the immortals have slashed the path three times. You have to perform well, don't let down the celestial court's prestige. After Qi Luo finished speaking, he shouted toward the outside of the ancient watchtower, the human race's sacred physique is here. You old bastard. Yi Fan cursed. Murderous intent soared to the heavens in all directions. Pillars of Qi pierced through the heaven and earth. Blood energy covered the sun and rushed up. Dozens to a hundred great experts surrounded the ancient watchtower. Chapter 836 Palaces made of multicolored jade stones emitted a faint radiance one after another. They were connected together and hung in the sky. At this time, the blood energy was like pillars supporting the sky. They were thick and majestic, piercing through the clouds and connecting the heavens and the earth. Over a hundred experts were glaring at them like tigers watching their prey. Yi Fan was quite straightforward and didn't say anything else. He wanted to open the realm gate and leave, but he was astonished to find that the void was locked and he couldn't escape. Dao patterns were arranged like wriggling ancestral snakes, densely covering every inch of space. These were precisely the divine patterns formed by Qi Luo's crying. Yi Fan was astonished. This old man was too powerful. His cries were like blades as he carved divine patterns in the void, forming the power of laws that weaved in all directions. He turned around to leave, breaking open the window and leaping out. However, what he saw made him shiver inwardly. Even in the outside world, there were all types of fine Dao patterns that were like little snakes, but also like little divine phoenixes dancing about, locking down heaven and earth. The entire sky was sealed, so it was impossible to open the realm gate. He could only rely on his own strength to break through. He clenched his teeth and said, Old thing, you really know how to cry. Chi Luo was all smiles as his single eye squinted into a reclining silkworm. Meanwhile, old saber Hancho was petrified and didn't say anything. Yi Fan didn't even turn his head back as he rushed into the distance. He couldn't stay here for long and had to break out of the encirclement. Otherwise, there would be a world-shaking bloody battle. Human Saint Physique, where do you think you're going? The Fallen Wing Race's Lu Dongfa is here. In front, a handsome young expert appeared. He rushed out from an ancient watchtower with 54 pairs of ink-black wings on his back. They were like a black cloud with blood-colored lightning curling around them. I heard you don't put the younger generation of our archaic immemorial era in your eyes. Today, I'll fight with you. Yi Fan was astonished. No matter how he looked at it, this young ancient race expert was like a fallen angel from the other side of the starry sky. He knew that this was definitely the hatred Duanda had attracted for him. Cursing the heavenly prince and calling Yuan Gu a watermelon made the other ancient races feel that he was too arrogant. Clang. The fifty-four pairs of wings on Lu Dongfa's back vibrated like the cry of a sword. Immediately, demonic energy overflowed into the sky. Blood-colored lightning surged over like a long river, tearing apart the sky. It was extremely terrifying. Yi Fan drew a line with his right hand, and a round Taiji appeared. It spun in the void and guided the god rule that the blood-colored lightning had evolved to the other side. Roar. Suddenly, a loud roar sounded. It was like the roar of a bull from the heavens, shaking the ancient walls of the divine city. The sound traveled several hundred li. An existence that looked like an ox demon king wielding a heaven-supporting trident and covered in thick black fur, with a human body and an ox head, a wide mouth filled with fangs, and a pair of thick and sturdy horns, transformed into a black light and charged over. Buzz. The void trembled. His speed was too fast, arriving in the blink of an eye, clashing head-on with Yi Fan, smashing over like a small black mountain. I, Nyo Yi of the demonic bull tribe, would like to experience the power of the human tribe's sacred physique. He released a great roar, blood energy overflowing into the heavens, demonic clouds covering the sun, the sound waves even splitting apart the entire sky dome. One could well imagine how ferocious he was. Boom. This black figure, which was as tall and sturdy as a mountain, was even heavier than a mountain. He directly engaged in close combat with Yi Fan, competing with his physical body. This part of the sky was smashed into pieces as if two ancient stars had collided. The shockwave spread far and wide, shaking everything in all directions. The rumbling sounds lingered on incessantly. The heaven-supporting trident shattered into pieces and flew out like a crow feather. It was directly broken by Yi Fan, who rushed forward to attack Nyo Yi of the demonic bull tribe. Roar. This black figure, which was as tall as a mountain, flew out and let out a loud roar, causing the clouds in the surroundings to collapse. It was as if a huge mountain had fallen down. Nyo Yi spat out a large mouthful of blood. One of his arms had been broken, and a terrifying palm print had appeared on his chest. All the bones in his body were cracking, and his thick ox hair was standing on end. As expected of the human tribe's sacred physique. Even the demonic bull tribe, which has boundless strength and intimidated the primordial times, is no match for him, said Lu Dongfa of the Fallen Wing race. 
Yi Fan didn't stop and chased after him with the row formula. He decided to kill the chicken to warn the monkey and end this Nyo Yi of the demonic bull tribe. Mu. Suddenly, a terrifying demonic roar rang out. Nyo Yi opened his mouth and let out a barbaric bull roar, causing the sky to collapse. In front of him was a vast expanse of whiteness that couldn't be seen clearly. Everything was filled with barbaric bull waves that could shatter space. Yi Fan was astonished. This move was similar to the secret technique used by the old man's mount in the Ziwei ancient star field. A single roar could cause mountains and rivers to collapse. It was very frightening and blocked his path forward. A figure was as fast as lightning, streaking across the sky in an instant. He opened his mouth and spat out a great Tao law that poured down like a curtain from the heavens. He attacked amidst the terrifying barbaric bull waves, concealing all of his aura. Like a shocking rainbow, he rushed over in an instant, leaving behind the divine law of death. Humph. Yi Fan snorted coldly and rushed into the sky. He moved later but arrived first, cutting off the path. The six paths of reincarnation fist blasted out. He had been obstructed as soon as he came out of the ancient watchtower, so he really needed to use a powerful method to intimidate the enemy. This fist contained all of his battle chi, and it was tyrannical. The laws in the sky collapsed. The lightning-like figure didn't even have time to turn around and was drowned by the overflowing golden blood energy. With a pung sound, he exploded and died a violent death. During this process, there were still three ghost-like figures that rushed over. They swallowed and spat out divine laws as they worked together to surround and kill. Yi Fan turned around like a wolf howling at the moon. His entire body was shining, blazing like the sun. It was as if the primal chaos had submerged the world, and endless divine might surged. His body turned into a dragon-shaped curve as he flew out, cutting apart the sky and cutting apart everything in his way. Poo! 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 Blood blossomed like a haze that dyed the sky. It was beautiful yet poignant. The three great experts were all cut in half. Blood splashed through the void, and their corpses fell to the ground. All of this happened in the blink of an eye. He blocked the heavenly feather races Lu Dongfa, forced back the demon bull races Nyo Yi, and then quickly killed the four great experts. Yi Fan's clothes weren't tainted by blood. He stood in the sky alone, facing the experts of the various races. He was calm and composed, and a cold smile hung on his lips. The human race's sacred physique is worthy of its reputation. Your combat strength has reached such a level. Even among the younger generation of the various ancient tribes, there aren't many who can be compared to you, said the heavenly feather races Lu Dongfa. In another direction, the demon bull races Nyo Yi's entire body crackled. Over a hundred bones reconnected, and his body emitted a dazzling light. The black fur on the surface of his body became translucent. How terrifying! Can he really be compared to the bloodlines of the ancient emperors? It surpasses the strength of my race's physical body. In the surroundings, figures appeared one after another. They were densely packed and indistinct, surrounding Yi Fan. They were all great experts, and not a single one of them was weak. No wonder you dare to humiliate the heavenly prince and challenge Yuan Gu. You are indeed very strong. A woman whose entire body was enveloped in raging flames spoke. This was a young expert from the fire cloud race. During the archaic era, the myriad races were at war. Experts were as common as clouds, and the younger generations were endless. The human race's sacred physique couldn't create any waves. On the other side, a man with a sparkling jade horn between his brows spoke. He wore a chainmail and had silver hair that draped over his shoulders. He belonged to the horn race. I've long heard of how powerful the human race's sacred physique is. Today, I shall see who's stronger, hee <laughs> hee. A cold laughter rang out from another side. Black mist curled up, and a small figure was hidden within. He was an expert from the hidden shadow race. The kings of the human race have risen, and the various ancient tribes of the supreme ancient immortal realms have also appeared. There will naturally be fierce battles. The human race's sacred physique, you killed Zi Tiandu. You do have the ability, but in this era where experts emerge in large numbers, you still can't be considered peerless. Another tall creature spoke. His blood-colored hair draped over his shoulders, and he was as imposing as a mountain. His entire body was enveloped in divine light, dazzling and resplendent. He belonged to the Blood Lightning King race. The blood of the human race. What a nostalgic taste. I wonder how different the blood of a sacred physique is. A sinister laughter rang out. This woman's face was snow white, and her arms were covered in fine silver scales. She was an expert from the life ghost race. In all four directions, there were all sorts of creatures. There were no less than ten races, and each and every one of them was incomparably powerful. They were all experts ranked at the top of the younger generation. You have to be careful. These people are all extraordinary, especially a few who are extremely powerful. Enjoy the battle. Chi Luo transmitted his voice. Old bastard, you can continue crying. Yi Fan really wanted to stamp his shoe on his face. Poo. As he spoke, Yi Fan's right hand formed a sword art and slashed through the air. 
A bloody line appeared as a head fell from the sky. The people from the God Killer dynasty finally couldn't endure it any longer. They began to take action, but in front of Yi Fan, they had nowhere to hide. All of them were discovered. Sword cries rang out. Ten directional death. A total of ten people formed a sword formation. They stepped on special formation runes as they worked together to kill Yi Fan. This was a great killing formation that caused the entire divine city to become cold. Cold light illuminated all directions, and it was bone chilling. The God Killer dynasty used killing to prove their Tao, so the ancient formation they laid down was naturally incomparably terrifying. Killing intent pervaded the entire sky, and the birds flying in the distance were all crushed. Are you people from hell or the human world? Yi Fan asked. No one replied. The ten people were emotionless and raised their swords at Yi Fan at the same time like emotionless machines. Kill. The group of people shouted. The ancient killing formation was activated, and dozens of sword radiances flew out. They were incomparably dazzling and pierced through the clouds. These are useless against me. Yi Fan roared loudly. His black hair danced about chaotically. He activated the row symbol and charged into the formation. His fists were like two golden mountains as they smashed downwards. Boom! The entire heaven and earth emitted a blazing light as golden blood energy submerged the land. A vast amount of divine might surged. Not bad, it's the line formula. It's unstoppable in the ancient killing formation. As expected of a saint physique, his battle prowess has also reached such a level. Inside the ancient watchtower, Chi Luo nodded and muttered to himself. Yi Fan wasn't affected by the killing formation. He had long since comprehended the line formula to a brand new realm, and it was as if he was walking on flat ground. His fists swung out like a divine drum shaking the sky. Every time he struck out, there would be an explosive sound that destroyed all directions. Boom! In the end, Yi Fan joined his fists together and forcefully shook the vast sky, emitting a sky overflowing brilliance. The fist energy fluctuations forced everyone to retreat. And in the center of the battlefield, miserable screams rang out as one figure after another exploded into a bloody mist. All of them were crushed. Buzz! Just at this moment, a huge silver foot stepped down from the sky. It was like a huge mountain crashing down towards Yi Fan's body. All the experts in the surroundings retreated. Clearly, it was an incomparably powerful ancient race character who wanted to show off his strength to Yi Fan. Clang! A sharp killing intent shot over like the power of a fairy. One of the goddesses of the God Killer dynasty had finally made her move, and she was stronger than everyone else. Chapter 837 Even now, in this era of seclusion, who still dared to act so unrestrainedly, trampling down with a large silver foot to directly stomp Yi Fan to death. This person's magical body reached the heavens, reaching above his knees into the clouds. His true body couldn't be seen. A large silver foot that was as lofty as a mountain crushed downwards. Wind whistled and air currents surged like a tsunami. Yi Fan's right leg moved horizontally, and his body spun like a top, releasing endless light. Then, he kicked out horizontally, trampling through the sky dome. Pung! The large silver foot released radiance that was like a nebula. It trembled violently. Meanwhile, Yi Fan's foot also released endless radiance, heaven and earth becoming a dazzling expanse. Many people flew out like pieces of paper. With this place as the center, divine might fluctuations that resembled the collapse of a star domain were released. It was as if an endless divine sea was surging, its brilliance blotting out the sun. Yi Fan was astonished. What kind of person was this? To be able to face his physical body head on, at his level, perhaps only a few ancient princes had a body comparable to his. A figure flickered in the sky. That person became smaller and flew out, completely unharmed and calm. He's Yu Chinchou, wearing the Silver Moon Clan's wind and cloud battle boots. I heard that he has already stepped on the threshold of the Dao Severing Realm. Someone cried out in alarm. This person was clad in silver battle clothes, especially his feet. His battle boots were shiny, and there were chains that looked like natural order laws that flowed with precious splendor. He had a head of long snow white hair, and there was a crescent moon imprint between his brows. In his hand was an exquisite pagoda that was shrouded in mist. Yi Fan didn't have the time to carefully size him up, because the other ascension light was exceptionally sharp. It was aimed at the crown of his head from the boundless void. Chang, Chang. Streak after streak of sword radiance hacked down like streaks of ascension power, dazzling and terrifying. Yi Fan's hands formed sword arts, continuously dispelling them. Moreover, he rushed into the sky. After the tribulation last time, his heavenly eye had finally reached completion. The moment it opened, two streaks of divine light immediately saw through the fabrications and saw a black-clothed woman. The goddess of the underworld. It was completely a type of intuition. Yi Fan immediately sensed her identity, because she had a special aura that was extremely powerful and difficult to estimate. Boom! The sky itself collapsed. 
A dark azure palace appeared behind the black-clothed woman. It wasn't a physical body, but formed from endless light. It became a backdrop. Her body was slender and looked weak, but she had an intimidating aura. Only someone like Yifan, who had an extremely sharp spiritual sense, could sense it. There was a mask on her face made of unknown materials, able to block the heavenly eyes prying. It was the face of an underworld ghost. She was supposed to be a peerless beauty, but after putting on such a mask, it was indescribably strange. She let out a light shout, and the entire sky darkened. Dark Azura halls were everywhere. At this moment, she disappeared. It was as if hell had descended upon the human world. All kinds of purgatory, endless palaces, innumerable blood pools, and impenetrable bone mountains were piled up in the sky. The various ancient races were all shocked. They almost couldn't see through what was happening, as if it was a real scene. Meanwhile, the goddess of hell was moving about within these scenes. Clang! Sword cries shook the heavens. From time to time, they would shoot out from all kinds of purgatory, blood pools, and bone mountains, catching people off guard. The goddess of hell disappeared, merging into nothingness. This was the first time Yifan faced the goddess of an assassin organization. He could sense how powerful the other party was. If not for the fact that the heavenly eye had been cultivated and he had seen the celestial court's ancient killing scroll, he would definitely be on the defensive. Everything is fabricated. It is useless against me. Yifan rushed over, using his hand as a sword. He attacked with great force, destroying the blood pools, destroying the bone mountains, and sending the dark azura halls flying. He would kill gods if they stood in his way. Even though that woman was unpredictable and could sometimes hide from the heavenly eye, most of the time, she was within Yifan's field of view. The two of them quickly exchanged blows, fighting endlessly. This was actually a woman who had almost severed the Tao. She had already taken one step, and all that was missing was the final strike, the enlightenment of the Tao. Even if she only took one step, her combat prowess would be on a completely different level. Her strength was incomparably strong and she didn't fight head-on against Yi Fan. She would use all sorts of illusions to assassinate him, and it was extremely dangerous. And now, Yi Fan was at the peak of the second level of Immortal Foundation. Other than the direct descendants of the ancient emperors, there weren't many who could contend against him. Clearly, the goddess of hell was one of the few who could. All sorts of light flashed as a bone pagoda floated over. However, Yi Fan didn't dare to be careless. He activated his Manking imprint and blasted it out. Bang! Shattered bones shot out as the Bone Pagoda collapsed from the impact. It was incomparably violent as tens of thousands of beams of black light shot out from within. This was the curse of death, those who were struck by it would die for sure. Yi Fan's body trembled. He activated his golden sacred domain, blocking the black light and blocking this sure kill technique. The expressions of many people from the ancient races changed. Although many of them had never seen this killing light before, they could sense the danger. It could corrode divine light. Among the god sons and goddesses of the two ancient assassin dynasties, the goddess of hell is the weakest. Their god son and goddesses of the mortal world are the strongest, but not all of them came. Chi Luo transmitted his voice over. Yi Fan's heart trembled. The goddess of hell was actually the weakest and the other three were even stronger. This wasn't good news at all. No wonder it was rumored that they could kill all immortal kings. Is this the limit of your abilities? Even if you truly step into the third level of immortal foundation, I have no fear. Yi Fan roared, filled with absolute confidence as he rushed forward. He had stepped into the domain of the eight restrictions. Even if his opponent had seven restrictions and was at the initial stage of severing her Tao, she would only be on par with him. If they fought head-on, he had absolute confidence that he could kill her. Boom! Yi Fan's entire body radiated with golden sacred light, shattering the illusions around him. He chased after the black-robed goddess, wanting to kill her here and now. In the air, only the eighteen prisons of hell didn't vanish. They stood there, half real and half illusory, with the goddesses of hell within them. Yi Fan used the celestial court secret technique that he wasn't familiar with to resist the underworld killing technique. They had already exchanged several hundred blows. E, something's wrong. He was suddenly startled. The eighteen half-real black prisons seemed to have a strange power that made his body heavier and heavier. It was as if they were shackles on his body. Break from me. Yi Fan shouted loudly. His entire body once again began to erupt with boundless light, burning fiercely like divine flames. Chains of order, eternal binding. The goddess of hell shouted lightly. She was still hiding in the black prison, using extremely strange laws. Eighteen chains reached out from the black prison and had long bound his body. They represented the restraints of the eighteen layers of hell. They were going to obliterate him. These were formed from eighteen divine laws. They were difficult to sever and impossible to struggle free. The eighteen black prisons materialized, emerging from the depths of the void and descending here. Chains of order, eternal suppression. The black-robed goddess shouted lightly. 
The eighteen demonic prisons descended together, merging together to refine and swallow Yi Fan inside. Now's the time. A natural circle appeared outside Yi Fan's body. The golden Tai Chi appeared. The great Im and great Yang fused and rotated around each other. He rushed forward and took the initiative to enter the eighteen layers of hell. Suddenly, tens of thousands of swords cried out in unison. The sky was filled with sword radiance. Tens of thousands of them all rushed into the black prison. Yi Fan used the golden Tai Chi circle to protect himself and tried hard to sever the chains of order. At the same time, he operated the army formula and turned his killing intent into sword radiance. Clang. The most special sword cry came from the goddess of hell's own blood-dripping demon sword. It slashed at her own body, and half of her body was sent flying. This incomparably strange scene shocked everyone. They didn't know what was going on and all opened their mouths wide. At the same time, Yi Fan struggled with all his might. His whole body was covered in golden holy light as he broke the eighteen chains of order. He continued to control the soldiers to kill the goddess. Pooh. The falling half of her body was shattered by him and turned into a bloody mist. Meanwhile, the goddess used her extreme secret technique to escape into the black prison that was about to disappear. Where do you think you're going? Yi Fan chased after her. Suddenly, a cold and eerie light pierced over. It was soundless and only when it got close to him did the surface of his body suddenly burst into flames. This was a peerless killing intent. Clang. Yi Fan leaned to the side and used his arm to block the attack. The killing light was shattered, and a few drops of blood fell from his arm. If it was an ordinary person, his body and soul would have been destroyed. However, he was only scratched. So there are more divine sons and goddesses hiding? They are indeed stronger. Boom. It was very abrupt. A large black claw stretched out from the eighteen black prisons that had just disappeared. It was as thin as firewood and gloomy and cold as it clawed forward. Chi Luo stood in the ancient watchtower. It was as if a dark universe was evolving inside that black hole-like eye. He didn't make a move, but he emitted a wisp of energy and rushed forward. Swoosh. The large black claw seemed to have sensed something and disappeared in a flash. The others didn't know why the mysterious person suddenly retreated. It's like a king that came from hell and was scared away by Chi Luo. Yi Fan's heart trembled. Only he had personally sensed it. At this time, he looked for the goddess of hell, but he discovered that she had already disappeared. He didn't delay and tried to break out of the encirclement. Anyone would feel pressured after being surrounded by over a hundred great experts. The heavenly prince asked us to take action. How can we let you leave? His Highness Yuan Gu also said that if he discovered you, he must delay you until he arrives. You can forget about leaving today. I've always wanted to fight against the human race's divine physique. Today, I can finally fulfill one of my wishes. A group of people obstructed him from breaking out. Some were truly powerful and wanted to fight against him to temper themselves, while others were filled with hostility. The young experts of the various ancient tribes took action. All sorts of lights shot out, cutting off his path forward. Moreover, there were still divine sons from the killer god dynasty here. They hadn't left yet and were eyeing him covetously. If you insist on obstructing me, don't blame me for starting a massacre. Yi Fan's expression sank. His combat strength soared, rising to the limit. He felt a great threat and knew that there was definitely a great enemy among them. He opened up the golden sacred domain. All sorts of laws flew over, but none of them could approach him. Then, he pounced forward like a divine lion and began his massacre. Bang! A bell tower fell down, smashing onto the golden sacred domain. Yi Fan staggered from the impact. One could well imagine how heavy this strike was. You again. Yi Fan turned around and discovered that it was that white-haired man from the Silver Moon race who had stepped on him with the Wind Cloud battle boots not long ago. Sonorous sounds rang out incessantly. Many people took action, and ancient treasures flew over one after another. It was extremely terrifying. Yi Fan raised his combat strength and fought with his life on the line. He forced back the people around him and then shouted at Yu Chinchio, Peng. The six-word incantation left his mouth and transformed into a supreme sound wave that spread in all directions. Immediately, seven or eight experts bore the brunt of the attack and collapsed one after another. Everyone was shocked. The dead experts came from different races and were all kings among elites. Each of them possessed heaven-defying strength, but they were all crushed by Yi Fan's roar. Yu Chinchio coughed out large mouthfuls of blood. The Linglong Pagoda in front of him collapsed, and his body was flung away. Even someone as powerful as him couldn't block this attack. Boom! Yi Fan's Dharma body enlarged. He stomped his foot forward like a mountain. Yu Chinchio shouted. The wind cloud battle boots on his feet glowed, and he turned into a beam of light as he retreated. However, at this time, Yi Fan once again used the army formula. The treasured boots on Yu Chinchio's feet suddenly emitted a demonic light. 
He let out a miserable scream as a mass of bloody light burst out and his feet turned into a bloody paste. Pfft. Yi Fan's foot stomped down. This king among elites of the Silvermoon race was already at the threshold of the three slashes of the immortal Tao, but he still couldn't block it. He was trampled to death, leaving only a pair of boots behind. Boom. In the sky, a delicate jade-like hand stretched down and rapidly enlarged. It was as if a deity had descended into the world. The jade-like hand covered the sky and crushed everything in its path towards Yi Fan. Yi Fan attacked upwards. Another person who dared to fight against his physical body had appeared. In his eyes, this person didn't know the difference between life and death. However, things went beyond his expectations. After the intense collision, that pure white hand was not destroyed and was in perfect condition. The daughter of the archaic emperor, the bloodline of the ancient emperor, Huo Lin, has arrived. Someone cried out in alarm. Chapter 838 This was a blue-haired girl with bright eyes and white teeth. Her figure was tall and slender, and her skin was as white as fine jade. She was graceful and elegant as she twisted her body over. Her blue hair flickered like silk as it hung down to Huo Lin, her waist. A sparkling and translucent jade hairpin was inserted in her hair, and on top of the hairpin was a fine string of beads with a vivid and lifelike little chilin hanging on it. It made her jade-like cheeks appear even more lustrous and white. This was the daughter of the archaic emperor. She was sealed like the fire chilin, and now that she had been reborn in this world, the power of her bloodline inheritance was unimaginable. Yi Fan was astonished. It was precisely this kind of charming girl who was able to resist his flesh without suffering any injuries. She was truly powerful. Is this the bloodline of the ancient emperor? As the first generation heir, her talent has been stunning since ancient times. It is difficult to compare to her. Her innate conditions are too astonishing. Strictly speaking, no one from the younger generation dared to fight him head on. However, Huo Lin had met him with a palm as soon as she arrived. Meanwhile, the ancient sacred emperor's daughter's talent was definitely not limited to her flesh. She was the strongest in every other aspect. This kind of conjecture was truly horrifying. No wonder it is said that any ancient prince that jumps out will shock the world and recreate the glory of his father's generation. In the past, the human princes were like this. Once they grew up, they would only be a step away from confirming their Tao and entering the realm of great ancient emperors. They would then be able to suppress the nine heavens and ten earths. The ancient princes were also like this. One year of cultivation was equivalent to a hundred years of cultivation for others. In the future, there would definitely be a dialogue between the most powerful experts. The human race's sacred body is so powerful. It makes my hand hurt a bit. This is truly unexpected. Huo Lin, a revealed a faint smile. She was bright and beautiful, and her blue hair was like the essence of the sea. Everyone was overwhelmed with shock and couldn't help but retreat. The archaic emperor's daughter had arrived. Everyone was in awe and couldn't help but make way. It wasn't difficult to see the strict hierarchy of the ancient races. People revered the ancient emperors greatly, and even their descendants had extremely revered statuses. There were also human cultivators in this palace, and they were well aware of the strength of the sacred body. They were all shocked after seeing this scene, and they inwardly sighed at how terrifying the emperor's descendant was. Worthy of being the archaic emperor's daughter. Your talent is world-shaking, truly admirable. Yi Fan spoke. I didn't come here to fight you to the death. Leave it to the heavenly prince or Yuan Gu. Of course, if my old bro runs into you, he will most likely be interested as well. She smiled sweetly, beautiful and enchanting. She was naturally talking about the fire unicorn. Then what advice do you have for me? Yi Fan asked. Can you return the seed of the Qilin divine medicine to me? That's the only thing our father left us. Huo Lin Er said pitifully. Then, she giggled and said, don't refuse yet. My clansmen will trade with you with immortal materials. Everyone was stupefied. They were moved by her beauty, and they began to have wild and fanciful thoughts after hearing her words. The Chilin divine medicine had previously accompanied an archaic emperor, and now, it was still in this world. How many years had passed since then? It made people feel the terrifying power of time change. I've said it before. Tell me the location of hell and the human world and bring me the head of one of their leaders. I will definitely hand over the Chilin medicine with both hands, and all other conditions are off the table. Yi Fan was extremely straightforward. He wouldn't hand over this medicine no matter what. Every single ancient emperor had one without exception. Apart from prolonging one's life, there must be some unknown reason behind it. Perhaps it would be extremely important in the later stages. Let's discuss it. Don't be so inflexible. The things I give you won't be bad, and I guarantee that you will be satisfied. Huo Lin Er smiled sweetly. Her slender jade-like legs were faintly discernible as she walked forward. It's better if we maintain a certain distance to avoid any misunderstandings and disputes, said Yi Fan. 
This woman was more beautiful than a flower and had a celestial appearance, but she was also extremely dangerous. The divine body is peerless. I should be the one guarding against you. Huo Lin or giggled and leisurely walked forward. However, in the end, she still stopped and didn't continue forward. Are you really not going to reconsider? My fire Chilin cave has existed since the ancient times and produced ancient emperors. The immortal materials we have are things the people of the world yearn for even in their dreams. It is enough to make up for the Chilin medicine's value. Yi Fan shook his head. In this world, he felt that the most precious thing was the undying medicine. He had seen almost everything else, but divine medicines were the most difficult to find. Sai, what a pity. The ones that came from hell and the human world are all divine children and goddesses. If a leader came, they could cut off their heads and exchange it with you. How great would that be? She ascended a jade carriage and propped up her chin in a daze. Her large eyes blinked. She looked innocent, but also flirtatious. There was a type of strange temperament to her. The human cultivators were all horrified. Just how powerful was this ancient emperor's young daughter? Unfortunately, she didn't fight against the divine body. It was difficult to estimate. Princess, if you want to take back the Chilin divine medicine, I'll help you get it. At this time, an ancient race male walked out. There was a spiritual jade horn between his brows. He wore chainmail and had silver hair that draped over his shoulders. This was an expert from the horned race. Sure, if you can get it back for me, I'll invite you to stay in the fire Chilin cave for a year. Huo Lin, er smiled, incomparably mesmerizing. The expressions of many people from the supreme ancient immortal realms changed. That was the cultivation place of ancient emperors and also the place where they entered closed-door seclusion in their later years. There were countless wondrous places there and even the saints wanted nothing more than to enter but they didn't have the chance to do so. Dong Ba Hong Bed. The silver-haired male spoke in a low voice, chanting an ancient incantation. His body glowed with a silver light, resembling a divine lamp that hung in the air. The people in the surroundings all hurriedly retreated, flying very far away. They were all filled with trepidation towards this incantation and weren't willing to get close to it. This is the death curse of the horned race. It's extremely difficult to dispel it. A young elite king at the peak of the second level of immortal foundation acted. The consequences would definitely be terrifying. Yi Fan heard their discussion. As long as this incantation was used, within a certain range, even if one didn't die, they would still be weakened for a few years. It was extremely bizarre. The best solution was to immediately retreat and evade this ancient incantation. After it dissipated, they would then rush over to kill it. However, this place was already surrounded and it was difficult to break out. This gave the expert from the horned race the opportunity to unleash this secret art to its fullest potential. In the air, numerous tadpole-like runes appeared, trapping Yi Fan within. This was a bizarre energy known as the Death Curse. Saint Physique of the Human Race, what do you think the 10,000 ancient immortal realms are? You have disrespected us time and time again. Today, I will take your life. As a loud roar rang out, the silver hair of the young expert from the horned race fluttered in the wind. The jade horn in the center of his brows seemed to have gained sentience as it carved runes in the air, emitting a faint black light. Everyone retreated even further, afraid that the runes would contaminate their bodies. Even the baptism of the holy light from the ancient king wouldn't be able to cleanse it. However, everyone discovered to their astonishment that Yi Fan didn't retreat at all. He took the initiative to rush forward, moving towards the center. The tadpole-like runes were about to stick onto his body. Clang, clang, clang. Yi Fan made his move. His fingers were like heavenly swords as he carved the nine ancient characters recorded in the Tao scriptures in the air. This allowed him to achieve a short period of eternity as if he was standing in another small world. He walked forward step by step as if he was walking on flat ground. The tadpole-like runes that filled the sky all fell down, but when they encountered the nine ancient characters, they dissipated like ashes. They simply couldn't stop them. What? Everyone was astonished. For others, they would rather fight a disciple of the archaic imperial race than face this incantation head-on. They never expected that it would be broken down by Yi Fan on the spot. You. The young expert from the horned race turned pale with fright. Every time he encountered an enemy, he would first evade and then look for an opportunity to attack. Today was the first time he had been attacked head on. He turned around to leave. The pressure the human race's sacred body gave him was too terrifying. It was as if a burning immortal divine furnace was closing in on him to refine him. That surging golden blood energy terrified him. However, how could Yi Fan let him escape? After cultivating the Rho character art, his speed was incomparable. He moved later but arrived first, cutting off his path and smashed down with a fist. Pfft. A beam of bloody light burst forth, and the silver-haired man directly turned into a bloody mist. Both his body and soul were destroyed, and not even a piece of his shattered bones remained. Everyone was horrified, but the ancient race's various tribes didn't disperse. 
A group of people slowly approached, and there was no lack of elites from the royal family or even the imperial family among them. Hey, old man, you sold a piece of information to so many of us. You must have earned quite a bit of origin power, right? Huo Lin er spoke while staring at the ancient watchtower in front of him. The price of the information varies from 10,000 to 50,000 kilograms of origin power. It's not much. I'm just a poor man, and I'm far inferior to the Yuan Taoist master, Qi Luo said with a hollow laugh. Boom. No one said anything more. It was as if they had a tacit understanding, and they all made their moves. All kinds of divine laws and secret treasures rose into the sky almost at the same time and rushed toward Yi Fan. Since that's the case, I'll start a massacre. Yi Fan clenched his teeth. He definitely wouldn't be able to leave smoothly without paying the price in blood today. With a loud roar, his golden sacred domain expanded to its maximum size. It was as round as the Tao, enveloping him completely. In an instant, the myriad of techniques couldn't touch him, and he had no fear in his eyes as he rushed toward his enemies. An intense battle erupted. Tens to over a hundred experts were present. Even if each of them unleashed a single move, it would be extremely terrifying. When they joined forces, even kings of the three slashes of the immortal Tao would feel fear in their hearts. Let alone the fact that there was a god-child of the killer god dynasty among them. Once these people acted, they would definitely kill. Only a few among the younger generation would be able to survive. With so many people attacking, and each of them was an elite, their combined strength was extremely terrifying. Yi Fan's golden sacred domain was about to be penetrated. It wasn't that he wasn't strong enough, but rather, there were simply too many enemies, and each of them was terrifying to the extreme. His defense is shocking, he can already be compared to a king. Those who attacked were even more shocked. Logically speaking, a peak stage second level immortal foundation expert should have been turned into ashes by a single strike. Yet, the saint physique of a human actually managed to endure it. Kill. Everyone surrounded him as the sounds of killing shook the heavens. Yi Fan coughed out a mouthful of blood as his heart turned cold. There were actually a few among them who weren't any weaker than him. Some of them even had a foot in the immortal Tao and were about to succeed in severing their Daos. Who are these people exactly? Over a hundred terrifying elite kings attacked together, causing the sun and moon to lose their radiance. Yi Fan suffered heavy injuries and was sent flying a few times. His golden sacred domain was about to collapse. Invulnerable to all arts? Blast open his sacred domain and cause him to lose his defense. With so many people attacking him, we can definitely kill him. Someone roared. In truth, it was impossible for Yi Fan's sacred domain to block so many people. The main reason was that the row technique was unparalleled, allowing him to evade the most terrifying waves of attacks. Unless he had no other choice, he wouldn't clash head on. As long as there were more than 20 people who managed to land a blow on the golden circle, blood would seep out from the corner of his mouth. Kill. Yi Fan was enraged. His killing intent was boundless as he started to fight to the death, slaughtering everything in his way. The young elite king of the shadow race silently rushed over from the back, hiding in the black mist. However, he was discovered by Yi Fan in an instant. The secret arts of the celestial court were unleashed. With a chop of his hand, the young elite king was split into two as fresh blood splattered high into the air. 3000 Li of Ice A woman in white shouted. She was an expert of the snow race and could naturally use the ice god technique. A white wave of air drowned Yi Fan and sealed him in a piece of divine ice. Good, the others exclaimed. Bang! However, the divine ice collapsed in an instant. Yi Fan's six paths of reincarnation fist could not seal him at all. Moreover, the power of this fist was unparalleled. Pft, pft. One after another, figures turned into bloody mist as their names were erased from the world. Eleven elites of the ancient race had been killed with one punch. This shocking result left everyone stupefied, but they didn't stop. Even more ferocious attacks were unleashed. Everyone in the distance took out all types of weapons, attacking over. Yi Fan coughed out large mouthfuls of blood, the gold sacred domain collapsing several times. Kill. Yi Fan shouted again. He activated the army technique, and all the ancient weapons turned in reverse. It was as if time was flowing backward, and a strange change occurred. Ah. Miserable cries rose and fell. Nine people died under their own weapons, and there were more than ten who were injured, their bodies covered in blood. This scene was even more terrifying, making many people shiver inwardly. They tightly gripped their weapons, their palms covered in cold sweat. There were even some who couldn't help but tremble. He's finished. After suffering our combined attacks, there's no way he can hold on for much longer. Someone sneered and took action first. Yes, he can't hold on anymore. The life ghost race woman laughed sinisterly. Her face was snow white, and her arms were covered in fine scales. The blood of the archaic human race, I really miss it. I wonder how holy blood tastes now. Yi Fan was on the verge of collapse. 
Facing so many experts was truly strenuous. Even Immortal 3's people couldn't hold on for a long time. The future kings of the various clans charged forward together. Roar Yi Fan released a great roar. He risked his life to kill. With a leap, he entered the crowd and grabbed that life ghost race woman. Then, with a forceful pull, she was torn apart with a pang sound. Blood splashed everywhere. This scene was extremely bloody, but it was extremely intimidating. Many people backed up in fear, not daring to approach. Pang. Finally, the golden sacred domain collapsed. Yi Fan chanted an ancient scripture. It was precisely the Nirvana scripture that An Miaoi passed down to him. Golden blood energy surged within his body, quickly recovering his injured body. Hurry, stop him. We can't give him any time. Many people shouted and took action together. Yi Fan's eyes released cold lightning. He rushed over while healing his injuries. The rose symbol arc was displayed to its peak as he slaughtered in all directions. Hong. A woman whose entire body was covered in raging flames erupted at this crucial moment, wanting to burn Yi Fan down. She was a young expert from the Fire Cloud race. Battle Saint Art. Yi Fan's eyes were ice cold. His hands moved about, looking down on the world like Divine King Jiang. He actually produced a sacred furnace that was scarlet red like blood. Hong. The eternal universe furnace flew out and suppressed forward. Immediately, cries of alarm rang out. That woman bore the brunt of the attack and was killed on the spot. The instant the sacred furnace collapsed, eight or nine people were burned to ashes. When Yi Fan used the battle saint art to evolve the eternal universe furnace, he also activated the sacred power of the ancient sun scripture to form this sacred furnace. They complemented each other. Good. Although our celestial court doesn't have the scriptures of the great ancient emperors, the previous masters would experience all kinds of cruel tempering to become number one under the heavens. Chi Luo secretly transmitted his voice from the ancient watchtower. In the past, if one couldn't become a peerless expert and couldn't kill all the kings, the celestial court would rather not choose a master. Old Saber Hancho also transmitted his voice. That's right, the master of the celestial court must be number one under the heavens. Chi Luo's words were sonorous and resounded in Yi Fan's ears. It was as if ten thousand swords were unsheathed, rumbling together. Chapter 839 The great battle had already reached its climax. Yi Fan went crazy, doing everything he could to break out of the encirclement. His entire body was covered in blood, slaughtering until everyone trembled. Meanwhile, he himself also suffered serious injuries. Pang, pang. Great collisions continuously rang out. Bloody paste and shattered bones flew everywhere, terrifying rumbling sounds ringing out continuously. There were exceptional figures in this group who were deeply hidden, not much weaker than him. At this moment, they finally began to exert force, every strike making heaven and earth collapse. Chang. Ancient weapons clashed, great weapons colliding, the noise deafening. Yi Fan operated the army character formula, controlling all types of secret treasures, turning them around to kill their masters. This was a terrifying and crazy scene, miserable cries rising and falling. Dao sounds resonated between heaven and earth, shaking everyone until their primordial spirits were about to split apart. These were the cries of ancient weapons, quite a few of them divine objects, yet they couldn't be controlled, killing their own masters. A rain of blood flew about. This was a cruel great battle. Yi Fan didn't have a choice, only using the most effective, simplest, and most energy-saving methods to continue living. There wasn't a single weakling on the battlefield, some of them destined to become the future ancestral kings of various clans. Right now, they were attacking Yi Fan together, this was practically a dead end. It was difficult for him to make it through. Ah. Uh. Another ancient race young expert cried out. Under the radiation of the army character formula, half of his head was cut off by his own ancient mirror, his primordial spirit also melting under the light of the mirror. Kill. Shouts of war shook the heavens. There were powerful enemies who were fearless, not cowering back. Meanwhile, Yi Fan also paid a tremendous price, the golden sacred domain collapsing several times, flesh as powerful as his almost exploding, coughing out large mouthfuls of blood. With so many powerful individuals working together, even the kings of Immortal Three had to nurse a grievance. This was especially the case with a few individuals among them, their own strength extremely powerful, one foot over the threshold of Immortal Three, possessing world-shocking strength. They blended into the crowd and launched a terrifying ambush every now and then. Almost every single one of their attacks was fatal. This was a bloody battle. Yi Fan was about to break out several times, but he was always stopped by the most powerful individuals, forcing him to fight with his life on the line, exhausting his own life. Clang. Just as Yi Fan was in the most dangerous situation, a deity law appeared out of nowhere. It flew over like a divine light from outer space and went straight for the center of Yi Fan's brows. Not to mention him, even the people around him felt like their bodies were about to crack and their Yuan Shen was about to collapse. The divine son of the mortal world had made his move. 
He actually didn't leave this entire time, patiently enduring until now. Finally, he found a fatal opening, decisively and mercilessly slashing out. Yi Fan was in a life and death situation. He was being attacked by a few top figures. They were the top figures of the ancient race's younger generation, and all of them had one foot over the threshold of the Dao's severing realm. It was difficult for him to deal with the sudden attack. This was a sword of order engraved with all types of symbols. It was completely forged from natural laws, representing the power of the mortal world's divine child. He had already succeeded in severing the Dao. All of this was too critical. There was no time to think. Yi Fan exerted all of his cultivation and exerted the power of the army formula to the extreme to interfere with the sword of order. It's useless. This isn't a material sword. It is forged from natural laws. Once it comes into contact with it, it will turn into ashes. The divine son of the mortal world said sinisterly. However, the army formula was peerless and exceeded everyone's imagination. Even the weapon formed from natural laws was disturbed. The sword of order stopped in that instant. Chang. At the same time, not far away, an individual's entire body shone. He wore undying battle clothes, and under the control of the army formula, his entire body flew over in reverse, blocking in front of Yi Fan. Pu. The sword of order mercilessly entered the space between his brows. He was like ice and snow under the scorching sun, melting along with the divine laws. His flesh and bones were melting. It was a sight too horrible to endure. Hong. In the end, his entire body exploded, turning into a bloody rain. His remains scattered in all directions, and his body and soul were completely destroyed. At the same time, Yi Fan also suffered the attacks of several other top-level figures. Blood flowed out from his mouth as he flew outwards. However, he still avoided a disaster of death in the end. This was a bitter battle. A rain of blood scattered down from the sky, and there were many broken bones. It was like an Azura battlefield. The sun and moon lost all radiance from the battle, and it was filled with the haze of death. Third Immortal Slaying Dao Yi Fan's heart trembled. He finally encountered such an opponent. This was especially so since this opponent was an assassin from the mortal world. He didn't fight head-on but chose to assassinate him instead. This caused his situation to become even more unfavorable. At the center of his brows, a drop of golden blood dripped down. The Sword of Order didn't manage to pierce through, but the aura it exuded was enough to pierce through anyone else's immortal foundation. There was no time to waste. Every minute and every second was filled with death. This battle had already reached the climax, and to him, there was no path of retreat. He could only rush forward. Some wanted to seize the Qilin Divine Medicine Seed, some wanted to act on behalf of the Heaven Prince and Yuan Gu, and there were also some who wanted to kill Yi Fan. An example was the Killer God Dynasty. Yi Fan roared in a low voice. The golden blood he spilled transformed into a supreme sword qi that pierced through the experts in all directions. Many of them died in the air. BZZ. Many experts joined forces and rushed forward. Tens of cracks appeared on Yi Fan's body. If he was an ordinary person, he would have long been reduced to dust. He coughed out large mouthfuls of blood as he was flung through the air. Fighting against so many future kings alone. Even if he dies, it's already a glorious death. The expert from the Blood Lightning King race was as majestic as a mountain. His blood red hair draped over his shoulders and his entire body was enveloped in divine light. This was one of the few powerful enemies. Yi Fan had tried to kill him several times but failed. Instead, he was taken advantage of by the others, adding more injuries to his body. What the elite king from the Blood Lightning race said was the truth. Some of them would definitely become ancestral kings in the future. But now, even after joining forces, they still couldn't kill this enemy. This was truly a glorious battle achievement that shocked everyone. Mu. Everyone fought until their blood boiled. The expert from the Herculean Bull Devil race swayed his mountain-like body and rushed forward. He suddenly unleashed a ruthless attack, unleashing the barbaric bull wave that could destroy mountains and rivers, wanting to knock Yi Fan unconscious. Ah. Uh. Yi Fan shouted and the six-syllable mantra of Buddhism was used again. It was as if the universe had just been opened, and the sound of the absolute beginning streaked across. With a buzzing sound, heaven and earth trembled. In front of him, the elite of the Herculean Bull Devil race was covered in thick black fur. At this moment, he roared incessantly and his mountain-like demonic body rapidly cracked. Boom! He let out a loud cry unwillingly. In the end, he couldn't block this mantra and collapsed in the confrontation of the Tao sounds. He turned into a mass of flesh and broken bones and died a violent death. The people beside him were also annihilated in body and soul. In the void, a pair of thick and sturdy horns fell off and turned into two Tao axes. They were surrounded by endless Tao patterns and fell straight down. Pfft. In the end, it still killed and injured Yi Fan. The two axes transformed from horns exploded beside Yi Fan's body, causing his body to shake violently and spit out three mouthfuls of blood. 
One of his feet was already at the gate of Immortal Foundation. Such a person's all-out attack was extremely terrifying and fatal. He would usually drag his enemies down with him. No one would be willing to fight like this. However, Yi Fan had no other choice. Right now, he had already gone berserk. It was impossible for him to not be stained by blood or suffer any injuries. He could only fight with his life on the line. At the side, the future immortal kings were all shocked. The Herculean Bold Devil race was the most valiant and powerful to such an extent. Yet, their final attack only caused the saint physique of the human race to cough out three mouthfuls of blood. Such a result caused the hearts of everyone to turn cold. An intense battle caused the heavens and earth to turn dark. A sinister wind howled as countless vengeful spirits gathered here. Yi Fan's entire body was filled with injuries as he fought in all directions. This battle was destined to shock the world. One person fought against so many experts and each of them was extremely powerful. Yet, Yi Fan actually managed to endure for such a long time without dying. Peak second level immortal foundation experts, those who stood at the gate of the Tao Severing Realm, as well as those who had truly stepped into the immortal foundation realm. The combination of these people was sufficient to kill a terrifying immortal king. However, the saint physique of the human race rampaged about and didn't die from the start. Although his injuries worsened, he still didn't collapse. At the very end, many people felt their hair standing on end. They didn't understand the saint physique of the human race but through this battle, they understood that the saint physique of the human race might not be weaker than the son of the ancient emperors. What sort of characters were the ancient sacred emperors? They represented the extremity of the Tao and were supreme existences. A single person could sweep through the nine heavens and ten earths, shocking the ancients and dazzling the contemporaries, eternally invincible. Their descendants would inherit their incomparable bloodline after they reached the peak. In the process of growth, they might even surpass the ancient emperors when they were young. After all, the ancient emperors experienced numerous breakthroughs, as well as the baptism of tens of thousands of battles before they finally corroborated their Tao. Hence, they had the aptitude of the emperor and had a supreme bloodline. As for their descendants, they were born with this bloodline and were bestowed with terrifying strength. Their aptitude was extremely rare and incomparable. In the sky, there was a mist of blood everywhere. Pieces of broken bones floated about, surrounded by strange Tao runes. This battle caused ghosts to wail and gods to howl, the nine heavens to wail. Yi Fan was indeed powerful. But being surrounded by so many powerful and terrifying people, even if he was the reincarnation of a war god, he would still be crippled. Even a king who has slashed his Tao for many years should have died long ago. His physique is too strong. Many people felt their hair standing on end. Yi Fan was in a difficult situation. His entire body was covered in blood. Although he staggered about, he didn't fall from the start. Moreover, he would occasionally display terrifying methods to kill the peak characters of the various races. Chi. Finally, the divine child of the mortal world bared his fangs for the second time. The sword of order flew out once more. The immortal light pointed at the back of Yi Fan's head, slashing apart the sky as it neared him. He was like a venomous snake that had been lying dormant the entire time. At the crucial moment, he would deliver a fatal blow. He was steady, accurate, and ruthless, seeking to kill in one strike. This was already someone at the Tao's severing realm, a meticulous assassination, naturally unfathomable. He quickly and abruptly attacked, the immortal light almost about to split Yi Fan in half. A terrifying great crack appeared on his back, illuminating the entire sky dome. I was just waiting for you to appear. Divine light rushed into the heavens from the top of Yi Fan's head. It was as if a true dragon had leapt out, frightening all directions. His primordial spirit merged with the Tao and carried the cauldron out. The extreme sublimation, the Tai Chi reversed and turned into Limitless, which was also the beginning of the Tao. It broke through the golden Tao body of the physical body and turned into a Tao point that transcended the world. The little golden person carried the small cauldron. It shone brilliantly and became the only thing between heaven and earth, accompanied by the rumbling sound of the great Tao. Time seemed to have stopped. Everyone's movements seemed to have slowed down, almost to a standstill. The little golden person carried the energy of all things cauldron, smashed the sword of order, and rushed towards the divine child of the mortal world. This was the second time Yi Fan had displayed this kind of Tao fruit on this ancient star. Everyone was shaken. They felt that their movements had become much slower in this space. The divine child of the mortal world roared. One couldn't help but admit that he was extremely powerful. After slashing the Tao three times, he possessed boundless divine might. His comprehension of the laws of heaven and earth was world-shaking. He opened his mouth and spat out an expanse of Tao light. This was the Tao he had cultivated for many years. He fought against the little golden person who had merged with the Tao, wanting to block this world-shocking attack. However, the primordial spirit merging with the Tao also contained the profundity of one weapon breaking ten thousand laws. The energy of all things pressed down, destroying all ancient weapons and divine laws. Suddenly, Yi Fan felt extreme danger. There was an unforeseen event happening in his physical body. Someone was going to attack him. 
When this technique appeared, heaven and earth seemed to have stopped. Almost no one could break through the restriction. However, at this moment, someone was forcefully breaking through and was about to approach his physical body. There's actually such a person after slashing the Tao three times. Yi Fan's heart sank. The little golden person carried the cauldron and smashed down. The divine child of the mortal world's entire body collapsed. Only his primordial spirit and half a head escaped. Yi Fan couldn't chase after him. His physical body was about to be taken advantage of. He had no choice but to abandon everything here and quickly return to his body. The primordial spirit merging with the Tao and carrying the cauldron was extremely fast. Meanwhile, the enemy seemed to be restricted in this space and his movements were much slower. When he returned, he narrowly avoided a blow that would have destroyed his body and quickly retreated. It was also at this moment that the movements of the people around him became normal. All kinds of divine laws and weapons were as fast as lightning. There was also a person from the third immortal who had cut the Tao. He actually hadn't made a move all this time. Until now, his flesh shell was almost destroyed. It was said that there were as many experts as there were clouds in the myriad of races. Not all of the experts came from the royal families. It was just like the human cultivators. Some of the smaller races might also have exceptional experts. This was an expert who had successfully cut the Tao. He could fight against the ancient princes now. No one could say for sure how far he would go in the future. One had to know that some ancient emperors were born from small races. Then, they fought step by step and finally proved their Tao, achieving the divine might of the royal family. This person's attack didn't succeed. He immediately disappeared into the crowd and didn't attack again. Yi Fan couldn't care less about this. Now, he could only break through. This group of people were all at the same level. It would be a legend if he could kill all of them. No matter how strong he was, he couldn't kill a hundred elite kings of this level by himself. There's only one chance left. At this moment, he suddenly unleashed a strange phenomenon. The golden bitter sea, green lotus, immortal king descending to the nine heavens, beautiful land and mountains all appeared and connected together. It was still incomplete, but in a short moment, it emitted boundless light and divine power. Immediately, miserable screams came from the surroundings. The eleven people in front of him all seemed to have ascended. They turned into a rain of light and died just like that. Yi Fan rushed over and broke through the encirclement into the distance. He wanted to leave the battlefield. Hong. During this process, boundless laws attacked, covering the sky and covering the earth. After suffering the heavy attacks of so many experts, the connected phenomenon was originally about to disappear. At this moment, it suddenly collapsed. Ah. Another five people were swept in and dimmed along with the phenomenon. They were badly mutilated and died in the sky. A rain of blood flew everywhere. Dang. With a long tremble, ripples extended. A great cauldron appeared above Yi Fan's head. The 10,000 Dao Chi descended. He continued to rush out with the deity striking whip in hand. At this time, it was impossible to use the purple golden hammer in his body. Perhaps half a strike would exhaust his divine force, and then he could forget about fighting or escaping. At this moment, he couldn't even open the golden sacred domain. After fighting to this point and being attacked by over a hundred experts, even a divine child would collapse. This battle was equivalent to a rehearsal for the great battle against some of the future ancestral kings of the various races. Some of these people were destined to be existences of that level in the future. Even someone as powerful as Yi Fan's physical body was about to collapse. He charged forward with great difficulty. With a PU sound, the 10,000 Dao Chi trembled. That dazzling man from the blood lightning royal race with blood hair draped over his shoulders was finally killed. Wang. Yi Fan brandished the deity striking whip in his hand. All of the pitch black wings of the fallen winged races Lu Dongfa were shattered. His entire body was also torn into pieces. Finally, he killed his way out of the encirclement. With the row formula under his feet, he rushed into the distance. After fighting the future kings alone, Yi Fan did not fall. He carved out a path of blood as he left, leaving behind a figure that made others tremble. This battle was destined to shake the world. It was a world-shocking achievement. A single person was able to escape and scathed under the siege of so many terrifying enemies. The world was going to be thrown into an uproar. Chapter 840 He actually killed so many people in this battle and killed his way out alone. This is far beyond our expectations. Chi Luo revealed an astonished expression. Old Saber Hancho was drenched in cold sweat, drenching his clothes. He knew that he had no hope of accomplishing this. This battle caused the heaven and earth to dim and ghosts to weep and gods to howl. A group of future kings suffered disastrous losses. Chi Luo was the first to give chase. Next, Hua Lin, or also moved, leaving behind a blue silhouette. No one had expected that Yi Fan would be so daring as to not leave the Divine City at all. After coughing out a mouthful of golden blood, he landed on the street and proceeded on foot. Many people were startled. 
What exactly did he want to do? With such great courage, he actually stopped in the Divine City. Could it be that he wanted to fight and kill until corpses littered the ground? Yi Fan was very calm. He arrived at the Merak Stone Square using the line formula and pushed open the shabby door with a creak. He walked straight in. The people who chased after him were all stunned. No one dared to approach. There was a saint overseeing this place, so who would dare to go in and act wildly? Yi Fan greeted the gatekeeper and then found a place to sit cross-legged. Golden blood chi rose from his body and he turned into a statue of a deity. His appearance was solemn and dignified. Although the nirvana scripture he obtained was only a simplified version, it was enough for him to cultivate with his physique. Inside the Merak Holy Land, Golden Blood Chi was rising like a large steamer. Battle Chi was rising and Yi Fan's body was constantly making noises as the various wounds on his body healed. In just four hours, he opened his eyes and restrained his blood chi. He was full of vigor again. After washing away the bloodstains in the spring, his whole body flickered with luster, looking strong and powerful. Yi Fan changed into a set of battle clothes and walked towards the gatekeeper. He greeted the gatekeeper and said, I have disturbed seniors peaceful cultivation time and time again. Today, I present you with a bottle of clear spring water. This is the best water for brewing tea. This was the divine spring from the forbidden ancient land. He was very familiar with it and brought it into the gatekeeper's room without the slightest regard. However, his heart was beating like a drum. This old man might be one of the survivors from back then. Would he go crazy after smelling the aura of the forbidden ancient land? It's been a long time since I've smelled this scent. The aged saint's voice was very fleeting. He took out a broken jar and handed it to Yi Fan. Enlightenment tea leaves. Among them, there were actually more than ten pieces. This was a priceless divine tea, and this was especially true for those who had great accomplishments. These tea leaves were more precious than anything else. Yi Fan hurriedly went to boil some water. Drinking tea was a small matter, but being able to drink with this sage was more important. He really wanted to ask this old man to come out and hold the fort for him. If they really wanted to establish a religion, they would let this old man sit at the mountain gate. There was no need for any peerless defensive formations. One person was enough. Those who became saints in the post-primordial era were almost synonymous with invincibility. The divine spring water was already boiling. Yi Fan glanced at the broken tea jar and didn't dare to recklessly waste it. He only took out two leaves and placed them into the pot. A fragrance immediately pervaded the air. It was unknown how many pairs of eyes were watching from afar. They all felt a little scared after seeing this scene. Yi Fan had just been fighting a bloody battle in all directions, and in the next moment, he ran here to find a saint to drink tea. At this moment, everyone in the Divine City felt a headache. Even the ancient races felt a chill down their backs. They were deeply shocked and felt an indescribable lingering fear. In the end, Chi Luo still appeared. He entered the old territory of Merak and let out a hollow laugh outside the gatekeeper's room. He saluted the surviving saint of Merak. Yi Fan used this opportunity to probe. Although this old bastard hadn't become a saint yet, he probably wasn't far from it. Looking at his current posture, he could find some clues. Chi Luo entered the room with a sanctimonious appearance. This made Yi Fan's teeth itch. He wanted nothing more than to beat him up and kick him a couple of times. Crybaby, what are you doing here? Aren't you going to establish a religion? I'll give you whatever you lack. Chi Luo was quite straightforward. If I get involved with you guys, I'll most likely kill you all over the world. At that time, who knows how many Supreme Emperor weapons will come bearing down on our borders. Yi Fan shook his head. The Celestial Court has long been annihilated. We don't want to restore it. We just need to break through the ancient halls of hell and the mortal world. You can do whatever you want with the rest. Chi Luo was quite straightforward. At the same time, he didn't regard himself as an outsider. He saluted the Saint of Merak respectfully and then snatched a cup of tea from Yi Fan and slowly tasted it. The fragrance of the tea filled the air and spread very far, leaving one with an endless aftertaste. Using the divine spring in the life forbidden zone to brew enlightenment tea. This pot of tea is too precious. This is something the ancient great emperors often do. Chi Luo was almost intoxicated, but he didn't dare to lose his composure. He was very respectful to the saint of Merak and said some words that even Yi Fan couldn't hear clearly. The fragrance of the tea filled the air and drifted to the tranquil ancient street. Many peepers were almost intoxicated and had a dazed expression. Yi Fan sat cross-legged in the gatehouse. This wasn't the first time he drank enlightenment tea, but this time was the most different. His heart was empty and he calmed down all of a sudden. He comprehended the various aspects of the battle just now and entered a wondrous state. Only after a long time did he come back to his senses. He poured the second cup of tea and began to taste it. He felt as if there were divine laws interweaving in his immortal platform. Greetings, human saint. A sweet voice rang out. Huo Lin had arrived and respectfully saluted outside the gatehouse. The saint of Merak nodded and didn't say anything. 
Huo Lin, er, combed her sea like shiny blue hair and walked in gracefully. In the past, my father would boil a pot of enlightenment tea with the divine spring every day. He would silently gaze at the starry sky and often stay up all night. I couldn't help but come in when I smelled the familiar fragrance of the tea. She explained to the saint of Merak and forgave him for disturbing them. She was much more particular than Chi Luo. How extravagant, using the divine spring in the forbidden zone of life to boil enlightenment tea every day. So the ancient emperors are a habit inherited from the ancient emperors. Chi Luo was speechless. Unfortunately, that old tea tree seems to be inseparable from the undying mountain. My father wanted to plant it beside the fire Chilin cave, but it almost died and was sent back, Huo Lin, said. Yi Fan almost spat out the tea in his mouth. That old tea tree was really pitiful. The undying heavenly emperor chopped down its trunk and used it as a coffin board. Moreover, when they entered the undying mountain more than ten years ago, the big black dog had also said that great emperor Wuxia had also tortured it. The old tea tree was sickly and almost died. It had no choice but to be planted back into the undying mountain. The ancient emperors have passed away, and the ancient emperors have also passed away. After a terrifyingly long period of time, nothing exists anymore. Only the enlightenment tea and the other immortal herbs are still alive, the saint of Merak said. This shocked Yi Fan. That was right, the world had changed, and time had changed. It seemed like the only living things that could truly live forever in this world were the immortal divine herbs. Was this the reason why even the ancient emperors would have won? They were searching. Can I have a taste? Huo Lin, Er's eyes were misty, and it was unknown whether she was acting or revealing her true feelings. She said, in the past, my father would boil it for me every day, but I was too lazy to drink it. Now, I can only think of him through the fragrance of the tea. Please sit. Come, slowly taste the tea. Tell me some stories about the ancient emperors as payment. Yi Fan poured her a cup of tea. He wanted to hear what kind of existence the ancient emperors were. I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. My father only had me and my youngest brother in his later years. My deceased brother was 12,000 years older than us, and we couldn't feel the majesty and unattainability of our father like others. He was only a loving father and was no different from ordinary people. Huo Lin, her faintly smiled. She then quietly drank the tea and didn't say anything else. Even if there were some secrets, she wouldn't speak of them. Yi Fan was stunned. How many pairs of siblings could have a difference of 12,000 years between them? Just how many years did they have to live to have such children? The sky darkened. Huo Lin, Erk spoke again, wanting to exchange the Qilin medicine with Yi Fan, but she was still rejected. She then left gracefully. Yi Fan and Qi Luo also bid their farewells and left Merak Stone Square. They disappeared into the night and disappeared from the Divine City. At this moment, no one stopped them. Today, the entire eastern wasteland was shaken. The young experts of the ancient races were stunned. The human saint physique slaughtered everything in his path. He was invincible, and no one could stop him. The commotion spread. Many people were discussing this matter, causing a huge uproar. Is the human saint physique really so powerful? Can it be compared to the ancient princes? This is really unexpected. Huo Lin, or didn't fight against her. What is that girl planning? Not even hundreds of great experts could kill him. If he could sever his Tao, he would be invincible under the heavens in an era without saints. Regardless of whether it was the ancient races or the human race, all the cultivators were in heated discussion. The heavenly village was a small world no one knew about. The villagers looked very ordinary. They worked at sunrise and rested at sunset, living an ordinary and simple life. However, after Yi Fan activated the heavenly eye, he discovered something strange. Even the children walking on the road were silent. This had already become a habit of theirs. Not far away, the children who were playing hide and seek appeared and disappeared unpredictably. This was the unique movement technique of assassins. After dinner, several elders sat on a large bluestone in front of the village and chatted. If they didn't speak, there would be no signs of life. Not far away, some people returned from hunting in the depths of the mountains. They were like specters, blending into the world and becoming a habit. Yi Fan was in a daze. This was a village of assassins. That kind of instinct had penetrated deep into their bones and had already become a habit. This is the only small world created by the ancient sages of the celestial court. The others have all been destroyed, said Chi Luo. There were very few people in the heavenly village. There were only 40 to 50 families and a little more than a hundred people. Yi Fan had long since prepared his heart. If the celestial court was prosperous enough, they wouldn't have found him. Moreover, they had endured in hell and the human world until now. Actually, you don't need to run to the Jade Stone Square to drink tea. There's no need to make me feel apprehensive. I won't harm you, said Chi Luo with narrowed eyes. Elder Chi, someone in the outside world killed a great completion king level expert of the human world and is clamoring for the Qilin medicine. A villager came over and reported honestly. What? So fast? 
Who did this, getting rid of such a big fish? Yi Fan was shocked. It's someone from the Divine Silkworm Ridge, said Chi Luo. The Divine Silkworm Daoist walked in the human world in a drunken state. An old Daoist followed behind him to protect him, fearing that something would happen to him. And this time, it was this old Daoist from the Divine Silkworm Ridge who took action and killed a great completion king level expert of the human world. The human world is in trouble. After the Divine Silkworm race kills someone, they can use the Silk Reeling Cocoon secret technique to search for those who have come into contact with them. Who knows, they might be able to find the ancient palace of the human world. Chi Luo chuckled and said, the Divine Silkworm race's immortal medicine has also been lost. They have taken root in the ancient abyss. Are they going to fight for the Chilin medicine with the fire Chilin cave? Good shows are coming one after another. The ancient races have only appeared not long ago. How do you know their secret technique? As an assassin, I have to keep up with the times, said Chi Luo proudly. In truth, Yi Fan really wanted to smack him after seeing his expression. If I couldn't beat those people in the Divine City and couldn't break out of the encirclement, would you have just stood by and watched? This kind of assumption is meaningless. Chi Luo shook his head. Number one in the world? Your celestial court is too arrogant. Yi Fan didn't hold back and pointed out the age of the great ancient emperor. In that era, there was a celestial court, but there was no master of the celestial court, answered Chi Luo seriously. Yi Fan pointed out without any trace of politeness. He had seen the last master of the celestial court. He had died in an undignified manner and didn't seem like the style of a peerless expert. He told him everything he had seen at the sacred cliff. Chi Luo was silent for a long time after listening and said, the great completion saint physique was possessed by a devil spirit and grew green hair. He needed great emperor Wu Shi to suppress it. The master of the celestial court who was on the verge of death was killed by such an existence. It wasn't shameful at all. The two talked for a long time. In the end, Yi Fan took out the scepter of the celestial court and the human skin scripture. Immediately, a monstrous murderous aura surged. Chi Luo was finally excited after seeing these two items. His body was trembling. He stretched his hands forward and held up the two sacred items with trembling hands. I've finally seen the sacred items of our ancestors again. He couldn't help but burst into tears again. Don't cry. I want to step on your face when I see you cry. Yi Fan was in a bad mood. Sigh, I was too excited and forgot myself. Ha. Huh. Chi Luo laughed loudly. The contrast between before and after was too great. This weapon. Yi Fan endured the bone-piercing chill and raised the golden scepter. It was incomparably gloomy, like a supreme divine treasure that could suppress the underworld. There's no need to show it to me. It's just like this. Even if you find a few more saints, it will still be the same. The higher the cultivation, the greater the saint power. Chi Luo said. He clearly stated that there was no real seal. Yi Fan already knew that this was a sacred weapon that had been passed down from generation to generation. Moreover, it should have been refined by someone above the great sage level. However, he had never taken it out to use. That was because this scepter was very special. No matter how powerful one's own strength was, it would be able to display the divine might of the corresponding realm. He had found a few people to try to unseal it, but they all failed. Back then, my celestial court had other sacred weapons. Unfortunately, they were all taken away. This scepter has a special meaning. Without a cultivation above the great sage level, one is not worthy of using it. This state is for the sake of inspiring future generations. Only when one is compatible with it can one wield it and display a divine might capable of destroying the heaven and earth. Chi Luo was full of heroic spirit. Then, he lowered his voice and said, the Alcade has the black gold cauldron with dragon patterns. It was born from the heaven and earth. This scepter of ours is also the same. It has a secret that even the ancient great sage went crazy over. Yi Fan was dumbfounded. Then, he asked again. Unfortunately, Chi Luo's knowledge was limited. In the end, Chi Luo held the human skin scripture and said with a trembling voice, Did you know? This not only records the most crucial part of my celestial court's great killing technique, but it is also the most terrifying weapon. It's a weapon? Yi Fan was astonished. Naturally, it is the Book of Time. It was refined by one of my sex patriarchs using his own quasi-emperor skin. The Book of Time. These four words shocked Yi Fan until he was stupefied. He could tell just from hearing it that it was endlessly frightening. According to legend, one of the celestial court's masters ate an immortal medicine and lived two lives. He truly cultivated the shame formula and touched upon the domain of time. Could it be that this human skin was refined into a supreme secret treasure called, the Book of Time? Chapter 841 The Book of Time was more than a foot long. It was squarish and almost transparent with specks of luster. It was mysterious and strange, making people feel uneasy. Time was difficult to erase. This kind of human skin was also known as the skin of a god. 
It was impervious to all tribulations and emitted a shocking murderous aura that could almost break one's bones and muscles. There were many densely packed characters carved on both sides. Ordinary people couldn't see them clearly because the characters were very small. These ancient characters were written in silver lines and were as vigorous as an azure dragon or an iron snake. It was as if millions of swords were glued to the surface and a clanking sound could be heard throughout the ages. At this moment, it was as if one was standing in a land of ice. The cold was bone-piercing as if they were facing millions of wailing gods. The ancient sage's skin flickered with a sparkling luster. Chi Luo pointed out with his finger. Smoke and clouds flowed, but the divine skin didn't move in the slightest. He lightly shouted and a mouthful of innate essence gushed out, turning into multicolored splendor that sprinkled on the skin. Chi. Finally, some small characters emitted light like little dragons moving about. They were dazzling as each stroke cut through the void. It's not like this. Chi Luo frowned. He then opened his mouth and spat out three mouthfuls of milky white innate essence which sprinkled on the translucent human skin. Wang. This world was like a sealed box. The inside of it began to sway as hundreds of small characters lit up on the divine skin. They were all branded in the void, each and every one of them translucent. Yi Fan was astonished. He felt an indescribable power as if time was changing. This place was a bit chaotic. Chi Luo was struggling. His brows were locked tightly together as hundreds of small characters floated in the air and surrounded him. He left the ground and wanted to wave them around, but he found that they wouldn't listen to his commands. It's still not working. These small characters won't obey my summons. I can't use their power. Bo. When he absorbed the multicolored splendor and swallowed the innate essence back into his body, the small characters were once again branded on the translucent human skin and calmed down. Over 10,000 small characters were written in silver lines. Every stroke was a type of time talisman. With so many small characters together, it was a type of heaven-defying power. However, normal people couldn't activate it. When over 10,000 symbols appeared, they would form a time node, changing the trajectory of time. Incomparably terrifying things would happen within its range. This is Quasi-Emperor's secret treasure. Without reaching the Saint Realm, it's difficult to comprehend. It doesn't contain a deity, but rather requires a type of aura to activate, Chi Luo said. Secret treasures were different from other weapons. They had their own unique ways of using them. They weren't ordinary weapons, but some of them possessed incredible power, capable of destroying the universe and collapsing the heavens. The master of the celestial court, who has lived two lives, is indeed impressive. To be able to create such a secret artifact and dare to call it the Book of Time, there must be something extraordinary about it, Yi Fan said. Back in those days, the master of the celestial court wielded a supreme scepter in one hand and the Book of Time in the other. He was invincible and unstoppable in the world. The number of people in the world who could block ten moves from him couldn't even exceed one hand. Zyro sighed. This is the skin of Quasi-Emperor. After consuming the undying medicine, he became a supreme Dao fruit. Yi Fan flipped it around and looked at it. Holding it felt like holding a steel needle in his hand. His entire body was in pain and it was difficult to grasp it. If it wasn't refined into a secret treasure, there was no way to hold it in one's hand. The killing Dao laws contained within might injure those near it. Yi Fan tried repeatedly. In the end, the tiny golden figure in the space between his brows stepped out and sat cross-legged on the one-foot square divine skin. It circulated the aspect formula and soared into the sky with a swoosh. Chi Luo's eyes almost popped out. He hurriedly chased after it. Very soon, light flashed and the tiny golden figure bared its fangs. It leaped up and rapidly entered the immortal platform. How was it? What did you experience just now? Yi Fan opened his eyes and felt waves of pain in the space between his brows. It was as fast as flowing light, but it still didn't involve time. It was as painful as being pricked by a needle. All of a sudden, his expression changed. Eh, something's not right. It felt like time paused for an instant. Maybe, it would be of great use in the future. After that, he repeatedly practiced and tried. Tiny characters floated up from the one-foot square divine skin, engulfing the tiny golden figure as it sped through the space between heaven and earth. Sadly, there's only an instant of time. It's so fast that it's hard to make use of it, Yi Fan said. There's still a place for us to create battle machines. If we use them well, we'll be able to deal a fatal blow, Chi Luo said. He had also tried it many times. Yi Fan nodded. This secret treasure was too high grade. It was an artifact that could only be used by characters at the saint level and above. One could imagine the graceful bearing of the Lord of the Celestial Court when he wielded the scepter in one hand and the Book of Time in the other. After a very long time, the two of them sat down on a large piece of green and began to discuss in detail. In the Heavenly Village, they had the secret method of the Celestial Court, but they were missing a crucial part, which was this piece of Quasi-Emperor's human skin. The core information was recorded on it. 
Of course, the core lacked branches and leaves, and there were no detailed rules for expansion, so it couldn't be considered perfect. Only when the two were put together would they form the true inheritance of the celestial court. As for the Vlind character secret, that was another matter. Only the few leaders of the celestial court could cultivate it, so it wasn't counted in this piece of scripture. It was the art of the cult. On that very day, the two of them completed the celestial court scripture. It could be said that this piece of scripture was shocking and could even be considered bloody. It was purely a way to prove one's Tao through killing. Without a doubt, this kind of inheritance wasn't suitable for Yi Fan. It wasn't quite the same as the path he had taken. He only killed his enemies, but the celestial court treated killing as a kind of instinct and habit. However, after careful study and observation, many laws of Tao were very enlightening, allowing one to comprehend by analogy. As for the secret technique, it could be used. Qi Luo spoke frankly. He wasn't too far away from becoming a saint. In the future, he might be able to set foot in that domain and truly challenge hell and the human world. Do they really have a saint killer? Yi Fan asked. An assassin becoming a saint was a relatively serious and terrifying matter. Proving one's Tao through killing wasn't something to be casually said. In a true life and death battle, a saint killer could kill off many people of the same level. It's very difficult to become a saint in this world, but since they've made a comeback, how would they dare to show themselves without confidence? Chi Luo said with a frown. In the heavenly village, there were about 120 people of all ages and genders. It wasn't a lot, but they were all natural-born assassins. That kind of instinct had melded into their bones. Yi Fan felt that if he found a mountain to establish a cult and dragged these people over, the foundation would be complete in an instant. This was a ready-made framework, so he didn't need to spend much effort. As for Chi Luo, he was originally passionate about building the celestial court and wanted to destroy hell and the human world. If he was asked to do the hard work, he would definitely fulfill his duty. You've passed the heavenly village's test and can now be considered the divine son of the celestial court, Chi Luo said. To hell with the divine son. No matter how I hear it, it sounds like I'm going to be ripped off. I've even personally killed one, so I definitely won't fall for it. Yi Fan shook his head. Could it be that you want to directly become the master of the celestial court? Right now, you're too far away from being number one under the heavens, Chi Luo said with a glare. Two days later, Yi Fan brought the Black Emperor, Li Tian, and Yan Ishi over and entered the heavenly village together. Brachi doesn't want to be the divine son, but I'm willing to. I'll throw caution to the wind and use my identity as the master of a cult to temporarily join the celestial court. Li Tian cried out in surprise. After that, he searched everywhere and said, if there's a divine son, there must be a peerless goddess, right? Please come out and let me take a look. There is indeed a goddess whose beauty can cause the downfall of cities and states. In the future, she will marry the divine son, Qi Luo said with narrowed eyes. Where? Let me take a look. Li Tian patted his chest and said, he was definitely going to become the divine son, and no one should snatch it from him. Not long after, a beautiful middle-aged woman carried a baby girl over. She was just a little over a year old and adorable. She was holding a milk bottle and making smacking noises. Divine son, divine son. The little fellow's words were unclear, but her smile was very cute. There was still baby fat on her face as she stretched out her hand and called out. F asterisk CK, this is the goddess. Old man, are you playing with me? Li Tian immediately became dispirited and drooped his head. Divine son. Big brother, hug. The little girl stretched out her hand and didn't seem to be afraid of strangers at all as she smiled at the group of people. Hey, brat, I'm calling you big brother. Why aren't you coming forward? The black emperor prodded Li Tian and knocked him forward with his butt. Li Tian received the little girl and directly passed her to Yi Fan. He said, hug your god as well. He said righteously, saying that he was the master of a sect and couldn't be the divine son of the celestial court anymore. Yi Fan didn't know whether to laugh or cry. The little girl was very cute. She blinked her big eyes and held a pacifier in her mouth as she smiled at them continuously. She stretched out her pink little hands and called them big brother one by one. It was unknown whether it was because she had been taught well in her daily life or because she was naturally sweet with words, but she wasn't afraid of them at all when they met for the first time. She even wanted to pull the large black dog's ear. Twenty years later, little Kay, will be a peerless beauty and will kill all those dragons, phoenixes, divine sons, and goddesses. Chi Luo was full of confidence as he said to Yi Fan and the others, little Kay, er, is not an ordinary child. Even if there is no one else, she will be able to level all the younger generation in hell and the human world by herself in the future. Yes. Little Kay, er, nodded seriously as if she was acting. Yi Fan discovered that this little baby girl was indeed a little special. She was so young, but she was already connected with the spiritual essence of heaven and earth. She was cultivating all the time. What kind of physique is this? 
The Black Emperor came forward and couldn't help but ask. She is born with a celestial root and is suitable for cultivation. She doesn't necessarily have to have a special physique. For example, Yao Guang Saint is said to have a mortal physique, but it is more powerful than many king physiques. It is also like the great ancient emperors. Other than a few individuals, who knows what kind of physique they have. You don't have any divine sons, right? I will give you one. Li Tian released Little Tong from his artifact. The moment the little fellow appeared, he opened his little mouth and cried. He immediately ran to Yifan's side and cried, calling him master. He was afraid that Li Tian would lock him up again. These days, he was really bored to death. He had been reading some boring books all day and reciting them non-stop. Alright, you can stay outside from now on. Yi Fan, the master, said very irresponsibly. This child is very special. Chi Luo stared at Little Tong. Of course he was special. The little fellow's whole body was glowing like a little sun, which made the little baby girl beside him very curious. She squeaked, her face full of smiles. Be good. I won't cry, little K, Er mumbled, blinking her large eyes. Everyone was speechless. This baby girl was so young, so what did she know? Did she really think she was a goddess? She was smiling and comforting her nephew who was older than her. Creating a sect is very troublesome. Elder Chi, I will leave the rear to you. I have to bring some people in. We are severely lacking in manpower now, Yi Fan said. Where are you going? Chi Luo asked. I will make a trip to the middle state. There are two people that I will feel uneasy if I don't capture and bring them in, Yi Fan said. Who is it? The few of them were shocked. Godly diviner, and that disciple of his. On that very day, Yi Fan and the others set off. The large black dog clamored. Back then, he had been ambushed. Perhaps godly diviner's shadow had played a role in it. This time, he wanted to settle the score thoroughly. Of course, there was another important reason why Yi Fan wanted to settle the score with godly diviner and his disciple. He wanted to find out whether Pang Bo and the others were still alive, and where they were now. He wanted to find all his old friends. Wait a moment, invite the old blind man over. Let this old swindler deal with godly diviner first. No matter what, we have to find the sect. We can't leave without even a trace. In the end, the old blind man was invited out of the mountain, and they crossed to the middle state together. They entered the Sky Evolution Mountain Range. This was a very strange place. There were countless stone mountains, and they were arranged in a very orderly manner. Yi Fan and the others stood in the sky and looked down. They were instantly stunned. This was a natural 8 trigrams diagram. There were thousands of towering mountains, and they were arranged together like an 8 trigrams diagram. The mighty power of nature had formed such a strange landscape. Chapter 842 the mountains rose and fell, a thousand peaks towering, forming a Sientian eight trigrams. It was engraved on the ground, extremely grand. Stone mountains dominated the area. Occasionally, ancient trees would take root between the rocky peaks, making the place even more verdant. The fragrance of one or two orchids filled the valley, making it extremely tranquil. The group ventured several dozen kilometers in, but none of them dared to be careless. Master Godly Diviner could be considered a genius of his generation, and the place he lived in seclusion was very strange. If they entered the strange door by mistake, they might get lost. The mysteries of heaven were unclear and everything was in chaos. This was the result of the old blind man's divination with the tortoise shell several times. He couldn't tell what was going on and it was like a place where heaven and earth had yet to be created. The tomb robber didn't come. Otherwise, I would have let him dig the robber's hole. With my guidance, the journey would be smooth, the black emperor said. After advancing for more than a hundred li, the fog began to rise. Moreover, it was extremely dense, and no one could be seen within a few meters. It was extremely strange. The mountain was completely silent, without the slightest sound. Amongst them, Yi Fan was not the only one who had cultivated the heavenly eye. The Black Emperor's third vertical eye could also see hundreds of miles away, but at this moment, he could not see through it. The gray mist rose very strangely, as if it had arrived at the Yellow Springs Road, approaching the Nine Underworlds step by step, about to push open a forbidden door. Why do I feel like he's digging his own grave? Step by step towards the underworld, Li Tian said. Yes, it's like we've stepped onto a path of no return. We're about to open the gates of hell. Yan Ishi also had this misconception. There was no path in front of them. A door appeared, waiting for them to push it open. Everyone's pores were filled with cold air, and their bodies were shivering. A door really appeared? Blind old man's heart sank. He tried divination again, but it was to no avail. This is an ancient formation that conceals the mysteries of heaven, the large black dog said. He bared his teeth, feeling like he had met his match, and began to carefully study the formation. Open up your goddess furnace. The human race's great sage's weapon can isolate heaven's mysteries. The blind old man was unconvinced. 
He had Yan Yishi take out the furnace and start a divination. The saint furnace was simple and natural. But as soon as it was activated, it began to sparkle and translucent, transforming from the mundane to the beautiful. The tortoise shell fell down. Crackling sounds rang out as the divination finally appeared. The road ahead is a great omen. Old Blind frowned. He's not simple. This person is proficient in formation patterns and ancient techniques. He'll be a good opponent, the large black dog said. His expression became serious. It isn't as simple as the formation patterns. He can indeed calculate, already knowing that we have arrived. The old blind man said. From ancient to modern times, there were many formation patterns, but those who obtained their essence were too few. Divine Diviner was, without a doubt, an exceptional individual who had reached perfection. He could change heaven and earth. I've met my match. The large black dog bared his teeth and forcefully smashed open the door in front of him. It was as if he had opened the door to the netherworld. All sorts of cries and wails traveled over from the front. Everything is fake. Don't worry, everyone. Watch how I break it. The large black dog threw in all kinds of formation flags, as well as phoenix soil, star stones, and other necessary materials to breach the formation. After waiting for a long time, the door disappeared, revealing a vast expanse in front of them. Even the mist had thinned, revealing a stone forest. There is no formation that cannot be broken. The black emperor boasted shamelessly. Be careful. He can divine the mysteries of heaven, so he knows more than this, Yi Fan reminded him, warning him not to get carried away. The large black dog walked in arrogantly. He raised his head, and said, don't worry, I'll take care of this. They all looked at each other. Was this dog reliable? With his behavior, there shouldn't be any problems if he followed them in, right? Woof, woof, woof. In just an instant, the large black dog's black fur stood on end. As if he had been struck by lightning, he fled. F asterisk CK, woof, it's haunted. The large black dog fled for his life. His bald tail was raised very high. If he hung a flag on it, it would become a flagpole. Clatter clatter. The iron chains rattled violently, and an old woman with disheveled hair rushed out from the depths of the stone forest. Her four limbs had been pierced by the chains, and she chased after the black emperor. Her white hair danced in the wind, and her expression was sinister. Howl. The black emperor howled in pain. His bald tail had been grabbed and bitten by the old woman, and all the fur on his body stood on end. Boom. Upon seeing this, Yi Fan hurriedly took action. He activated the diamond chakram, and it transformed into the size of a millstone. It shone with a bright silver light, and it smashed into the old woman's body. Clatter clatter. The iron chains rattled incessantly, and the old woman was sent flying. She crashed into the depths of the stone forest, but her body did not break into two. Instead, she let out a low roar. The black emperor was so frightened that he fled for his life. The black fur on his body stood on end, and he said, that scared me to death. Why did she suddenly appear? They were all speechless. This bastard had definitely asked for this. Just then, he had been full of confidence and boasting shamelessly, but in the end, he was chased out with his butt in his hands. F asterisk CK, I was bitten by a person. After the black emperor calmed down a little, he immediately stomped his feet in exasperation, and said, how many tens of thousands of years has it been? No one has ever dared to bite me. This was indeed true. Normally, he was the one who had bitten people. Even when Yi Fan had first met him, he had been bitten by dogs many times. There had been a time when his resentment had reached the heavens. Bite me again. F asterisk CK, I was bitten by a ghost. Could it be that I would go bite a ghost? The Black Emperor was rather indignant, and then said, Our profession is not suitable. We should have called that grave robber over. This is his field of expertise. Li Tian mumbled, Why did I hear that it was just treated as if you were bitten by a dog? Could it be that you would still bite a dog? That should be the case. What do you mean? The large black dog bared his teeth, and gave Li Tian a bite. F asterisk CK, why did you bite me? That old woman is waiting for you to bite her. Stop messing around, we have fallen into the godly diviner's trap. How is this a stone forest? This is an underground cave, the blind old man said. Yi Fan's heart trembled, and he carefully observed with his heavenly eye. He then sucked in a breath of cold air. The formation patterns were actually so miraculous that even the heavenly eye could be deceived. This was definitely a peerless divine formation. Unknowingly, they had entered the underground world. This was an incomparably eerie cave, and there was a stone room ahead. An old woman was chained up like a malicious spirit, and she was continuously struggling, wanting to rush over. I was tricked. It was true that we broke through the formation just now, but the main thing was that we were teleported underground after taking a step, and the surrounding illusions confused us, the Black Emperor said. This is an ancient corpse. 
It was incredibly powerful when it was alive, but it turned into a ghost soldier and was imprisoned here. This mountain region is truly not simple, the blind old man said. The teleportation formation is in the old woman's stone room, and that is the only way out of the ancient formation. We must kill her in order to escape from this underground world, the black emperor said. Leave it to me, Yenishi said. He held the goddess furnace in his hand, and with a light shake, the ancient great sage's weapon slowly awakened. Then, a wisp of fiery light shot out. Boom. This old woman was a king tier who had reached the advanced level when she was alive, and after turning into a ghost soldier, her physical body had become shockingly tough. However, under the power of the goddess furnace, she was instantly turned into dust. When they returned to the surface again, it was still covered in thick mist, and the sky couldn't be seen at all. It was as if they had arrived in the underworld. I will focus 120% of my attention. This time, there won't be any mistakes, the Black Emperor said. They weren't worried. After all, with the goddess furnace in their hands, the weapon that Eternal Universe Heavenly Emperor helped the path of carnal desire ancestor refine, even if it wasn't the strongest under Emperor weapons, it wasn't too far off. E, not simple. Chaotic energy curls about, and this place is about to become a primitive land, the blind old man said. This is the place where the dragon veins converge. Yi Fan's heart moved, and he said, let me lead the way. After speaking, he walked forward. Origin Heavenly Dao patterns flickered beneath his feet, and the Great Earth was actually changing positions, continuously shifting. All types of formation patterns were broken down. The Black Emperor was dumbstruck, and he said, Brat, not bad, you can actually break through the divine formation like this. You must lend me the Origin Heavenly Book to take a look. Have you reached the level of the Yuan Taoist Master? The blind old man asked in shock. There's still a long way to go, and even reaching that level isn't the end. I've seen Ancestor Zhang Lin's origin techniques, and they definitely surpass the Yuan Taoist masters. At that level, origin techniques have already become Tao laws, and can be compared to saints. At this moment, Yi Fan transformed into mountains, rivers, and veins of the earth. The mountains rumbled and continuously shifted, forming a large path. The scene was astonishing. Only at the very end did he stop, not daring to act rashly. The formation patterns in front of him were too profound, and he still wasn't the Yuan Taoist master, so he didn't dare to act rashly. Heavens, this is, a corner of the formation patterns of a great emperor. Godly diviner actually knows so much. The black emperor was astonished. He thought hard for a long time before making his move. The large black dog was determined this time, and directly carved out a corner of the Wuxia killing formation. He attacked with great force, wanting to break through this densely packed formation patterns. Within this mountain range, the aura of an ancient great emperor spread out, and a boundless killing intent rose up, sweeping through the nine heavens. This is going to be difficult. This old bastard really knows a lot. He's using all kinds of famous formations from ancient and modern times to bring out the full potential of the great emperor's formation patterns. The large black dog stood up in a pair of large flowery underpants. He crossed his chest with one paw, and stroked his chin with the other as he pondered for a long time. Boom! However, right at this moment, the ancient formation patterns in front of him suddenly disappeared. The two mountains moved apart, and a large path appeared. Moreover, all of the mist in the mountains disappeared. Huh. He's given up on defense? Could it be that he's admitting defeat? The Black Emperor was extremely surprised, and he was afraid that there was a trap. At the end of the path, a pair of children walked over timidly, and said in a soft and meek voice, Don't attack anymore. Ancestor invites you in. This was a boy and a girl, both of them around 11 or 12 years old. They wore Daoist robes, and their lips were red and teeth white. They were extremely beautiful, and there was a type of innate spiritual chi about them. They didn't seem like mortals, but rather like Daoist children of the celestial realm. These two people. The old blind man immediately paled, and he almost pounced over to hug the two children, scaring the pair of Daoist children so much that they immediately retreated in fear. What's wrong? Yi Fan asked. These are a pair of spiritual children, and they were born to deduce the mysteries of heaven. It's a rare sight that only appears once in thousands of generations. These two children live together, and even if they reveal the mysteries of heaven, they still have a way to resist the tribulation, the old blind man said excitedly. This pair of boy and girl were beautiful and tender, and they looked like a pair of brother and sister. Because the corners of their eyes and the tips of their brows were very similar, they both took a few steps back when they heard this, feeling a bit scared. Ancestor invites you in. They spoke softly. Divine diviner really isn't simple. He could even find spiritual children of this level. Truly heaven defying. The old blind man sighed in admiration. There weren't any majestic palaces ahead, and even more so, there weren't any vast caves. This was a peaceful pure land, and the scenery was extremely beautiful. Flowing springs, flying waterfalls, verdant wisteria, little bridges, and small pavilions. It was as if they had returned to nature. 
In the depths of a bamboo forest, there were a few thatched cottages. It was as if they had returned to their natural state, and it was as if they were in an otherworldly paradise. In front of the thatched cottage, there was an old Taoist with white hair and a beard. He sat on a prayer mat, and when he saw them, he stood up, and said, Esteemed guests, please forgive me for not being able to welcome you earlier. This was definitely an extraordinary person of his generation. There was a kind of celestial aura about him, and he was untainted by the mortal world. It was as if he didn't belong to this mortal world. They had originally come here to denounce him, but at this moment, they were all strangely calm. Divine Diviner invited them to sit down, and said, I know why you've come. Of course you know, the large black dog said. Your bloodline has schemed against us in every possible way, and today, the day of reckoning has come. The old Taoist sighed, and said, the person you're looking for is the father of these two children. He's already passed away two years ago. Tears instantly welled up in the eyes of the beautiful brother and sister behind him, and they used their loose Taoist robes to wipe away their tears. They appeared very weak and pitiful. Years ago, one of Divine Diviner's disciples had made countless divinations about Yifan, and if Pang Bo hadn't returned the god-striking whip to him in time to conceal his aura, he would have been captured by the people of the Yin Yang sect. Who are you trying to fool? How could there be such a coincidence? The Black Emperor didn't believe him. I won't lie, Divine Diviner said dejectedly. There are some things in this world that cannot be divined, and there are some mysteries of heaven that cannot be revealed. Otherwise, I will definitely suffer the wrath of heaven. The blind old man nodded. He was a person in this field, so he was naturally well aware of the various taboos involved. I'm also about to suffer a tribulation soon. Most likely, after you leave, a great calamity will descend upon this place. I've been cautious my entire life, but in the end, I've still revealed some heavenly secrets and said things that I shouldn't have said. As such, I'm about to face a tribulation. These two children can pass on my mantle, and you can take them with you. Please treat them well. Yi Fan and the others stared blankly. They had never imagined that they would hear Divine Diviner's final words. It was completely different from their original intentions. As of this moment, they felt a bit of reverence in their hearts. This was definitely a genius of a generation. Ignoring the level of his cultivation base, just his ability to divinate the mysteries of heaven was enough to shake the ancients and dazzle the contemporaries. Ancestral master, don't leave us behind. Father is already gone. Woo. The two children began to wail. Of the dozen or so disciples that Divine Diviner had taught, almost none of them had a good ending. Only two or three of them were still alive, but they were all in dire straits. It was my fault, Divine Diviner said. I only took a fancy to their talent, but didn't pay attention to their temperaments. None of them were the type of people who could control themselves. They divined the mysteries of heaven, but couldn't keep it a secret. Once word got out, disaster descended upon them. Divine Diviner seemed transcendent, and as tears rolled down his face, it was a strange sight to behold. The father of these two children was his youngest disciple, a man with incredible talent and aptitude. Because he had received a great favor from the Yin Yang sect, he had divined everything about Yi Fan over ten years ago, and had helped them. Divining a person shouldn't lead to the wrath of the heavens, right? Why did he die just like that? Divining a person isn't a problem, Master God Diviner said with a sigh. He divined a forbidden area, and met with a calamity. The patriarch of King Yuan's bloodline in the northern domain was just one step away from becoming the sixth Yuan Taoist master in history. But then, something bad happened to him in his later years. Two years ago, in the middle of the night, all kinds of wailing and ghostly cries resounded in their family. That ancestor disappeared, and my father was asked to help with the divination. In the end, in the middle of the night, sob sob. The two children cried as they spoke. Yuan Taoist master. Yi Fan's heart trembled. It was a curse that was very difficult to break. After all these years, someone who had been just one step away from reaching that level had met with a calamity in his later years. Yi Fan's heart was pounding. In this world, there are some things that you can't say irresponsibly, Master God Diviner said sadly. Has your disciple divined all of the secrets of the Yuan Taoist Master's later years? What other mysteries of heaven did you reveal that led to a calamity? All of them were very anxious. I couldn't stand the loneliness, Master God Diviner said. I divined the secrets of the primeval emperor, and that caused a calamity. Boom. As soon as the words left his mouth, an enormous bolt of lightning descended from the sky, destroying the thatched cottage and leaving behind a terrifying, bottomless black hole. The two children were so frightened that they began to cry, trembling like frightened deer. They hugged each other, looking very pitiful. See? My great calamity is coming, and I'll face it at any moment. Master God Diviner chuckled, as if he could see through everything in the world, and then looked up into the boundless sky. Chapter 843 The few of them felt their hair stand on end as they stared at the gigantic hole in the ground. They then glanced at each other in dismay. This was like a bolt of lightning on a sunny day, strange and mysterious. 
The thatched cottage had been completely destroyed, leaving behind only a pitch-black cave that led deep underground. Master Godly Diviner had long since seen through life and death. He looked up at the boundless sky, where countless secrets were hidden. He let out a long sigh. He was finally going to be free and end everything. The ancient emperors had long since died, and there was ample evidence in the world. However, the cultivation realms and domains they had set foot in were filled with countless secrets, hidden by the heavens. Just now, Master Godly Diviner had only mentioned it briefly and hadn't divulged any heavenly secrets, yet there were already such terrifying consequences. Yi Fan thought of the heavenly tribulation, the palaces that resembled ancient heaven, as well as the human-shaped lightning. It truly made one's imagination run wild. Ancestor, don't leave us behind. The two children stood beside Master Godly Diviner, shaking his arms. Their faces were filled with terror. The two of you are spiritual children born together, one male and one female, one yang and one yin. You can help each other reduce calamities. In the future, as long as you don't step into the forbidden heavenly secrets, you won't encounter any calamities. Master Godly Diviner was extremely benevolent as he stroked the two children's heads. He knew that he didn't have long to live and that it would be difficult for him to defy the heavens. He told Yifan and the others to treat the two spiritual children well, saying that they would be of great benefit to them in the future. If news of Master Godly Diviner and trusting his two children to the outside world, it would definitely cause a huge uproar. It was unknown how many great powers would fight to the death over them. These two spiritual children would become deities in the future, capable of divining and divining the mysteries of heaven. The blind old man's heart trembled. Master Godly Diviner had entrusted the two spiritual children to them, so he must have divined something. You want to ask someone, right? This is just a small path and can't be considered divulging the mysteries of heaven. Let me help you with divination. Master Godly Diviner closed his eyes. When he heard the names of Pang Bo, Wu Zhongtian, Dong Fang Yi, and the others, he began to make divinations. Pang Bo was in the immortal realm and was experiencing all sorts of illusionary tribulations. If he passed through it, there would be a great opportunity. Yi Fan was overjoyed. Dong Fang Ye's body had been tempered in purgatory. If he took a step back, he would die. If he passed a hundred trials, he would survive. If he wanted to survive, he would need an iron heart and willpower. This left everyone stupefied. One was in the immortal realm, while the other was in the purgatory realm. This really was extreme. However, they were both suffering a tribulation, needing to make it through in order to survive. Tu Fei was dead. He would be dead for several thousand years. It would be hard for him to meet his old friends in the future. Hearing this news, everyone's heart sank. The saddest thing in the world was to be separated by life and death. Lu Ko was dead, and it would be difficult for him to appear in this world again. This made everyone feel a wave of sadness, as they were powerless to change anything. When he tried to divine Little Nan Nan, Master Godly Diviner couldn't divine anything. She had no past, no future. Her life was a complete mess. Master God Diviner was known for his ability to divine all things in the world, but right now, he was completely helpless. There was no way he could understand the cause and effect, and he began to sweat. This person cannot be counted. Then, his expression immediately changed. He opened his mouth and spat out a mouthful of scarlet blood, drenching his Taoist robe. He quickly cut off heaven's mysteries as if he was avoiding a ghost snake. Wu Zhongtian and Jiang Huiren were still alive. They were trapped in a cage, and they would meet again in the future. This made everyone sigh in relief. Taoist priest, can you help me divine when I will become an emperor? The large black dog's skin was extremely thick, and he asked for a divination. When I meet an immortal. Master Godly Diviner smiled. What do you mean? If I meet an immortal, what use is there for me to become an emperor? The large black dog was furious. There were no immortals in this world. This was clearly saying that he couldn't prove his Tao. How many wives and concubines will I have in the future? If there are too many, I won't be able to manage them all, Li Tian asked with a fervent expression. One person will be enough, Master Godly Diviner said. What? Aren't you trying to trick me? You can't make irresponsible remarks. Are you saying that I only have one wife, or that I alone will be enough? Li Tian was anxious. Senior, I just want to ask you, can I return to my hometown? Yi Fan asked solemnly. Yes. Master Godly Diviner nodded, and gave an affirmative answer. However, after thinking about it carefully, he hesitated. Senior, what do you want to say? Yi Fan asked. Some things could often be predicted, but the ending could not be predicted. He was afraid that some unforeseen events would occur. It won't be too long, Master Godly Diviner said. He could only give a rough prediction. Otherwise, if he revealed the details of the future, it would be equivalent to revealing the secrets of heaven. Finally, it was time for them to part. The pair of brother and sister wept bitterly, unwilling to part with Master Godly Diviner, and clung tightly to his arm, unwilling to let go. 
Fate has come to an end, Master Godly Diviner said softly, like a leaf that will eventually wither. If there is reincarnation, we will meet again after thousands of lifetimes, Master Godly Diviner said softly, and then branded the heaven-stealing technique into their immortal platforms. In the end, Yi Fan and the others carried the two children away, bowed to Master Godly Diviner, and left the mountain range. Boom! Not long after they left, a bolt of lightning struck down, connecting the heavens and the earth, inundating the entire area. What? Is that still lightning? They were all dumbfounded. There was only a single bolt of lightning, yet it was thicker than dozens of mountains combined. It stretched from the heavens all the way to the earth, and it didn't dissipate. One line lightning. The old blind man's expression was grave as he gazed into the distance. The people of this domain all wanted to grasp that one, but it was impossible. Perhaps it could be seen before one's death, and all mysteries would be revealed. They knew that without a miracle, there was no way Master Godly Diviner could defy the heavens. It would be difficult for him to survive. For the sake of leaving behind a glimmer of hope for the two children, they resolutely crossed the void and left, not looking back again. Grandpa, Grandpa Ancestor. The two children wept heart splitting, lungs splitting. They reached out their little hands to grab backwards, but they couldn't grab onto anything. They didn't immediately return to Heavenly Village, but instead wandered about many places in Central Continent, wanting to calm the two spiritual children down. In the end, they crossed over, returning to the northern region. This was an oasis, plants flourishing and full of life. More than ten years ago, Zhang Wuya and the others moved their stone stronghold here. Now, the people in the stone stronghold lived rich lives, no longer as laborious as in the past. Everything was peaceful and auspicious. Several months ago, they agreed to meet here. Li Heishui had already arrived, dragged along by Zhang Wuya to drink heartily. After not seeing him for many years, the old man had clearly aged quite a bit. When Yi Fan and the others arrived, the stone stronghold became noisy. Many villagers surrounded them, and there were people everywhere in front of the bonfire at night. The fragrance of meat and wine wafted through the air, as lively as if they were celebrating a new year. Yi Fan took out a drop of the immortal true dragon herb. He didn't feel that it was a pity to extend the life of a mortal like Zhang Wuya. He was grateful to the Zhang bloodline. Without their source heavenly book, he wouldn't have what he had today. The ones who changed the most in the stone stronghold were Wang Shu and Dumbo, as well as the people in charge of the mind's order that Yi Fan had appointed in the past. They had dual pupils, their foreheads shone, and their blood became pure silver. Their cultivation advanced so quickly. The Black Emperor was quite shocked. Back then, when he discovered the two's changes, he taught them the Tao of cultivation. Now, these two were self-taught, already becoming cultivators of the Dragon Transformation Realm. Their speed of improvement left one speechless. They definitely couldn't compare to the people in front of them, but one had to know that they had come from nothing. They had no one to guide them and had fumbled around on their own. Uncrowned Emperor on this night, the monkey also rushed over. After seeing the two silver blood and various special characteristics, he was shocked. He grabbed them forcefully and began to question them in detail. The Yuan Taoist master had brought back two infants in his later years. They weren't humans at all, and their bloodlines had been sealed by him using heaven-defying methods. These were the ancestors of Wang Shu and Lei Bo. Yi Fan had heard Zhang Wuya mention this before, and now he asked him to explain it in detail again. The monkey didn't speak for a long time after listening. During the Archaic Era, powerful clans stood in great numbers. It was unknown how many times they rose and fell. They were used to seeing the tragedies of great clans that ruled over the world being annihilated in a single night. Among them, there was one clan that had experienced ups and downs. Although they had never produced an ancient emperor, they had ruled over the world several times and were known as the Uncrowned Emperor. Their population was small, and their blood was pure silver. They possessed terrifying talents, and once they grew up, they would become terrifying and powerful. Although they weren't emperors, the great sage was endless. Even the imperial clan didn't dare to provoke them. Unfortunately, they provoked an existence they shouldn't have provoked in the archaic era. It was rumored that they wanted to enter the immortal mausoleum, but in the end, their entire clan was buried. Such a great background? Everyone present was a little dumbfounded. The Yuan Taoist master traveled everywhere. After the ominous event happened in his later years, his actions became even stranger. He entered the immortal mausoleum, charged into the ruins of God, and saw Im soldiers passing by. It wasn't strange for him to bring back two silver-blooded infants. The Yuan Taoist master indeed has unfathomable methods. He found the uncrowned emperor clan that should have been extinct long ago. It's really shocking. The monkey's eyes lit up as he looked at the people surnamed Lei and Wang in the stone stronghold. Then, he sighed softly and said, it's a pity that their bloodline is too thin. They can't be compared to the silver bloodline of the past. Otherwise, they would be a great emperor clan in name only. However, he suddenly turned around and stared at Lei Bo and Dumbo. They broke through the bloodline seal and forcefully broke the shackles. 
This is a sign of atavism. It means that their bloodline is as powerful as their ancestors. They are the pure-blooded descendants of the uncrowned emperor clan. The people of the stone stronghold are all treasures. Even if their bloodline is thin, they can still break the seal and grow into powerhouses. The black emperor's eyes lit up. Of course, he couldn't tell these villagers. Only Zhang Wuya, Wang Shu, and Dumbo knew the truth. When they returned to the heavenly village, Chi Luo was so happy that his single eye was almost closed into a slit. Then, he finally couldn't help but laugh out loud. Who can compete with the celestial court for the fortune of heaven and earth in the future? He stared at the two spiritual children, Little Tong, and Little K, Burr, and then he grabbed the two silver-blooded people. Even without Yi Fan in the future, as long as Tong, Little K, Burr, and the two spiritual children could grow up, they would be invincible in the world. With a physique that was exactly the same as the Holy Emperor of Sun, coupled with Little K, Ur's graceful demeanor of killing all the kings, and the two spiritual children who could deduce the mysteries of heaven and seek fortune and avoid calamity, who could stand against them? Of course, if they could keep the son of the Emperor of fighting and ensure that nothing happened to the sacred body of the ancients, then they would be even more invincible. In the future, they wouldn't even have to fear the kings of the ancient times. Tong is a sign of atavism, just like the Holy Emperor of Sun's physique. I heard that you have a younger sister who has a Taiyin physique. In order to find you, she has been in seclusion in the Jiang family. Now that you're back, you can go and ask her to come out. If it's possible, invite her to stay with us for a few days, Chi Luo said. No matter how one looked at it, he sounded a little treacherous, making people want to slap him. You're trying to capture all the strongest physiques in the world in one fell swoop, aren't you? Yi Fan grumbled. Of course. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to be the best in the world. I'm not going to recreate the ancient dynasty of killers, but the real legendary celestial court. Chapter 844 Early in the morning, the morning sun shone brilliantly, shining down and breaking through the mist, making one's heart light up as well. Yi Fan sat cross-legged on a short mountain, continuously breathing in and out. White innate spiritual essence flowed in and out of his mouth and nose like a dragon, rumbling like thunder. Not far away, a few children were also seriously cultivating, swinging their fists and kicking their legs. They were extremely serious. Tong Tong was only five years old, but he was Yi Fan's first disciple. After escaping from the hands of demon, Li Tian, he was especially serious. He faced the morning sun and practiced his fists methodically. His entire body was glowing, as if he could resonate with the sun. Gu Fei and Gu Lin, this pair of siblings, were only eleven years old. They were also very talented, and they were also very serious. They had already adapted to the life in the heavenly village. As for the last one, Tainita, he was purely a child. Little K, or was only a little over one year old. She held a pacifier in her mouth, hobbling as she walked. Her little hands moved about randomly as she cried out, ha, ha, ha. Her childish voice was really funny. They were the future hope of the celestial court. Even if the others had all fallen and only these four little things were left, perhaps they could still support a flourishing godly dynasty and rule over the world. Woof, woof, woof. On the other side, the Black Emperor stuck out his bright red tongue and opened his bloody mouth. He was like a 10,000-year-old demon that had come into being, madly running, chasing after Wang Shu and Dumbo. To put it nicely, it was a special hellish training to force out the true potential of the silver-blooded imperial family. If they fell behind, they would be beaten. His mouth full of cold dog teeth could definitely tear their bodies apart. Too weak. How can they be called uncrowned emperors like this? The two of you, carry that mountain and run, the large black dog shouted. His special training was really very ruthless, squeezing out their potential with all his might. He made the two of them carry a stone mountain to walk, eat, and sleep. Ao. In the end, Wang Shu and Dumbo's miserable cries didn't even sound like a human's. Just hearing them was enough to make one's hair stand on end. It could be imagined how much they had suffered. However, the Black Emperor said that this was the return of their wildness, the recovery of their royal blood, and the awakening of their ancestral power. Everyone rolled their eyes when they heard this. Humph, humph, ha ha. Little Kay, or fell to the ground with the pacifier in her mouth. She stayed there and refused to get up. Her large eyes blinked as she watched with great interest as the large black dog chased after the two pitiful fellows. The other three children were painstakingly cultivating. Essence energy flowed in and out of every pore of their bodies, making them sparkling and translucent. This was a very loving scene that made people feel full of vitality. It's good to be young. Chi Luo sighed. He squinted his single eye and had an envious look on his face. He was lying on an ancient pine tree that extended out of the cliff, facing the morning glow. He grabbed a purple gold gourd and poured wine into his mouth. He was very satisfied and satisfied. Yi Fan passed on the Xing formula to him. This old man was getting more and more mysterious. 
If the celestial court wanted to rise, it needed him to become a saint. Otherwise, how could it fight against the killing saints of hell and the human world? On the other side, Yanishi was playing chess with an old man from the heavenly village. They had been playing for three days and three nights, and they hadn't moved a single step. As for Li Tian, he was both in pain and happiness as he carried out a game of assassination with the young girls from the heavenly village. He had tender and protective feelings for the fairer sex, but the beauties from the celestial court were each more ruthless and ruthless than the last. The heavenly sword had almost left a bloody hole on his body several times. Brother monkey, let's have a spar. Yi Fan finished breathing and stood up. The monkey was on the opposite mountain. Under the morning glow, the golden fur on his body was dazzling. When he heard this, he loudly agreed and rushed over like a bolt of golden lightning. Boom! Once these two people with physiques that were rarely seen throughout the ages started to fight, it was truly like a comet colliding with the Emperor Star. The children all fell to the ground on their butts. Son of God! Son of God! Little Kay, er, cried out while biting on her pacifier, waving her pink little hands. You two destructive maniacs, don't fight here. Chi Luo forcefully chased them away and teleported them far away. The celestial court had just been built, and it was becoming more and more prosperous with each passing day. This kind of atmosphere made people happy. There was endless hope in front of them, and once they rose up in the future, even the sky wouldn't be able to cover them. This place of yours is truly desolate. Half a month later, Ji Ziyue came with a large pile of information, all of which were related to hell and the human world. These were all top secret documents that were stolen from the Ji family scripture pavilion. There were many secrets that were not known to others, and they were exceptionally valuable. The family head is going to retire soon, and now he wants to support my brother to become the Ji family head, so he can't casually come out. Ji Ziyue's words caused Ji Fan, Li Heishui, and the others to be a little stunned. You guys are too uninformed. Ji Ziyue teased little K, er, while revealing some earth-shattering news. The Alcade Sacred Leader had half abdicated and started to delegate power to the Alcade Sacred Son. In a few years, he would officially rule the Alcade Sacred Leader. The water flows east, the curtains of the older generation are about to fall, and a great era of kings has finally arrived. Yi Fan sighed. Once upon a time, he needed to look up to the sacred leaders, and now, the younger generation had also risen to such heights. The Alcade Sacred Son used only one hand to suppress the joint attacks of the sacred children of the past 2000 years, and easily took the position. The first thing he did was to resonate with the black gold dragon pattern cauldron, and he stood in front of the most unimaginable emperor weapon in the world for nine days and nine nights. There were too many legends about the birth of the black gold dragon pattern cauldron, and it was the most unimaginable miracle in the world. 50,000 years of praying, 50,000 years of kowtowing, and the painstaking efforts of the predecessors still couldn't make it reach the Tao. In that night of thunder and lightning, no one knew what happened. It became an emperor weapon in a single night. The mystery of the ages remained unsolved. The most unimaginable weapon was not weaker than any ancient imperial weapon or great emperor weapon, and it even had a unique advantage. Time flies, the Alcade Sacred Sun is about to become the ruler of the generation. He will control the black gold dragon pattern cauldron, and from then on, he will look down on the world. Li Heishui sighed. Not long after, news came from middle ground that the Xia Imperial Prince had ascended to the throne and officially became the ruler of Xia, successfully winning over his brothers. Then, the news that Yao Yuakong had become the ruler of Sky Demon Palace also spread throughout the world. Almost at the same time, news came from the southern mountains that Nan Yao had entered the Demon Imperial Palace and became one of the rulers, officially standing at the peak of power. A few days later, news came from Middle Ground that Middle Emperor had successfully severed the Tao, and on the day of success, a purple sun appeared in the sky, clouds of nine tribulations descended, and divine milk gushed out from the earth. Once this news came out, the world was shocked. This was the scene of an ancient emperor when he severed the Tao at a young age. Everyone was shocked, and it could even be called a blowout. Another rumor said that a young Buddha from the western desert had cultivated half of the six syllables incantation. He walked among the famous mountains and ancient temples, and he had the aura of a Buddha. I'm getting old. The rise of the younger generation makes me feel like the sun is setting in the west. The scenery is still there, but the people are going to die. An old man from Heavenly Village sighed. Over the past few days, Yanishi had been playing chess with him. She had learned quite a number of mental Tao laws from him and had benefited greatly. Hee <laughs> hee, K has to grow up faster. Little K, er, sucked on her pacifier and clenched her fists. She could finally speak more clearly. From then on, Ji Ziyue would often come and cross the void happily. Sometimes, she would laugh craftily, sometimes she would laugh heartlessly, and sometimes she would laugh until she cried. Ji Haoyue, who was about to become the Divine Lord, came personally and completely flipped out. He wanted to kill Yi Fan, but he was stopped by others. He talked with Yi Fan for a night, and then he pulled Ji Ziyue away. Brother, what are you doing? 
Ji Ziyue was unhappy. Divine Diviner predicted that in the near future, he will leave this world and return to the other side of the starry sky. It will be different from the last time. Ji Haoyue said. Yi Fan might not be able to stay in this world for long. He might disappear completely one day, so he didn't want to leave a sad memory for others. Do you want to leave with him? If you have the determination, I won't object. Ji Haoyue said. I. Ji Ziyue cried. Her parents, brother, and the people closest to her were all in this world, so how could she leave? From then on, Ji Ziyue would still come often. She would smile brightly, but sometimes she would cry while smiling, which made one's heart ache. Yi Fan would often stroll with her, either facing the morning glow or stepping on the moon and stars. Divine Diviner's prediction made him feel so abrupt, and there was too much reluctance in his heart. The starry sky was too far. Once he set foot on the way back, there was nothing left to talk about. Yi Fan wanted to go more easily and leave more joy for others. He talked about many things of the past, and Ji Ziyue's smile widened after listening to him, but she couldn't hide her disappointment. She said that when she became a saint, she would definitely follow his footsteps to the other side of the starry sky. She smiled and shed tears. She wanted to see what kind of magnificent and incredible world that was. Half a month later, Little Tingting, Ting, who had been separated for many years, appeared. She came out from the Jiang clan and found her way here. Now, she was already a slender and elegant young lady. Extreme Yin Body Qi Luo's eyes widened. He rubbed his hands and walked forward. There was no need to mention the warmth he felt. He was just short of recognizing her as his adopted granddaughter. Sister. Sister. Little Kay, Earth swayed and hugged her leg, unwilling to let go. Not far away, Tong Tong was also shocked. His blood had returned to its ancestral state and was exactly the same as the Sun Saint Emperor's physique. Now, he felt an indescribable reaction when facing the extreme mean body. Yi Fan sighed. The little girl from the past had grown up. In the past, she and Uncle Jiang depended on each other for survival and were bullied. Little Tingting, Ting, who was only a few years old, was very pitiful. She wore old patched clothes and cried constantly, protecting the old man from those bullies. Brother, you're finally back. Tingting Ting cried loudly and threw herself forward. She truly regarded Yi Fan as her closest family. Yi Fan comforted her with a smile. He ruffled her hair and asked, is Uncle Jiang doing well? Tingting Ting replied that he was fine, but she often talked about him. She really wanted to see him again and drink a few cups of old wine together. She regarded him as her biological grandson who had left home for many years. Yi Fan was absent-minded. Back then, it was Uncle Jiang and Little Tingting Ting who made him feel at home for the first time in this world. It was a very warm memory that was worth cherishing forever. I'll go and visit him, he said with a smile. Extreme Yin Body Little girl, I only have one good-for-nothing grandson. I really hope to have a granddaughter. Chi Luo ran back and forth and finally revealed his fox's tail. It was obvious that he wanted to pull Tingting Ting into the sect. Now, little Tingting Ting had already grown up and become a woman of peerless beauty. Her cultivation was also extremely high. The extreme mean body allowed her to cultivate at lightning speed and was already a powerhouse. Yi Fan thought of something and passed the remnant of the ancient extreme Yin scripture to her. Then, he gave her the sparkling and translucent skull of the saint. This was seized from the divine son of extreme Yin. Perhaps it contained the secret of the entire ancient scripture because this saint's resentment had never disappeared. Brother Ifei defeated the divine physique of the clan and will become the divine lord soon. Little Ting Ting's news shocked many people. The divine king physique of the Jiang clan was defeated and Jiang Ifei actually became the divine lord. This was truly out of everyone's expectations. Yi Fan wasn't too surprised. Among the people he knew, there were three people that gave him a very special impression. They were Hua Yunfei, Yao Guang Saint Child, and Jiang Ifei. They were all very refined and otherworldly. They were all unfathomable and couldn't be seen through with a single glance. Brother Ifei told me to remind you to be careful of Hua Yunfei. He is even more terrifying than you imagine. Little Tingting Ting brought this news. When Jiang Yifei went out to train, he had once seen Hua Yunfei in a barren mountain. He broke open an ancient saint's tomb and dissolved the remaining part of its origin. For the sake of becoming stronger and keeping a low profile, he entered the ancient tomb and stole the origin left behind by the saint. How terrifying is he now? Li Heishui was astonished. It won't work if it's not him. I hope to meet him. Yi Fan said. He reminded Chi Luo to operate and develop the celestial court now and treat it as if he had already left. That was because that day might come very suddenly. Chapter 845 God Diviner had said that in the near future, Yi Fan would be able to return to the other side of the starry sky. However, he had no idea how far away that was, or how long it would take. Would it be a few months, a few years, or even a few decades? Cultivators could live for hundreds of years. 
A few years was a short time, and a few decades wasn't a long time. But how could he wait that long? He had been here for more than twenty years. How long could his gray-haired parents wait? The saddest thing in life was to lose one son in old age. In the hearts of the elderly, their children were their only hope. For them to die before them was the greatest blow. Yi Fan couldn't imagine the grief his parents must have felt when he disappeared from Mount Tai. Thinking of his gray-haired parents murmuring to themselves in their old age, trembling as they caressed his picture, he felt as if a knife was twisting in his heart. He had always been afraid that by the time he returned, things would be different. All these years, he had been desperately cultivating, all for the sake of returning. Even if it was just a glance, sitting together and having a reunion meal, it would make the white-haired parents smile like they used to in the past through muddy tears. When he had left, his parents had already aged. Now that more than twenty years had passed, he was afraid that they would be sad, and their health would deteriorate. Or even. Every time he thought of this, Yi Fan's heart would ache, and his eyes would blur. The greatest kindness in the world was the kindness his parents had shown him. In the final moments of their lives, when they missed him the most, he was in a foreign land, unable to return. It was hard to bear. Having lost their only son in their old age, the two of them were in a miserable state of mind. His father's back was no longer straight, and his mother's hair was even whiter. How could they bear it? Other people cultivated to prove their Tao, but Yi Fan's greatest goal had always been to go back and see his parents again. Longevity? Great Emperor? Immortality? To him, nothing was more important than being able to see his parents again. This was human emotion. A stubborn rock was immortal. So what if it existed forever? It was still cold. What did it know about human emotion? Cold and wooden for all eternity. If he abandoned his parents just to live longer in this world, then what was the point? To be as cold as a rock. To abandon one's true nature. Ever since he came to this world, he had only been quietly working towards his goal. He had never made a vow or said anything. Now that he found out that he might really be able to go back in the near future, he wouldn't give up no matter what, because he wasn't a cold and detached stone. He had a filial and pure heart. In order not to make his aged parents cry, in order not to make the white-haired old man sad, in order not to make the two old people wake up from their dreams, even if his body was crushed, he would go back, just so that they would no longer be lonely and sad in their old age. He was also reluctant to part with this world. There were friends who could go through life and death with him, beauties who could topple the world with him, a future that could inspire him to work hard, and a great secret that was worth exploring. Everything was so tempting, but he had no choice but to make a choice. Just like how he could not bear to part with his parents, Ji Ziyue could not bear to part with her father, mother, and brother. She could not bear to part with this world and wanted to pursue his footsteps when their fate was over. Even though the Black Emperor had no relatives or friends, he was not willing to leave his own world. He missed Wu Shir the Great and was willing to stay in his homeland, even if he could only guard his tomb in the end. Everyone had their own perseverance and hope, because this was the true nature of people. The greatest motivation for Yi Fan's cultivation in this world was to return home and persevere, not to prove his Tao. There wasn't much time left. His parents couldn't wait any longer, but his friends in this world still had a long lifespan. His departure would make his old friends sad, but they could still continue their original path of life. But if he didn't go back, his parents would be sad and desperate, and they would die. Although he struggled and felt helpless, he had to make a choice. Filial piety was the most important of all virtues. He was just an ordinary person with flesh and blood. He could not forget the kindness of his parents for raising him. Blood was thicker than water. He would not be narcissistic to think that the world would stop without him. Even without him, his friends would still live on. He was just someone who had yet to sever the Tao. He was not a supreme existence that could suppress the nine skies and ten lands. His friends and lovers did not live under his protection. It could even be said that the background of these people was far stronger than his. Victorious fighting Buddha, the great emperor family, the peerless white-robed god king, Chi Luo who was about to become a killing saint, the top bandit of the north region who had successfully become a saint. They were far more powerful than him. Monkey, Ji Ziyue, Ting Ting, Li Heishue and the others had people who were stronger than him. He had never been their protector. As for Ji Ziyue, if they could not be together, he did not know if they could meet again. What could he use to promise her? He might as well give her blessings and let her go further. He would enlighten her. She should have her own dazzling starry sky. Although Yi Fan was sad, he could not cry. He could only do it silently and let these people walk on their original path. They should not change their path because of him. Are you really going back? Li Heishue asked. He sat on the cliff. I am going back. Yi Fan nodded. You have to think it through. More than twenty years have passed. Perhaps things have already changed, and that's not the outcome you want to see, the monkey said as he sat on an ancient tree branch that extended beyond the cliff. Even if there is only a sliver of hope, I have to go back. 
even if I have to face the cruelest outcome. Yi Fan said in a low voice. Honestly speaking, I understand your feelings. If I have a chance to return to the primordial era, I would rather give up everything and return. Sadly, I don't even have a sliver of hope. Monkey sighed. You have to be mentally prepared. Yen Yishi said. He sat on a huge rock at the side of the cliff. Yi Fan did not hide anything from them. He told them about his past. They could guess some of the things that might have happened during these years. This is my obsession. If I cannot return, I might go crazy one day or even suffer from qi deviation. Yi Fan said. This is human emotion. Li Heishui sighed. Some people spend their entire lives in seclusion for cultivation, some are trapped by love, some are stubborn until old age, and some are peaceful until the end of their lives. This is human nature and emotion. They all have their own pursuits and perseverance. They all have their own sustenance, Yi Fan said. The few of them sighed. There was no reason for them to stop him from leaving. The monkey grabbed a purple gold gourd and drank a mouthful of it. He handed it over to the few of them one by one. The gourd contained thousand-year-old divine wine, and it was obvious that it was stolen from Qi Luo. Goddamn monkey, you stole my wine again. That was my last bottle of thousand-year-old wine. I will kill you. Qi Luo's heart-wrenching screams came from afar. The few people on the cliff immediately jumped like chickens and dogs, like rabbits leaping and falcons descending, fleeing into the distance. The large black dog was the last to leave. He gulped down the wine gourd on the ground until there was not a drop left. He burped and created a formation platform, passing through the void and leaving. Ah ah ah! Chi Luo screamed miserably. He reached the cliff and picked up the wine gourd. He was heartbroken and cursed continuously. Ancestor, K, or wants to drink too. A little guy with a pacifier in his mouth shook his trouser leg. It's so fragrant. Tong Tong, Gu Fei, and Gu Lin also sniffed with their perky little noses, their faces full of desire. Let me tell you, this is poison. You are not allowed to touch it in the future. Chi Luo warned. He was really afraid that before he could suppress the big drunkard, a group of small drunkards would grow up again. If that happened, there would not be a single bottle left in his collection. The future of the celestial court was infinitely bright. Anyone could see that as long as these children grew up, as long as people with the extreme Yin physique and the son of the emperor of fighting were roped in, it would become an invincible divine court in the future. The large black dog was especially valued by Chi Luo. He was almost worshipped just so that he could carve the formation patterns of the great emperor Wu Shi to protect the mountain gate. However, the black emperor currently lacked interest. He always felt that training two members of the silver blood imperial family would give him a greater sense of accomplishment. He said that he would train two silver blood emperors, the heaven destroying prince and Yuan Gu, in the future. Can you guys not look at me like that? It's as if I'm going to leave. Although the godly diviner said that, it might still take a few years, Yi Fan said. One look is one less look. Hurry up and take a few more looks, the large black dog said. Damn dog, do you know how to speak? It's not like I'm going to die. Yi Fan kicked him. The black emperor shamelessly walked over, and said, in any case, you're going to leave. Just give me the immortal Kirin herb and the myriad energy cauldron. You're really heartless. You're not feeling conflicted because I'm going to leave, but because you're thinking about the things I have. I'll strangle you to death. Yi Fan strangled his neck. Woof, I'm just afraid that you'll die on the way and lose these celestial treasures. Beat this damned dog. A group of people walked up and beat the Black Emperor together. Waves of dog barks rang out, and the somewhat sorrowful atmosphere was somewhat washed away by this. This time, I'm going to leave, and the time is uncertain. I want to kill a group of people before I leave. Who do you have in mind? Yi Fan asked. Wang Tang. Yuan Gu. Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman. The mysterious people who ambushed us, we only know that there's a crippled nine orifices stone golem among them. His identity is unknown. They casually mentioned a few people they wanted to kill, and then they all shook their heads, saying that there was no need for him to do anything. They would deal with them themselves in the future. This was especially so for the monkey, who was even more vehement in his refusal. He wanted to kill everyone himself. Yet he had the right to say this. As the sacred prince, he himself had already severed his Tao. Looking out, if not saints, who could contend against him? Brother monkey, let's compete and see who can kill more people. Yi Fan said. The world was stained with blood, and some people were destined to fall. He reminded Li Heishui, Li Tian, and the others not to make a move. This time, they just had to watch quietly and use this period of time to cultivate. The monkey's uncle was now confirmed to be still alive. He sat on Mount Meru and overlooked the entire land. The sacred prince went to take revenge, and no one dared to find trouble with him. My grandfather has passed away, and the old fart is finally willing to accept me as a disciple, Li Heishui said. 
I'll go cultivate after this period of time, but I'll often come to the celestial court to take a look. This time, even if Yi Fan left, he would be very at ease. Other than Li Tian and Yan Yishi, almost everyone else had the shadow of a saint behind them. The victorious fighting Buddha, the Southern Mountains Barbarian War God, the Ji Clan, the peerless white-robed Divine King, the number one bandit old fart, Chi Luo, and the others were all pressuring them to the point where they couldn't breathe. Let me introduce you to a saint master. Yi Fan smiled at Li Tian and the others. Chapter 846 Who? Li Tian was bewildered. He and Yan Yishi naturally didn't need a master. Yi Fan said this because he wanted to find a protector for them. That day, Little Tingting led the way. Yi Fan's group went to the Jiang family to seek an audience with the Divine King in white. The goddess furnace came from the hands of Emperor Hang Yu, and there were mysterious Tao patterns engraved on the furnace walls. If Divine King Jiang studied it, he might be able to comprehend something. Thus, it would be difficult for him to refuse taking them as his disciples. The atmosphere of the Clan of the Ancients was still the same, majestic and awe-inspiring. Mountains that would never sink were suspended in the air, towering into the clouds. Silver waterfalls cascaded down like heavenly rivers, and the clouds were steaming with multicolored light. Arriving at this place was like witnessing the primordial era where the ancient emperors lived. Everything was so beautiful and majestic that it was shocking. In the depths of the hundreds of mountains suspended in the air, there were many divine temples and an immortal ancient city. That was the most important place in the Jiang family. Jiang Yifei personally came out to welcome them. His white clothes were elegant, and he had a gentle smile on his face. One look at him would give people a good impression. A person who defeated the divine physique of the Jiang family would attract attention no matter how low-key he was. His smile was otherworldly and dazzling. He was the future master of the Jiang family, so he was very friendly to them. He invited them to a divine island and entered an ancient main tower. This was a very high standard of treatment that only sect masters could enter. After so many years, Brother Yi is even more elegant than before. Jiang Yifei ordered someone to serve tea. Yi Fan replied with a smile and then told him why he was here. However, he was disappointed. The Divine King in White was traveling the world and didn't stay at home for long. In the end, he went to see Uncle Jiang. They sat together and talked about the past. The old man sighed and dragged Yi Fan to drink a few more cups with him. He was hale and hearty. His life had been very good these years. Little Tingting, the most dazzling star of the future, had risen up, and everyone in the Jiang family wanted to rope her in. Her extreme in physique was destined to shine in the family and play an important role. People are old and homesick. Two years ago, Tingting accompanied me back to the southern region. That store is still there, and many of the old neighbors are still fine. They told me that a very beautiful woman once went there and asked about everything you did in the store in the past, Uncle Jiang said. Is there such a thing? Who is she? Yi Fan poured the wine. He couldn't think of who it could be. An old man asked her. I think she was called Lin Jia or something. She only went there once and never showed up again, Uncle Jiang said. What? Yi Fan was dumbfounded. That was a very old name. He hadn't heard of it for almost twenty years, let alone seen it. He and Pang Bo weren't the only ones who had come to this world. There were more than a dozen people, but he didn't know where they were after so many years. Li Xiaoman walked on the opposite side of life and death, and Cade was considered by the Western Desert's holy monk to be born with an unusual talent and was sent away as the reincarnation of the Buddhist guardian Vidra. Lin Jia, Zhou Yi, Wang Ziwen, and the others were all people with extraordinary temperaments. Why hadn't they appeared after so many years? At this moment, suddenly hearing Lin Jia's name, Yi Fan thought of many things. His dusty memories were unlocked, and the past appeared before his eyes. She's a long-lost friend. I went back two years ago, so that woman came to the store about three years ago and asked about your past, Uncle Jiang said. It's nothing. Since the store and the neighbors are still here, I'll go and take a look when I have time. Yi Fan came back to his senses and continued drinking. When Yi Fan and the others left the Jiang family, Jiang Yifei personally saw them off. He said that they might fight side by side in the future, and he watched them leave. They came to the Divine City and entered the Tianxian Stone Square. Of course, they didn't directly ask this saint to take them as disciples. They just wanted to be familiar with each other. The entire Tianxian sect had been killed or injured, and the Path of Desire had also been destroyed. They were somewhat similar in that they were all people who had survived a calamity. The saint from the Tianxian sect finished observing the goddess furnace. After a long time, he opened his eyes and said, I understand your kind intentions. You can come to the stone square often in the future. A single sentence from this saint was enough. If he protected them, who would dare to touch them? Even the ancient ancestor kings would be afraid. During the battle at the Jade Pool, the might of the human saint had shocked all the races. Yi Fan was stunned. He didn't expect things to go so smoothly. 
The saint was unpredictable, and it was only because he knew what they were thinking that this result could be achieved. In the end, they bid farewell respectfully and returned to the celestial court. Hee hee, hee hee. The four little fellows cultivated diligently, and the large black dog was still training the two silver-blooded members of the imperial family. From time to time, the blood-curdling screams could be heard. Everything was very peaceful. Everything was on track, and they were destined to shine brilliantly in the future. Before I leave, if I can't rescue all my old friends and kill all my enemies, I'll be letting you all down. Yi Fan said to himself. He stood on a high peak and looked down at the vast eastern baron. Where was the purgatory? Needless to say, Dong Fang Yi had fallen off the fallen eagle cliff. It had to be there, and he wanted to guide him out. Although he had heard from the monkey that very few people could walk out of that place alive, he still wanted to give it a try. In the ancient era, there was a great war between all races. Mountains of corpses piled up, and the earth was dyed the color of blood. The falling eagle cliff had once been used as a grave, and countless dead people had been filled in there. It was originally an ancient battlefield, but in the end, it became a land of mass graves. The Yin Chi was extremely heavy, and it was difficult for living beings to survive in there. It could be said to be a true purgatory. The Black Emperor went up and said, if you want to save the barbarians, you need a tomb raider. He specializes in digging up tombs and playing with ghosts. He is the authority in this field. This fatty is not easy to find, Li Tian said. That's not difficult. I have a way to capture him, Yi Fan said. On this day, a shocking piece of news spread out. A valley in the northern region had collapsed, and it was suspected that an ancient emperor's tomb had collapsed. It appeared in the world, and a murderous aura rushed into the nine heavens. Once the news came out, it caused a huge commotion. It was unknown how many people rushed there. The eastern wasteland was shaken, and many major powers were alarmed. Yi Fan, the Black Emperor, the Monkey, Li Heishui, and Yan Ishi sat on a mountain in the distance. They looked at the valley and saw people rushing over one after another. Isn't this move a little despicable? Look, all the ancient races have mustered a large force. Some of the royal families have come as if their butts were on fire. Li Tian was speechless. Even the royal families of Blood Phoenix Mountain and Divine Silkworm Ridge have appeared, Li Heishui said. I'd rather believe it than not. I believe the great races will send people over to take a look. Li Heishui said. Yi Fan released the news, and it caused a huge commotion. It was unknown how many experts had rushed over, and the collapsed valley was surrounded so tightly that not even a drop of water could trickle through. He's here. That damned fatty has appeared. I would recognize him even if he turned to ashes. The Black Emperor opened his third vertical eye and looked forward. A damned fatty appeared. No matter how high his head was, he couldn't hide his wretched aura. He circled around the collapsed valley and observed. Then, he began to curse as if he had been tricked. Truly amazing. Just a single move was enough to summon Fatty Duan. Li Tian sighed in admiration. After that, the others all laughed loudly. They transmitted sound to Duanda, and the unscrupulous Daoist immediately stomped his feet and cursed them for being immoral. It turned out that it was just to trick him into appearing. The Black Emperor said, Grave Digger, what the hell are you shouting for? This time, we prepared a large grave for you to dig. It said that there are at least a million people buried here, maybe even ten times that number. Nonsense. I've traveled the world and have dug up all kinds of graves. I've even climbed Wuxur's Dao platform, but I've never heard of such a large grave. Duanda was disdainful. Woof, you really haven't given up on your evil intentions. You've always been thinking about the Purple Mountain. The Black Emperor almost started a fight with him. Yi Fan hurriedly separated them. These two bastards weren't easy to deal with. If they really fought, there would definitely be chaos. The monkey appeared and told him that there really was such a place. There might even be a supreme existence buried under the battlefield. His father, the Emperor of Fighting, had once entered and killed a divine spirit. What? There's a corpse of a divine spirit that could fight against ancient emperors? Go, I must go. Duanda had a, don't stop me, look on his face. On this day, many people in the eastern wasteland cursed that only a few nests of mountain rats had been dug up from the ancient imperial tomb. Normally, no one would be so unscrupulous as to swindle people. Many cultivators and many ancient race members were so angry that the roots of their teeth were itching. As for the instigator, he had long since broken through the sky and arrived at a famous danger ground in the northern region, Falling Eagle Cliff. As the name implied, even eagles would fall when they landed on the cliff. One could imagine how precipitous it was. It could be said to be astonishingly precipitous and impossible to stand on. There are millions of bodies of archaic experts buried here. Not to mention an expert like Duanda, even the Black Emperor didn't quite believe it. The precipitous cliff towered into the clouds, but the valley below was too small. Although it was unfathomably deep, it didn't seem like it could accommodate millions of people. 
You'll know when you go down. The monkey smiled. Falling Eagle Cliff was tens of thousands of meters tall and straight down. The valley it formed was like a chimney, steep and dangerous. It was completely dark red as if it had been dyed in blood. According to the monkey, it was really because of the great battles in the past. It was dyed this color by the blood of experts, and it would never fade. They jumped in. The wind whistled past their ears as they descended rapidly. All kinds of black clouds and baleful auras surged violently. It's getting bigger. Why is it getting wider and wider? Li Tian was amazed. Below, they could vaguely see undulating mountain ranges and vast plains. It wasn't a valley at all, but rather a continent. During the archaic years, this place became a battlefield. Back then, too many people died in battle. There were corpses everywhere on the archaic battlefield, and evil auras surged into the heavens. Ghosts could be seen in the daytime, gloomy clouds, and ghosts wept and gods howled. Because too many people had died in battle, this vast area had almost become a human domain, and many strange things had happened. In the end, an ancient emperor from an unknown era used his great magic power to grab the entire land in his palm and refine it under falling eagle cliff. Only then did it become like this. Not long after, they landed on the ground. The front was incomparably wide, and they could see the scenery when they opened their divine eyes. However, it was a bit dusky. There's someone. They were shocked. There were more than 20 people guarding the entrance of the battlefield. They didn't move at all, and they wore ancient battle clothes as if they were netherworld soldiers. What is this? Purgatory's protectors? Is there really a Ian Hall son of heaven in this world? Li Heishue was astonished. No, they are ancient races. If I'm not wrong, they should be people from the primitive lake. Why are they guarding here? Did something happen inside, or is there some secret treasure? The monkey was bewildered. Primitive lake? It's a great ancient imperial race, the race that Yuan Gu is from, said the monkey. Who are you people? Why did you break into the purgatory? The twenty people in front discovered them and shouted. It's, the sacred prince. And the human race's sacred physique. Obviously, the sacred battle ape bloodline shocked the ancient races and was known by all. Yi Fan, on the other hand, had killed so many people in the god city that they were terrified of him. Many of the ancient race had seen his portrait. Why are you people here? The monkey asked. Go. These people's expressions changed upon hearing this, and they rushed into the valley. Yi Fan and the monkey attacked together. One of them was covered in golden blood energy, and the other was covered in resplendent golden fur, illuminating the front. Their dharma bodies were thousands of meters tall. They stepped forward and cut off their path, almost stepping on them. Pft, pft. These ancient races saw this and were very straightforward. They all self-detonated and turned into more than twenty balls of bloody mist, dying on the spot. They're so ruthless to themselves. Yi Fan was astonished. He stretched out a large hand to seize their remnant divine wills, wanting to take a closer look. This is. He only recovered a memory scene. It was a man and a woman walking into the valley, and these people couldn't stop them in time. It was actually Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman. What happened in the purgatory? Why did the ancient imperial race from the primitive lake come here? Even the inheritor of the ruthless man had appeared. It was truly strange. Yi Fan wanted to capture more divine wills, but he didn't have enough time. They were all crushed by the baleful aura and turned into smoke, no longer existing. There are changes in the purgatory. Everyone, be careful, the monkey reminded. This place was sealed by an ancient emperor from an unknown era, and the monkey's father, the emperor of fighting, had also come here before. Moreover, he had even killed a sacred spirit here. This was definitely not a pure land. It's likely that there are experts from the primitive lake inside. Yuan Gu might be here, so we must be careful. Duan De said. Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman have also entered. If we meet them, we must kill them. Yi Fan said in a deep voice. After that, they walked toward the vast battlefield. It was truly like a continent, boundless and without end. After advancing for several dozen li, Yi Fan opened his heavenly eye. It was like a wilderness under the dusk, and there were even ribbons of black mist lingering about. It was extremely quiet and gloomy. Not long after, they saw a large expanse of tombs. They were like small mountains, grand and enormous, and somewhat frightening. When I looked from above, I thought it was a mountain range. I didn't expect it to be an ancient tomb. Li Tian was speechless. Duanda's eyes immediately lit up. He rubbed his palms together and wanted to go forward. Let's get down to business first. We didn't really ask you to rob the tombs. Yi Fan pulled him back. The people buried here are all experts. Otherwise, no one would care about the corpses. However, there shouldn't be any funerary objects, the monkey said. They advanced cautiously and finally entered an open area. 
There were corpses everywhere, or perhaps they should be called fossils because they had turned into stone. They couldn't see the end with a single glance, and this was only a corner of the primordial battlefield. It was hard to imagine how many people had died back then. Boom! Suddenly, a shocking aura erupted in front of them. It was cold and frightening, and even powerful people like them felt cold all over as if they had fallen into an ice house. I have a premonition that we might be able to excavate an ancient imperial cemetery or an immortal tomb. We might even be able to dig out the Yama Palace. Duanda rubbed his hands together. He claimed that it was completely a type of intuition. What, that is? Yi Fan's expression changed. He was incomparably shocked as he stared blankly ahead. He wanted to curse Duanda for being a jinx. The others couldn't see anything. Even if they had cultivated the heavenly eye or the monkey's fiery eyes, they still couldn't see anything. However, they all felt a bitter aura. It was as if millions of creatures were wailing and a savage beast was rushing over the land. Yin soldiers are borrowing the path. Yi Fan's expression stiffened. He saw an inconceivable scene. Troops after troops of Yin soldiers were neatly organized. They were dressed in ancient clothes and wielded either iron axes or rusty spears. They marched forward in large strides, and there were at least tens of thousands of them. They were killing their way into the endless distance. Wasn't this a strange scene that the Yuan Taoist master could only see after an ominous event happened to him in his later years? How could he see it now? His body felt a bit cold and he became absent-minded. Chapter 847 The nether soldiers passed through in an orderly manner, causing the heaven and earth to tremble. It was as if they had come from ancient times and were killing their way into the unknown. Ancient energy rushed into the sky. Something bad happened to Zhang Lin in his later years and his actions were unpredictable. He had entered the ruins of God and the immortal mausoleum. He had seen the nether soldiers passing through and even the saints of ancient times made way for him. Banners fluttered as the nether soldiers passed through, killing their way into the unknown. It made one's hair stand on end. Yi Fan stopped the others and didn't dare to collide with them. Apart from him, no one else could see it. Even though Duanda was an expert in the study of burial, he still felt his hair stand on end. He had a strange feeling but he didn't see anything. What, nether soldiers passing through? When tens of thousands of nether soldiers passed, the others all cried out in shock when they heard Yi Fan's words. The Yin energy underground was heavy and could form some nether spirits. Sometimes they were called nether soldiers but they were definitely different. These were truly incomprehensible nether soldiers. I have already cultivated the Yin Yang heavenly eye but I actually didn't see a single shadow. Only my intuition tells me that a group of terrifying existences is passing by. Duanda was horrified. I heard Emperor Wuxia mention that nether soldiers had appeared somewhere, but I didn't hear the specifics. Black Emperor was vexed. Yi Fan was the most uneasy. The Yuan Taoist master could only see such a strange scene in his later years and now he was seeing it. Was this some kind of warning sign? I remember, I saw a letter from a predecessor. It was recorded that the person with the highest achievements in geomancy had entered the underworld in his later years and saw nether soldiers. Duanda clenched his fists. However, that handwritten notebook was incomplete, and it was not finished at all. The predecessor was scared to death in the middle of writing, and with a terrified expression, he passed away in a sitting posture in the stone room. When the others heard this, their hair stood on end. According to what Duanda said, it wasn't strange for those with the highest achievements in geomancy to have a good death. Let's chase and see where they are going. Yi Fan said. When he saw this scene and thought of the Yuan Taoist master's later years, he felt uneasy. If he didn't get to the bottom of this, he would feel uneasy. Duan Delian even raised his feet, expressing his strong support and agreement. He believed that a monumental monument in the study of geomancy and burial was right in front of him. He was about to uncover an ancient secret, and he would become a legend in history. How creepy, but I've heard that the black dog's blood can ward off evil. Li Tian mumbled. The black emperor's expression immediately turned unfriendly. He turned his head and stared at him, revealing his snow-white teeth. How about? Brother Hei, why don't you contribute some of your blood so that we can be more confident? Li Tian asked recklessly. Woof! The large black dog stood up on his hind legs, pouncing over and biting down viciously. Stop, don't startle the Yin soldiers. Yi Fan separated them and was the first to give chase. He was the only one who could see them and lead the way. The black mass of Yin soldiers was like a torrent of steel, as if they could kill all enemies. The dense aura they exuded was terrifying, as if their bodies would collapse if they got close to them. The archaic purgatory was vast and boundless. There were all types of complicated terrains, and there were countless corpses on the ground. They were all embedded in the stone layer and turned into fossils. There were all kinds of ancient creatures with sinister expressions, humanoid beasts with phoenix bodies, eight arms, and four heads. The corpses of creatures that had never been seen or heard of before were truly astonishing. 
The dusky battlefield stretched as far as the eye could see. Demonic clouds curled around it, and it was extremely terrifying, causing one's heart to palpitate. In particular, the tens of thousands of Ian soldiers marched forward with an indomitable will, bringing with them a towering killing intent. It was even more eerie. Where are they going? Yi Fan and the others followed them for over a hundred li, but they still didn't see the army stop. There's a thick fog ahead. The few of them were astonished. This was extremely sudden. The fog was especially thick, and it drowned out the entire heaven and earth. The area ahead was hazy, and it was difficult to see through it with the heaven's eye. Yi Fan was even more astonished. The number of Yin soldiers was decreasing, and it was as if they had entered a different world, arriving at their destination. Let's go, let's go around and take a look. He was the first to dash forward, bypassing the army of tens of thousands and entering the fog. At this moment, he felt as if his entire body was being sliced by knives, and a layer of goosebumps appeared all over his body. Not to mention mortals, even if it was a cultivator of the dragon transformation mystery realm who came here, their bodies would be torn apart, and they would be strangled to death by the eerie aura. It's too thick, and the baleful Yin aura surges into the nine heavens. It's practically as if we've entered the netherworld. Duanda exclaimed in astonishment. He made this judgment based on his many years of experience in tomb raiding. Brother Hei, I still feel uneasy. Can you donate some blood? Li Tian dawdled. Woof. The large black dog's bald tail stood up, and he opened his bloody mouth, wanting to swallow a living person whole. Silence, where have we arrived? The monkey stopped them. His fiery eyes shone, and he revealed a solemn expression as he pointed forward. The fog was extremely thick. This region wasn't the archaic battlefield, but rather a strange place. It really was like a netherworld, and the scenery outside was greatly different. Something's wrong. Before the fog appeared, there was a boundless plain in front of us, and it was the archaic battlefield. But now, there's a huge change, Li Heishui said. This was a strange change that made people unable to make heads or tails of it. Everything was caused by the rise of the fog, and it was as if they had arrived in another world. This place is connected to another world. Duanda was astonished. They couldn't see the Yin soldiers, but they could feel that the number of netherworld soldiers was decreasing. Brother Yi, what do you see? Yen Yishi asked. This place is like the entrance to a world, and the Yin soldiers are entering. It's extremely similar to the Nine Underworlds. Yi Fan was uneasy. Since we've already arrived here, let's go in and take a look. Duanda urged. He was an authority on geomancy and burial, and he urgently wanted to dig out an ancient secret. The fog was very thick, and the area ahead was very vast. The Yin soldiers weren't fully occupied, and there was enough space for them to enter. The few of them were skilled and dared to advance. The baleful aura became denser and denser, and their bodies hurt as if they were being scraped by knives. The netherworld energy surged, wanting to tear them apart. Netherworld Earth Finally, they stepped in. This was an astonishing piece of land, and it definitely wasn't like the archaic battlefield. It wasn't a world, but rather a stretch of road. A road leading to the netherworld earth? Duanda rubbed his hands, both excited and agitated. He had seen some scattered records in the personal letters of some predecessors, but no one had pointed them out. The black land, the grey fog, and the unknown road ahead. The Yin soldiers ignored them, and advanced with large steps in an orderly manner, disappearing into the distance. What's that smell? It's so fragrant. The large black dog sniffed, and his large eyes were perfectly round. He looked forward with his bald tail erect. The few of them looked at each other, and didn't smell anything. Meanwhile, the large black dog swore that he had smelled the fragrance, and said that it might be an immortal divine medicine. It would be strange if a divine medicine could grow in this nine underworlds. Duanda poured cold water on them. They advanced cautiously, and when they advanced for five kilometers, they finally smelled a fragrance that refreshed their hearts and minds, and all of them were roused. It really is a dog's nose. It can smell it even from several kilometers away. The few of them sighed inwardly, but they didn't dare say it out loud, fearing that they would be bitten by the dog. They advanced for another kilometer, and the fragrance was so strong that it wouldn't dissipate, almost intoxicating them. They couldn't help but quicken their steps, wanting to find the source. There's a pond there. They were astonished. There were specks of light in front of them, and many Yin soldiers passed by in an orderly manner. The fragrance was coming from there. A yellow pond, what terrifying water. Why do I feel like it's corpse water? The pond was only a square of 30 meters, and it was surging. It was terrifyingly yellow, and there was a sinister aura rushing over, but it was also mixed with a fragrance that refreshed the hearts and minds. Duanda drew out a white wooden club, and stuck it into the water. The entire white club instantly turned yellow, and there was an aura of death curling around it. He immediately exclaimed in shock, this is the yellow spring. They felt that this was unimaginable. 
What kind of place had they arrived at? It was already not bad for the Yellow Spring to form a small pond in the extreme Eam Death Land, yet there were so many here. According to legends, the Yellow Spring didn't belong to this world at all, and it was difficult for it to exist in this world. Everything they saw today was strange and mysterious. Splash There was a splash in the Yellow Spring Pond, and a completely black divine herb appeared. It looked like a divine orchid carved from black jade, and it had the aura of the Great Tao. It was over a meter tall, and its fragrance wafted over. Immortal Divine Herb Li Tian and Duanda drooled, and they both couldn't help but want to grab it. No, this is the Netherworld Herb. Yi Fan shouted. Though the large black dog was about to drool, he also nodded, and said, that's right. I saw one in the Undying Mountain in the past, and it's exactly the same, but I still want to take a bite. They took a deep breath, and all the pores on their bodies opened up. They felt refreshed, as if they had received the purest baptism, and it was as if they were going to ascend. Unfortunately, this wasn't an immortal divine herb. Eating it would have terrifying side effects, and it would be better to die than to live. In the past, the three old monsters that surrounded and attacked the Supreme Divine King had lived for close to 5,000 years because they ate a netherworld herb, but their bodies had become rotten corpses, and only their divine senses remained. This is a demonic flower. Though it's terrifying beyond compare, it can also be considered an exceptional treasure in this world. Plucking it might have some wondrous use in the future. This wasn't the Undying Mountain, and there were no great emperor formation patterns here that could be plucked. However, the Netherworld Herb had already developed intelligence, and it turned into a streak of black light that disappeared into the Spring Pond. They moved at the same time, refining the entire yellow Spring Pond and sealing it up. Wallala! The chains rattled, and clanking sounds rang out. They were all shocked. The roots of the Netherworld Herb were locked down by a Netherworld metal chain. Otherwise, they might not have been able to catch this rare treasure that had existed for so long. It's not a materialized chain, but a Tao principle that has locked it here. It's really strange. After carefully observing, they looked at each other in dismay. Let's take this yellow spring pond as well, and let this netherworld herb continue to grow. It might really be of great use in the future. In the end, they sealed the yellow spring pond and this terrifying demonic herb into a small white jade cauldron. There was a blood river in front of them. It was less than three meters wide, scarlet and bewitching. It was silent as it flowed into the distance. There was a stone arch bridge over the river. Its style was ancient, and it was unknown how long it had existed. All the Ean soldiers walked over it, and entered the other side. I see the Ean soldiers on the other side. Li Heishue said. The others were also horrified. After crossing the stone bridge over the Blood River, all the Ean soldiers could be seen, and they continued forward. This is a piece of Netherworld Earth. Was this refined by the ancient Netherworld Emperor, or is there really an inconceivable world? Duanda was bewildered. The mist is about to disappear. We will leave the Netherworld Earth and return to the ancient battlefield. The monkey said. At this time, the mist was disappearing, and all kinds of strange scenes were fading away. Only the Blood River and the Stone Bridge were still real. The last group of Ean soldiers was about to cross over. Without a doubt, as long as all the Ean soldiers crossed over, everything would disappear, unless they completely followed. It's like a spatial node. This kind of burial ground with millions of ancient race members has connected the discontinuous Netherworld Earth. Duanda analyzed the reason for the Ean soldiers passing through. It's about to disappear. The last Ean soldier has also stepped onto the stone arch bridge, Li Heishue said. At this moment, Duanda did something that no one expected. He quickly pounced over, grabbed the last Ean soldier, and dragged him back. After that, they began to fight. Chilly winds whistled, and deathly energy surged. This area was as cold as an ice house. Too ferocious. Everyone was dumbstruck. Fatty Duan and that Ean soldier hugged each other and fought fiercely, rolling back and forth. Chapter 848 Yi Fan and the others were all dumbfounded. Even the large black dog widened its large eyes and spat out its scarlet tongue. It was a bit dumbfounded. No one would have thought that Fatty Duan would make such a move at the end. Come and help. Duanda shouted. He couldn't hold down the ghost soldier by himself. The ghost soldier's strength was boundless, shaking the heavens and earth. Fatty Duan, are you crazy? Everyone finally came back to their senses. There were tens of thousands of ghost soldiers ahead. Even the ancient saints had to avoid them. If they came back, who could stop them? Don't worry, they can't come back. Duanda shouted. He pressed the ghost soldier to the ground and took out a ghost binding chain to tie it up. His posture was like tying up a pig. It was so fierce that people couldn't say anything. This was an essential tool that he always carried with him. He had to bring it when he entered the old tomb and the ancient tomb. Roar. 
On the other side of the stone arch bridge, tens of thousands of ghost soldiers turned around and roared in anger. Their roars collapsed heaven and earth. A bitter aura rushed over, causing everyone to spit out large mouthfuls of blood. Their bodies were about to collapse. The ghost soldiers rushed back, their killing intent dominating the heavens. However, at this time, the mist thinned, and everything on the other side became blurry. The tens of thousands of ghost soldiers quickly became illusory and disappeared along with the underworld soil on the other side. At this moment, even the monkey's palms were sweating. If they rushed back, none of them could think about living. They felt that this fatty really dared to play with fire. He was extremely daring. Hurry up and help. If we want to save the savages, we might have to start with this grandson. Duanda almost couldn't hold down the ghost soldier. He was flustered and couldn't tie up the ghost soldier even with the ghost binding chain. Grave robber, you, are too fierce. Even the black emperor could only say this. He opened his bloody mouth and rushed over. Yi Fan and the others also rushed over. Some pressed down on the hands, some grabbed the legs, and some twisted the necks. This was the first time in their lives that they wrestled with ghosts like this. It was bone-piercing cold and somewhat prickly. The ghost soldier only appeared on the stone arch bridge and the other side. After being dragged back, their true bodies couldn't be seen clearly. However, Duanda sprinkled a pile of powder and immediately made him appear. This is the powder ground from the coffin of the immortal heavenly emperor. Even if you are a great Luo immortal ghost, you still have to show yourself. The Yin soldiers were extremely strong. Other than Yifan and Monkey, the others might not be able to hold them down. Duan Dezheng tied them up firmly. When everything calmed down, they looked at each other in dismay. This was the first time in their lives that they had caught a living ghost. It wasn't that he hadn't seen Yin spirits in the past, but those were all spiritual bodies that could be turned into ashes with a single strike, so it wasn't a big deal. However, the thing that he caught this time was a little different. It was a physical entity. It's quite nice to the touch. Duanda caressed its body and said, if you don't believe me, you can try it. You're such a pervert. However, the few of them still came forward and sized up this Yin soldier together. His entire body was covered in black iron clothes, and his skin was pale without a trace of blood. The black emperor was more curious, so he touched it again and again, and felt that one of his large claws was about to be frozen numb. The battle clothes on his body were very ancient, and it was unknown which era it was from. It was filled with the marks of time and was sturdy and undying. This battle clothes is an ancient armor that is rarely seen even in the primordial era. It's truly inconceivable. It's not a sacred weapon that has been passed down through the ages, so how can it exist for so many years? Monkey didn't understand. Ka. As soon as his words fell, the black battle clothes cracked, and strands of black nether energy seeped out. The battle clothes began to break down and turn into dust. What's going on? So many Yin soldiers gathered together, and they were able to block the passage of time. Now, are they finally going to return to dust? Clang. Duanda took action and knocked off the Yin soldier's helmet, revealing its true appearance. This was a pale face with its eyes tightly closed. Its long gray hair was scattered, and the aura of death was terrifyingly dense. This was a man that looked to be in his forties or fifties. He didn't move at all, and after being tied up by the ghost binding chain, he didn't struggle at all. He was like a statue of death. Duanda wanted to take out a mark from the center of its brows to see what exactly was going on with the so-called underworld earth. However, at this moment, this man's aura of death became even denser. His entire body emitted a ball of black light, as if it was burning. Retreat. They quickly retreated. The Yin soldier soared into the air, and then emitted a dazzling light. It continuously shrunk, and it was extremely strange. It turned into the size of a thumb, and with a ding sound, it fell onto the ground. Black light flickered, and the middle-aged man disappeared. In his place, there was only a puppet carved from black jade. It was extremely lifelike, and it was exactly the same as the Yin soldier just now. What is this thing? How did it become like this? The large black dog walked up, and used its large paw to scratch. Duanda's expression shook. Light flashed, and two similar black jade puppets appeared in his palm. They were also only the size of a thumb, and they were lifelike. He opened his mouth and said, I dug this out from an ancient tomb. It was left behind by a geomancy burial master. What's the use of this? It's really strange. Li Tian and the others walked up, and picked up the Yin soldier jade puppets on the ground. They were puzzled no matter how they thought about it. It's a pity that the letter wasn't finished, and that geomancy burial master was scared to death in the stone room. Otherwise, he would definitely understand more. Duanda held the three black jade puppets in his palm. Let's not care about this for now. Let's go and save the savages first, Li Heishui said. I'm a little uneasy. I don't know why, but I feel that seeing the Yin soldier borrowing the path is very strange. Yi Fan muttered to himself. 
He turned around and looked behind him, but there was nothing. What are you looking at? People scare people to death, and the Yin soldier has already disappeared, Li Tian mumbled. Yi Fan suddenly snorted coldly, and forcefully stomped his foot. The Source Qi underground transformed into a large dragon, and it charged over. It raised its head and leaped forward, dazzling and dazzling. Is there really something? Monkey and the others were all shocked. Even with their powerful spirit senses, they couldn't sense anything. Yi Fan gazed at the dusky ancient battlefield. Bayan shaped demonic mist lingered, and he couldn't see a single figure. However, there was still an aura in the darkness that made him feel uneasy. After that, they were very silent, and no one said anything. They walked forward. Yi Fan borrowed the goddess furnace, and he was on guard at all times. He was prepared to launch a fierce attack. It's coming, it's coming again. I can really sense it. It should be coming for me. Yi Fan used his divine sense to transmit his voice to the others. After traveling for a hundred miles, he suddenly took out the goddess furnace and struck it behind him. A torrential divine light illuminated the entire sky, and the dusky battlefield immediately became resplendent. A mournful scream came from behind, and it caused everyone's scalp to go numb. An eerie chill enveloped everyone, and it was an indescribable feeling. In the blink of an eye, Yi Fan saw a figure disappear in a flash, avoiding the goddess furnace and disappearing into the darkness. That hurriedly turned around to reveal its true appearance, and it caused him to feel a chill from head to toe. What did I just see? A terrifying ghost monkey. Yen Ishi sucked in a breath of cold air. It has red fur all over its body, and its eyes are too vicious. That hurried glance almost turned my body into an ice sculpture. It's too terrifying. Li Heishui couldn't help but shiver. Only Yi Fan remained silent. He gazed into the darkness and clenched his fists tightly. He had used too much force, and his fingers had turned white. Brother Monkey, do you have any relatives? I clearly saw a red-haired malicious spirit with a thunderous mouth. It looks a bit like you. Li Tian said. The monkey almost swung his club at him. His fiery eyes shot out divine light as he revealed a solemn expression and gazed into the darkness. What is that thing? It doesn't seem easy to deal with. Based on my many years of experience in tomb raiding, this is definitely a tomb master that only appears once in tens of thousands of years. It might be even more terrifying. Duanda concluded. That red-haired face was so malevolent that it couldn't be removed from Yifan's eyes. He captured a wisp of aura that was similar to his own. That was a unique characteristic of the Yuan Taoist Master. It's him, the Yuan Taoist Master who encountered an ominous event in his later years. Yi Fan said in a low voice. Everyone's heart sank. They knew that this was bad. They all knew how the Valley of Gods had been destroyed. The Yuan Taoist Master who had encountered an ominous event was terrifyingly powerful. The third generation ancestral master is in the Qinling Mountains, the fourth generation ancestral master is in the absolute beginning forbidden zone, and the fifth generation ancestral master died in the Valley of Gods. This place, is it the first or the second generation ancestral master? Yi Fan muttered to himself. The others were scared. The first and second generation ancestral masters had existed for countless years. If they could absorb worldly essence and laws, even a pig would have become a sage. Most importantly, their physical bodies were theirs, but their consciousness had become muddled. A strange evil intent had invaded their consciousness, making it boundlessly vicious and terrifying. Their first thought was to flee. Facing the heaven source ancestral master meant certain death. There was not even the slightest bit of hope. However, when they turned around, they saw all kinds of heaven source runes flickering in a continuous manner. Even someone as powerful as Yi Fan would find it difficult to break them. Yi Fan said, let's continue forward. He has already cut off our path of retreat. Then what should we do? Isn't this a dead end? Yen Yishi asked. It's fine. Ancestral Master Zhang Lin gave me some things. They are the 81 banners left behind by the immortal Heavenly Emperor. If we really want to risk our lives, we can even kill a few ancestral kings. Yi Fan said. Unless it was absolutely necessary, he was not willing to waste such a secret treasure. It had been too long, and the flagpole was about to shatter. He could only use it one last time. But now, the ancient flags had been sealed by him with the nine ancient words of the Tao scripture. Otherwise, they would not have existed for long. Yi Fan and the others rushed forward. Since they had already come this far, they wanted to quickly find the barbarian and rescue him. Then, they would use the banners to break out of the encirclement. They searched everywhere as they ran. They found dozens of corpses in the vast battlefield. They had died not long ago, and all of them were ancients. Their skulls had been opened. It's the people of the primitive lake. Not a single one of them is weak. There are true emperors among them. The monkey was shocked. Yi Fan squatted down and removed a few strands of red hair from their open skulls. 
They were extremely glaring, and there was no doubt that this was done by the Yuan Taoist master. Hong. Thunderous sounds rang out from the front. It was an even more terrifying battlefield. The baleful energy there did not disperse, and streaks of blood-colored lightning appeared one after another. The power was astonishing. This is the core of the battlefield. Dong Fang Yi was most likely chased into this place and could not break free. This place is about 500 li in radius. The monkey said. After passing through the pitch-black demonic mist, the front suddenly became blaring. All types of light flew about, all types of ancient weapons were attacking, and all types of laws flickered. What, this is, the weapons of archaic ancestral kings. These are their laws. Could it be that there is a great battle going on here? The few of them were all shocked. The monkey shook his head and said, no, this is only killing intent. It is inextinguishable resentment, formed from the battle intent of the heroic spirits that died in battle. This was a terrifying battlefield. All types of ancient weapons and all types of divine light were formed from laws. They rampaged and surged, never to be extinguished. The laws created by the archaic ancestral kings in the past gathered the essence of heaven and earth. They circulated endlessly and continued, turning this place into an eternal killing field. It is difficult to survive after entering. Heavenly Eye Yi Fan bellowed. His eyes were like lightning, looking through hundreds of Li and seeing through this terrifying killing field. However, all types of laws quickly blocked his vision, making it difficult for him to see through it. Bang! He forcefully stomped a corner, and a Genesis rune quickly extended from the ground into the depths of the distant battlefield. Yi Fan closed his eyes. After a long time, he suddenly opened them and said, Dong Fang Yi is alive. I can sense his Wolf Fang sacred weapon. It is protecting his Dharma body. Suddenly, a terrifying aura appeared behind them. It was bone-chilling, as if thousands of steel needles were pricking their backs. Not far away, a monster covered in red hair appeared. It growled in a low voice and stretched out a terrifying red hair claw. It moved forward and retreated as if it was hesitating. Yi Fan held the goddess furnace in his hand, ready to attack at any time. Everyone's expressions were grave. They were finally facing each other. This was a Yuan Taoist master who had encountered an ominous event. He is crying. Li Tian exclaimed. I don't want to kill you. His voice was old and hoarse, as if he was trying his best to control his body. He was trembling, his red hair was shaking, and his body was swaying. Tears were rolling down his face, and the ferocious look in his eyes disappeared. At this moment, there seemed to be a trace of clarity in his eyes. He said with difficulty, you, are about to become a Yuan Taoist master. We are, the same kind of person. I don't want to kill you. His words were intermittent, and it was difficult for him to form a coherent sentence. A ferocious glint flashed in his eyes, and he could not control his body and kept trembling. He's not from the ancient times. Look at the magic tool in his hand. It's made in the modern times, Duanda said in a low voice. Yes, could he be from the bloodline of King Yuan? The ancestor of this clan was only one step away from becoming a Yuan Taoist master in his later years. A few years ago, an ominous event happened, and the clan invited the godly diviner to perform a divination. In the end, he also met with misfortune. Yi Fan immediately thought of all this. It's me. The red-haired monster in front of him heard his whisper and immediately became excited. A trace of clarity appeared in his eyes, and the ferocious glint in his eyes was suppressed. I was captured by the fourth-generation Yuan Taoist master. He forced out a complete sentence. What? Yi Fan was shocked. The fourth-generation Yuan Taoist master hid in the absolute beginning forbidden zone in his later years, but in the end, an ominous event happened and his whereabouts were unknown. Yi Fan had seen his ruins in the place where things move in the opposite direction. He asked me to guard this place, to escort the Yin soldiers through, to ensure that there are no mistakes, the red-haired monster said with great difficulty. What? You're the reason why the Yin soldiers are here? Where's the fourth generation Yuan Taoist master? Yi Fan, Duanda, and the others were all astonished. If he appears, not even the sages would be a match for him. The red-haired monster said with great difficulty. He seemed to be struggling in his heart again, I don't want to kill you. We're the same kind of people. But I'm about to become muddle-headed. Senior, please stay awake. You'll definitely get better. Yi Fan roared deafeningly. Let me give you a word of advice. The Yuan Taoist Master's domain is filled with ominous omens. Don't step into it carelessly. They're coming. You'd better leave. His words were chilling. Who's coming? The few of them were extremely shocked. Chapter 849 The red-haired monster let out a low growl. The clarity in its eyes had disappeared and was replaced with a vicious aura. It suddenly raised its head and stared at the group, letting out a mournful cry. Oh no, it's muddle-headed. Be careful that it doesn't attack us, Yen Ishi said. Yi Fan pointed the goddess furnace in front of him. The aura of a saint filled the air and golden ripples quickly spread out. 
The red-haired monster's eyes shone fiercely. It glanced at them one last time and disappeared into thin air. They're here. Could it be that the previous generations of Yuan Taoist Master are coming? Each of them is more terrifying than the last. It's really unsettling, Duanda said. He had been walking among the tombs in the cemetery all year round and had dug up some secrets about the Yuan Taoist Master. The nether soldiers actually had traces of the Yuan Taoist Master. This was unimaginable. What kind of secret was there? Where did the Yuan Taoist Master go after the ominous event in his later years? Who did he listen to? No wonder that red-haired monster ran into the Purple Mountain and took refuge in Emperor Wu Shi's place to suppress itself. It's to isolate itself from the outside world and avoid being summoned away, the Black Emperor mumbled. It was naturally referring to the fifth generation Yuan Taoist master, Zhang Lin. Nine ancient characters appeared above Yi Fan's head. They were immortal characters recorded in the Tao scriptures. They floated up and down and sealed the 81 inch long flags inside. The nine ancient characters flowed with the aura of the Great Tao and opened up a small world of one square foot. Inside, time seemed to have stopped as if it had realized eternity. Inside, the 81 small black flags flickered with black light and remained motionless. There was an enormous and terrifying power lying dormant, ready to erupt at any time. These are the formation flags left behind by the immortal Heavenly Emperor. If the Heavenly Prince knew about this, he would most likely explode in anger. How could he endure the artifact his father left behind for his subordinates being used by you, the monkey said. At this moment, the situation was critical. The experts of the Genesis Heaven Master's bloodline could appear at any moment. They were all muddle-headed and didn't recognize their own kin. They would kill them all. Yi Fan had no choice but to prepare the formation flags ahead of time. Yuan Gu and Hua Yunfei have also entered. Why haven't I seen them? Li Heishui was puzzled. The primeval battlefield is boundlessly vast, and we might not be able to encounter it. Not to mention we might be scared off by the red-haired monster, said Li Tian with uncertainty. They began to walk around the core battlefield, trying to find a weak spot to enter and rescue Dongfang Yi from purgatory. After walking around for more than 800 li, they discovered a huge abyss. It was so deep that they couldn't see the bottom. Beside it, there were mountains of rocks piled up high, like a huge tomb. This is freshly dug soil. Who did this? What are they trying to do? They were puzzled. Looking at the surrounding terrain, this was originally a sinkhole, and then someone dug it deeper, resulting in its current size, turning it into a pitch-black bottomless abyss. Yi Fan held the goddess furnace in his hands. Nine ancient characters floated above his head, suppressing the 81-inch-long small black banners. He naturally wasn't afraid of the dangerous situation. They descended, wishing to get to the bottom of this. Five-colored altar, five-colored altar, the black emperor shouted. Duanda, the monkey, and the others were also astonished. Now, they knew what this five-colored altar represented. It was an ancient starry sky path that could lead to the star field. Who had dug out a five-colored altar? What were they trying to do? Filled with puzzlement, they descended into the depths of the ground. This was a fairly large altar, but it was a pity that too much time had passed. It had already collapsed, and more than half of it had been destroyed. Moreover, some of it had been taken away by someone not long ago. There are corpses here. A great battle took place here. On the other side of the five-colored altar, there were many corpses of the ancient race. Several of them had shriveled up, and their origin energy had been sucked dry. Heaven Devouring Demonic Art Yi Fan's heart jumped. Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman had come here before, and they had clashed with the ancient race. This might be the altar they had dug out. These are the people of the primitive lake. The monkey said after confirming. These were the lifeforms of the Yuan Gu race, and there were a few members of the true royal family among them. They were extremely powerful. Both sides clashed first. After that, the red-haired monster rushed over and killed everyone, Li Heishui said. Apart from a few ancient race members who had lost their origin energy, the others were all killed with a single strike. Their skulls were split open, and their brains were stained with one or two strands of red hair. This should have happened a few days ago. Both sides were scared off by the red-haired monster. Let this Dao grandpa take a look at what happened. Duanda had brought many tools with him. He took out an ancient mirror that was actually polished from a piece of sparkling white bone. What is this? What effect does it have? Li Tian asked. Don't look down on it. This is the only Dao bone left behind by a human race's great sage after he transformed into the Dao. It's the one on his forehead that has existed for eternity. The frontal bone is the Dao bone of a human's immortal platform. The mirror made from it has endless miraculous uses. Fatty Duan rubbed it carefully, and the mirror became even more translucent. When the Black Emperor heard this, he almost pounced over to snatch it. However, Yi Fan hugged his neck tightly. Otherwise, a battle between a human and a dog would definitely occur. Swoosh. The ancient mirror flashed with splendor and a few scenes appeared. 
First, Yuan Gu's figure appeared. After that, a group of ancient race members held onto a jade annulus and dug out the sacrificial altar. The monkey's heart immediately trembled. Not long ago, I heard that some ancient race members were searching for a path beyond the heavens. It seems like it's true. He was a member of the royal family of the Supreme Ancient Era, so the information he obtained definitely wouldn't be fake. The moment these words were spoken, everyone was instantly shaken. The ancient race was searching for a path beyond the heavens. Where were they planning to go? This was definitely a terrifying matter. Once it became true, it might have an extremely far-reaching impact. The people of the primitive lake have found this place. The royal family of the Divine Silkworm Ridge, Blood Phoenix Mountain, and Fire Chilin Cave might also be searching in other places. When they thought of this, they all felt very uneasy. What exactly did the royal family of the Supreme Ancient Era want to do? Where were they planning to go? After that, the mirror formed from the Dao Bone flashed with splendor. Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman's figures appeared. They had found this place with an ancient scroll in their hands. They were also here for the five-colored sacrificial altar. The other side of the starry sky. Yi Fan read Li Xiaoman's lips and saw these words. At that moment, he quivered and shivered. Were these two the same as him? They wanted to cross the starry sky and head to Earth? At this moment, he was drenched in cold sweat. He absolutely couldn't let the inheritor of the ruthless person head to the other side of the starry sky. Otherwise, there would be endless disasters. The other side had a huge population base, but none of them could cultivate. It was too easy to seize the origin of the mortals and search for various physiques. They could simply do whatever they wanted, kill, and seize. That's right, my physique, came from that world. Maybe they were filled with hope because of this. In addition, the ancient side also has countless secrets. The people of the primitive lake dismantled the five-colored sacrificial altar and recorded the position of every single stone. It was obvious that they wanted to take it away for restoration and research. However, Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman ambushed them. After that, the red-haired monster appeared and started a massacre in all directions. Yuan Gu summoned a palm-sized divine altar and disappeared. A golden vortex appeared above Li Xiaoman's head. She and Hua Yunfei entered the vortex and disappeared. A divine altar. The monkey stared at the miniature divine altar in Yuan Gu's hand and revealed a shocked expression. This was something that only the great sage could carve, and it could break through space and leave at any time. A divine spirit from outside the realm is protecting the body. The black emperor stared at the golden vortex above Li Xiaoman's head and discovered a blurry golden body sitting cross-legged inside. His eyes widened. Even the mirror that was polished from the great sage's forehead bone and forged with a secret technique could only display a few images. There were no additional clues. They couldn't even look at it again if they wanted to. This is the mirror I used to see ghosts in the ancient tomb. It's already not bad to be able to do this, Duanda said. Dismantle the five-colored sacrificial altar. The large black dog was very determined. He carefully memorized the patterns on the five-colored sacrificial altar. Then, he quickly dismantled the remaining ancient altars and stored them in his spirit tool. It's really going to be chaotic. It's not as simple as the appearance of the 10,000 primordial races. Now, they're fighting over the path to the outside realm. Who knows what will happen in the future, the Black Emperor muttered to himself. He thought of some ancient events. The various imperial clans might want to receive some beings from the outside realm, the monkey said. Yi Fan was also thinking about whether Hua Yunfei and Li Xiaoman had found a way back after being protected by the Divine Spirit from outside the realm. In the near future, they would most likely have a life and death battle to seize the right to pass through the ancient path to Earth. A cold aura surged over. The red-haired monster appeared again. If it wasn't afraid of the goddess furnace in Yi Fan's hand and the 81 small flags above his head, it would have already charged over. There's no time. We must quickly take action to save Dongfang Yi. Otherwise, if the previous Yuan Taoist master comes, it'll be difficult for us to survive. In the end, Yi Fan made up his mind. He activated the goddess furnace and forced his way to the core of the battlefield. Countless silk ribbons fell down to protect them. However, this was an extremely terrifying breakthrough process. Even with the goddess furnace's protection, they still narrowly escaped death. After every few steps, they had to stop for a period of time to recover their divine force. This was because this area was too terrifying. All kinds of ancient weapons and divine lights danced in the air. These were the manifestations of divine laws left behind by the ancient kings. They were equivalent to the aftermath of a saint's attack. This won't do. This is too slow. I don't know how many months or years it'll take to reach the core at this speed. There was no time to waste. If the first Yuan Taoist master came, the great killing weapons in their hands would most likely be useless. There was no lack of origin energy underground. Perhaps a peerless genesis technique could kill them all. In the end, Duanda gritted his teeth and took out the heaven-devouring demonic cap. The Black Emperor carved a corner of the Wu Shi killing formation. 
Yi Fan even used all his effort to carve a mysterious Genesis rune to connect the mountains and rivers, providing endless essence energy to the heaven-devouring demonic cap and the Wuxia killing formation. Although the divine laws left behind by the ancient kings were extremely terrifying, the heaven-devouring demonic cap floated up and down. It was not affected at all. Rays of black light fell down to protect them. The corner of the Wuxia killing formation was even more destructive. It forcibly opened up a path, causing some of the divine laws that were about to be extinguished to completely dim and disappear. They advanced like a hot knife through butter. Finally, they broke into the core of the ancient battlefield. In the distance, they saw a man with disheveled hair and tattered clothes sitting cross-legged on the ground. A wolf tooth mace hung above Dongfang Ye's head, emitting wisps of holy might. It opened up a peaceful space with a circumference of three meters. However, he did not have it easy. He was trapped here and could not move a single step. The god within that wolf tooth mace has been resurrected. No wonder he could persevere and obtain the protection of the ancient sacred weapon. Duanda said. Although he has obtained protection, he has to resist with all his might every day. It's like living in hell. However, the benefits he has obtained are also great, Monkey said. In the surroundings, all kinds of divine laws and Tao light collided. Dongfang Yi faced them every day and fought with his life on the line. Naturally, he could comprehend many divine laws that ordinary people could not reach. Brother Yi. Li Heishui called out. Tears almost flowed out of his eyes. Back then, Dong Fang Yi had made a move to save them. Although it was a great disaster, he survived after all. He is comprehending the various divine laws of the ancient heroic spirits here. His future achievements are limitless. Black Emperor said. You guys. Dong Fang Yi opened his eyes and shot out two blazing beams of light. He had woken up from the sea of divine laws. Chapter 850 After Dong Fang Yi woke up, his entire body was like a heavenly sword that was unsheathed. There was a sharp aura around him. His eyes shot out two beams of divine light that were dozens of feet long. In this kind of difficult situation, the more he trained, the sharper he became. They were all very excited. They thought they would never see each other again. They never thought they would see each other again. They had experienced life and death together in the past, so this feeling was very warm. Open. Yi Fan and the others were shaken at the same time. The heaven-devouring evil jar shot out a strand of black light. Even though it was small, its power was as vast as the ocean. It scattered the divine laws of over a thousand immemorial heroic spirits and saved Dongfang Yi. The savage leaped up and let out a long howl right away, and it shook the entire primeval battlefield, causing this expanse of the primeval battlefield to instantly start trembling. His aura was continuous and long, and it was like a heavenly river was descending down. This is great, Brother Dongfang, it's great that you are safe. Otherwise, would not be able to rest in peace. Li Heishui rushed over. Back then, Savage had stepped in to save them, blocking Zi Tiandu and the Valley of Gods, killing until the sky was covered in blood. Everyone rushed over. Dong Fang Yi was also very excited, especially when he saw Yi Fan. He had seen him leave this world and never thought he would meet him again. When old friends met, there were endless words to say. Only those who had experienced death would know that it was good to be alive. There were many things that one would only know how to cherish after experiencing it. The reason I was able to survive was all because of the divine bone that Brother Yi gave me back then. I fused it into the mace here and completely restored the ancient divine weapon. In the past, when they had ventured into the immortal estate world together, they had discovered the immortal teardrop green gold book, which had been inscribed with a fragment of the Sun Sutra, as well as the true bone left behind by a saint who had transformed into the Tao. Yi Fan and Dong Fang Yi had divided them up. There were all kinds of laws here. They were formed by ancient heroic spirits and had existed for millions of years. They could be said to be ancestral king level light. After being tempered thousands of times, the ancient barbarian weapon fused with the Tao bone and restored it to its original state. This ancient weapon is amazing. It came from the Southern Mountains God of War. The barbarians now have another sacred weapon. At this moment, only one person was unhappy, and that was Duanda. He stared at Dongfang Yi and found that this barbarian in ragged clothes had the same outfit as him from head to toe. The wooden hairpin in his hair was definitely his. It was dug out from a royal tomb and made of dark phoenix wood. Dong Fang Ye's divine jade clothing was even more amazing. It was Duanda's armor that was stolen from an ancient tomb of a divine dynasty. What made the heartless Daoist angry the most was that Dong Fang Ye's socks were also his. They were made of natural silk, and the shoes that had already melted a long time ago were also his treasures. Back then, Yi Fan and Dong Fang Ye stripped Duanda naked and only left him with a pair of underpants. The barbarian did not care about meat and vegetables. He even took all the miscellaneous treasures. Daoist, I miss you after so many years. Thank you for your jade clothing. I would have been shattered if not for it, the barbarian said honestly. Duanda snorted and rolled his eyes. We'll settle this later. 
Even though I've escaped, I'm still a bit reluctant to leave this place. This is a cultivation immortal land. It can be said that it's painful and happy at the same time, Dong Fang Yi said. Rumble. All kinds of lights danced about. This was a sea of interweaving divine laws. Thunder rumbled unceasingly. Without the protection of a sacred weapon, even a great success king would be turned into ashes. This was a terrifying scene. It was as if over a hundred archaic saints were contending against each other, displaying the essence of their life's divine laws as they fought intensely. This is a good place to refine weapons. The Black Emperor said. Refine weapons. Everyone looked at those divine laws. They were all at the saint level. If they could copy them and imprint them into weapons, the benefits would be endless. Even if the Yuan Taoist master came, it would be difficult for him to pass through this area. Maybe we can stay here for a while and refine our weapons, Duanda said. They were able to enter quickly because they had half an imperial weapon and a corner of the Wuxia killing formation. Otherwise, there would be danger with every step and it would be difficult to enter so quickly. That's right, we can stay here. When we leave, we'll let the Black Emperor carve a corner of the imperial pattern and travel through the void, Yi Fan said. In the end, everyone sat down cross-legged. They each took out their weapons and entered the divine laws. The monkey was the most straightforward. He placed the pitted black iron rod at the center of the Tao laws. It was immediately bombarded and lightning filled the sky. Bang! Li Heishue was the most speechless. He tried to take out a divine ruler level weapon, but it turned into powder on the spot and scattered with the wind. However, the most shocking thing was Yi Fan's cauldron. It contained nine strands of primal chaos energy. At this moment, they all awakened and turned into dragons, phoenixes, flowers, birds, fish, insects, and all living things in the world. The myriad chi cauldron was rumbling. It floated up and down in all kinds of Tao light. It was baptized and struck here and there, but it still remained intact and absorbed the laws of heaven and earth. This cauldron, is too shocking. Everyone present was shocked and looked forward. There were nine strands of primal chaos inside the cauldron. They absorbed all kinds of divine laws and seemed to be forming a divine fetus. It was incomparably strange and gradually strengthened. The nine Tao patterns extended and evolved into plants, flowers, birds, fish, insects, chilins, and immortal phoenixes. There were thousands of forms and all living things in the world existed. Yi Fan was also shocked. He suddenly remembered that these were the nine strands of primal chaos that he had imprinted in the cauldron when he broke the curse of the divine body and faced the heavenly tribulation for the first time. It wasn't that he hadn't seen the primal chaos light before, but that time was absolutely extraordinary. After the nine strands of mysterious primal chaos lightning struck him, they struck the cauldron and were forever imprinted in the cauldron. This is the birth of a divine fetus. To become an extreme imperial weapon, this is the first step that must be taken. To give birth to a deity in the cauldron and use the primal chaos as the embryo skin, this divine fetus is truly astonishing, the Black Emperor said. If one wanted to obtain an imperial weapon, they needed to nurture their own spirit in the artifact. The baptism of heavenly tribulation and the evolution of the Great Tao were all essential steps. Those nine strands of primal chaos patterns are not simple. They contain fragments of the Great Tao, and the divine fetus they give birth to is no small matter. Duanda's expression was also solemn. Can I forge the king's cauldron here? Yi Fan asked. That's not the best choice. The main weapon should be compatible with one's body. Every step should be taken together like an arm and a finger. There's no distinction between them, the Black Emperor suggested. That's right. Now, every step you take will allow the cauldron to advance a step further. Only by harmonizing with the Tao can it become a supreme weapon. Duanda also nodded. Yi Fan was enlightened. The Tao scripture's one tool to break all laws and the army character formula's sacrificial weapon technique all appeared in his mind at this moment. He began to diligently forge the cauldron. The nine primal chaos patterns turned into all kinds of shapes. Divine phoenix, black tortoise, vermilion bird, plants, fish, insects, and others appeared in a myriad of colors. They evolved an indescribable Tao mechanism and appeared incomparably mysterious. During the primordial era, there were countless divine laws left here. This cauldron frantically absorbed them and carved an unknown number of imprints. All of them entered the nine primal chaos patterns. The area within a radius of 30 meters has become a vacuum. All of the Tao laws have been refined by the patterns within the cauldron. This central battlefield has a radius of 500 kilometers, and there are ancestral king laws and Tao light everywhere. If the cauldron is allowed to float here for a few years, it might be able to completely devour them all. The others were all very shocked. This was a result that shocked everyone's hearts. The cauldron didn't change at all. It was as if it contained a divine fetus that had completely fused into the primal chaos patterns. There wasn't a single trace of excess aura leaking out, and it was no different from usual. As expected of a sacred object exclusive to the ancient emperors. Not to mention anything else, just based on the current atmosphere of this cauldron, it can definitely become a sacred weapon that has been passed down through generations. 
it was too difficult to evolve it into an emperor weapon. Only a great emperor would be able to forge it. After all, only the light shaking realm had produced a dragon marked black gold cauldron. This miracle couldn't be replicated. Brat, let me give you an idea. Based on this cauldron's aura, it might be able to forge a supreme emperor weapon in the future. The black emperor suddenly said. What idea? In the future, if you become a saint and come to this primordial battlefield to undergo tribulation. The black emperor had only spoken halfway when he was looked down upon by everyone. Don't listen to his nonsense. Isn't this a scam? Who would dare to come to this place to undergo tribulation? That's purely courting death. There were countless battles in the primordial era, and the most terrifying one happened here. At least hundreds of saint-level experts fell, and the divine laws still haven't dissipated. If one were to undergo tribulation here, it would be equivalent to dragging these heroic spirits along with them. Who would be able to withstand that kind of power? This was the truth. Unless the ancient emperors were reborn, the resonance of all the ancestral king's laws was equivalent to hundreds of saints undergoing tribulation together. Even a saint physique wouldn't be able to withstand it. This was practically the end of the world. This might be the only feasible way to forge an extreme emperor weapon without verifying the Tao. The black emperor sighed. According to what he said, using heaven and earth as the furnace and the divine laws of hundreds of saints as the fire, drawing the most terrifying heavenly tribulation of the saint physique down and tempering the cauldron thousands of times, only then would there be a possibility of becoming an extreme emperor weapon. This was undoubtedly a crazy idea, but who could withstand such a terrifying heavenly tribulation? Even if one had a saint physique, it was practically a dead end. That was equivalent to withstanding the most terrifying attacks of hundreds of saints and the merciless obliteration of the heavens. A very good idea, but we don't have time to stay here any longer. I can sense that they're coming. Yi Fan said in a low voice. Through the endless divine laws of ancestral kings, he seemed to see a pair of terrifying eyes staring at this place from the darkness hundreds of kilometers away, and they were as sharp as knives. The Yuan Taoist master had arrived. A terrifying aura filled the air, and the entire primordial battlefield started to tremble. The mountains, rivers, and veins seemed to be shaking as if they were alive, and were about to boil. Black Emperor, it's all up to you now. You must carve a corner of the Great Emperor level teleportation formation, Yi Fan said in a low voice. Little Yi, you. Li Heishui cried out in shock. Ah, uh, Brother Yi, why are you? Yan Yishi's expression also changed. At the same time, Duanda's reaction was the fastest. Almost like a conditioned reflex, he pulled out a ghost binding chain and was about to tie up Yi Fan. His movements were extremely swift. Yi Fan retreated, stretched out his hands, and placed them in front of his eyes. He said with a trembling voice, I. He almost didn't dare to believe his own eyes. His hands were slowly growing red hair. It was such a ghastly sight, and each hair was horrifying. His hands couldn't help but tremble. How could this be? What happened? Yi, what's wrong? The others were all shocked, and they couldn't do anything. In auspicious old age, but I shouldn't have reached that step. Yi Fan was horrified and couldn't help but cry out. He felt that every inch of his body was in pain, especially his face, where things kept drilling out. The others were scared. At this moment, Yi Fan had become incomparably terrifying. Even his face had grown red hair, and he was no different from the red-haired monster they had seen before. Inauspicious, is happening to me? Yi Fan shouted loudly. Then, the golden blood energy all over his body boiled, and he began to struggle with all his might. He couldn't give up his body. Boom! Golden flames raged and surrounded him. Strand after strand of red hair fell off, but every time they fell off, new red hair would grow again. It was terrifying. Wu Shi Great Formation Pattern, Kill. The Black Emperor shouted. He used the formation pattern to trap Yi Fan inside, helping him destroy the strange power. Heaven Devouring Devil Lid, Suppress. Duanda also shouted and brought out the Devil Lid. Streaks of black light fell down, burying Yi Fan below. Yi Fan's golden blood was burning, and finally, all the red hair was refined clean. All of them fell off. He was gasping for breath, but he still felt that the inauspicious thing was shrouding his body. As expected, when the Wuxia killing formation disappeared and the heaven-devouring devil jar flew up, his face felt as if it was being pricked by needles. Blood-colored red hair kept growing out. Yi, you. The Yuan Taoist master's inauspiciousness is happening to Yi. The monkey, Li Heishui, and the others were helpless. They couldn't help at all unless they used the emperor weapon to suppress him forever and used the Wuxia formation pattern to trap him. Don't come over. I'll cross this hurdle myself. Yi Fan sat cross-legged in the void. The Tao scripture, Western Emperor scripture, and other scriptures rang out in his body at the same time. It was like the chanting of the great Tao, resounding between heaven and earth. His appearance was solemn, and his whole body was shining. The red hair on the surface of his body was destroyed and reborn again and again. 
His expression was also constantly changing. Peace and anxiety coexisted as he struggled with all his might. A cold laugh came over like metal plates rubbing against each other. It made people feel uncomfortable and their hair stood on end. In the eternal darkness, there was a pair of emotionless and awe-inspiring eyes staring coldly at this place. Become, the Yuan Taoist Master. In his later years. I will come and receive you. A sinister and horrifying voice came over. It was as terrifying as a devil that escaped from hell. Boom. Yi Fan's body shook for the last time. The golden blood chi that filled the sky rushed up and drowned the sky. Finally, all the ominous things were dispelled. The red hair fell off and no longer appeared. Maybe. I don't need to wait for my later years. In the near future. I will come and receive you. The sinister voice was like the wailing of an evil spirit. It was intermittent and incomparably difficult to speak. Everyone felt a chill run down their spines. Was this their destiny? It was like Judgment Day. Did every Yuan Taoist master die like this? Let's go. The Black Emperor did his best to carve a complicated formation pattern. Everyone walked up and with a flash of light, they disappeared from where they were. When the light appeared again, they had already arrived at a world full of flowers and birds. There were steep ridges and mountains everywhere. It was full of vitality. Southern Mountains They didn't know how many tens of thousands of miles they had crossed from the northern region to another world. How terrifying. Don't be in a hurry to go back. Let's wait a few days. The Black Emperor still had lingering fears. The ominous Yuan Taoist master had cast a shadow over their hearts. Several days later, Yi Fan took out a piece of green copper from the Sea of Bitterness with great difficulty and suppressed it in his immortal platform. It was better to be safe than sorry. He needed to be more vigilant. This time, he resisted strongly and nothing really happened. It was hard to say next time. It would be too late when he realized that something strange had happened to him. Do you dare to fight with the Divine Physique? I, Yuan Gu, will kill you in the northern region. Half a month later, a piece of news spread throughout the five regions. An ancient prince had issued a challenge to the human race's divine physique, causing a huge uproar. The entire eastern wilderness was in an uproar, and the news quickly spread to all regions. Fight! Yi Fan only had one word in reply. Oh no, Yuan Gu has severed his Tao and entered the third stage of the immortal realm. He wants to use you to test his blade. Dong Fang Ye's return to the southern mountains was like a dragon returning to the sea. All the barbarian tribes were pleasantly surprised. He had learned of this news through his clansmen. He has severed his Tao. Yi Fan looked into the distance from the peak of a mountain in the southern mountains and pondered silently. The ancient emperor's bloodline had severed his Tao. This was an extremely terrifying thing. His battle prowess would be unparalleled and invincible among his peers. Let me go and kill him first. The monkey spoke. The golden fur on his body was sparkling and resplendent. No need, I will fight this battle myself and take his life. Yi Fan said resolutely, 